Agility, 15,000. Spirit, 15,000. Physique, 15,000. Skills, Elemental Explosion, Elemental Sweep. Characteristics, Extreme Speed, Greatly Enhanced Vitality, Greatly Enhanced Defense. All four attributes are as high as 15,000. The four attributes were balanced, and this was exactly the same as the Skeleton Warrior. The Extreme Speed trait gave it super fast speed. Its vitality and defense have been greatly enhanced, greatly increasing its survivability. This boss was exactly the same in appearance as the Abyssal Demon King. With a level of only 36 and exponentially smaller attributes, it could be seen as a simplified version of the Abyssal Demon King. Lin Mashian thought very clearly that to deal with it, the first and foremost thing to do was to limit his speed. If it couldn't limit its extreme speed, then there was no need to fight it. The boss was certainly amazing in size, but there were many areas that could be utilized. Facing a nimble skeleton warrior, coupled with the slow speed curse, the huge size would instead become a constraint just like the giant dragon scene during the transfer, it died under the skeleton warrior's blade. It was also common to see things like ants scaling elephants to death. The elemental leopard king completely revived, looked down at the ant like Lin Mashian, and fiercely roared out a roar. For a time, a fierce wind arose and the four elemental systems rolled. Flames were born out of thin air, flying in the air with the wind. Immediately afterward, lightning flashed and thunder roared, and rain fell, turning into roiling ice arrows. The four elements exploded at the same time with extraordinary power. Just a roar revealed the elemental leopard king's extraordinary control of the elements. Skeletal armor appeared, blocking all elemental attacks. Skill, slow curse. The red net fell. The elemental leopard king's voice, which was roaring in anger, suddenly wilted. The roar held up a long tone, as if it were a cat's cry with rage, it slapped its claw down towards Lin Moshien. The up to 20,000 agility attribute, coupled with the extreme speed trait, caused the elemental leopard king to have amazing speed. Even with the slow cursed light, under the 40x speed reduction, the speed still wasn't considered diffuse. Unlike other monsters, after being cursed, it operated like a slow operation. At least it was faster than Lin Moshien's own speed. The leopard claws fell like a Tarzan, Lin Mou didn't dodge or avoid. There was a loud bang and the earth shook. The Leopard King seemed to realize that something was wrong, and it couldn't press its claws down. The skeleton armor shone to block its attack. Lin Moshian was motionless under his claws. Judging from its attributes, the physical attack power of the Elemental Leopard King wasn't much higher than that of the Outpost Guardian. With the skeleton armor in place, there was no need to be afraid at all. As it attacked Lin Moshian, the skeleton warriors jumped onto it in droves grabbing its fur with one hand, the large swords chopped down with force. A whole 140 skeletons, in the blink of an eye had all climbed onto it. Skills erupted at the same time, red light illuminating the sky. As the hand rose and fell, a stream of black gas flew out from the elemental leopard king. It flew towards where the human race was. The skeleton warrior once again turned on its meat chopping mode, and its large sword slashed at the elemental leopard king, clanking and clanging. With every attack, a trace of black gas would emerge and scatter in the air. The skeleton mages joined the fray, surrounding the elemental leopard king in the center as they had done when dealing with the hell outpost guardians. This way, the elemental leopard king could not attack all the skeleton mages. A round of skills from the skeleton warriors exploded en masse, coupled with a round of set fire from the skeleton mages. The elemental leopard king's size shrunk by a large circle what was originally a hundred meters tall was now only about ninety-five meters, a circle smaller than before. When the body was completely cut down, it was its time to die. Weak. Too weak. Lin Moshian shook his head slightly, feeling more and more out of place. 159. Come over to me and kill me. That sliver of black gas was equivalent to its life. It was originally an energy aggregator, so as long as it was drained of its energy, it could be killed. The elemental leopard king had no sense of pain, and it didn't feel anything when the attack was added to its body. However, it would be angry, and it seemed to be an instinct. It was humiliated to be attacked by a mole cricket. With a roar, the Elemental Leopard King blatantly counterattacked. Skill, Elemental Explosion. Huge elements exploded on the surface of its body, and dozens of skeletons were blown away with a loud noise. The range of the Elemental Explosion then expanded, along with some of the skeleton mages dozens of meters away were blown away Lin Mou looked in his eyes, this skill was almost identical to the Elemental Queen's skill. Only the Elemental Queen also had to utilize the Star Ring, while it didn't need to. Obviously in terms of Elemental Manipulation, it was superior. After associating it with the images he saw when he entered the copy, Lin Mou instantly understood how the elemental planes came to be, what caused the elemental mystery realm to be born, and how the elemental queen was created. It was that battle back then, caused by the forbidden spell plowshares. This elemental leopard king was one of the originators. 
It was a pity that the copy only imitated the appearance, and the level attribute skills were all restricted. The imitated Elemental Leopard King was inferior to the Elemental Queen in all aspects. The same skills were much less powerful. The skeleton warrior was blown away and then rushed back, not suffering many injuries after returning, the skeleton warrior continued to attack as before. It didn't take the Elemental Leopard King's attacks seriously. The Elemental Leopard King became angrier and angrier. Skills were released continuously. It continuously blew the skeleton warrior away. After being blown away, the skeleton warrior ran 650 back with a clicking sound. As the rounds of attacks came down, its size continued to shrink. Soon, its height had dropped to 70 meters. A large amount of black gas dispersed in the attack and flew towards the human world. The Elemental Leopard King opened its second skill in anger. Skill, Elemental Sweep. The hairs of his entire body turned into a whip, lashing wildly. The whip also carried various elements with it, forming a physical elemental double strike. A time of wind and thunder, ice and fire. It looked gorgeous, but unfortunately, it was not useful. The skeleton warrior still ignored it. In Lin Mashin's eyes, this big guy was a target with thick skin and strong vitality the speed that he was most proud of was also lost under the slow speed curse. There was no need to spend any effort at all, just a little more time would be needed to wear him down. The elemental leopard king was far weaker than imagined. Lin Mashian was however getting stranger and stranger. Such a hellish copy was even simpler than the Sentinel Force book. A full formation of 12 people coming in, with better coordination, would be able to completely fight their way through. But this was a hellish copy after all, it couldn't really be that simple. Can't it be that choosing to go that route with the human race would be difficult? The thought just popped up for a moment before dismissing it. The boss was getting smaller and weaker. The life force was greatly strengthened, the defense was greatly strengthened, and what looked like a great deal turned out to be only allowing it to live for a few more minutes. When it turned into the last wisp of black smoke, it completely dissipated there was no longer a bit of darkness in the entire copy, completely ruled by light. Kill level 36 Elemental Leopard King, experience plus 2160000. Acquired Elemental Staff. Elemental Staff, Gold Level Equipment, Spiritual Strength plus 600, Physical Strength plus 400, 22% Increase in Mage Skills, Elemental Staff, Gold Level Equipment, Spiritual Strength plus 600, Physical Strength plus 400, 22% Increase in Mage Skills. The experience was not bad, but the stuff was a bit too bad. A mere Elemental Staff, its attributes were not as good as the Hell Outpost Staff. This was completely unlike the drops that should come from a Hell Difficulty side map. Aside from the thick skin, it wasn't much of a difficulty at all. The exit of the sidebook floated in front of Lin Moshien. This is the end? Lin Moyu felt that something wasn't quite right, it always felt a little bit worse. Ning Yi quickly ran over and pointed in the direction where the copy's human world was, there's something going on there. The human world in the duplicate was shining brightly. A mage appeared in midair. His body was entwined with elements and he held a staff. It wasn't a real person, it was made of converging energy, exactly like the elemental leopard king. It was just that his aura was even more powerful than the Elemental Leopard. When Lin Moyu looked at it, it unexpectedly looked down towards Lin Moyu as well. The four eyes were facing each other. Suddenly an old and majestic voice came out, Come over to me. Lin Moyu was startled and had a creepy feeling for a moment. Looking at Ning Yi again, she didn't seem to have heard anything. The voice was ringing directly in his own head. Intuition told him that he had to make a trip. Yi Yi, wait for me here. Ning Yi knew what Lin Moyu was going to do. Be careful. Lin Moshian led the skeleton towards the human world. This copy was a battlefield, where the forces of abyssal demons and human professions were constantly fighting and the copy Lin Moshua's arrival annihilated the abyssal energies, which didn't disappear into thin air, all of them converging into the human world. The human area in the copy became even stronger. The exit had appeared, but the copy didn't really end. Lin Moyu felt that the teams that had come to fight the duplicates in the past had probably exited after destroying the Elemental Leopard King. It was also possible that they had exited after beating the human area and hadn't traveled to the other end of the world. On the buffer zone between the two, there were some elemental spirits present. The skeleton army swarmed over them and quickly cleared them out. The army then made a long drive and stepped into the human territory. Previously, it was darkness where one couldn't see a finger, but here it was brightness where one couldn't open one's eyes. Black to the extreme, and bright to the extreme completely two extremes. Here, Lin Moshian squinted his eyes and could barely see something. Fortunately, the skeletal warriors were completely unaffected. Humanoid monsters appeared in sight. It was covered in light blue and had a very strange appearance. Crooked, with odd postures, some were even folded together. It looked like it had an unspeakably unpleasant feeling. 
On the face, a rotten hole on the body, there was blue liquid flowing inside, as if it was blood. This wasn't a human at all, it was a humanoid monster. Mage Soul, Hell Enhanced Elite Monster. Level, 35. Strength, 10,000. Agility, 10,000. Spirit, 20,000. Physique, 20,000. Skills, Ring of Fire Resistance, Meteorite Skyfall, Magic Shield. Characteristics, Physical Attack Damage Halved, Elemental Attack Damage Halved. The attributes are strong. After he eliminated the power of darkness, the energy was all concentrated here. Increased the humanoid monsters here. It changed from an elite monster to a hellishly enhanced elite monster, and it was also Lin Moshian's least favorite mage-type monster resisting the Ring of Fire, it could shock the skeleton's back. Magic Shield could protect itself. Combined with the physical elemental double damage reduction, it made them very vital and extremely troublesome to eliminate. If there wasn't that voice, perhaps he would have chosen to retreat as well. Beatable, but lazy. It wasn't like he could use corpse burst, it was a pain in the ass to fight, and the cost effectiveness was too low. But now. That is, if you come, you fight. The skeleton warrior had already rushed forward. The skeleton mage's spells crackled and flew out. With a flash of blue light, a magic shield appeared in front of the humanoid mage. It blocked the skeleton mage's attack. Then a ring of fire came out in response, and the skeleton warrior who rushed at the front was instantly bounced off. The special effect of the resist ring of fire skill was shock flight, ignoring levels and attributes it also belonged to the control class skill. Fortunately, there were enough skeleton warriors, and after bouncing off a few, there were more to follow. The large knife landed on the magic shield, which immediately became distorted. A few more slashes would take care of it. The humanoid mage unleashed his skill again, and a fire meteorite was born out of thin air, smashing down from the sky. There was a loud bang, like a violent explosion. The earth turned into a sea of fire. The skeleton warrior stood in the sea of fire without flickering or avoiding, still holding his greatsword and slashing at his opponent. Five knives, six knives. Ten knives. Several skeleton warriors swung their swords in turn, and after taking ten slashes, the magic shield shattered. At this time, the skeleton mage's skills came in response, drowning the opponent. The skeleton warriors also took their knives to it. A few seconds later, Lin Moshian received a prompt to destroy the monster A level 36 hell ranked reinforced elite monster, even if two people split it, the experience was equally good. After eliminating a humanoid monster, Lin Moshian continued on. There were no warrior monsters, no assassin monsters. There were only mage monsters, the most annoying mage monsters. Luckily, there weren't many of them, adding up to only about two dozen. As he did, after spending more than an hour, Lin Mashua finally cleared out all these mage monsters. He arrived in front of the final boss. The mage that he had met earlier opened his eyes and looked at Lin Mashian. Kill me. Chapter 160, Artless Battle of Life and Death. An odd color appeared in Lin Mayu's eyes. This humanoid mage monster in front of him, not only could he talk, calling himself over to him. The first sentence of the meeting was actually telling himself to kill him. Under Lin Mayu's gaze, this mage, master slowly got up. The same humanoid monster, the same light blue transparent body shape, but its appearance, and normal people look different, not big the difference between it and other humanoid monsters was very obvious. It was wearing a vestment, which was also made out of energy. When it got up, it also unconsciously organized itself. All the movements showed that it had consciousness and was not an ordinary monster. This was the first time Lin Moshian had encountered such a situation. A staff appeared in the mage's hand. Lin Mojing's pupils shrunk slightly. The mace was not an energy illusion, but a real equipment weapon. The mage raised his head to look at Lin Mojing, want to know why, kill me and I'll tell you. How did that sound? After killing it, how could it say anything, how could a dead person talk? But it didn't give Lin Mou time to think. The staff was raised high, and a huge fireball shot out of thin air, carrying scorching heat, rushing towards Lin Mou at an astonishing speed. The skeleton warrior quickly blocked in front of Lin Mou the fireball hit the skeleton warrior and exploded. Flames exploded in all directions, and the skeleton armor shone brightly, blocking all the sporadic flames. The attack power is so strong. With just a single blow, the skeletal warrior suffered a considerable amount of injuries. This mage was far stronger than the elemental leopard king from earlier. After he eliminated the elemental leopard king, most of the energy in the copy was focused on this mage. Not only that, even the energy of the humanoid monsters was concentrated on it at this point. It had almost gathered most of the energy of the entire copy in one place, it would be strange if it wasn't strong. If you can't kill me, I'll kill you. The mage's voice sounded again, followed by a buzzing sound from the staff. The entire copy shook. Lin Moshian's face changed violently. 
The exit from the replica beside Ning Yi had disappeared, and the replica disengagement talisman was forbidden to be used they couldn't leave the copy. It was either kill the other party or be killed. If he lost, not only would he have to die, Ning Yi wouldn't be able to live either. The skeleton warrior and skeleton mage also attacked at the same time. Detection spells flew out. Elemental Archmage, Hell Copy Leader. Level, 39. Strength, 10,000. Agility, 10,000. Spirit, 40,000. Physique, 10,000. Skills, Wind Shackle, Explosive Flame, Meteorite Fire, Silence, Magic Shield. Characteristics, Vitality Greatly Strengthened. As high as a level 39 boss, its strength and agility were not good, but its spirit was as high as 40,000 points. The level 27 skeleton mage's spirit attribute was as high as 45,000 points after going through the increase, and it did look higher than it, but in terms of skills it was a complete failure. The opponent's skill strength was very high, and just now the skeleton warrior was seriously injured after only taking a hit for professionals, strength and weakness not only depended on attributes, but also on skills. This elemental archmage boss was definitely a mage-type professional before. After death, it was reconstructed by the copy energy and still retained the characteristics of a mage professional, with an exceptionally strong spiritual power. The 40,000 points of attributes had already surpassed the elemental queen, and was the most powerful boss with a single attribute that Lin Maxian had ever seen. Plus these five skills. Lin Mayu's head was spinning for a while. But now there was no way back, it was either life or death. In that case, let's fight. The skeleton warrior had already rushed up, his greatsword raised high as his skills erupted. Blue light flashed and a blue shield appeared around the boss. Skill, Magic Shield. Several skeleton warrior skills landed on the magic shield, and the magic shield erupted with a dazzling light and distorted but it returned to normal after half a second. The strength of the magic shield was very high, the highest Lin Mashian had ever seen. I don't know what level the opponent's skill reached, but it was very strong anyway. Flames burned in his palm. Skill, Soul Flame. A flame ignored the magician's shield and instantly appeared above the boss's head. The boss revealed a look of pain, and the entire person trembled violently, but did not make any sound. Skill, Slow Speed Curse. Lin Mashian's skills were launched consecutively. Amidst the red light, the boss's speed slowed down violently. It seemed that it didn't expect there to be a curse skill, and its expression appeared to change, instead carrying a hint of satisfaction in its surprise. The skeleton mage's attacks followed, a sea of attacks drowning it. Fire, Explosive Flame. Water system, ice storm. Wind, tornado storm. Electricity, lightning blast. For a while, the wind and fire were exchanged and the electricity flashed and thundered the four elemental attacks landed on the magic shield, brilliant and dazzling, causing the magic shield to constantly twist and distort. The magic shield shattered with a loud bang. The skeleton warrior's attacks also fell on the boss in a smooth manner. A ray of light shot out and landed on the skeleton mage. The skeleton mage that was shot by the light was instantly silenced. Skill, Silent Unspeakable. Silent Unspeakable could cause the mage to fall into a state of silence, unable to use any skills. Even skeleton mages are not immune. It is a control skill. It was the skill that Lin's silence hated the most. The light continued to emit, and one by one, the skeleton mages fell into a state of silence. The skeleton mages who couldn't use their skills could only stare, unable to do anything. Seeing this, Lin Mo Yen immediately put away the skeleton mages that weren't silenced the skeleton warrior's greatsword continued to greet it. It quickly retreated, affected by the curse, its retreat speed was slow. Lin Mashian continued to cast soul flame at the same time. Each soul flame attack caused it to feel pain. The skeleton warrior closed in to catch up, and with his speed, he simply couldn't outrun the skeleton warrior. A gust of wind blew past, and the frontmost few skeleton warriors suddenly stopped. A chain appeared on them. The skeleton warriors were trapped in place, unable to move. Skill, Shackles of Wind. The boss kept unleashing the skill, and each time, several skeleton warriors were trapped by the skill. The skeleton warriors were unable to get close to it. Blue light flashed and the magic shield reappeared. This way, even if a few skeleton warriors caught up, they couldn't break the magic shield. In the blink of an eye, more than half of the skeleton warriors had already been trapped, and one by one, they were unable to move like stakes it was already troublesome enough that the small monsters would have control system skills, and the boss would as well. This was simply a headache. The skeleton warriors were bound, and the skeleton mages were silenced. Corpses exploded. There were no corpses. Lin Meiyu knew that he could only rely on himself now. It was the first time that something like this was simply relying on himself to fight a boss. Request flowers. Soul flame was his only skill. Luckily, the magic shield couldn't resist it. The soul flame was continuously unleashed over and over again. 
The boss's expression was twisted in pain and his body shook nonstop. He held his staff high. A complex and arcane starburst pattern was generated under his feet. It quickly turned into a pentagram formation. Skill, Meteoric Fire Extinction Meteoric Fire Extinction was a skill that could only be mastered by level 40 mage class professionals after completing the second turn A large range group attack skill. The sky turned red, followed by countless fiery meteorites smashing down. Regardless of range or power, they were all more powerful than the mage who had sneaked up on them at the time. The skeleton warriors were all under control, Lin Moshian couldn't take them back and could only endure the attacks. The skeleton armor shone brightly, fending off the attacks for Lin Moyu. The range of the skill was too big, there was nothing to dodge. Solely, he didn't dodge anymore. Nor did he bother with the skeleton. Lin Moyu was ruthless in his heart, so let's fight hard and see who can last until the end. Against the flaming stone meteor, soul flame was constantly used. Zero. Replenish yourself with skeleton armor every once in a while. The boss had a strong life force and wasn't that easy to kill. Even if it was surrounded by skeleton warriors, it would still take a minute or two of hacking not to mention the fact that it was only Lin Moshin who was attacking alone right now. Spiritual energy was being consumed at a rapid pace. When it was consumed more than halfway, he took out the recovery potion he had prepared long ago and drank it. Before entering the replica, he had carried the recovery potion with him in case of emergency, and he didn't expect it to be used. The meteor fire extinction lasted for a full minute before it stopped. A light shot out from the boss staff. Skill, silence. It was going to limit Limerick's skills. Silent unspoken didn't work and was blocked by skeleton armor. Skeleton armor was immune to all controls, all negative effects. After trying twice, the boss stopped trying. Instead of continuing to use meteorite fire extinction, he switched to using explosive flame to attack Lin Moshian. Although the overall power of the single skill was not as good as meteoric flame extinction, it was fast and could be used continuously when used one-on-one, -on -one, its power was much higher than meteorite fire extinguishing world. Explosive flames kept falling on Lin Moshue, a ball of flames exploding in front of his eyes, brilliant as fireworks, and his ears roaring. With the superb defense of the skeleton armor, Lin Moshian didn't dodge and ate the attacks hard. At the same time, he also used soul flame as fast as he could, continuously attacking the boss. The boss's magic shield couldn't block the soul flames. The skeleton armor, however, could block the opponent's explosive flames. Lin Moshian knew that he had the advantage in this aspect. Now it was a competition of who could hold out until the end. He took out another bottle of recovery potion and drank it, always keeping his spiritual power at over half. This is how the two sides fought against each other without any technicality. You hit me and I hit you, hurting each other it was clearly a life and death battle, but it looked so boring. Finally, the boss reached its limit and violently let out a painful scream. From the start of the battle until now, this was the first time he let out a scream. How painful the soul flame was, Lin Moshian knew it clearly. None of the boss monsters that had been killed along the way could endure it unless they had no sense of pain. There was an interruption in its skills as it screamed miserably. Lin Mayu's eyes lit up and intensified his attack Jo. Chapter 161, I hope the human race produces a three-talent powerhouse. The boss screamed miserably and signaled its defeat. It fell to its knees and curled up as a large amount of blue gas emerged from its body. The body became more and more illusory. Bang! Like glass shattering, it exploded into 10,000 points of blue aura. Once it died, all the shackles on the skeleton warrior disappeared at the same time. Lin Moshian also put away the skeletons in the meteorite fire destruction skill, the skeletons were all injured and needed to recuperate. Killed level 39 elemental archmage, experience plus 3900000. Acquired broken divine flame staff. Obtained space crystals. Obtained talent god stone. Obtained flash intermediate skill scroll. Broken Scepter of Divine Flame, Legendary Weapon, Damaged, Space Crystals, can be made into Space Crystals. Space Crystals, can be made into a Space Teleportation Stone. Divine Stone of Talent, Legendary Item, 100% Awakening of Talent on the Third Turn. Glittering Intermediate Skill Scroll. Glittering Intermediate Skill Scroll, 100% Mastery of Unawakened Skills. Looking at the Harvest, even if he was as calm as he was, he was numb with shock at this point. What is this all about? Except for the experience, nothing else is normal. A level 39 boss, why did it drop a legendary weapon? And still broken legendary weapons, what the hell is this? There are also space crystals, the value is certainly not low the talent godstone could even awaken 100% of the talent during the third transfer. The price of this thing was already so high that it was incalculable. Compared to these three things, Lin Moyu felt that the flash intermediate skill scroll, on the contrary, had the lowest value. An ordinary intermediate skill scroll was worth 10 million gold coins. 
A glittering intermediate skill scroll, at least 100 million or more, or even more expensive. After all, this thing was relatively rare. But compared to the other three, it really didn't seem like anything. Ning Yi flew over, how, how? Running as fast as she could, her face flushed red. The Divine Flame Staff. It's the Divine Flame Staff. How could the God Flame Staff be here? The little face carried a thrilled excitement as well as a strong shock. She only mentioned the God Flame Staff and didn't say anything else. Obviously in her eyes, the Divine Flame Staff was worth more. Lin Mou said strangely, is there anything about this staff? The Divine Inflammation Staff appeared in her hand, the staff was covered in scars, and the place on the head where the magic crystals were originally supposed to be inlaid was broken the inlay was also nowhere to be found. Ning Yi took the staff from Lin Mou's hands and looked at it carefully, the more she looked at it, the more excited she became, that's right, it's this one, it's exactly the same as the one I've seen in the information. The Divine Flame Staff used to be the exclusive weapon of the Divine Fire Mage, Divine Mage Ning Yen. Later, during a great battle, the Ning Yen Divine Mage disappeared, along with the Divine Flame Staff. Suddenly the Divine Flame Mage glowed and became incandescent. Ning Yi was startled, and with a cry of surprise she instinctively threw her staff to the ground. Within the glow, a silhouette emerged. The silhouette that emerged from the mace looked exactly like the boss just now. Lin Mayu's eyes narrowed as he immediately pulled Ning Yi behind him, and at the same time, he put on the skeleton armor for himself soul flames blazed in his palm, ready to fight at any time. Young man, don't be nervous. A low voice came out from the silhouette, carrying a strong sense of majesty. The silhouette gradually solidified, becoming clearer and clearer, and... Ning Yi poked her head out behind Lin Mashian and exclaimed, You are Divine Mage Su Yen. Ning Yan looked at Ning Yi with slight curiosity, Little girl, do you recognize me? I've seen your portrait in the Divine Summer Museum, which has described your deeds. Not only was it in the museum, even Lin Mou knew about Divine Mage Su Yen. That was a character that had been written into the textbooks of history classes. A once famous top tier strong D in the Divine Summer Empire. Only when one reached level 90 could they be called a god level, could they be called a god mage. Su Yen was the god mage who was as high as level 91. Lin Mou was also in awe of this kind of character. Late generation has met Divine Mage Su Yen. Su Yen waved his hand, there's no need to be so polite, I've passed away many years ago, it's not bad that you guys can still remember old me. Lin Mou could see that at this moment, Su Yen was a wisp of a residual soul. He was residing in the Divine Flame Staff, relying on the power of the Divine Flame Staff and the copy to survive until now. The copy boss just now, the Elemental Archmage, was controlled by him. He used the boss to compete with Lin Mashian. Su Yen said, I don't have much time left, that battle just now consumed a lot of energy, so listen to me. Lin Mou and Ning Yi immediately perked up their ears and listened attentively. Su Yen said quietly with reminiscence, back then, a space-time rift appeared in the third battlefield, connecting the human race to the Abyssal world. The Abyssal Elemental Archdemon King invaded in force with 10 million demons, and I led the first Mage Legion to meet the battle. In the end, we unleashed a forbidden spell and wiped out the Elemental Great Demon King and his demon army. Unfortunately. The result was self-explanatory, both sides died together. It was also because of this that the elemental planes of today were created. The higher-ups of the Divine Summer Empire were definitely aware of this matter, only that it hadn't been announced to the public, so the exact reason was unknown. Su Yen continued, During that great battle, I obtained a spatial crystal, which recorded the coordinates of a certain place in the abyss. Finding an alchemist to make a teleportation stone out of it will allow you to travel to the abyss. Lin Mashian understood that this was equivalent to a key, a key that could attack the abyss and it wasn't to go in through the entrance and reach the interior directly. The price of this spatial crystal that recorded the spatial coordinates of the abyss was incalculable Lin Mashian said, I'll give the space crystal to the imperial hierarchy when I return. Ning Yan shook his head, you can't hand it over, the space crystal is bound to your soul, right now only you can use it, giving it to anyone else would be a piece of waste rock. In addition to space crystals, there's also the divine stone of talent, which is also soul bound. Young man, are you gifted? Lin Mashian nodded his head and admitted that he did indeed have a talent. A god-level talent, a full increase. However, it wasn't naturally awakened, but the system helped him awaken it. Regardless, it was true that there was a talent right. Ning Yan revealed a joyful expression, then you must awaken another talent when you turn two. I know it's hard, but I must try to do it. That way, when you turn three at level 70, you'll be able to utilize the talent godstone to awaken the third talent. With the addition of three talents, your strength will reach an astonishing level. Only one top powerhouse with three talents has appeared in the history of our human race, you're going to be the second. His eyes were filled with hope, it was hope for the future, hope that a top powerhouse with three talents would emerge from the human race. Lin Mou could deeply feel that Su Yen was filled with love for the human race. He truly wished for the human race to be strong. 
Lin Mayu's heart was deeply touched, I will do my best. Su Yan was satisfied with Lin Mayu's answer, this was good. Lin Mou asked, but why did you pick me? Su Yan carried the condescension of a divine mage, I can't look at those trash, it's a waste to give them. I'd rather these things rot here than give them to waste. But there was a little girl who was quite good some time ago, and I almost had my heart set on her at the time. It's a pity that she came in as part of a group, it's still not as good. Then again, that little girl seems to have a slight resemblance to you. Su Yan sized up Lin Moiwe, indeed, you two look quite similar. Lin Mayu's heart stirred, senior, is it her you're talking about? Lin Mou took out a photo, and it was a photo of herself and Lin Mohan. Su Yan said, not bad, it's her. The young girl's talent is very good, but unfortunately it's still a bit short, so you guys know each other. This is my sister. Lin Mou said indifferently. Here again, he had gotten news of his sister. Knowing that his sister was fine, it was reassuring. Perhaps when the professionals competition came around, they would be able to meet. Lin Mou asked, senior, when you met my sister, how many levels was she? Su Yan said, it's already level 35, but that was a few months ago, so I don't know now. So fast. Lin Mou was shocked, how could her sister upgrade so fast? Su Yan continued, levels don't matter sometimes, just like you, you're obviously only level 27, but you can already solo a level 30 hell difficulty copy. Looking at the human race, there is absolutely no one who can do what you do. And your profession is special, necromancer, a profession that should be newly emerged, I hadn't heard of it in my time. Your occupation and talent match very well, I can see that you should be an increased type talent, your skeleton possesses a battle power that exceeds the level attributes. It's just a pity that there's still a weakness, it's easy to be controlled. If you can awaken a related talent, or master the corresponding anti-control skills. Su Yan rattled off a lot more. He hadn't spoken for many years, and this was a rare opportunity to say all the things he hadn't said over the years. Lin Mou and Ning Yi listened attentively without a hint of impatience. They were both clear that when they went out, Su Yan would no longer exist. Leaving the copy, Su Yan could not survive Lin Mojing wanted to leave the Divine Flame Staff behind, but Su Yan refused. The Divine Flame Staff was damaged, but it could still be repaired. If it was repaired, it would be a legendary grade weapon. In the entire human race, there weren't many legendary weapons. Being able to have one more would increase one point of battle power. Don't waste it, my soul's integrated into the staff to make it stronger after repair. Find a new owner worthy of it. This was Su Yan's last request, and Lin Muyue agreed. Chapter 162, Shut the door and kill the dogs, kill as many as come. The two left the copy with Su Yan's wish. Ning Yi sighed softly, Elder Su has given his entire life for the human race. Lin Miyu nodded, it's because of seniors like this, who spilled their blood, that our human race was able to survive the threat of the abyss. And I believe that our human race will become stronger and stronger. Sooner or later, one day, it will counterattack the abyss. I believe. The last sentence, Lin Mou said in his own heart, he firmly believed in it. Lin Mou and Ning Yi appeared outside the replica, attracting the attention of quite a few people. They came out. Looks like they beat the copy, how awesome. First, they soloed the hell-ranked outpost copy and made a splash on the battlefield, not dying when attacked by the flame demon king. Now he's brushing the third battlefield copy, which is still hellishly difficult, I really don't know how he did it. People have good professions, and it's said that they also have talent, so I can't envy them. People are more angry than people, is the gap between professions really that big? That's something life-class professions often say. They looked at Lin Mashian with admiration in their gazes. Among those who had come to Battlefield 3, there were quite a few who had participated in the battle in Battlefield 1 and knew of Lin Mojing Lin Mayu's doings had been clearly inquired about. Several people from Shershingen had already come out and were waiting at the original place. When they saw Lin Mou, they waved at him. Lin Mou just went over and Shershingen handed over a skewer of grilled meat, come, 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 talk to us, how was the hell difficulty? Lin Mou said softly, it's just like that, not much different from a nightmare copy. He briefly talked about a few differences for a fourteenth time. Hearing that the boss was as high as a hundred meters in the hell difficulty copy, Shershingen couldn't help but swallow his saliva. He felt that if he was stepped on, he would be half crippled without dying. Not only him, a few of his teammates looked at each other and felt a bit intimidated. Then he heard that there was a second boss behind him. It would be silent, it would be controlled, and the magic shield was strangely hard Shershingen was completely giving up on his intention to go raiding. This kind of boss he knew how to deal with, the team as long as there are more than two people in the auxiliary stand apart. The first time to remove the negative status can be. However, it was often impossible to find aides that cooperated that well. It's better to fight nightmare honestly, hell is not for us. Sure Shingen seemed to be laughing at himself. Lin Mashu said softly, if you need me for anything in the future, you can look for me. 
Sure Xingan patted Lin Mayu's shoulder, that's natural, if there's a need I'll look for you first. I think that there is no copy under the sky that you can't get past solo. Sure Xingan's words had a half-joking element, but he also knew that if there was really a need Lin Mou would naturally come and would not refuse. After a few people chatted for a while, Sure Xingan suddenly asked, Senior Lin, do you still intend to continue brushing hell copies? Lin Mou shook his head, no more brushing, ee and I will go to the third battlefield to find demons to kill and gain military honors. There was already no more Ning Yen in the copy, so Lin Ma Xian didn't want to go back in. Moreover, this copy couldn't be used for corpse bursting, and while the experience was quite good for others, it wasn't the best copy for Lin Mou to practice leveling. It would be better to go back to the copy hall of the academy and find a suitable copy to fight. The quests Bai Yuan had set for him were to obtain elemental crystals and demon crystals. He had already completed both. There was no rush to go back and turn them in, and since he was already here, he would kill more demons. Military merits were very useful and could be used to use official facilities. And with a high military merit, you can raise your rank and unlock more permissions after resting for a few moments, Lin Mou and Ning Yi got up and left, they went to look for demons to hunt. If they could come across a spatial passage that would be the best, Lin Mojing could blow up another wave. That kind of opportunity could come and go, after all, it was only battlefield number 3. It wasn't like battlefield number 7 or 8, where there were more demons and it was faster to earn military honors. After Lin Mou left, Shi Xingan's few people didn't leave. They rested while waiting for the copy cooldown to pass. At their level, killing some devouring monsters wouldn't be a problem, but it would be dangerous if they ran into hordes of demons. That was why they would rather wait here than go into the third battlefield and joke with their lives. Most people were just like them. Those who could become demon hunters were either level 38, 39 professionals grouped together. Either that, or a high-level professional who had completed the second turn at level 40 and it wasn't absolutely safe. Often teams were wiped out and level 40 senior professionals were killed. This was the place where the human race slaughtered the abyssal demons and at the same time, it was also the place where the abyssal demons refilled their meals and fed. Lian Yu couldn't help but say softly as she watched the duo disappear into the thick fog. Schoolboy Lin is still really powerful, only level 27 and he's able to hunt demons in the third battlefield. Sher Sheng Xing and whispered, being able to cross the level to solo a hell difficulty copy, a mere demon is naturally nothing. His skeletons are numerous and strong, both warriors and mages, it's almost like an army of one. Liang Yu naturally knew that, but she also sighed, it's a pity, these skeletons of his can't add increased status, otherwise they would be even more powerful. They had all seen the previous battles, and neither the prophet nor the legion overlord could add status to the skeletons Sher Xing and laughed, it's already strong enough, if they can add statuses, it's going to be heaven. I really feel sad for those who are in the same group as schoolboy Lin in the professionals competition. Lin Mashiwe was participating in the group of level 20 to 29. In this group, Lin Mashiwe had no opponents. Liang Yu laughed, thinking about those guys, it's indeed miserable. Don't miss school brother Lin's match then, it'll be wonderful. She laughed gloatingly. The so-called splendor was the splendor on someone's expression after they lost to Lin Mashiwe. The more Liang Yu thought about it, the more she laughed, and decided that she must go to Lin Mou's matches at that time, and not miss a single one. The few people ate and drank their fill and began to close their eyes, waiting for the cooldown to end. After a few moments, suddenly a light illuminated the sky. Then there was an alarm buzzing everyone was awakened and turned their heads in unison to look. Both the light and the alarm came from the human base not far away. Several senior professionals ran out from the base. There's a demon attacking, prepare to meet it. Demons are attacking, prepare to meet them. There's a demon attacking, prepare to meet it. Deafening voices resounded throughout the heavens and earth. Some people stood up nervously, while others had a disinterested look on their faces, as if they had already gotten used to it. What's there to panic about, it's probably another large space-time channel that opened up nearby and was monitored by the base. Don't worry, with the base guards around, it's fine. At most, only a hundred or so demons will come over, plus a few thousand man-eating monsters, with so many of us here, we can easily handle it. You'll get used to it once you've been here for a long time, it happens all the time, it always comes once or twice a month. Many professions had been hanging out here for a long time and knew the general situation they didn't find the danger strange in the slightest, and with word of mouth, others began to gradually quiet down. Sher Xing and drew his knight's long sword, it was his first time encountering it, and caution was the best. The base guards had already set up their battle formation, aiming at the direction the demons were coming from. The black mist could be seen faintly in the distance as it was rolling violently. Oh no! Liang Yu suddenly exclaimed. Sher Xing and hurriedly asked, What's wrong? Liang Yu pointed ahead, Senior Lin is heading in that direction. What? Sher Xing's cold sweat ran down in a flash. Even high level professionals like the base guards were out in force, putting up a stern appearance, so one could imagine how powerful the incoming demons were. 
it was estimated that there would be high-level demons present. Level 40 and 39 were heaven and earth, a big difference. This was true for professionals, and it was also true for demons although Lin Moyu was powerful, if he encountered a high-level demon. Sure Xingan couldn't help but worry for Lin Mojing. Liang Yu's gaze was fixed firmly on the front, don't worry, it's possible that school brother Lin changed directions and has already missed it. Let's hope so. Sure Xingan could only console himself. Unfortunately, Lin Moyu did encounter this wave of demons. A huge spatial passage just suddenly appeared in front of him. This time, the spatial passage was at least twice as big as the last time he encountered it. Abyssal energy surged out like a long black dragon, and a large number of man-eating monsters immediately appeared on the third battlefield. Immediately afterward, a large number of scarlet eyes appeared in the space 650 channel, and many demons scrambled out. With a bloodthirsty aura, they crossed the spatial passage and entered the human world. Human meat, delicious human meat, I'm coming. Finally, I can taste the legendary delicious human meat. This demon is already hungry and thirsty. A demon roared and descended. But before they could see what the human world looked like, several large knives bursting with red light had already landed on them. Sharp pain traveled from the large knives into their brains, and they immediately screamed. A buzzing sound was heard in their ears. Then the whole world went fast. The skeleton warrior's knife was as fast as lightning. The flying elemental spells were even faster than lightning. Why is it so fast? Why so fast? Where have we arrived? Isn't this a meta battlefield? Under the curse, they were the ones who had gotten slower, not the others who had gotten faster. The demon's wings were all chopped off, and Lin Moshian definitely wouldn't give them a chance to lift off and escape. Hee <laughs> hee, I told you, I'm sure we'll come across a spatial passage. Ning Yi laughed extremely happily. She had just said that she would definitely still be able to encounter a spatial passage it didn't take more than a few minutes for the spatial passage to appear. Her mouth was like a light, and it worked whenever she said it. When they didn't wait for the demons to rush out, the skeleton warriors were already prepared, surrounding the spatial passage with three layers inside and three layers outside, up and down. Close the door and kill the dog, kill as many demons as they come. The first demon was chopped to death by the skeleton warriors. Immediately followed by a violent explosion. The earth in front of the spatial passage was suddenly quiet. The dozen or so demons that had just rushed out were all blown up. Killed level 38 Abyssal Wolf Demon, experience plus 380,000, military merit plus 50. Acquired Demon Essence Blood. Kill level 37 Abyssal Serpent Demon, experience plus 370,000, military service plus 50. Gained Demon's Essence Blood. The two men's sergeant badges shone brightly, adding another 800 military merit chapter 163, which Big Brother moved, too dry. This time, Lin Mashue didn't throw the corpses into the spatial channel. Instead, he waited for the demons inside to rush out before decapitating them. So as not to summon the flame demon king over. He knew clearly that his current abilities were completely no match for the flame demon king, the gap was too great. The difference was too great. The first two times were all luck. If he had been a bit more unlucky, he might have already hung himself. If he messed with it again, Lin Moyu didn't guarantee that he would still be able to escape. He was confident that he would be able to defeat the flame demon king in the future. If he didn't have enough strength to provoke it now, it would be foolish behavior two minutes later, a large number of red points of light lit up in the spatial passage once again. One eye was emitting red light, like a lantern. Another batch of demons scrambled out. It was then too late to let out a roar before they could get a good look at this side of the world. Only a boom was heard. The pupils lost focus, their consciousness annihilated, and they died a dry death. With the first batch, the latter is good. Lin Moshian lowered his hand that was releasing skills. Only one skill was needed to kill so many abyssal demons in seconds, simple and easy. Military experience, it was a little too good to be true. This time, it was nearly 1,000 military merits again, and together with the first wave, it got 1,800 military merits. The sergeant's badge became extremely dazzling, with a star floating on it. With over 10,000 military merits, he finally became a one-star second lieutenant. Many demon hunters could only earn 10,000 military merits after a year and a half of hanging out in the third battlefield for Lin Moshian it was so easy. Ning Yi smiled cheekily, you've become a one-star second lieutenant, so I'll soon become a one-star second lieutenant as well. The difference between the two men's military achievements was not much, just around 600. Lin Moyu's military rank had risen, and Ning Yi was close. Lin Moyu smiled, you should just be promoted too. Ning Yi suddenly blushed, slightly squirming, what should be born, what are you talking nonsense about? Lin Moyu froze for a moment, realizing that there was a problem in her words. He smiled, I'm saying that the rank can be raised. Of course Ning Yi knew that she was the one who thought poorly for a moment. Humming softly, she stopped speaking with a red face. 
Soon, the third wave of demons also rushed out. There was still a familiar explosion, and this wave of demons went back to meet the demon god. Ning Yi's sergeant's badge shone with an extra star on it the larger the volume, the more stable the spatial passage became. It had continued to exist for more than ten minutes up until now. There had been six waves of demons coming out of it before and after. Together, there were almost one hundred abyssal demons. Providing the two with over five thousand military merits each. The corpses outside the passageway had piled up into a small mountain, and the skeleton warriors had to clear some of the corpses out, which prevented them from blocking the passageway. At this time, the space gradually turned twisted and finally started to become unstable. Lin Mou roughly calculated, there should be another wave. Sure enough, not a moment later another pair of scarlet eyes appeared behind the passage. This time, the number was very small, just five pairs, and they were widely spaced out. Lin Moyu's heart shuddered. High-level nightmare demons. Higher demons were huge in size, and their own power was too strong for the spatial passage to hold too many higher demons when they come out, they will become the leaders of the demons that came out before. They will then summon the phage monsters and attack the human professionals in Battlefield 3. It was highly likely that they would go and impact the replica entrance not far away. Even though they were so far apart, the abyssal demons could still smell the human professionals. It was just their bad luck that they ran into Lin Moshien. Behind the spatial channel, they couldn't see what was going on in the Yuan battlefield, and waves of them lined up to come over and deliver military honors. Finally, the last big wave came. Four higher demons came to the Yuan battlefield through the spatial channel. Boom! Without waiting for them to react, an explosion was already on their heads. The four higher demons screamed at the same time and were sent flying. They were higher demons, no matter their strength attribute life force was far stronger than ordinary demons, they could not be killed in one explosion they smelled the smell of corpses, the smell of demon corpses. Something happened here, the demons that came over are dead. Boom! Another violent explosion. The four demons were once again heavily injured. Lin Moshian didn't give them a chance to resist and struggle. Two more consecutive bodies exploded. They died before they were ready. The four demons bid farewell to the world with boundless depression. Killed level 40 Abyssal Blade Demon, experience plus 80,000, military merit plus 500. Four consecutive identical tips appeared, and the military merit increased by 2,000 at once. Abyssal Blade Demons. Each of them had eight arms. The arms were shaped like large knives and were incredibly sharp, so one could imagine how powerful they were when wielded. It was a pity that they had died without even being able to swing a single blade. The spatial channel twisted more and more, rippling non-stop like waves of water although the scarlet eyes were now surfacing behind the spatial channel again, the unstable spatial channel made them not dare to come over. You don't dare to come right. The corners of Lin Moyan's mouth raised slightly, and with a slight movement in his heart, the two skeletons threw the two abyssal blade devils towards the spatial channel, one on the left and one on the right. The moment the abyssal blade devils entered the spatial channel, the skill was unleashed. There were screams coming from the back of the spatial channel. At the same time, a prompt appeared. Killed level 40 Abyssal Blade Demon, Experience plus 80,000, Military Merit plus 500. Kill level 40 Abyssal Shadow Demon, Experience plus 80,000, Military Merit plus 500. A dozen in a row. The military merit increased by 70 hundred at once. He and Ning Yi each had 7,000. The sergeant badge turned secretively hot and dazzling. A star once again appeared on the silver-colored sergeant's badge Military Merit 22,000, two-star second lieutenant. Last wave, Blood Money. Ning Yi jumped up happily, I got promoted, I got promoted. I'm going to be a father so soon ah, uh, male or female? Lin Mayu asked in a snarky manner. Swish. Ning Yi's excitement came to an end, and her entire little face was suffocated in a reddish color. Humming, she turned around and lowered her head to ignore this guy. Usually look at the dull-witted, now why suddenly react so fast? It's not just saying the wrong thing. Ning Yi red face, suddenly her small hand fell into a pair of warm big hands. Lin Mou smiled faintly, let's go. Ning Yi lowered her head in red face, and didn't resist, letting Lin Mou Yen pull her along. The spatial channel burst like a bubble and disappeared. Only demon corpses were left all over the ground. Next to the Battlefield World 3, copy, several hundred professionals stood in a tight formation. Waiting left and right didn't result in a demon the base's warning was definitely not wrong, a large spatial passage had indeed appeared nearby. But how could there be no demons coming? Now that the spatial passage had disappeared, where did the demons go? The base guards advanced in the direction of the spatial passage. The professionals also followed. After walking for a while, they saw corpses everywhere. The ground was filled with demon corpses, some of which had been piled into small mountains, obviously man-made. The. What's going on? Who moved and killed so many demons? 
It's not just ordinary demons, there are also level 40 higher demons. I recognize it, it's an abyssal blade demon, it's not easy to deal with, how did it die so easily? Can it be that some big guy just happened to pass by and slaughtered these guys in passing? This action is also too fast, these demons obviously didn't even resist and were killed in an instant. Sure Xingan's few looked at me and I looked at Yuthi felt that this scene was so familiar. Liang Yu wasn't very sure, it couldn't have been schoolmate Lin who did this. Sure Xingan said in a deep voice, it's very likely, schoolboy Lin's skills are perfectly capable of doing this. Thanks to me worrying about him just now, it seems really redundant. If schoolboy Lin dares to come here to hunt demons, he must have his own certainty. A few people were also relieved, and Sher Shingen waved his hand, let's go back and continue to enter the book to practice. After we reach level 35, we can also come as demon hunters and kill demons to earn military honors. Good. Several people quickly returned, preparing to enter the copy after a while. A group of people looked at the demon corpses and studied them for half a day without being able to research anything. In the end, they could only retreat back. At least the demon was taken care of, it wasn't a bad thing. Killing demons was the responsibility and duty of the entire human race for the next few days, Lin Moyu and Ningyi were always wandering around in the depths of the third battlefield. Unfortunately, it never let them come across a spatial passage again. They could only find some scattered demons to kill. The ones that were killed the most were, in turn, man-eating monsters. For days later, the two of them had increased their military merits a bit more. Lin Mayu's military merit reached 24,311, which was still a bit far from being a three-star lieutenant. Ningyi leaned on Lin Mojing and softly said, we should go back tomorrow. There were still three days left until the professionals' competition. Tomorrow, we'll go back to the Xiaojing Academy, rest for a day, and then rendezvous with Jiang Taodao's few people and head to South Rainbow City together to participate in the professionals' competition. Lin Mou calculated that it was about the same time. They had been out for seven days and the quests they should do were done, so it was time to go back there was also the task of going back to the Xiaojing Academy to turn in their quests. Ning Yi looked at the sky, it's a pity that we can't see the stars or sunrise here. Lin Mou stroked Ning Yi's little head, Nanhong City is by the sea, we can go to the sea to watch the sunrise. Ning Yi's eyes lit up, there's a small island not far from South Rainbow City, and there's a replica in the island. It's said that the deepest part of the replica has a high mountain where you can see the most beautiful sunrise. Lin Mou smiled, good, let's go there Li. Such a small request could naturally be fulfilled. Buzz. A vibrating sound came. The two looked at each other and simultaneously took out the fixed point teleportation stone given by Mo Yun. Battlefield Ghost King. Ning Yi let out a low cry. Go. Chapter 164, Prince Hao, it's all because of you. Battlefield Ghost King, a level 39 world level BOSS it would randomly appear between battlefields 1 to 3, with its movements erratic. And each time it appears, it only lasts 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, it will disappear again, and the next time it appears, it doesn't know where it will be or when it will be. So it was hard to find it. If we were to say which bosses in the world had been killed the least number of times, it would definitely be one of them. This time, the Battlefield Ghost King appeared in the second battlefield. It happened to be found by Mo Yun. Aside from Mo Yun, there was also another team that had found it. On the ground, a team of 12 professionals was attacking towards Mo Yun. Arrows rained down and the mage's skills were brilliant and eye-catching, exploding into a cloud of fireworks in the air. Mo Yun rode her unicorn through the air, dodging the attacks. The unicorn's body was shrouded in light, just like a mage's magic shield while blocking the attacks, the unicorn would also spew out balls of divine energy to return the favor. Unfortunately, there were two knights in the professional team that took turns blocking Mo Yun's attacks. They were not as good as Mo Yun in terms of single strength or profession. However, they were outnumbered, had status, and had a complete career configuration. And Mo Yun was only single-handed. Both sides could only fight to a draw. Mo Yun couldn't get away from them, and another eight-man squad had already traveled to attack the Battlefield Ghost King. If the Battlefield Ghost King was defeated by the eight-man squad, the next time it appeared would have to wait at least a month. Mo Yun frowned, her expression slightly anxious. Why isn't it coming yet? She had already called out to Lin Mashue and Ning Ye. With Lin Mashue's strength, there might still be a turnaround. The thought had just arisen when the space around her twisted, and Lin Mou and Ningyi had teleported over a spell flew in, and archers erupted in a rain of arrows. Mo Yun commanded the unicorn to block in front of the duo, but it was impossible to block them all, and some of the attacks still landed on Lin Mou and Ningyi. The skeleton armor flashed 650 is being attacked. Fighting the boss already? Mo Yun released her skill, and the light cluster on the unicorn's body quickly enlarged, enveloping Lin Mou and Ning Yi in it along with Lin Mou and Ning Yi. The massive light blocked all attacks, while also allowing Lin Mou and Ning Yi to float in midair. With his sight restored, Lin Mojing looked around. 
Ning Yi asked, Sister Rhyme, what happened? Mo Rhyme said, I found the Battlefield Ghost King, and it just so happened that the Dynasty Guild's people were also nearby, so. It didn't need to be said much to already understand that this was a boss grab. It happened all the time in the wild not to mention the world boss that would drop Nirvana Soul Crystals, it was even more of a must fight for all the major guilds. Hearing the four words Dynasty Guild, Lin Mou thought of what had happened before in front of the West Sea Mines, copy. With a slightly cold gaze, he looked at the people on the ground who were launching attacks. He had seen the clothes on these people before, and they were indeed people from the Dynasty Guild right. It's really them. Ning Yi Yi was curious in his heart, you've seen the Dynasty Guild? Lin Mushin briefly told him what happened at that time before the West Sea Mines, copy. At that time, he was bent on taking the Shajing Agricultural College House and was anxious to practice leveling, and anyone who stopped him was an enemy. The Dynasty Guild was notorious in the group of professionals for their rampant behavior. But blocking copies of this kind of thing. Thinking about it, it seemed like it was really possible for the Dynasty Guild to do what Ning Yi Yi laughed, they're just blocking the replica gate for the Goblin King Ring, aren't they? Pity oh. Lin Moshian had killed people from the Dynasty Guild and had a grudge against them in itself. Unexpectedly, they met again here. The world was so small, it wasn't an enemy. The corners of Lin Moiwa's mouth had pulled out a slight arc, and the temperament of his body had changed slightly, colder than usual. Lin Moiwa. An angry shout suddenly came from below. Hearing the sound, Lin Moiwa saw Wang Jihao. Why is he here? At this moment, Wang Jihao was looking at himself with intense hatred. Ning Yi Yi wondered, who is he again? You guys know each other? Lin Mou briefly told what happened during the grand exam. Ning Yi Yi instantly understood, with disdain, so he's a coward who's afraid of death, such a person deserves to get a bad review. Mo Yun whispered, he's the young president of the Dynasty Guild, and this time, the Dynasty Guild came to search for the Nirvana Soul Crystals just for him. Surprisingly. Lin Mo Yun understood, the Dynasty Guild was trying to sublimate their profession when Wang Jihao turned 2 at level 40 to become an even more powerful legendary level profession. But right now, Wang Jihao had just reached level 20, and this was a bit too hasty to save for a rainy day. Not far away came the sound of skill explosions. Another group from Dynasty Guild was already attacking the Battlefield Ghost King. Mo Yun's face revealed anxiety, what now? For a while, she was also a bit indecisive. Although she knew that Lin Mo Yan was powerful, she didn't realize how powerful Lin Mo Yan was. Below was a whole group of Dynasty Guild's professionals. The levels also ranged from 35 to 38. She wasn't sure if Lin Mashua could handle it. Lin Mo Yan thought about it, you go over there and stall the other side, don't let them easily beat the boss he'll deal with the people here, I'll find you to rendezvous in a while. Mo Yun hummed, good, even if I can't beat the boss, they don't want to. Quickly landing on the ground, Mo Yun whispered, take care of yourselves. With those words, she charged towards the boss and her unicorn. The Dynasty Guild's people were about to stop it when Wang Jihao angrily said, Don't bother with her, deal with Lin Mo Yan first. As the Dynasty Guild's young president, Wang Jihao's words were almost like orders. What's more, dealing with Lin Mu Yue was much easier than dealing with Mo Yun. After all, Lin Moi was only level 27, and Ning Yi Yi by her side was even only level 26. Aside from Wang Jihao, the rest of the 11 people in their group had a minimum of level 35 and a maximum of level 39. Dealing with a level 27 little guy like Lin Moiwe wasn't a breeze. Wang Jihao stared at Lin Mashue, his anger growing, Lin Mashue, I didn't expect to run into you here. You know what? You went to the Xiaojing Academy, while I have no academy to go to. It's all because of you, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten a bad grade. If it wasn't for you, the provincial first prize should be mine, it's mine. At the end of his words, his emotions were out of control and his appearance was like madness. Red light emerged from his body, and Wang Jihao unexpectedly unconsciously opened the state of berserking. Apparently he had very poor control over his occupational skills. His profession was a berserker, and his control over his emotions was originally very poor, and he would explode when he moved. This was even more so after the big exam. He didn't look for any other problems and attributed all of his failures to Lin Mou. This kind of person. Pathetic. Ning Yi said strangely, this person's brain isn't quite right, failing to get into the Shajing Academy is a problem with his own abilities, what's it got to do with others? Lin Mou said, indeed not quite normal. Originally, she didn't quite understand where Prince Hao got such hatred now finally, he knew that everything stemmed from jealousy. In other words, too small-minded. Prince Hao was once again stimulated and shouted, what are you guys waiting for, kill him now. One of the knights in the team was immediately ordered to rush out and unleash his charge skill to pounce on Lin Moshian. A level 38 knight with a gold equipment. The battle power was extremely high when it was added to the full state. A knight's attributes were mainly expressed in strength and physique. 
A level 38 normal knight profession had a basic strength attribute of over 4,000, and counting equipment and additions, the attribute was over 10,000. Such attributes were far from being comparable to Lin Moshin and Wang Zihao's opinion, that was killing a chicken with a bull's knife, hand to hand. Even if Lin Mou was more powerful, he was still just a newcomer who had just completed a transfer. It was as if he had already seen the tragic situation where Lin Mou was killed by a knight. The corners of his mouth revealed a fierce smile. At this moment, he looked like an abyssal demon. Seeing that the knight had already arrived. A skeleton warrior appeared in front of Lin Mojing. Skills erupted, and red light exploded from the great sword. The knight's face changed greatly, a sense of mortal danger filled his body, instinct told him that he would die if he didn't get it right. Without even thinking about it, he immediately raised his shield and blocked it. Level 27 Skeleton Warrior, 22,500 Powerful Strength Attribute Skills increased by another 200%. The attack power completely surpassed the knight's defense limit. With a loud bang, the knight flew out backwards and fell to the ground. With just one hit, it was already seriously injured. This result surprised everyone in the team. Prince Hao's smile stiffened on his face. He did not dare to believe it. The healers in the team quickly released their skills to heal the knight. Wang Jihao also reacted and shouted, Bowman. Mages, make a move to kill him. For a moment, spells and arrows poured in. There were a total of dual knights, three assistants, and seven outputs in his team not counting Wang Jihao himself, there were three archers and three mages. The attack power was very powerful. Lin Moshian snorted coldly, and in an instant, a large number of skeleton warriors appeared. With a clicking sound like lightning, they rushed over. The skeleton mages followed closely behind, releasing their skills at the same time. Fire, explosive flame. Water system, cold ice storm. Wind, tornado storm. Electricity, five thunder blasts. In an instant, hundreds of spells poured over, completely drowning Wang Shuihao and the others under their shocked gazes. The mages' magic shields were torn to shreds almost instantly. The archers had turned on their dodging skills, and their entire body was incredibly flexible as they wandered through the sea of attacks. Unfortunately, the spell attacks didn't just have single attacks, there were also ranged attacks. They simply couldn't dodge. Knights held their shields high, protecting their assistants behind them the healers kept using their healing skills to heal everyone. Miserable screams rang out one after another, as the skeleton mage's round of skill fire caused someone in the group to be seriously injured. The healer's skills healed them in time. The most miserable among them was Prince Hao. Even though he had his berserking skill on and his defense had been greatly increased, his level was too low after all, only level 20. With just one hit, he was almost seriously injured and dying. If it wasn't for the knight dragging it under the shield, he would already be dead. How is it possible, how can he be so strong? Why does he still have a mage-type summon? Prince Hao muttered as if he had lost his mind. Immediately afterward, the skeleton warrior appeared in front of the crowd. Hands rose and knives fell. Chapter 165, Killing, Corpse Explosion, and Robbing the Boss The skeleton warrior always took a while to fight the boss though that was because the boss life force was extremely powerful. Boss vitality was dozens or hundreds of times more powerful than knights of the same level. Even if they had the same physique attributes and could deal the same amount of damage in the same amount of time, it would take dozens of times longer to kill a boss. Knights always fought one-on-one -on -one with bosses of the same physique, if there was no healer behind them to heal. The knight would also be killed by the boss. It wasn't that the attack power wasn't as good, but the difference in vitality was huge. Because of this, the skeleton warrior played a far greater role when facing a professional than when fighting a boss. A few skills fell, and the knight was already close, to being unable to withstand it. Skill, Ultimate Defense The knight cast his last life-saving skill. The healer released the healing skill in time to heal the knight's injuries but even so, it could only delay it for a little while. They were already surrounded by the skeleton warriors and couldn't escape even if they wanted to. The second wave of spell attacks fell. Miserable screams rang out, the healer's skill was half a beat full, and a mage fell to the ground. Prince Hao saw Lin Moshian raise his hand through the gap. He remembered the terrifying skill that Lin Moshian had once used in the conquest space. No! Screams accompanied the explosions. After a loud bang, only two knights were left alive. The extreme defense skill had allowed them to save their lives for the time being. But it was only to live for a little while longer. They looked at Lin Moshian with horror on their faces. Unable to understand how a level 27 professional could be so strong. After seeing the sergeant's badge on Lin Mojing's shoulder, they knew they were finished. A two-star second lieutenant, at least 20 plus military honors how many demons and how many man-eating monsters did one have to kill to obtain that military rank? This was a representation of strength. He had fallen to the iron plate, and it was still the kind that was full of poisonous thorns that were going to kill him. 
Another team of eight from Dynasty Guild was already fighting the Battlefield Demon King. This team was clearly stronger than the one Prince Hao was on. The Grand Knight at the head was a second turn high profession, leveled up to level 42. A Grand Mage in the team, as well as a Grand Elder in charge of healing were also senior professionals. The other few professionals were also level 39, and taking down the level 39 Battlefield Ghost King was no big deal. Mo Yun was harassing them in the air, but the effect was not obvious. That level 40 second turn Archmage turned around to hold Mo Yun. His skills were so powerful that Mo Yun's protective light cluster was only able to block two hits before it was broken. Moreover, he had mastered several group attack skills, and Mo Yun was firmly held back and didn't get to play as effectively as she should have. Although this would slow down the speed of the boss, as long as the knight could hold out, the boss could still be killed by grinding. Mo Yun became more and more anxious. Suddenly, he received a group invitation from Lin Mashian. She did not hesitate to choose to join Lin Mashian's team. It's done so quickly? Mo Yun looked down and realized that Lin Mo Yi and Ning Yi Yi were running over. Followed by a few skeletons. The skeletons were also carrying in their hands. Corpses. It was the corpses of the knights of the group just now. Mo Yun violently turned around and looked towards the distance. There was no one left standing. There were only dead bodies piled up all over the place. Really killed them all. Mo Yun's heart trembled. Don't look at her as arrogant and indifferent, she usually just fought monsters and never really killed anyone earlier, when she heard Lin Moyun say that he killed people, she wasn't quite convinced. Now that she had seen it with her own eyes, she had really killed someone. Just as she froze, a huge fireball exploded around her. The unicorn grunted miserably and was sent flying along with her. Although it wasn't injured, it was still in a sorry state. The archmage let out a cold laugh after blowing up Moyun, as if he was mocking Moyun's lack of self-importance. Suddenly, he saw something flying towards his side. It seemed like a corpse? The archmage wasn't quite sure, a dark piece with blood seemingly dripping halfway down. The corpse landed at the archmage's feet, and the smell of blood rushed up at once. Dynasty Guild's clothes, it's one of ours. The archmage's eyes shrunk, and a creepy feeling came over him. But it was already too late, the corpses exploded. The magic shield on the archmage's body shattered, and the entire person was lifted off the ground it wasn't the only one, the entire party was attacked by the explosion. Then another corpse flew over. It flew above the team's heads and detonated in the air. The knight's life force was among the strongest of all the professions. The power of using it for corpse explosions was also the greatest. With two consecutive explosions, the team was instantly annihilated except for the knight. Only the knights, who were far away and beyond the range of the explosions, were unharmed. Mo Yun looked dumbfounded and her entire body went numb. She and the unicorn were trembling together, not daring to believe it. It was solved so easily. The boss team that she could not do anything about at all was so easily obliterated. How is this possible? It's hard to believe that I've been hit by a mental skill and am hallucinating. Did these people really die just like that? One question mark after another jumped out, and Mo Yun was unable to comprehend it. The great knight who was carrying the boss violently called out, Great Elder, heal quickly. He screamed twice, and still no healing spells fell on him. The boss's attacks were very severe, and without a healer, he wouldn't be able to carry it for long. Without a healer, he had no choice but to finally turn on the life-saving skill ultimate defense. The defense power was raised to the highest in an instant, and the boss couldn't do much damage to him. He took the opportunity to turn around and look, he wanted to see what the Grand Elder was deserting. When he looked back, he had a creepy feeling. The team was gone, and in its place was a skeleton that was charging towards him. What is this? Where did so many skeletons come from? Where did the team go? His first reaction was to flee. Buzz. With a soft sound, a large red light appeared above his head. He realized that the speed of the boss had steeply slowed down it wasn't just the boss, he himself had also slowed down. Red shackles appeared above both his and the boss's heads. Crap, it's a curse. He turned into slow motion as the skeleton warriors quickly rushed over and surrounded it along with the boss. The skeleton warriors erupted with skills that landed on its body. Controlled by the curse, it was impossible to dodge. He was still in limit defense, and the skeleton warrior's berserk strike skill did not do much damage to him. It only made the time of limit defense greatly shorten. He was unspeakably horrified in his heart and wanted to escape, but he was surrounded by skeleton warriors and had no way to escape. The skeleton warriors kept attacking him, and the time of the limit defense was getting shorter and shorter. Seeing that the limit defense was about to disappear, he fiercely shouted, Group protection! A light cluster appeared outside his body, looking similar to a magician's shield, a group protection skill it wasn't as powerful as limit defense, but it could be used for emergencies. It was his last struggle. Several bodies flew over his head. He heard a deafening explosion. 
The first explosion, the group protection collapsed. The second explosion, he suffered damage never seen before Za, most of his life was gone. Request flowers. The third explosion, consciousness disappeared, died dryly. Once he died, the battlefield ghost king went to its target, violently let out a sharp cry, and all of a sudden aimed at Lin Mou. The three corpse explosions did not do much damage to it, and Lin Mou became its first target of attack. The battlefield ghost king suddenly turned into smoke and dust, passing through the surroundings of the skeletal warriors and appearing in front of Lin Mojing. As it turned into smoke, the power of the curse disappeared after reverting back to its solid state again, the curse also became non-existent, as if it had been swallowed up. The huge palm slapped down on his head. Watch out! Mo Yun snapped back from her shock and hurriedly warned. Lin Mo Yen didn't dodge or avoid it, letting it slap down. He had plenty of confidence in his skeleton armor. Battlefield Ghost King, World Boss. Level, 39. Strength, 25,000. Agility, 20,000. Spirit, 20,000. Physique, 25,000. Skills, Void, Compulsion, Life Absorption. Characteristics, physical damage reduced by 50%, divine damage increased by 50%. Lin Mou had already checked the attributes of the Battlefield Ghost King with his detection technique halfway through the battlefield. Zero. In his mind, he had a rough understanding of the Battlefield Ghost King's various abilities. Its attributes were strong, and it had already surpassed the Skeleton Warrior in terms of strength and physique. Coupled with the 50% reduction in physical damage, along with the boss's strong vitality, the skeleton warrior estimated that he would have to grind for quite a while before he could kill Eid as long as he didn't have any control skills, there was nothing to worry about. Lin Moshian once again acted as a meat shield. The skeleton warriors surrounded the battlefield ghost king and frantically outputted, and the skeleton mages continuously released their skills. Physical attacks, mage attacks, the battlefield ghost king was engulfed. Mo Yun looked dumbfounded, it could still be fought like this. The next second she also joined the fray, the unicorn kept launching attacks. The unicorn's attacks had the divine attribute, increasing the damage to the battlefield ghost king by 50%, which had a very good effect. The damage the battlefield ghost king received in just half a minute was more than what the group had just received in 10 minutes. It let out a scream that pierced through the eardrums and ingested the heart skill, compulsion. Being in mid-air Mo Yun's gaze immediately lost focus and became disoriented. The unicorn hissed at the same time, waking Mo Yun up. Mo Yun broke out in a cold sweat, she was actually compelled. Looking at Lin Moshian again, it seemed like he was fine. Not only was he fine, so was Ning Yi. The skeleton armor shone and blocked the compulsion skill. Skill, life absorption. The battlefield ghost king cast the skill again. Invisible chains landed on several people and skeletons as the battlefield ghost king began to absorb life force. The skeleton armor shone brightly, and the battlefield ghost king could not absorb any life force at all. Mo Yun's unicorn similarly released a protective light mass, firmly protecting Mo Yun. As for the skeleton warrior, it originally had no life force and couldn't absorb anything. The battlefield ghost king roared angrily, but it was useless. Its life force was rapidly decreasing it had been vaporized several times, but it could only stall for a moment. When the voiding skill was activated, it was in a state of physical immunity, and it could also devour the power of the curse. That was just the skeleton warrior attacking boredom the skeleton mage's skills could still damage it just as much even in the voided state. Lin Moshian would also promptly replenish the slow curse after the voided state ended. Skeletons with no vitality and skeleton armor that was immune to all negative statuses completely restrained the Battlefield Ghost King. The Battlefield Ghost King was getting weaker and weaker. Mo Yun was in an excited mood and clenched her small fists, it's finally done. Geo. Chapter 166, You Stabbed the Demon's Old Home? Mo Yun had been waiting for this moment for a long time. Otherwise, she would have long since risen to level 40 and performed a second transfer. Everything else was ready just to wait for this Nirvana Soul Crystal to say that she wasn't nervous and excited would be a lie. As long as this piece of Nirvana Soul Crystallization arrived, she would have 60% certainty that her profession would be sublimated. From Holy Summoner, a magnificent turn, becoming a Holy Spirit Summoner. No matter the attribute strength would be drastically increased. The world only knew about low-level, intermediate, high-level, rare, and legendary five-level professions. In fact, there was also a grading in the legendary professions. Her divine summoner was only the lower level of the legendary profession. On top of that, there were two levels, medium and high. Only medium and high could not be awakened in the first transfer ceremony. They had to be awakened in the second and third turn of the transmutations for those who underwent career ascension. This was the case for everyone. Second turn, Holy Spirit Summoner, I must do it. Family glory will be inherited by me. Mo Yun clenched her fists and stared at the Battlefield Ghost King without blinking. The Battlefield Ghost King was about to die. 
The Nirvana soul crystals were also about to arrive. Her palms were slightly sweaty and her heartbeat was getting faster and faster. The thumping could be heard clearly. Finally, with a sharp cry, the Battlefield Ghost King was killed. Kill Battlefield Ghost King, experience plus 2,600,000. Obtained Ghost King Dagger. Gain Ghost King Long Sword. Gain Ghost King Crystals. Obtain Nirvana Soul Crystals Asterisk 5. Ghost King Dagger, exclusive to Assassin Class Profession Platinum Grade Weapon, full attribute plus 800, Assassin Class Skill Increase by 60%. Attached Skill, Void. Void, turns itself into nothingness for 30 seconds, immune to physical attacks, cooldown 5 minutes. Obtain Ghost King Long Sword, exclusive to Swordsman Class Platinum Grade Weapon, full attributes plus 800, Swordsman Class Skills Increased by 60%. Attached Skill, Bloodthirsty Strike. Bloodthirsty Strike, attacks based on one's own strength, absorbing life force and healing oneself. Cooldown time 5 minutes. Ghost King's Heart, the main material for making Ghost King's jewelry. Nirvana Soul Crystals, increase the probability of occupational sublimation occurring during the second crossing transfer. Battlefield Ghost King, as a world-class boss, even though it is only level 39, it can still drop platinum weapons. Platinum weapons are different from gold weapons. It has more attribute bonuses and greater skill increases. There was another huge difference. That is, many platinum weapons will come with special skills. And the skills attached have a random nature. Even the same platinum weapon had different skills attached to it. Some skills were very strong, and even if the attributes were almost the same, it was still a superb weapon. Some skills are trash, so it's a trash platinum weapon. Some primary platinum weapons had average attributes and trash skills, and they weren't even comparable to the top gold weapons like the Hell's Outpost set but there were some platinum weapons that had a divine skill attached to them, and they could become extremely rare. The Ghost King Dagger obtained this time, with Void attached to it, was a very good skill. Immunity to physical damage for 30 seconds, when facing a purely physical profession, it was simply a 30-second invincibility skill. It was a divine skill. Lin Mou threw the dagger to Ningyi, making Ningyi happy. She could naturally tell that the void skill was very good. This is for you. Lin Mo Yen took out a Nirvana Soul Crystal and threw it to Mo Yun. It was agreed beforehand that she only wanted one Nirvana Soul Crystal and nothing else. In Mo Yun's eyes, the value of the Nirvana Soul Crystal far exceeded anything else. Mo Yun carefully put away the Nirvana Soul Crystals, luck is good, it also dropped the Ghost King's heart. The Ghost King's heart is the main material for the Ghost King's necklace. The Ghost King's necklace is a very good piece of boss jewelry that is worth a lot. If you can't find a suitable alchemist. Saying this, Mo Yun glanced at Ningyi Yi, then let Yi help you find one. Ningyi Yi smiled cheekily, no need, Mo Yun is the White God's disciple, just leave this kind of thing to Lord White God. Mo Yun was taken aback. She didn't expect Lin Ma Yu to have this identity. What was Bai Yi Yuan, that was not an ordinary existence? Never heard of Bai Yi ever accepting a disciple ah. But Bai Yi wouldn't talk nonsense. Moreover, Lin Ma Yu's ability was really enough to qualify. Mo Yun said in a deep voice, you killed someone from the dynasty guild this time, especially since their young chairman died here as well, they won't let it go. Don't divulge the ghost king's stuff or you'll be in trouble. Even if you have Lord White God protecting you, they won't dare to do anything in the open, it's hard to say in the dark. Lin Ma Xian was also wary in his heart. He had killed Cleanly and hadn't let the news leak out. The only thing that could possibly go wrong was the Ghost King series weapon on hand. This weapon was, after all, too rare for ordinary people to obtain. It was easy to trace it back to him from that point. The president of the Dynasty Guild was a top-tier professional who had completed the third turn. If he struck out at himself, Lin Ma Xian didn't think he could block it. Ning Yi spat out her tongue, I won't use this weapon then. Lin Mo Yu nodded, thanks. The three of them quickly left. Before long, the Yuan battlefield would devour the bodies, leaving no traces behind. As long as Lin Mou was careful enough, it wouldn't be easy for the Dynasty Guild to track him down. Right at the time the Battlefield Ghost King was killed, many people in the vicinity received a corresponding prompt, the Battlefield Ghost King has been killed, and the Ghost King's heart has been dropped. Whenever the world boss was killed, the people nearby would receive a corresponding message. The message traveled far, and almost everyone in Battlefields 1 through 3 received this message. A large group of people opened their mouths in surprise. Heavens, Battlefield Ghost King, was actually killed. Battlefield Ghost King, isn't hard to kill, the key is that it's hard to find, I don't know which team is so lucky. Not hard to kill? It's at least a level 39 world class boss, how could the difficulty be low? There was once a team that found the Battlefield Ghost King, but they failed to kill it and were even killed in return. Do you really think a world boss is a joke? The Battlefield Ghost King isn't as easy to deal with as it looks on the surface, its skills are able to absorb life force, it's not easy to kill. 
For a while, everyone was talking. It was just that no one could think that Lin Mou's skeleton had exactly restrained the Battlefield Ghost King. Unable to absorb the life force, the Battlefield Ghost King was much better to deal with. Soon the news reached Wang Wei's ears. Hearing the news that the Battlefield Ghost King had been killed, a hint of joy appeared in the corner of Wang Wei's eyes. He knew that his guild was there searching for the whereabouts of the Battlefield Ghost King, looking for the Nene Soul Crystals for Wang Jihao. As a father, Prince Hao was naturally disappointed when he failed the grand exam. But what can be done when the result is already predetermined? Fortunately, the Dynasty Guild is not weak, the Academy cannot enter, then their own training. Get the Nirvana Soul Crystals, the second turn if you can complete the career sublimation, in one fell swoop from the rare profession to become a legend level profession, then it is entirely possible to realize the reverse moreover, he let Wang Jihao go to the Yuan battlefield, and the intention of exercising also existed. Anyway, with the team leading him, there would be no danger. It was possible to see what a real battle was like. Wang Wei thought that the Battlefield Ghost King was killed by their guild, after all, not many people were looking for the Battlefield Ghost King. I didn't expect to even get the Ghost King's heart, it seems like I have to go find an alchemist. Wang Wei was already calculating how to find an alchemist to create boss jewelry for his son. Unfortunately, Lin Mou and Ningyi returned to Fortress 1 through the teleportation stone and first went to the exchange to take a look. All of the equipment that had been consigned earlier had already been sold out. Even the most expensive Hell's Outpost shield had been bought Hell's Outpost equipment sold surprisingly well. After retrieving all the gold coins, they already had over 200 million gold coins. This trip was not a small harvest. The rank was raised, and he obtained the Nirvana Soul Crystals and the Ghost King's Heart. Gifted Divine Stone, Space Crystals with Abyssal Coordinates. Meeting the Remnant Soul of the Su Yin Divine Mage. Everything became a mark on Lin Maxian's path of growth. Went to the military exchange and spent military honors to buy some primary recovery potions. Recovery potions are really good, much better than life potions and spirit power potions. Unfortunately, they could only be purchased with military credits. At 100 military credits a bottle, the price was high. Only then did the two of them ride the teleportation array back to the Xiaojing Academy. Ningyi Strife cowered in Lin Maya's arms, closing her eyes tightly as she endured the discomfort caused by the teleportation array in Lin Mojing's arms, she felt much better. In the White God's small courtyard, Meng Anwen remained in the same position. With his eyes closed, his eyelids occasionally fluttered twice. There were times when a smile would surface at the corners of his mouth, as if he had seen something interesting. Bai Yuan sipped his tea, the day after tomorrow was the professional's competition, and it's almost time for Lin Kid to come back. I don't know if the task given to him has been completed yet. Old Meng, can't you help me out? Meng Anwen said softly, how pointless to look, keep it a little mysterious. Bai Yuan didn't believe his bullshit, you must have secretly seen it, right? Meng Anwen laughed, non-committal. Bai Yuan grunted, knowing that if this guy wouldn't say anything, he wouldn't be able to ask until he died. Anyway, looking at Meng Anwen's appearance, he also knew that Lin Mou and Ningyi were definitely fine since they were fine, that would be fine. Just as he was thinking, an energy fluctuation came from outside the small courtyard. Bai Yuan raised his eyebrows, Lin Kid is back. This was his territory, he knew exactly who had arrived. Lin Meiyu walked in, Meiyu has met Lord Bai Shun, Lord Meng. Bai Yuan returned to his serious appearance at this time, the old god, how was it, was the mission accomplished? Lin Mou nodded and took out the elemental crystals and demon crystals, finished. Bai Yuan swept a glance, satisfaction flashed in his eyes, not bad, not bad. Suddenly, he saw the sergeant's insignia on Lin Mojing's shoulder, his face changed slightly and he blurted out, you stabbed the demon's old home? Chapter 167, Three T's and Three Salutations, Disciple Greetings to Teacher a two-star second lieutenant, over 20,000 military honors. Even as Bai Yuan was taken aback but he knew that Lin Mashue was bringing Ning Yi with him. Killing an ordinary demon below level 40 was only 50 military merits. 20,000 military merits to kill at least 400 normal demons. What would it be if it wasn't stabbing demons in their old homes? Lin Mou honestly said, I killed some high-level demons. What? Bai Yuan almost jumped out of his skin. Could a high-level demon be killed just by saying so? It wasn't easy enough to kill one, but also some. Meng Anwen also revealed an interested look, Lin Boy, tell us what's going on. Lin Mou told the story of how he blocked the door and blew up the demon. After Bai Yi Yuan heard it, he laughed and slapped his thighs. That's hilarious, it can still be done like that. That flame demon king guy is probably going to be furious, he couldn't kill you twice, this face is a disgrace. Meng Anwen also revealed a smile, good job, you can continue doing this in the future. Lin Mou gave a hum, Lord White God, Lord Meng, I met the Su Yen Divine Mage in the Battlefield World 3, copy this time. Su Yen Divine Mage. Bai Yi Yuan really jumped up this time. What did you say? 
You said that you met the divine flame divine mage? Bai Yuan was excited and thrilled. Even Meng Anwen opened his eyes at this moment and looked towards Lin Mojing with a questioning look in his eyes. Lin Mou talked about her experience in the copy. Meng Anwen turned her head towards Bai Yuan after listening, with a look of forced laughter. Bai Yuan gave him a blank look without any good humor 14, laugh if you want to, forcing yourself to hold back hurts your body. Ha 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 ha. Meng Anwen finally was unable to hold back his laughter. The always bland Meng Anwen would suddenly laugh so freely, Lin Mou was somewhat incomprehensible. Meng Anwen laughed for a while before saying, so you're a waste in the eyes of senior Su Yen. Bai Yuan hummed, at that time, my profession hadn't sublimated, so it's normal for me to be underestimated. Su Yen was a figure from many years ago, and neither Bai Yuan nor Meng Anwen had been born in that era. Bai Yuan had also been to the third battlefield world, copy when he was growing up, and had also beaten the hell level difficulty. And it was all beaten. However, at that time, he wasn't alone, but had teamed up with others to fight the copies. At that time, the Su Yen Divine Mage did not appear. Perhaps at that time, Bai Yi Yuan was a waste in his eyes. Su Yen had said that he would rather rot things in his hands than give them to trash. Bai Yuan hummed, you seem to be going to this copy as well. Meng Anwen shook her head, I didn't go to beat hell difficulty. Bai Yuan was so angry that he stopped talking. His growth was a miracle, overshadowing every one of his contemporaries. Even he hadn't been favored by Su Yen like this, so it was obvious how demanding Su Yen was. Meng Anwen extended his hand, bring it. Lin Mou froze, not knowing what to bring. Bai Yuan said, take out the space crystals, don't you want to make it into an abyssal teleportation stone? There's no need to go outside to find someone, the best candidate is right here. Lin Mou let out an oh so splendid sound, understanding Bai Yuan's words in seconds. Immediately, he took out the space crystal. Meng Anwen took the space crystal, and a small tower immediately appeared in his hand. Divine Summer Tower Lin Mou was slightly startled, the tower in Meng Anwen's hand was the Divine Summer Tower. The Divine Summer Tower slowly rotated in the center of Meng Anwen's hand, looking very delicate and beautiful. I didn't expect that the famous Divine Summer Tower would be in Meng Anwen's hands. Lin Mou knew that Meng Anwen was very powerful, and was on the same level as the White God. It was only that Meng Anwen was very low-key and not many people knew about its occupation. He was even more afraid to use his detection technique on Meng Anwen a ray of light shot out from the Divine Summer Tower and landed on the Spatial Crystal. An arcane rune appeared on the surface of the Space Crystal and then sank into the Space Crystal. The Space Crystal began to change. The original surface that was as crystal clear as a gem began to fade as if it had been sealed, and finally turned into the appearance of a teleportation stone. It didn't look any different from an ordinary teleportation stone. Yet it could reach the Abyssal world directly. Meng Anwen threw the Abyssal Teleportation Stone back to Lin Mou, it's done, I've added the coordinate information of the human world in it, so you can use it to travel back and forth between the human race and the Abyss. But the spatial energy is limited, each use needs to be spaced one hour apart. Wherever you teleported to the Abyss from, that's where you'll be when you return. This was a two-way teleportation stone that could go back and forth to the Abyss and it was incomparably precious as only Lin Mashin could use it. Thank you, Lord Meng. Lin Mou sincerely thanked him. Bai Yuan said, that talent divine stone you mentioned, keep it well, it'll be of great use when you turn three. Also take out the divine flame staff, I'll go find someone to see if I can fix it. Lin Mou immediately handed the divine flame staff over to Bai Yuan. This thing was a legend level weapon, if it could be repaired, it would be very powerful. The human race didn't have many legend level weapons in total, so one more was one more. Then Lin Mou took out another item, Lord White God, there's something else I need to trouble you with. The Ghost King's heart was as white and flawless as the finest diamond. At that time, when Lin Mou obtained the Ghost King's heart, he was equally surprised. It was unexpected that a ghostly boss could drop such a beautiful gem. Bai Yuan wasn't surprised this time, Ghost King's heart, ah, you killed the battlefield Ghost King, so you got your hands on the nefarious soul crystals as well. Lin Muyue nodded, a total of five dropped, one went to Mo Yun, one went to Ning Yi, and three are at my place. Bai Yuan also knew Mo Yun, he he, the Mo family's girl has a big heart. Stuck at level 39 for over a year just for the Nirvana Soul Crystals. How can career ascension be that easy, but with the MO family's ability, she has at least 60% hope. Meng Anwen suddenly interjected, then with your white god's ability? That's naturally a bit more powerful than the MO family. Halfway through his words, Bai Yi Yuan suddenly stopped. Old Meng, you're not being fair. Meng Anwen said, aren't you going to compete with the old man, if you can't even do that, what are you going to compete with? But I've heard that the old man has already taken out that treasure. Bai Yuan revealed a look of disbelief, really? Would I tell a lie? 
Bai Yuan took a deep breath, I, Bai Yuan, have not been weak in my life though old man is so desperate, I'm not afraid of him. Lin Kid, take two Nirvana soul crystals and give them to me, I'll help you prepare for your second transfer. I don't dare to say anything else, but I guarantee that you'll have 80% certainty of occupational sublimation occurring during your second transfer. There is a 30% certainty of awakening a second talent. Lin Mouyu was shocked in her heart, this high chance, never heard of it before. Mouyun also only said that she had 60% certainty of career sublimation, as for awakening the second talent, not even 10% certainty. The talent awakening is too difficult, especially the awakening of the second talent, is much more difficult, the probability of geometric times down. Bai Yi Yuan continued, it's a pity that you're awakening your talent for the second time, if it's the first time, I'm sure that I have a 90% hope of getting you to awaken your talent. Lin Mou pondered. His talent came from the system. Did this count as his first awakening? If it didn't count, then in the second transfer, was it that he had a 90% certainty of awakening his talent? In his heart, he could not help but feel some excitement and even more anticipation. If he could really succeed, perhaps he would really become the three-talent professional that Divine Mage Su Yan had mentioned. In the history of the human race, there had only ever been one triple gifted professional. It was highly likely that he himself would be the second one. Lin Mou looked at Bai Yuan's somewhat needy expression and knew that for his own transfer, Bai Yuan might have to pay quite a price. Plus what Bai Yuan had done for himself before. Lin Mou was touched in her heart and respectfully bowed towards Bai Yuan, thank you, Lord White God. Meng Anwen shook his head, still calling Bai Shen Lord? Saying this, he glanced at the teacup on the table, meaning something Bai Yuan was also sitting upright, it was rare for him to sit like he was sitting. Lin Mou immediately understood and immediately picked up the teacup towards Bai Yuan to offer tea. Disciple Lin Mou, greetings to teacher. Bai Yuan took the teacup with satisfaction and drank it all in one go. Lin Mou refilled the cup and once again bowed respectfully. Disciple Lin Mou, greetings to teacher. Three salutes and three teas. Lin Mou saluted three cups, and Bai Yuan also drank three teas. From now on, he was Bai Yi Yuan's true disciple. Lin Mou's heart was warm, in addition to his grandmother, sister, Ning 650E. There is one more relative in the world. This teacher is not his teacher, the benefactor is like a father, a true family member. Not bad, these days you also worked hard, go back and rest. Tomorrow it's time to leave for South Rainbow City, our academy has already arranged a residence in South Rainbow City, perform well in the professionals competition and come back with a championship. Lin Muyue nodded, teacher don't worry. Bai Yuan said, don't be careless, although you're strong, there are countless professionals in the world. Maybe some professionals will cause trouble for you. A lion fighting a rabbit also uses its full strength, disciple understands. This mentality of Lin Mashuez, by Yi Yuan liked it very much. This was what was needed, to not take anything lightly in the face of anything. After Lin Mou left, Bai Yuan revealed a satisfied smile. For this disciple, he was incomparably satisfied. Meng Anwen also revealed a smile, happy now. Bai Yuan grunted, happy my ass, all of my savings for so many years are going to be spent. He, mouth is heart. Meng Anwen knew too well what Bai Yuan's behavior was just by looking at him, he knew that he had been happy in his heart for a long time. Bai Yuan said, I don't care, anyway, you have to help me this time, you can't let the old man compare. Good. Meng Anwen didn't refuse, he was also very satisfied with Lin Mou. Meng Anwen said indifferently, there's something Lin Kid didn't tell you, he and Mo Yun grabbed the Battlefield Ghost King, together and offended the Dynasty Guild, killing the Dynasty Guild's young president. Bai Yuan frowned, why didn't this kid say, Dynasty Guild, Lousy slapped them to death. Meng Anwen shook his head, he probably wanted to solve it himself, or didn't want to trouble you, a little ambition, very good. Just don't meddle to bother, just pretend you don't know. What I mean by talking to you is for you to keep it quiet to the outside world, and not to find trouble for your own disciples. Bai Yuan blurted out, does Lousy look that stupid? Meng Anwen was non-committal, pretty much. What do you mean almost? Meng Anwen stopped talking and continued to close his eyes Chapter 168 Military Family, Traveling to Southern Rainbow City Ning Yi Yi returned home, looking for her grandfather to show off. Two-star second lieutenant now, very not up yet. After Lin Mou came out of the White God's small courtyard, he contacted Zheng Tao Tao and agreed on a departure time for tomorrow. He didn't go back to his dormitory, but took the teleportation array back to Fortress One. There were still quite a few people in Fortress One discussing about the Battlefield Ghost King. Lin Mou heard quite a bit of news as he walked along. Have you heard, it's rumored that the president of the Dynasty Guild came over and was furious. I heard about it too, it seems like their team was looking for the Battlefield Ghost King, and the team was let down. That's right, Battlefield Ghost King, was fought by someone else while Dynasty Guild's team disappeared, what else would it be if it wasn't exterminated? 
This time, the Dynasty Guild's losses are not small, it's rumored that the young president who came to practice is dead. With a dead son, their president will definitely go crazy, I wonder who did it. No matter who did it I'll say voice, well done, who let them usually act as a bully and bully as casuals. The Dynasty Guild had a poor reputation amongst the professionals. Seeing them fall on their asses made most of the professionals happy. Lin Mou knew that this shouldn't be over. You can investigate if you like, but anyway, he would just try to do his best not to be exposed. He didn't have any regrets about killing Prince Hao. Spending military honors on the official skill cultivation ground, Lin Mou started summoning skeleton warriors. 100 skeleton mages were enough. There were 30 slots left, and Lin Mo Yan planned to use them all to summon skeleton warriors 10 skeleton warriors in a round, followed by meditation to recover mental energy. The military skill cultivation ground was far more effective than the primary skill cultivation hall in the academy, and it only took a little more than an hour per meditation to get the mental energy back to full. After only three hours, Lin Mo language military skill cultivation ground left. The summoning space was already full. 170 skeleton warriors, 100 skeleton mages, like a huge army. A single gold medal fighter gave Lin Mo Yen strong confidence. After doing this, Lin Ma Xian re-entered the Xiaojing Academy. These days, he had been at the third battlefield and hadn't been able to rest properly. This night, get a good night's sleep. Lin Mu Yu eh. Just as he walked to the dormitory area, he saw Xia Yang, Feng Xiao, and Zhuo Mei walking side by side. There were two other people with them. A knight dressed as a knight and an auxiliary Xia Shui asked, Where have you been? I haven't seen you for days. Lin Ma Xiu said indifferently, went to the third battlefield. Feng Xiao was shocked and had an unbelievable look on his face, you actually went to the number three battlefield. Then he saw the sergeant's badge on Lin Ma Yu's shoulder, and his whole body fiercely stood upright and performed a military salute towards Lin Mo Yu, Private Feng Xiao, meet the officer. At this point, several people looked at Feng Xiao strangely. Xia Shui asked in confusion, what are you doing? Feng Xiao said, he's a second lieutenant and I'm a private. When you see an officer, you need to do a military salute. Feng Xiao pointed to his shoulder, which also had a sergeant's badge on it. White with no stars. The most ordinary private. The first time Lin Mou saw Feng Xiao, she felt that his temperament was different from ordinary people. So you're from a military family. Feng Xiao nodded, yes, the Holy Sword Feng family, their ancestors were all soldiers for generations. Lin Mou asked, what are you guys going to do now? Xia Shui said, we're going to South Rainbow City tomorrow, and we're planning on practicing our tactics a bit more to get a good score. Who let you upgrade so quickly, otherwise, where would we need to go through so much trouble? Lin Mou smiled faintly, then you guys cheer up, you'll definitely get good grades. After Lin Mou left, Feng Xiao couldn't help but sigh, I'm afraid he's the youngest second lieutenant in our divine Xia Empire. Xia Shui was a bit confused, is it hard to be an ensign? She didn't understand a thing about the military. Feng Xiao sighed, very difficult. To kill an ordinary demon below level 40, 100 points of military merit. Ensigns need at least 10,000 military credits, and he's a two-star ensign with at least 20,000 military credits. You say it's difficult. Many level 40 professionals haven't even reached ensign yet. Several people were staggered. From the education they received since childhood, they all knew that demons were very powerful. It was already difficult to kill just one, but to kill hundreds of them. It wasn't even a little bit difficult. Feng Xiao's eyes flashed with hope, how did he do it? The next day, Ning Yi came to find Lin Mou for breakfast early in the morning. She was bouncing around in a very good mood. It was obvious that what happened yesterday after returning home was very pleasant. Grandpa was shocked by me yesterday. Ning Taran was indeed startled by Ning Yi. In just a few days' work, she had risen from a private to a two-star second lieutenant, it would be strange if she wasn't startled. It wasn't like Ning Yi was a top-tier professional who could exterminate a large swath of demons with a single skill. But she was only level 26. Lin Maxian smiled, what happened afterward? Ning Yi stuffed her food on one side, then I told you what happened these days, and then Grandpa got angry and said he was going to go tear down the White God's house. What is this with? Why did he want to tear down the White God's home, Lin Mou couldn't figure it out at all. Was there any cause and effect relationship before and after this? Ning Yi explained, said that the White God sent you to such a dangerous place, and I followed along without telling him. So that's how it was, Lin Mou was dumbfounded. But it's fine la, the two of them have been bickering for I don't know how many years, they've long gotten used to it. The other day they even went to the ancient Luo church together, raised the ancient Luo church to the ground, and by the way, they also completely killed that rogues guy. Lin Mou was even more speechless. I E Yuan hadn't told him about this. Needless to say, it was all done for himself. 
Bai Yuan was very good to himself, Lin Imoyu knew that in his heart Ning Yi also told him about killing Wang Jihao, and at the same time instructed Ning Tai Ran not to tell anyone. Ning Tai Ran of course promised with his mouth full, otherwise the consequences would be serious. After eating her fill, Ning Yi bought a bunch more food, reasoning that it was a good idea to be prepared in case she wasn't used to eating the food in Nanhong City. Lin Imoyu smiled and went along with her, it wasn't a big deal. As one of the few super large cities in the Divine Summer Empire, South Rainbow City wasn't much worse than the capital, Xiaojing City. Hundreds of teleportation arrays were lined up, and countless professionals kept coming out of them. For this 100th professional competition, the Divine Summer Empire was very well prepared. A large number of facilities had been built to supply the professionals who had rushed over from all over the world to compete. There was enough lodging, enough food, all of it was the best and they were all free of charge. Showing the powerful strength of the Divine Summer Empire, the Great Empire, never ordinary small countries can be compared. So many people ah. Ning Yi's eyes widened in curiosity. Never seen this kind of scene before, densely packed with countless heads, all professionals. Zhang Tadao smiled and said, this is still just the level 40 or below professionals. The high level professionals after the second turn are all in another place, and there are no less people than here. For a professional, it might be difficult to ascend to level 70 to complete the third turn, but to complete the second turn, most professionals could do it. It could be said that professionals below level 70 occupied more than 95% of all professionals. That was why the professionals competition, when designing the level groupings, only considered professionals below level 70. Professionals above level 70 would not come back to the competition and the professionals below level 70 would be differentiated into groups of 10 levels for the competition. This made it seem fairer. The rules had been passed down for hundreds of years, and now that it was the 100th edition, no one had objected to them for a long time. John Tao Tao had long since understood the rules of the competition and the residence clearly. She was like a big sister, leading the crowd to the Xiaojing Academy residence. Along the way, she explained the specific rules of the competition to the crowd. But this time, the rules are unprecedentedly grand, surpassing any previous edition. According to incomplete statistics, the teams coming to compete will exceed 100-000. Several people revealed shocked looks as they listened. Ning Yi -e -e spat out her little tongue, so many people, that's going to take until the monkey years. Lin Mou couldn't help but touch her little head. If she could think of a problem, would the top levels of the empire not think of it? There must be a countermeasure Zhang Tao Tao smiled and said, that's why there will be a sea election tomorrow. Only the teams that pass the sea election will be qualified to stay and continue competing. Although I don't know the specific rules of the sea election, but the empire has already announced that this sea election will eliminate more than 90% of the teams. I don't think the difficulty of the sea election should be low, we need to be prepared. Ning Yi did some math, even if 90% are eliminated, there are still 10,000 teams ah, that's a lot. Now you smile cheekily, the empire is talking about more than 90%, 99% is also more than 90%. Zhang Tao Tao added, the empire also said that all the teams in this sea election face the exact same difficulty. Relying on hard power, there's no point in getting lucky. The empire announced to the world that the competition will be absolutely fair. The three women were a fine one. Discussing nonstop and chattering along the way, they didn't give Lin Mou and Duan Gao a chance to interject at all. Lin Mou originally didn't talk much, so she just listened. But Duan Gao couldn't hold his tongue, and several times he wanted to interrupt, but was disliked by Miao Yu. Later on, he also honestly listened and stopped talking. This time, there were hundreds of teams from the Xiaojing Word House that came to compete. In groups of five, the teams were vast. Lin Moe searched through the crowd and finally revealed some disappointment, not seeing Lin Mohan in the crowd. Ning Yi noticed the disappointment in Lin Mayu's eyes and pulled his hand, don't worry, you'll definitely run into it. Lin Moyan gave a hum, maybe they haven't come yet. The crowd arrived at the Xiaojing Academy residence. For the sake of this competition, the Divine Summer Empire had built a large number of quarters for the professionals to live in Jiang Tao Tao went over to do the formalities and received a room card. Each residence had five separate cabins, just right for five people. A few people completed the formalities and then walked outside to familiarize themselves with the environment. In the residence, there were constantly occupiers coming in and out. As far as the eye could see, all of them were professions who were less than level 40. Apparently level 40 and above professionals also had their own resident velvet. Ning Yi -e jogged all the way over, I've asked, the top academies team isn't here. But it's confirmed that the top academies have teams competing, so when we pass the auditions tomorrow and the competition officially starts, we can go over and watch the game. The list will also be out by then. Ning Yi -e deliberately went to inquire, she knew that Lin Moyan wanted to find Lin Mohan thanks. A disgruntled voice suddenly came from the side, if you want to show love go to the side, if you want to roll in the sheets go to the room, don't stand here in the way. Chapter 169, Super High Elimination Rate, Not Just Talking About It. 
The owner of the voice was carrying a huge battle sword, his tall body reaching at least two meters. It looked like he was a warrior class professional. He looked at Lin Moyu and Ningyi with a dissatisfied face. There were too many people, and Lin Mojing and Ningyi stood here, blocking part of the passage. This man's physique was too stout, so he really couldn't get through. But if you can't get through, you can just say a good word. Now. Lin Mo Yen coldly looked over. The cold and merciless gaze made the big man shiver, and the aura on Lin Mojing's body made him feel even more frightened. This was the eyes of someone who had killed, in addition to being cold, it also carried killing intent it was as if he would pull out a knife and kill at the drop of a hat. The big man wimped out for a second, what for, there's no fighting allowed here, or else you'll be disqualified. Ning Yi reddened her pretty face and pulled Lin Mou, forget it. Lin Mou nodded and sidestepped out of the way. The big man hurried over, saying as he walked, what kind of person is this, with such scary eyes? He walked faster and faster and was gone in a flash. Zhang Tao Tao several people came back, inquired clearly, tomorrow's audition will be held on the seashore, where the empire built mountains and reclaimed the sea, filling out a large square. Niao Yu said, it's not just the sea election, the competition afterward will also be held there. Ning Yi hurriedly said, then let's quickly go and take a look. Zhang Tao Tao shook her head, we can't see it, it's been closed off, no one can get in until tomorrow. This was to prevent anyone from vandalizing the mess, everyone could understand that. Ningyi's Yi's eyes twinkled, then let's go get something to eat, and savor the cuisine of Southern Rainbow City. Eating had an absolute allure to Ningyi. Yi. Niao Yu also chimed in, yes, 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 I just heard that the Empire has prepared so many delicious food, food from all over the country can be found here, and 663 and all of it is free. What? Ningyi Yi let out a scream. Many people in the neighborhood looked at Ningyi Yi strangely, thinking that something had happened. Ning Yi hurriedly lowered her voice, Sister Miao Yu, what did you say about free? Well ah, uh, I only just realized that food and accommodation are free here, and the empire pays for it. Ning Yi was like hearing bad news, revealing a bitter face, I should have known not to buy it. Lin Mo Yu couldn't help but laugh out loud and touch Ning Yi's little head, it's fine, eat slowly. For this competition, the empire had deployed a large number of life class professionals. These cuisines were provided by the food professionals. It could be said to be all-inclusive, and it was available all over the country. Ning Yi had already picked her eyes out, not knowing which one to eat. Unfortunately, the ones here can only be eaten for two days as well. Today and tomorrow. After tomorrow, those eliminated professionals would have to leave the resident. After tomorrow, the entire garrison would be quiet. An elimination rate of over 90% was never just talk. The sound of waves came in bursts, and from afar, one could see the Azure Ocean. The curtain of light was like a giant bowl inverted onto the earth. It blocked everyone from advancing. The light curtain was not transparent, and the situation inside could not be seen. The plaza was filled with people, and as far as the eye could see, it was a dense mass of heads that were simply too numerous to count the Divine Summer Empire had claimed to the public that there were over 100,000 teams competing, and this number was only less and not more. The rules of the auditions had been made clear, teams entered the light screen. If you can successfully pass, you will be able to stay, and if you fail, you will be directly taba. The rules are very simple and very cruel. All teams are differentiated according to group, and the difficulty encountered in the same group is exactly the same. Level 20 and level 29 will all encounter the exact same level. There won't be any difference. Generally speaking, in the same group, the higher the level, the greater the advantage. But there are also factors to consider such as skills, equipment, resilience, occupation distinction, and the reasonableness of group matching. So everything was unknown. Lin Mayu's team, in the eyes of outsiders, was a very standard team knights, dual assistants, mages for long range, assassins for melee. Along the passageway that had been set up long ago, all the teams entered the light curtain in turn. From the time they stepped into the light screen, it meant that the assessment had begun. There were two auditions today, the team audition in the morning and the single audition in the afternoon. Lin Mou had to participate in both. After the team entered the light curtain, the image in front of them changed immediately. A long passageway appeared in front of several people. Lin Mou felt a sense of deja vu. The aura that permeated the passageway was one that Lin Mou had seen several times before. The first time was during the Grand Examination, the second time was during the Mermaid Island trial mission, and the most recent time was when Meng Anwen helped himself to the Abyssal Teleportation Stone. So the Empire used the Divine Summer Tower for the examination. At this time the test appeared in front of everyone's eyes. There was no passageway, and defeating the innermost boss meant passing the test. The rules were simple, without any extra requirements. But actually doing it was bound to not be easy. Zhang Tada shouted in a low voice, Duan Gao, add status. Duan Gao moved in response and quickly filled up the crowd with status. An aura appeared on the crowd. Strength reinforcement. 
Agility reinforcement. Defense reinforcement. Magic power excitation. Speed excitation. Berserker's soul. One by one, the attributes increased tremendously under the state enchantments. The four major attributes of strength, agility, constitution, and spirit all increased by 30%. And this 30% was the 30% after counting the equipment. The better the equipment, the greater the increase. The power of mage skills increased by 20%. Unfortunately, this status was ineffective against Lin Ma Xian. Speed inspiration, attack speed increased by 30% Berserker soul, skill damage increased by 30%, damage received decreased by 20%, and pain sensation decreased by 50%. These two skills were simply divine skills for physical professions. All the statuses lasted for an hour. With the status boosts, Zhang Tao Tao and Ning Yi's battle power increased by at least 200%. As for Lin Mou, having it was the same as not having it. Lin Mou looked at the long passageway, should we? Zhang Tao Tao interrupted Lin Mou, let's try it ourselves first, if we can't get through, you can go back on. Ning Yi also meant the same thing. This was a group match, so they couldn't keep relying on Lin Mou alone. Although they would definitely have to rely on him in the end, but now that it was only the audition stage, it was perfectly fine to give it a try. Good. Lin Mou didn't force himself and followed at the end of the group. It wouldn't be too late to make a move if there was a problem. The passageway was long and about 5 meters wide at the same time they stepped into the passage, a monster appeared in front of them. Lin Mou's pupils shrunk slightly. The appearance of this monster was surprisingly exactly the same as the abyssal demon dog. It was just that its aura wasn't as powerful as the Abyssal Demon Dog. This was a team created by the Divine Summer Tower based on the Abyssal Demon Dog. In that case, will the final boss guarding the level be the Dog Demon? Zhang Tao Tao took a combat stance while a detection spell was made. Abyssal Demon Dog, Pseudo. Level, 27. Strength, 2800. Agility, 3500. Spirit, 1000. Physique, 2000. Skill, Hissing Bite. The level was 4 levels lower than the real Abyssal Demon Dog, the real Abyssal Demon Dog was level 31 and the one here was only level 27. All aspects of its attributes had dropped tremendously. It wasn't difficult to deal with. Even if Jiang Tao Tao was only level 24, with full status, his attributes already exceeded the level 27 Abyssal Demon Dog it wasn't difficult to deal with it. Jiang Tao Tao chanted and launched the charge skill to charge over, the charge skill carried a huge impact and slammed into the Abyssal Demon Dog. Skill, Shield Strike. The skill was activated and the shield was swung up to hit the Abyssal Demon Dog's head. The Abyssal Demon Dog not only took a hit, but also fell into a stun state. At that moment, a shimmering light flashed behind it. Without realizing it, Ning Yi had already touched the back of the Abyssal Demon Dog. Skill, Deadly Strike. The dagger stabbed out, piercing into the Demon Dog with a thud. The Devil Dog collapsed to the ground motionless with a miserable cry. In terms of instantaneous explosive power, when an assassin said second, no one dared to say first. Those great power skills of a mage had to be brewed and prepared. Less than 10 seconds, more than a few dozen seconds which is like the assassin, instantaneous burst. It didn't seem too difficult. A few people showed some relaxation on their faces. Lin Mashue, however, secretly smiled, how could it be that simple? He who had gone through the great examination knew too well the paths inside. This examination had only just begun. Outside the light curtain, it was already empty. All the teams had already gone in and started to see the old nucleus. Dense words appeared on the huge light screen, all the names of the captains of the teams. Lin Ma Yu's name was among them. Originally there was a zero behind the team, but now it had turned into a one. Lin Mo Yu team, one. This one represented their current score, having killed a demonic dog. As the categorization changed, the ranking words of the teams were changing. There were a total of over 30,000 teams competing in the level 20 to level 29 categories. Right now, Lin Muyue's squad was ranked at over 10,000, which wasn't good or bad many people were paying attention to this match. The Divine Summer Empire had opened up the video broadcast to the entire world. Every country could see the match. As the auditions continued, the names of the teams changed in real time. Suddenly, one team's name turned gray, and its ranking dropped directly to the end. It meant that this team was eliminated from the competition. The audition had only started for five minutes, and the first team had been eliminated. It was evident that the auditions were far more difficult than imagined. A worldwide discussion was raging. It's only started for a few minutes, and someone was eliminated so quickly. It seems like this sea election is difficult. Of course it's hard, the Divine Summer Empire has officially said that the sea election will eliminate over 90% of the teams. 
what if we don't eliminate them, there are over 100,000 teams, we won't be able to get a result until next year. I think 90% is still conservative, it is estimated that at least 95% of the teams will be eliminated in the C election stage. Look, another team has been eliminated. At the same time, three teams' names turned gray and were eliminated from the competition. Those who were eliminated appeared outside the light screen, one by one hanging their heads in shame. They had lost their qualifications to move on. They didn't even get to see the real playing field. Those who couldn't even pass the auditions were not qualified to enter the real playing field. The rules were cruel and realistic. Chapter 170, How Else Can You Become the Top Student? Zhang Tao Tao droned. With her left hand shield and her right hand night long sword, she danced with vigor. Various skills were used in succession without any unnecessary movements, it was perfect. The three abyssal demon dogs simulated by the Divine Summer Tower continued to attack her, but they were all defused and avoided by Heron doing so, the pressure on the healers in the team was much less. Ning Yi Yi had already wordlessly touched the back of the abyssal demon dog. The dagger stabbed out, and the skill instantly erupted. Skill, deadly strike. There was a muffled thud. An abyssal demon dog died directly. Ning Yi's hand didn't stop, stabbing out again with her backhand. Skill, inner blast. The abyssal demon dog that had been stabbed let out an explosion from within its body, and was then blown away. Ning Yi finished off the two demon dogs in two hits, and it was a clean kill. Chop. Chanting, Zhang Tao Tao also decapitated the last abyssal demon dog. She gasped slightly, her chest heaving together. At this time, the passage was already halfway through. The number of abyssal demon dogs was also getting larger. From the initial one, there were now three of them appearing at the same time going further, four or five might have to appear at the same time, or even more. However, Jiang Tao Tao did not intend to let Lin Mou help. She wanted to see where her limits were. When playing a copy, it was common to face multiple monsters at the same time. This was especially true in high-level copies. If she couldn't even do that, then she would be ashamed of her profession as a knight. Jiang Tao Tao told herself in her mind that she was the one who was going to enter the top academy, she could never admit defeat easily. Giving herself a pep talk, the party continued to advance. Sure enough, four demon dogs appeared at the same time. Zhang Tao Tao once again threw herself into the fight. Ning Yi Yi, on the other hand, concealed her figure and waited for an opportunity to strike. Miao Yu carefully observed the battle, ready to release her healing skill at any time. Duan Gao, on the other hand, was somewhat idle. For the prophet, he basically had nothing to do after adding status other than Lin Mou, he was the one in the team who was the most empty. At this time, a large number of teams had already been eliminated from the auditions. A large number of team names turned gray and then disappeared from the light screen. The arrangement of the squads on the light screen was also constantly changing. Lin Muyue's squad wasn't advancing too fast, it was always in the center and was fairly stable. Bai Yuan also observed the audition. What's Lin Kid doing, why are his movements so slow? People have already hit 40 points, why is Lin Kid's team only at 23 points, what's going on? Old Meng, can't you reveal it? Meng Anwen firmly refused, can't. What's more, this audition isn't about who's faster, it's just a matter of getting through in the end. It's hard to believe that you still don't have confidence in Kid Lin? Bai Yi Yuan laughed, joke, Lin Kid is a champion, how can the regional C election be difficult for him? Then it's not, what's the rush? Meng Anwen, as the ruler of the Divine Summer Tower, knew everything that was happening in the tower. He naturally knew that Lin Mashian hadn't moved at all and had watched the whole thing. Otherwise, they would have passed the auditions long ago. Bai Yuan watched as more and more teams were eliminated, would the elimination rate you set be too high? Meng Anwen said softly, not too high. Those eliminated are basically teams with an average level below 23. Such teams would be the first to be eliminated in the tournament even if they weren't eliminated here. There is also a portion of the being teams that have an unimpressive coordination, and it's useless to keep this kind of team. The goal of the auditions is to pick out teams that are excellent in all aspects. And the difficulty I've said isn't too high, so even if the team's level is lower, as long as they work together well they can all pass. By a Yuan side seemingly helplessly, alright, you talk too much, you win. Finally, they waited for the five abyssal demon dogs to appear at the same time. Zhang Tao Tao chanted, control. Miao Yu and Duan Gao struck at the same time. Both the elder and the prophet possessed an identical skill, wind shackle. The two of them locked one each, directly controlling the abyssal demon dogs. It was only that their levels were too low, and the time that the shackles of wind could control them was still relatively short, a mere 30 seconds. But for Zhang Tao Tao and Ning Yi, 30 seconds was enough. Zhang Tao Tao quickly drew the remaining three abyssal demon dogs over, creating an opportunity for Ning Yi. The team worked together well. The five abyssal demon dogs were quickly eliminated. 
With Miaoyu and Duan Gao joining them, dealing with the five abyssal demon dogs was even easier than before Jiang Tao Tao also probably knew his limits. Without relying on others, dealing with four abyssal demon dogs at the same time was her limit. Ever since Miaoyu and Duan Gao started to participate in the battle, the speed of the team's advancement had obviously sped up quite a bit. This time around, Lin Moyu had truly become a loner, truly having nothing to do. Lin Moyu was quite curious about this feeling of standing idly by, following the group without any hurry. The ranking of Lin Moyu's squad began to rise. It gradually caught up. Gradually catching up from the center to the head. In the end, it ranked within a thousand of their group. At this point, of the more than 30,000 teams in their group, a large portion had already been eliminated. There were less than 10,000 left. 6. 7. Eight abyssal demon dogs appeared at the same time. Zhang Taodao and the others were, after all, too low-leveled, and the more they faced the ever-increasing pressure, the harder they fought Miao Yu gasped softly, both controlling and healing. For her, the pressure wasn't small. Duan Gao was almost the same. It had already been an hour since the audition started, and everyone's statuses were starting to disappear and needed to be replenished. Duan Gao drank a bottle of spirit potion and replenished the status of each person. When the statuses were replenished, Duan Gao sat on his but on the ground. Duan Gao had a helpless look on his face, I've used up all my spiritual power. Miao Yu also whispered, I still have 300 spiritual energy. Without spiritual energy, you couldn't release skills. Ning Yi also whispered, I'm almost done too. Although an assassin's skills had a low loss of mental energy. However, Ning Yi had been having to maintain a sneak attack stealth state, and her mental energy was also rapidly depleting. Originally, her mental power attribute wasn't as strong as that of the mage-type professions, and it hadn't been easy to last until now. Zhang Tao Tao also gasped, should we rest for a while? Ning Yi shook her head, or let's leave the rest to silent words, we've fought enough anyway, and we've tested what we should have tested. Duan Gao raised his hand, I agree, I raise my hands and feet to agree. Miao Yu nodded, almost enough. Zhang Tao Tao heard her teammates all say so, she couldn't help but look at Lin Mo Yen, trouble schoolmate Lin. Lin Mo Yen waved his hand, I should. Saying that, three skeleton warriors appeared in front of him. Running forward with a clicking sound. Eight more abyssal demon dogs appeared in front of them. The skeleton warrior rushed up and with a handful of swords, an abyssal demon dog was hacked to death on the spot. Level 27 skeleton warrior, 30 times increased attributes, 22,500 four-dimensional attributes. Against these weakened versions of abyssal demon dogs that were only level 27. Begging for flowers. Simply a knife one. Do not even need skills, seconds is just a word and just a second of work before and after, eight abyssal demon dogs had already been hacked to death. The three of them, Zhang Tao Tao, looked at each other in dismay. They had worked so hard discussing various tactical plays. As a result, in front of Lin Maxian's skeleton warrior, it was a matter of a single slash. This made them feel ridiculous about their various tactics. It was truly a case of people being more angry than people. Ningyi Yi consoled, don't be disappointed, Meru's skeletons have always been strong. Even a level 40 high demon can be hacked to death. This counterproductive consolation from Ningyi Yi made the trio even sadder. Duan Gao called out, ignore me, let me go cry for a while. With Lin Maxian, the team advanced at a faster pace once again. The score began to rise rapidly. At this point, the scores of the top few teams in their group had stopped changing. Their points had uniformly reached 200 points. That meant that they had killed 200 abyssal demon dogs as for why the minutes were not moving, many people could guess. They had already reached the final hurdle of the examination, the boss battle. Now it was up to who could come out on top. The boss was not something that could be dealt with easily. Not only does it test the team's cooperation, it also tests the team's overall combat ability. Each team had already pulled out all the stops to raid the boss. Lin Mou and the others had also finally arrived in front of the boss. Sure enough, it's a dog demon. Growing a wing, it had the appearance of a wolf dog. It was exactly the same as the dog demon Lin Mou Yen had once killed. As for the attributes, Lin Mou Yen was already too lazy to look at them, there was no need. The dog demon, with its nine shallow and deep demon dogs, stood at the end of the passageway, waiting for Lin Mo Yan and the others to arrive. Zhang Tao Tao was once again nervous, is this an abyssal demon? Ning Yi said, it's called an abyssal dog demon, but it's not a real abyssal dog demon a true abyssal dog demon is more powerful than it. Miao Yu asked in a low voice, can schoolboy Lin beat it? Ning Yi laughed, he's killed quite a few dog devils. A few people revealed shocked looks. Zhang Tao Tao believes Ning Yi's words, I can't believe that schoolboy Lin is so powerful. At this time, the three skeleton warriors had already rushed in front of the boss was. The nine abyssal demon dogs attacked towards the skeleton warriors at the same time. 
The shark teeth bit the bones of the skeleton warrior to death. The skeleton warrior erupted with a skill and a flash of red light on his sword, instantly killing the three abyssal demon dogs in seconds. Skill, corpse burst. Boom. 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 Three consecutive explosions, where were there any dog demons left, only corpses remained. Pass the test. A majestic voice rang out, and the group was sent to the outside world Lin Muyu's squad, which was originally still ranked hundreds of places away, suddenly seemed to be on a small rocket and shot straight to the top. The score behind them had reached 300 points. Lin Muyu's squad was at the top and their name became very dazzling. The rest of the teams that had always cleared the level could only rank behind Lin Mashu's squad. I didn't expect it, but it's the later that came first. How did they do it, solving the boss so quickly? This Lin Muyu's squad is a bit interesting, this name, how do I look a bit familiar? Have you forgotten? This year's national top scholar is called Lin Muyue. No way, didn't that just finish the big exam? How did he get to participate in the level 20 category? Maybe he upgraded fast, otherwise how could he become the top student? Geo. Chapter 171 No way, it's only been one minute? Standing in front of the light screen, Zhang Tao Tao several people stared at the ranking above in a daze were actually number one. The words were filled with uncertainty, disbelief, and various other complex emotions. Ning Yi didn't care, Sister Peach, this is normal, you have to know that the championship is also ours. Having been with Lin Mou for a long time, Ning Yi had long since seen it all. Zhang Tao Tao shook her head vigorously, it's not that I don't believe it, I just think that boss battle just now. It wasn't more than five seconds before and after, right? Lin Mou said very seriously, it could have been even faster. Zhang Tao Tao was speechless for a while. Duan Gao and Miao you also didn't know what to say at this moment. What do you mean, it could have been faster? Isn't five seconds fast enough? No matter what, it was good to pass. The C election didn't look at rankings anyway. The eliminated professionals and those who passed the C election would likewise leave the light screen, but they were not in the same area, staring at each other and would not meet each other Lin Mayu's side was currently empty. After waiting for a long time, someone finally appeared again. They couldn't help but frown after teleporting out and realizing that there was someone even one step ahead of them. The five professionals, while being surprised were more disconcerted. They looked at the rankings and knew that they were in second place. The person in the lead came over and said, who is called Lin Mashuei? The speech was not very polite. Zhang Tao Tao several people looked at him with displeasure on their faces. Lin Mou asked blandly, something wrong? The man looked Lin Mouyen up and down, you guys are lucky to have taken first place. Your name is Lin Moiwa, I'll remember. My name is Tang Sifei, you remember that too, when we get on the field, we'll beat you guys. After saying that he turned around and left Zhang Tao Tao whispered, this person is very arrogant. Lin Mou gently shook her head. Ning Yi said disdainfully, what's the use of being proud, shouldn't you lose or not? The three of them, Zhang Tao Tao, thought deeply. They could only count themselves unlucky if they ran into Lin Moi in this group. Next, more and more people passed the audition, and people were constantly being passed out. The place began to buzz with activity as well. The number of eliminated teams on the light screen was still increasing, far more than those who had passed. It seems like 90% is really just a conservative estimate. I think the teams that will pass in the end will only be around 2000. Over 100,000 teams had signed up for the entire competition. Among them, teams below level 40 accounted for about 70% of the output. 70,000 teams would end up if only 2,000 teams were left. That was a pass rate of about 3%. 97% of the teams wouldn't even make it through the additions, it was really hard but when the Divine Summer Empire said it was absolutely fair, no one would doubt it. So far, the teams that managed to pass weren't too bad. Many people came out and looked for a place to sit down and rest. After fighting all the way inside, their energy and stamina were all drastically depleted. After waiting for half a day like this, finally the last team also passed through. There was no longer any change on the huge light screen. The group competition auditions are over. A majestic and thick voice resounded throughout the arena. The following is the announcement of the results of the auditions. For the level 10 to level 19 group, the participating teams totaled 18,352, and 552 passed. In the level 20 to 29 group, the participating teams totaled 35,213, and 1024 passed. For the level 30 to 39 category, the participating teams were 20,011 and passed 502. This result was pretty much as expected, with an overall pass rate of less than 3% those professionals who didn't pass, please leave the premises early tomorrow morning. Occupiers who passed the auditions, please come to the competition grounds to gather early tomorrow morning. The auditions for single-player competitors will be held in the afternoon, please be on time. There was no movement after the voice finished, indicating that it was over. 
Let's go, let's go take a rest, I'll come back in the afternoon for the single player auditions. Ning Yi held Lin Mou's arm, time is still early, let's go to South Rainbow City to take a stroll, I haven't strolled through South Rainbow City yet. Okay. Lin Mou didn't refuse. After all, he wasn't tired at all, he had just walked for a while, it wasn't even a warm up. John Tao Da said, you guys go, I'm exhausted, and want to go back and rest. Duan Gao and Niao Yu also raised their hands in surrender, we'll go back and rest as well. Zhang Tao Tao's few people had indeed fought very hard. After all, the level was too low, and the Shamrock Devil Dogs weren't a small threat to them, so they didn't dare to relax for a moment. Although Ning Yi was also having a hard time, she was much better than them. At least now she still had the strength to drag Lin Mou to South Rainbow City to go shopping. As one of the few super cities in the Divine Summer Empire, South Rainbow City had a population of over 10 million. Walking down the road, one could see all sorts of professionals of all shapes and sizes. Ning Yi said, it's said that in the past few hundred years, Southern Rainbow City was attacked by Abyssal Demons several times, and once it almost didn't lose its defense. Luckily, some strong people came from the Shajing Academy and drove away the Abyssal Demons. Since then, South Rainbow City will have teleportation arrays at all corners. It doesn't matter even if one or two are destroyed, it won't affect Southern Rainbow City's ability to find rescue. Ning Yi spoke about some of the history of Southern Rainbow City. Lin Mei Yu also knew about these things. The big events that had happened in the last few hundred years were all recorded in middle school history textbooks. Among them was something about Southern Rainbow City being invaded by Abyssal Demons. It was said that that time, the Abyssal Demons came diving from the ocean and raided Southern Rainbow City. For Southern Rainbow City, it was an unimaginable disaster. The entire city was nearly destroyed, with over a million casualties. Because the demons had preemptively destroyed the teleportation array, the rescue became extremely slow. Now in South Rainbow City, no less than a hundred teleportation arrays had been set up, spreading across all corners of the city. If something like this happened again, rescue teams would be able to arrive at any time accompanying Ning Yi, she strolled around Nanhong City for half a day. Although she didn't buy anything, Ning Yi was still very happy. She had grown up as a princess, having everything she wanted. Buying things was no longer attractive to her. The key to shopping was not what to buy, but who to shop with. When the results of the morning's audition came out, the 3% pass rate shocked the world. Countless professionals issued queries. Some of the eliminated professionals also expressed unfairness. The Divine Summer Empire had anticipated this and made all the information public early in the morning. The good monsters that were set up, the strength, the number, the final boss. All the information was publicized one by one. It also explained why it was so designed and what the intention was. Let everyone shut their mouths. As long as one wasn't an idiot, one could read and understand that the Divine Summer Empire was trying to select a team whose battle strength, cooperation, skills, equipment, and everything belonged to the best as long as they could do these things, passing the sea election was not difficult. The 3% chance seemed low, but in fact, the number of teams that passed the audition was already the highest in history. In the afternoon, the single-player audition was about to kick off. The number of applicants for the single-player competition was even higher, reaching a staggering 200,000 people. The grouping method for the single player match was the same as the team match, with 10 levels in a group. Compared to the team competition, the single player competition is rather more popular. Because there was no teammates to hold on to, it could highlight their strength more. Do not need to cooperate, just need to do their own bold. More naked, more dry. There is a kind of fist to the flesh feeling. The same light curtain, the same venue, not the slightest difference from the morning's team competition auditions a bad premonition arose in some people's hearts. The elimination rate won't be high again. Just think with your toes, more than 200,000 people sign up, can the elimination rate not be high? In the end, it's not bad if 5,000 people can stay. I wonder what kind of test it will be. That goes without saying, it must be combat. It's hard not to let you, a warrior, heal. In the midst of the people's chatter, the light screen lit up. One by one, everyone walked into the light screen and entered their own separate spaces respectively. The entire process was just like a copy. Everyone entered their own copy without interfering with each other. Lin Mou let Ning Yi go back first before entering. Even if they also passed through the ground, they still had to wait for all the others to pass before they could leave, and there was no telling how long they would have to wait. Ning Yi hummed, then you be careful. Lin Mou stroked her head. Turning around, he was just about to walk into the light screen when suddenly a person blocked in front of Lin Mojing. It was Tang Sifei, the guy who had just met in the morning, the guy who was full of arrogance. Tang Sifei still maintained his condescension, his head raised higher than the sky. I'm going to compete with you to see who passes first. Lin Mou gave him a look, brainwashed. With those words, he sidestepped past him. Tang Jianfei said to Lin Mojing, you don't dare to compete, you're afraid of losing. 
Lin Mou ignored him and walked straight into the light screen. Tang Sifi gritted his teeth, if you don't compete with me, I'm going to compete with you, I'll definitely be faster than you. After everyone had entered the light screen, the light screen began to display everyone's name. The light curtain passed through the sky and enveloped the four fields. More than 200,000 names flashed on it. With a roar, the assessment officially began the rules of the single player test were very simple, kill the enemy in front of you, or be killed by the enemy. If you succeed, you pass, if you fail, you are eliminated. An abyssal dog demon appeared in front of Lin Mou. It only had the same appearance as the abyssal dog demon. The level was only 29, and its attributes were also drastically weakened. This dog demon was exactly the same as the final boss in the morning's team additions. At that time, it still had nine henchmen. Now, it had become a bare-bones commander. In the team selection, there were aides in the status and a nurse to add blood, so naturally it wasn't difficult to fight. Now that it wanted nothing, the fight was completely different. In addition to Lin Mashang. A few skeletons answered the call, a flash of red light, and a burst of skills. Then everything returned to calm. A few seconds later, another monster appeared. Hee <laughs> hee, it's changed to abyssal wolf demon this time. The level was raised by one level, reaching level 30 the attributes were still weakened, slightly stronger than normal level 30 monsters, but not by much. It was still the same skeletons, still the same swords. The hand rose and fell with the knife. This wolf demon died a very dry death. A few seconds later, another monster appeared. This time, it was replaced with an abyssal serpent demon. The level was raised by one level again, reaching level 31. Unfortunately, it still wasn't enough. A few skeletons rushed up and the snake demon died on the spot. Then the fourth, fifth, and sixth. Each time the monster leveled up by one, and the attributes went up as well. But to Lin Moshien, there was no difference. Until the seventh monster, the abyssal lizard that had reached level 35 was finished off by Lin Mou, the examination finally ended. A muffled human voice rang out from the tower. Examination passed. The screen turned, and Lin Muyue had already arrived outside. The name belonging to him on the light screen was clearly in first place so it turns out that you only need to fight off seven monsters to pass the sea election, it doesn't seem to be too difficult. If Lin Maya's words were heard by others, he would probably be able to spit out three liters of blood. These seven monsters were created by the Divine Summer Tower simulating abyssal demons. Although the level attributes were all weakened, they were all a shade stronger than monsters of the same level. And the skills and whatnot hadn't changed. One was higher rank than the other, and there was no rest among them. This wasn't a team match. Without status or healing, it was inherently difficult to single-handedly take on monsters that were several levels higher than oneself. Lin Muyue's name was shining at the top, and there was a number after his name, 7. It represented that he had finished killing 7 monsters. While others had either 0 or 1 numbers behind their names at this point, not even a single 2-inch how did this one called Lin Muyue get to the top? The number behind him is 7. Can't it be that he's finished killing? No way, it's only been a minute or so, and it's over? I remember that in the morning's team additions, in the level 20 grouping, the champion was also Lin Muyue's team. I remember that too, I didn't expect him to be so powerful. Chapter 172, Sister, Little Words Lin Mou passed the audition in less than a minute. It left a deep impression on everyone for a while. Lin Mou's results were too excellent, so excellent that it was hard for people to look up to him. When he came out, others were still fighting with the second monster. By the time he was bored and sat down, someone finally started fighting the third monster. That was when the eliminations began to occur. The elimination rate was still very impressive. For some professionals whose strength was not up to par, being able to kill two monsters was already considered very good by the third one, it would be difficult to continue. The monsters inside wouldn't wait for anyone, after killing one, in a few seconds at most, a new monster would appear, and it would be even stronger. There weren't too many people who could kill seven monsters in a row. Some people even analyzed that the elimination rate of the single-player tournament might be higher than the team tournament. There were constantly people being eliminated, their names turning gray. There were also constantly people who managed to kill monsters, the numbers behind them jumping upwards. At this moment, Lin Mashua's name was particularly dazzling. He had always stood tall, and no one could surpass him. After a full half hour, there was finally a second person who had killed all seven monsters. His name appeared behind Lin Mou's name. In the same column, he was also a level 20 leveler. Lin Mou smiled at the sight, what a coincidence. The second place happened to be Tang Sifei. Tang Sifei appeared outside the light screen with his condescension. After a battle, without any help, he successfully cleared the level. Raising his head with condescension, he looked at the light screen with confidence, and then his face changed drastically. He was in second place again, and Lin Mou's name was once again above him. 
He turned around and saw 14 Lin Moyu, who was sitting on the side and seemed to be in a daze. In a deep voice, he asked, when did you come out? Lin Moyu blankly glanced at him, earlier than you. Tang Sifi grunted, count yourself lucky, I'll definitely be able to beat you on the field. I don't know where this guy got his confidence. To this kind of person, Lin Moyu didn't bother. His eyes turned to another audition arena. That was the arena belonging to the higher professionals. Right now, it was also holding a single-player audition. He wanted to take a look and see if he could find Lin Mohan however, he would have to wait until all the auditions here were over before he could go over. Lin Mo Yan closed his eyes and waited quietly. There were more and more eliminated. There were very few people who passed. Many were fighting slower and slower. Many were eliminated only when they fought the fifth or even the sixth one. It was a pity. Finally, after waiting for a whole hour, the last people also finally came out. The light curtain was fixed in an instant and no longer changed in any way. Each group had a top spot. Obviously the exact same words, the exact same ranking. But in the eyes of others, they always felt that Lin Mou was the most dazzling one. The thick and majestic voice sounded again. The single player audition is over. The following announces the results of the audition. In the level 10 to 19 group, the number of participants was 32,512, and 432 passed. Level 20 to 29 group, number of participants 64,352, passed 752 people. Level 30 to 39 group, the number of participants 43,454, passed 499 people. The auditions are over, the professional competition will be officially held tomorrow. Countless people were numb when they heard this result. A mere 2% was less than the pass rate, eliminating 99% of the people at once. Everyone was curious as to what kind of hurdles the Divine Summer Empire had set up. It was surprising that it was able to make so many people unable to pass the sea election. Lin Mashiwe didn't care about this. The moment the end of the sea election was announced, he had gotten up and rushed to another sea election arena. By the time he arrived, the sea election in the advanced arena had also ended. The light curtain was still emitting a brilliant light, and the list of those who had passed the auditions was still shining brightly on it. Lin Mou carefully searched around, and amongst the thousands of people on the list, she didn't manage to find Lin Mohan's name, perhaps elder sister didn't participate in the single-player tournament. Sighing lightly, it was hard to hide the disappointment in his heart. Suddenly, his entire body was stunned. A previously unseen excitement surfaced on his always bland face. The entire person was trembling slightly. Not far away, the slender and slim silhouette greeted the setting sunlight, occupying the entire world. She smiled lightly. Soft and beautiful with a heroic spirit. Like the plum blossom and the cold wind, the fragrance came from the wind. Whisper. She was wearing a smile and her voice was so clear spring tinkling. Lin Mou took three steps to walk to Lin Mohan's side and hugged her. Sis. All the thoughts, all the emotions, all melted into this cry. Not only was Lin Mou excited, Lin Mohan was equally so. Tears at the corners of her eyes slid down silently, it was hard to hide her feelings of longing the setting sun shone through the sea, reflecting on the two of them like a beautiful painting. It was only after a while that the two separated. Lin Mohan gestured, whisper, you've grown taller again. I remember, a year ago you didn't seem much taller than me. Lin Mohan was tall, with a meter 75 or more. There was still a bit of a gap compared to Lin Mohan's 1 meter 85. Facing her sister, Lin Mohan was relaxed like never before. There were also a lot more smiles on her face. The two sat side by side under the setting sun, talking. Lin Mou still didn't have many words, it was mainly Lin Mohan who was talking. Talking about the experiences in the past year or so, talking about little bits and pieces. Lin Mou realized that her sister seemed to always be paying attention to herself. She knew all about her becoming a national top student and being admitted to the Xiaojing Academy. But why didn't she come to find herself? Lin Mohan's answer was that it was not too convenient the specifics were then not elaborated. Lin Mohan smiled, your words are still so few, how can you get a girlfriend like this? There are quite a few good girls in the Xiaojing Academy, you have to take advantage of them. Lin Mohan smiled, sister, how did you know I would come here? Lin Mohan revealed a sweet smile, because I'm your sister, I can naturally guess. Lin Mohan did guess that Lin Mohan would come over. Early on, she was waiting here. Footsteps sounded. Someone walked over. For people walked over, they were all wearing the clothes of the Xiaojing Academy, each of them had a special logo tattooed on their cuffs and collar. Lin Mou recognized this logo, the logo of the Creation Academy. Schoolmate Lin, who is this? The person in the lead opened his mouth and asked, while looking at Lin Mou. 
There was a compelling aura in his gaze, it wasn't intentional, it was just naturally emanating the people of the Creation God Academy were all top geniuses, and it was normal for their aura to be different. Lin Mohan stood up, this is my younger brother, Lin Mou. Lin Mou nodded towards him, hello. So it's little Han's brother. There was a clear shift in the man's attitude towards Lin Mo Yen. Lin Mohan said, senior, you guys go back first, I'll talk to my brother again. Alright, then you also go back to Yi early. The game is going to start tomorrow, and we still have to discuss tactics. The man agreed painfully. He then looked at Lin Mou twice more, and when he saw the sergeant's badge on Lin Mayu's shoulder, there was a refined light flashing in his eyes. For a short moment, he observed Lin Mou. Lin Mou also observed him. On his shoulder, there was the same sergeant's badge. A silver-colored second lieutenant badge with one star. One star less than himself. After he left, Lin Mo Yen asked, are they the members of sister's team for this competition? Lin Mo Han nodded, yes, these people are the top geniuses of the Creation God Academy, they are all very powerful. Lin Mo Yen laughed, I think elder sister is the one who was powerful, she joined the Creation God Academy only a few months after entering the academy, now elder sister is already level 40, right? Lin M. Ohan said softly, I'm not quite the same as them. Indeed, Lin M. Ohan also felt different. All of them looked like top geniuses and were very powerful. But compared to Lin Mohan, they seemed to be that much worse. This was Lin Mayu's feeling. Sister, what exactly is your profession? Why is leveling so fast? Lin M. Ohan was always curious as to what exactly Lin Mohan's occupation was and why her leveling speed was so fast. In the past, when she hadn't changed professions yet, Lin Mohan hadn't said anything about it. The two of them resumed their seats again. Looking at the sun that was gradually fading into the sea level, Lin Mohan softly said, My occupation when I first awakened was sword blade dancer, a legendary level occupation. Now that I've completed my career ascension by a fluke, my career has become a holy sword dancer. Shock rose in Lin Mohan's heart. I didn't expect my sister to complete her career sublimation. This was no longer something that was a fluke or not. Career sublimation always only looked at the result and not the process. The process and whatnot is completely unimportant, what matters is the result. Lin Mohan continued, 663, I upgraded fast because of my talent, my upgrading speed is more than 10 times that of other professionals. And after transferring to sublimation, the talent is further enhanced and the upgrade speed becomes even faster. Lin Mou finally realized why his own sister upgraded so fast. He had suspected it before, he just couldn't be sure. It really was the influence of talent. Talents were originally very difficult to awaken, and there were thousands of talents, all kinds of talents some talents were very strong, and some were trash. Professionals who were able to awaken their talent and obtain a good talent were one in a million geniuses. His own sister's upgrade speed was more than ten times that of other professionals, this kind of talent had to be said to be very strong. As long as she could keep upgrading up, even if the profession itself was a little bit weaker, she could use her level advantage to suppress the other party. In the later stages, a difference of one level could be a huge difference in attributes. What's more, would a legendary rank profession be weak? Plus going through career ascension and becoming a medium legend level career. It would definitely be stronger. Lin Mohan said, my teacher, he is very strict with me. I'd been practicing, and I didn't even have time to come to you. Regarding your news, it was still my teacher who told me. I didn't expect that you became a national top student, it's really great. There are a lot of little fangirls in the academy who like you, right? You just talk too little. Find one quickly and have a big fat doll. Lin M. Ohan was getting more and more outrageous. This was how her own sister was, sometimes she was serious, but she was never shy when it came to jokes. The two chatted for a long time until the sky was completely dark. Lin M. Ohan slowly got up, shall whisper, I'm going back. After the competition, according to teacher's arrangement, I have to go to another place to try out. Perhaps there will be another long period of time where I won't be able to see shall whisper. Lin M. Ohan listened in slightly forehead. When I join the Creation God Academy, I'll come find you. Lin M. Ohan spread her face and smiled, good, elder sister will wait for Little Whisper to come over. Suddenly she added in a serious tone, Little Language Ah, remember to quickly find a girlfriend and give birth to a fat boy. The elder sister is like a mother. Chapter 173, if you can't beat them, there's still Lin M. Ohan to cover your bases. The sun set from sea level, and darkness ruled the land again. Lin M. Ohan returned to the compound and saw Ningyi sitting in front of the house, looking up at the sky. Her mouth was reciting words. It seemed like she was counting stars. When he approached and listened, he realized that it wasn't. Dai Moyu, stinky Moyu, don't come back yet. Come back and I'll bite you to death. First bite the hand, then the neck, and finally bite. Ningyi's vicious look was very cute. 
Lin Mo wordlessly walked to her side and laughed softly, bite what last? Ah! Ning Yi exclaimed in shock, her small face turning red with shame. Unexpectedly, her broken thoughts were heard by Lin Mojing. Ning Yi's little head spun fast, trying to change the topic. Her big eyes lit up, she now Lin Mou seemed a little different today not knowing how to describe it, it seemed like there was an extra dash of anger. Then she guessed. Ma Yu, did you find your sister? Ning Yi blinked her big eyes and looked at Lin Mou. Lin Mou knew that Ning Yi was smart, she just didn't expect to be so smart, how did you guess? Really found it. Ning Yi revealed surprise. It seemed that Lin Moyue was happier to have found her sister than she was to have found it herself. Lin Moyue smiled, found it, chatted with sis for a while, that's why I came back late. How did you find it, tell me about it. Ning Yila took Lin Moyue to a side and sat down. Lin Moyue told the story. That night, the Divine Summer Empire announced the criteria for the single-player auditions. Everyone fell into silence after reading it. It had to be said that the Divine Summer Empire's standards were very high. Ordinary professionals simply couldn't pass. Those who could pass were all very outstanding professionals the fact that these people were able to stand out from the more than 200,000 applicants already proved its excellence. On top of that, there was another huge point of discussion, and that was Lin Mashue. All of them wanted to know how Lin Mashue had completed the audition in less than a minute. It was many times faster than the second place in the same group. The Divine Summer Empire didn't respond to this. People could only look forward to going to see Lin Muyue's performance with their own eyes in the upcoming competition. Early the next morning, the 100th Professionals competition officially kicked off. The light curtains that covered the entire competition venue disappeared. A giant ring appeared in the eyes of the crowd. The competition area for low-level professionals below level 40 was again divided into three blocks. Each block corresponded to a different group. There was one area each for the level 10 group, level 20 group, and level 30 group in each area there were 10 more rings, allowing for 30 matches to be played at the same time. Each ring was covered by a formation. It was guaranteed that there would be no danger to life. There were even a large number of healers on standby, so even if you were missing an arm or a leg, they could make you grow it back in the first place. The safety measures were head and shoulders above the rest, completely allowing the professionals to let go. This was only the area below level 40, there were also areas corresponding to higher level professionals with higher specifications. Several top level healers over level 70 were seen standing in the air in vain, ready to come to the rescue at any time. It really is a big deal. The Divine Summer Empire is worthy of being a powerful country, and the amount of money it spends is far from something that some small countries can compare to. These rings are built on the sea, ah, moving mountains and reclaiming the sea, truly marvelous. See, this is my great god Summer. What little stick, little cherry blossom, all have to step aside. Yes, 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 and count the sand brother who likes to jump around, all roll far away. The Divine Summer Empire's largesse shocked the world. There didn't seem to be any other country in the world that could achieve this level of success besides Divine Summer. The rules of the tournament were very simple, two against two. The winner advances to the top and the loser is eliminated. Regardless of points, only winners and losers. There is only one chance. The Divine Summer Empire was also telling all professionals that once they entered the battlefield and entered the replica, they would only have one chance at life in the face of demons and monsters. After announcing the rules, all teams sent people forward to draw lots. Zhang Tao Tao drew lots on behalf of the entire team. We are number 512, right in the middle. In the level 20 category, there were a total of 1024 teams that passed the auditions. Zhang Tao Tao drew the number in the middle. According to the rules, their first opponent was team number 513. The professionals moved quickly, and in just 10 minutes they had already completed the draw. The ring was then opened and the array roared. A team walked onto the ring according to their number. Zhang Tao Tao said, the teams were focusing on Arno. 18, no. 322, no. 599, no. 733, and no. 924. Among them, Team 18 is from the Eagle Kingdom, 322 is from the Holy Fighting God Realm, 599 is from the Cherry Blossom Kingdom, Team 733 is from the Vatican Sanctuary, and 924 is here from the Holy Dude Cult. The professionals in these teams are all made up of level 29 professionals, and the equipment is made with top-tier silver equipment, with strong battle power. Zhang Tao Tao hadn't stopped since she returned yesterday and had already inquired about the situation of the several teams she called a few over to discuss tactics. Lin Yu was directly ignored. According to them, they would be the ones to fight first. When they couldn't, Lin Yu would then make her move. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fun. A few skeletons rushed up, clicked a few times, and the fight was over. Lin Mou also let them do whatever they wanted. 
The professionals' matches went very quickly, when it was fast a few minutes was a match. The Divine Summer Empire sent a large number of people over to maintain order, and there were referees under each ring. The absolute fairness of the matches was guaranteed. No props were allowed to be used in the matches, however, one could wear the equipment they owned. Duan Gao flew over, I inquired, I inquired. Team 513, from the Southwest Academy, the captain's name is Luo Miao, just like Sister Peach, a female knight, level 27. Zhang Tao Tao asked, what else? There's also the double assist, archer plus mage combination. Zhang Tao Tao pursued, level, specific occupation. There was also a big difference between aides and assistants. Prophets were aides, elders were aides, and bishops were also aides. Even if they were all elders, there were different distinctions such as elf elders, elemental elders, selene elders, and so on. Only collectively called elders. Knights are the same, Zhang Tao Tao is an elf knight, there are other sword and shield knights, swamp knights, shadow knights, and so on. There are too many professions, and a little difference can lead to misjudgment. Not to mention what kind of archer is an archer, and what kind of mage is a mage. There is also leveling information and equipment information. Know your enemy and know yourself in order to fight a hundred battles. In the case where Lin Mou didn't make a move, they only had four people and their average level wasn't high. Being behind in numbers, if there were any more mistakes in tactics, there would be no need to fight facing Jiang Tao Tao's question, Duan Gao instantly turned into a bitter face and coyly said, didn't inquire. Miao you asked, that female knight named Luo Miao, she's pretty, isn't she? Duan Gao didn't think and blurted out, not bad. Ah. With a miserable scream, one of Duan Gao's ears was viciously grabbed by Miao Yu, no wonder you can't inquire, so you're mesmerized. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Not as pretty as you, not as pretty as you. Duan Gao screamed miserably. Zhang Tao Tao said in a deep voice, shall you let go, it's true that this kind of information isn't easy to inquire about. Those who came to participate in the competition must be carrying shielding badges, were of similar levels, and the detection technique is useless. It's already good that Xiao Gao was able to inquire about this information, let's discuss our strategy based on this information. Only then did Miao Yu let Duan Gao off the hook, humph, for the sake of Sister Peach, I'll spare you this time. Ning Yi smiled cheekily, we'll watch the fight and do our best. If you really can't beat it, there's still silent words. Truth be told, if you can't beat them, there's still Lin Mou at the end. They could play as much as they wanted. A huge light screen appeared in midair, and one could see the information on it in 360 degrees without any dead angles. The light screen would display the information of the human professionals in each ring. Knowing the information and observing other people's matches, one could learn a lot from it. A match was held continuously, and a team either advanced or was eliminated at a very fast pace. Some teams had even split the winners and losers within a minute, so it was evident that the difference in strength was very large. Near noon, it was finally Lin Muyue's squad's turn. A few people ascended the ring, while their team hand, Team 513, came along one knight, double assistants, one archer and one mage. A very standard combination. It was also the combination of most of the teams. While they were on stage, the team information was also displayed on the large light screen. Those with sharp eyes instantly saw Lin Muyue's name. Lin Muyue, level 27, necromancer. This profession, I haven't heard of it, is it new? Necromancer, by the looks of it, it should be a profession from the mage lineage, and it's very strong. Definitely strong, just look at his previous performance. Lin Maxian's name was particularly attention-grabbing. His previous performance was too strong. Being so prominent in the single-player tournament reminded people of the previous group tournament. Many people believed that it was also due to Lin Mashiwe that the team he was on could suddenly win first place. In the ring, the two teams stood on either side, 20 meters apart. Zhang Tao Tao and the other team's knight named Luo Miao were both in battle stances the two knights stared at each other with four eyes. Both of them were full of battle spirit. Luo Miao was level 27, three levels higher than Zhang Tao Tao. However, at level 30 or below, the difference of three levels would not cause a crushing difference. Zhang Tao Tao wasn't afraid of her. The other party also knew that advanced level 4 didn't determine victory or defeat, and they were likewise waiting in a tight line. The others besides Lin Mou were also ready. Only Lin Mashue, who had taken a few steps back, stood casually without the slightest intention to fight. This was also something that several people had discussed, he didn't need to make a move at first. If he really couldn't fight, it wouldn't be too late for him to go on. With a soft sound, the match officially began velvet. Duan Gao released his skills at the first time, prioritizing Zhang Tao Tao's status. Zhang Tao Tao let out a cry and launched her charge skill to rush out opposite Luo Miao did the same, her entire body was covered in hair, and she unleashed her charging skill. Charge skill was under the most commonly used skill of knights. Under the charge skill, a distance of 20 meters would arrive in an instant. Just as the two launched their charging skills, Miao Yu also launched her skills at the same time. 
Skill, Wind Binding. Chapter 174 Excellent Tactics, First Battle Victory. Luo Miao, who was in the middle of charging, lurched as her charging skill was interrupted by wind binding, her charging stance was instantly hindered, and her entire body lost its center of gravity. Miao Yu used this skill just right. Just as Luo Miao was affected, Jiang Tao Tao arrived with her charge skill. Luo Miao let out a cry, and with a bang, Luo Miao, who had lost her center of gravity, was knocked flying back. Jiang Tao Tao's charge skill didn't stop and killed into the opponent's team with vigor. The opponent obviously didn't expect this, the prophet's status hadn't been fully added yet, his own knight had already been knocked over, and the opponent's knight killed over skill, group provocation. Jiang Tao Tao unleashed the second skill while in the charging state. The provoke skill was unleashed, forcing the opponent's attention to be focused on them. No one noticed that at this moment, Ning Yi had disappeared from the field. Nor did they notice that Duan Gao's status wasn't given to Jiang Tao Tao, but was added to Ning Yi. And it was with the fastest speed possible that he added strength, agility, attack speed, attack power, and four statuses to Ning Yi. It wasn't until Ning Yi disappeared that Duan Gao turned around and added statuses to Jiang Tao Tao. The opposing four were blindsided by the sudden hit. When the archers and mages reacted, Jiang Tao Tao was already close at hand. A night long sword chopped over with a cold light. Blue light flashed as a magic shield appeared on the mage, blocking Jiang Tao Tao's sword. The archer quickly retreated a few steps to pull away, and a brilliant light erupted from his bow. Three beads in a row. One arrow turned into three arrows and shot straight at Jiang Tao Tao. Jiang Tao Tao raised his shield to frame it, and didn't continue to pester the mage, nor did he go after the archer, returning his hand to slash at the elder on the side with his sword. Back off. A chorus of voices rang out, and Luo Miao rushed back again. She got rid of Miao Yu's binding skill. Skill, provocation. Luo Miao unleashed her skill, forcing Jiang Tao Tao's attention onto herself. The mage cast the skill and a fireball flew towards Jiang Tao Tao. With a bang, the fireball exploded in 663 Jiang Tao Tao still grunted from the impact even though he blocked it with his shield. A healing spell landed on Jiang Tao Tao, and Miao Yu was the first to heal it. Jiang Tao Tao fell into the encirclement. With the knights entangled and the archers and mages striking at long range, Jiang Tao Tao was in a precarious position the knight's explosive power wasn't strong, and the other party had elders for healing, so it was impossible for Jiang Tao Tao to finish off his opponent. It looked like Jiang Tao Tao was already in danger. But no one was paying attention to where Ning Yi was going. Jiang Tao Tao fought Luo Miao, and even though there was a level difference of four, she was not the least bit fearless, but instead, she suppressed Luo Miao in terms of aura. She was enduring both the archer and mage's dual attacks at the same time, with Miao Yu constantly casting healing spells in the back. In this way, the pressure on Miao Yu was very great. The loss of mental energy was very serious. The opposing elder was also casting healing spells, and she was much more relaxed than Miao Yu. Suddenly, her entire body shook violently as a sharp pain pierced her heart. In the next second, she had disappeared from the ring and appeared underneath it she was dead, killed in seconds. With the protection of the formation, one would not truly die after receiving a fatal attack, but would instead be transported under the ring. The two huge wounds on her body were still there, and the sharp pain drilled through her heart. In the next second, several strong healing spells landed on her. The wounds quickly recovered, and the pain disappeared. Unnoticed, Ning Yi noiselessly appeared behind the opponent's healer, and with two consecutive skill bursts, she directly sent her out of the ring. Watch out for their assassins. The archer shouted, unleashing his eagle eye skill and seeing Ning Yi in her stealthy state. Whoosh! A sharp arrow shot towards Ning Yi. Ning Yi in her stealthy state didn't move as swiftly as she usually did. In the face of the arrows that came flying at her, she could only deactivate her stealth state. However, Ning Yi didn't retreat, but directly killed Luo Miao their team was without an elder and without a healer, so once they were injured, they couldn't be healed. The ability to continue fighting dropped exponentially. While Jiang Tao Tao was constantly receiving healing at this time, her fighting strength did not decrease at all. Luo Miao was anxious at this point, finish off their healers. The archers and mages simultaneously attacked towards Miao Yu. Duan Gao looked like he had prepared for this and suddenly took out a huge shield. The shield was erected on the ground at a height of over one and a half meters. Attributes and whatnot didn't matter, neither did whether he could make it move or not, big was the end of the story. Duan Gao topped the shield and protected Miao Yu behind him. The attack landed on the shield, and Duan Gao immediately screamed as exaggeratedly as he could. It was impossible for the shield to block all the damage. With Duan Gao's pitiful attributes of only being level 21, he instantly took a considerable amount of damage after casting a healing spell on Jiang Tao Tao, Miao Yu turned around and cast a healing spell on Duan Gao as well. Hold on a little longer. Miao Yu said in a low voice. Duan Gao gritted his teeth, don't worry, hold on. As long as the healer didn't die, the team's safety was guaranteed. 
It was precisely because of this that the strategy Jiang Tao Tao and the others discussed was to preemptively take out the opponent's healer. As an assassin, Ning Yi had a weak presence, and it was entirely possible to launch a surprise attack to take out the other party's healer in seconds. The results proved to be very good. Zhang Tao Tao several people had already taken the initiative. Lin Moyu looked at them and knew that this match was going to be won in 9 out of 10 cases. The opponent shouldn't have any experience fighting other professionals. That look would only play copies and their real-world experience was too weak ultimate defense. Surrounded by Zhang Tao Tao and Ning Yi, Luo Miao finally couldn't hold on any longer and turned on limit defense. Zhang Tao Tao switched targets the moment she turned on limit defense, unleashing her charge skill to instantly arrive in front of the mage. Skill, Shield Strike. Skill, Night Cross Slash. Skill, Night Cross Cut. Skills erupted continuously, instantly pulling the output to full power. In just a second, under the mage's horrified gaze, the magic shield shattered like glass. Ning Yi also appeared behind the mage at the right time. The skill had finished cooling down. Skill, Deadly Strike. Skill, Inner Blast. The two skills were launched at the same time, erupting with powerful damage. With a miserable scream, the mage disappeared from the ring and came underneath it. The fight had come down to the wire. The back-and-forth battle only lasted for two minutes, and the result was already out Lin Muyu's squad had successfully advanced. Several were especially happy, Ning Yi Yi jumped up happily, winning. Zhang Tao Tao also clenched her fists, winning. The tactics were excellent, and the win was well-deserved. The crowds following the match were disappointed. Lin Moyu, he surprisingly didn't move. For against five can win, I'll go, the opposite side is too much of a vegetable. Losing on inexperience, the other side is usually used to playing duplicates, they don't have the experience of playing against professionals. That's right, the healer got seconded in the opening round, so what the hell. It's a pity that we didn't get to see Lin Muyi do it, we don't know how strong he is. There's no rush, there's still a match tomorrow, he'll have to do it sooner or later. For Lin Mashue, today's match had already ended. The next match was scheduled for tomorrow. As for who to compete with, the match would be made randomly, I'm going to go to the higher circuit. Lin Mou wanted to go see Lin Mohun. Ning Yi raised her hand, I'll go to I'll go to. Zhang Tao Tao several people very wisely chose not to be light bulbs. They also had to observe other people's battles and learn against themselves. The battles in the high level arena were even more intense, and for the higher level professionals, their skills were far more splendid and pleasing to the eye than those of the lower level professionals. The two could see the colorful field from afar. Skills roared and energy vibrated, traveling far and wide. Here, 30 rings were similarly placed. They corresponded to level 40, level 50, and level 60 professionals respectively. It was just that the rings were even more enormous, with each ring reaching a diameter of 50 meters. Giving the professionals more room to move around. Found it found it, in ring number 5. Ning Yi had sharp eyes and saw Lin Mohan's name in a flash they quickly ran over. According to the rules, they couldn't enter the arena and could only stand on the viewing platform in the distance to watch the match. On the fifth ring, the battle was in full swing. Lin Mohan held her dual swords and stood on the sidelines not fighting. With her beautiful appearance and tall figure, she stood there like a goddess. Even without fighting, she firmly attracted the gazes of many people. The four people with her were all trainees of the Divine Creation Academy. Top geniuses with strong battle prowess. In the situation where Lin Mohan didn't make a move and the four fought five, they still beat the other party without any power to fight back. It was simply a crushing of strength, the gap was too great. Sister looks better than in the picture. Ning Yi saw Lin Mohan from afar and was instantly attracted to her. Lin Moyen smiled faintly, wrapped her arms around Ning Yi and didn't say anything at this time, Lin Mohan suddenly raised both of her swords and gently twisted her slender waist. Lin Mohan clearly only moved a little, giving the crowd the feeling of a beautiful dance. It firmly grabbed everyone's eyeballs. Lin Mohan was much better looking than a wonderful battle. At this moment, Lin Mohan also knew what it meant to be a holy sword dancer. A long sword appeared above Lin Mohan's head. The long sword flashed with holy light, shining in all directions. Lin Mohan's teammates similarly had long sword shadows appear above their heads. Everyone was like playing chicken blood, and their fighting strength sword. Originally at an absolute advantage, the opponent's defeat was a matter of time. Now that they were empowered by Lin Mohan's skills, their combat power had increased by a large margin. The opponents were defeated almost instantly and were knocked out of the ring. Lin Mohan's team was victorious and throughout the entire match, Lin Mohan didn't even make a move, just put two skills there. Lin Mo Yen was pondering, sister's profession seems to have auxiliary characteristics. Ee, -e, do you know the profession of sword rin dancer? Ning Yi -e -e thought for a moment, then shook her head, I've heard of it, a very rare legendary grade profession. 
It's said to be a combination of support and warrior, and it's a very powerful one even in the legendary class. Now that Lin Mohan was more than just a sword blade dancer, he had ascended into a holy sword dancer, becoming even more powerful. Lin Mohan's few people walked down the ring and disappeared from sight in the twinkling of an eye. Go back. Lin Mohan clapped her hands. As long as he knew that Lin Mohan was safe and sound, he didn't need to rush. There would be plenty of opportunities in the future. Chapter 175, One Skill Takes a Team Away. The first day of the competition ended. Once again, half of the teams were eliminated of the 1024 teams in the level 20 category, only 512 remained after the first round. On the second day, Lin Muyue and the others were going to play two matches. One in the morning and one in the afternoon. As for who their opponents were, they wouldn't know until tomorrow. Although they hadn't yet entered the actual finals, many of the teams that had performed well were already being remembered. Lin Mayu's team, which had won against their opponents by 4 to 5, was highly evaluated. Zhang Tatao was not overwhelmed by the victory, they summarized the various information they saw today and discussed tomorrow's tactics. Because it was 4 against 5, in the case that Lin Mou didn't do anything, the loss out was 1 less. So it had to be a surprise. Lin Mou listened to their discussion and was not very optimistic. The reason why they won today was mainly because the other party was careless and inexperienced. Once you have experience, as long as you hold Ningyi Yi and don't let her have her way, it will be hard for your own side to have a chance 20 sometimes, everyone's attribute skills and equipment didn't pull away. It was hard to make up for the disadvantage of having one less person. Lin Meiyu thought about her skills. The power is all too big, and none of them seem to be able to help. Once you do it, you are destroying the balance, there is no need to fight. The next day, the sun was just right. The big match continued. Outside the arena, there was still a sea of people, and the viewing platforms, which were large enough to hold a million people, were filled to capacity. It was already such a scene even before the final stage. I'm afraid it will be even more lively when we enter the official final. For a tournament with a million people watching, other than the Divine Summer Empire, there was no other country that could do it. On the ring, Zhang Taotao's several people's expressions were very grave they ran into each other with Team 482 in this one. The five people on the other side were very strong, they were either level 28 or 29. The five professionals were Sword Fighter, Prophet, Elder Selene, Elemental Mage, and Summoner. All of them were rare professionals. There were no knights. By replacing the knights with Sword Fighters, the entire team had more offensive power. Elder Selene could increase the mages, causing the power of the mages' skills to rise by a large margin. With the double boost from the Prophet and Elder Selene, the power of the Elemental Mages' skills should be increased by at least two times. Beside the opponent's summoner, a summoned beast was covered in black gas, sinking and floating. There were times when the summoned beast would disappear for two seconds. Shadow beast, this is a shadow summoner. Ning Yi knew there was trouble. The shadow summoner's shadow beast was known as the assassin of summoned beasts it possessed the ability to see through stealth while possessing stealth itself. Its explosive power was comparable to that of an assassin of the same level, and it was very difficult to deal with. If the opposing summoner used it to hold himself back, it would be difficult for him to get rid of it in a short period of time. Zhang Tao Tao looked grave, this one, it's not going to be a good fight. Ning Yi frowned and said to Lin Mashue, if we lose, I'll leave it to you. Lin Mashue nodded, don't worry. He was most relaxed now. Watching one match after another was like a child playing house in his eyes. The five people on the other side were full of smiles, looking like they had already won. In the last match, they were the ones who crushed their opponents and strongly defeated them. They were bursting with confidence and felt that they could do the same this time. With a soft sound, the battle began. Zhang Taotao, who was about to launch a charge, suddenly stopped the opponent didn't charge forward, but instead tightened into a ball. The sword fighters blocked the front, the elemental mages opened their magic shields, and light clusters rose from the summoners. They surrounded the prophet and elder Silin in the center. The two aides were adding statuses at a rapid pace. It was obvious that they wanted to be in full status before making their move. Very cautious, not giving anyone an opportunity to take advantage of them. Ning Yi didn't move either, the shadow summoner on the other side had already locked onto herself. As long as she moved, the other party would definitely follow suit and hold herself back for a short period of time. Duan Gao also flew to add his status. Miao Yu asked in a low voice, what should we do? The opponent was cowering and not moving, and had protected the auxiliary, so their tactics seemed to have lost their effect. Zhang Tao Tao also didn't have a good solution for the time being, take one step and see what happens, if it's not possible, there's still Mayu. Thinking that there was still Lin Mayu, a few people looked a little better again. It was fine for them to lose, as long as Lin Mou wouldn't lose. Soon, both sides filled up their statuses. The sky above suddenly turned red and a red cloud appeared. The rain of fire fell down on their heads. 
The opposing party's mage, who had the long-range advantage, was the first to unleash his skills. Spread out. Zhang Tao Tao shouted lowly, and the team quickly dispersed. Zhang Tao Tao unleashed her charge skill and charged directly over. The opposing sword fighter waved his dual swords in a cross like vein stroke. Skill, Sword Qi. The cross-shaped sword Qi was immediately directed towards Lin Zhang Tao Tao. Zhang Tao Tao immediately raised her shield to block it. With a boom, Zhang Tao Tao was knocked back by the sword Qi. The sword Qi spread through the shield and she suffered some injuries on the spot Miaoyu quickly threw out a skill to heal Zhang Tao Tao. What a strong skill. It was also Zhang Tao Tao's first time fighting a sword fighter, and she didn't expect the sword fighter's skills to be so strong. The sword fighter leapt up with a maniacal smile, and his dual swords danced crazily, attacking Zhang Tao Tao like a storm. The opponent was level 29, Zhang Tao Tao was level 24, and there was a gap of 5 levels between the two. Although Zhang Tao Tao was losing the battle, she still tried to fight back and did not retreat. Toughness was one of the knight's beliefs, and Zhang Tao Tao firmly adhered to it. Miao Yu kept releasing healing spells. On the other side, Ning Yi had disappeared. The summoner's shadow beast also disappeared at the same time. One person and one beast both went into stealth. No one else could see them, while Ning Yi and the shadow beast could see each other. The summoner beast quickly approached Ning Yi and attacked sharp claws were its weapons as it clawed down towards Ning Yi. Ning Yi dodged it and quickly drew out her dagger, coming down on it twice in the process. The shadow beast let out a miserable grunt, suffering some injuries. Then a fresh breeze blew past, and the wounds on the shadow beast's body quickly recovered. Ning Yi knew that it was a summoner, and a summoner's skills could heal their summoned beasts. A summoner was both the master of the summoned beast and a nurse at the same time. Ning Yi quickly launched her attacks while the summoner continued to heal. A 20-something level summoner didn't have many skills. Moreover, its summoned beasts weren't as powerful as Rhyme's summoned beasts. The difference between a legendary ranked profession and a rare ranked profession was not small. In terms of flexibility, the shadow beast was completely different from Ning Yi. It was just that with the presence of a summoner, Ning Yi couldn't do anything with it for a while the sword fighter held Zhang Tao Tao, and the shadow beast held Ning Yi. The mage held up his magic shield and attacked Miao Yu and Duan Gao. Duan Gao repeated his old trick of taking out a giant shield. Unfortunately, he couldn't block it this time. With the double boost from the Prophet and Elder Selene, the skill power of a level 29 mage was already no worse than some level 30 plus people. Duan Gao was only level 21. With just one spell, he was seriously injured. Request flowers. The second spell hit and sent him directly outside the ring. It was too late for Miao Yu to even think about healing him. After all, on Zhang Tao Tao's side, Miao Yu's pressure was already not small, and the skills in her hands hadn't stopped since the beginning. Duan Gao was knocked out, and the mage aimed at Miao Yu again. Miao Yu couldn't take care of his left and right, and the difference in level was too great, so he was soon knocked out of the ring as well. The sword fighter laughed, your assistance is over, admit defeat obediently, getting hurt can hurt, little sister. Knowing that she had already lost, Zhang Tao Tao took a deep breath and chanted, limit defense. Opening limit defense, Zhang Tao Tao made a last ditch effort. Zhang Tao Tao rushed towards the opponent's auxiliaries against swordsman Do's attacks. The two opposing aides stood behind the mage, who gently shook his head, it's useless. As Zhang Tao Tao arrived, a ring of fire popped out violently, directly shocking Zhang Tao Tao away. Skill, resist ring of fire. One of the mage's signature skills, forcing the enemy to be shocked away, ignoring the strength of defense. Zhang Tao Tao also knew that the momentum was gone and gave up resisting. Over to you. After saying that she jumped off the ring Ning Yi also appeared beside Lin Moyu at this time, she put away her dagger with a light-hearted face. Over to you. Lin Moyu nodded, you guys take a break, it'll be quick. Ning Yi smiled cheekily and jumped down from the ring. At this moment, only Lin Moyue and the other five were left in the ring. The people watching the match got excited at this point instead. Lin Mojing is going to make his move. Finally, we can see where exactly he's powerful. Necromancer, what exactly is strong about him, it's worth studying. Even stronger is limited, after all, it's only level 27, 1 against 5. Shouldn't be able to beat it. It's hard to say, I think Lin Moshin can win, didn't you see his teammates, they all have confidence in him. Many people were paying attention to Lin Mashiwa, wanting to see where exactly he was strong. In the ring, the five people looked at Lin Mashiwa with victorious smiles. The sword fighter shouted, your teammates have surrendered, why don't you go down going to wait for me to kick you down? Lin Mashiwa smiled and shook her head, her finger flicking up. A skeleton mage appeared in front of him, an ice-type skeleton mage. An undead system summon. The sword fighter suddenly laughed out loud, so you're still a summoner, why didn't you do it just now? Would it be a little too late to do it when your teammates have all lost? Lin Moshian remained silent, and his heart moved. 
the skeleton mage's hands lit up and his skills instantly exploded. Skill, Ice Storm. The temperature in the ring dropped dramatically. Large sheets of ice rain fell. The sword fighter, who was all smiles a second ago, changed his face drastically and screamed miserably. The ice rain fell on his body, instantly causing him to be seriously injured. Quickly heal. He yelled out as he rushed towards Lin Moshien. But halfway there, he crunched to a halt. The healing spell hadn't landed on his body, it wasn't the same as what he had thought before when he looked back, he was creeped out. His four teammates were no longer in the ring, and all of them appeared underneath it. Killed in seconds. Killed in seconds with just one skill. One skill took away a team. Coldness rose from the soles of his feet and went straight to the sky. What kind of summon was this, and why were the skills so powerful? One of his warriors took a heavy hit, and the mage auxiliary summoner with a slightly weaker physique was directly killed in seconds. At this time, the skeleton mage cast the skill for a second time. In front of his eyes appeared a large beautiful ice rain long. Chapter 176, This One Fight 5 A skeleton mage, two skills. A team was annihilated. If it wasn't for the sword fighter's thick enough skin, he would have ended up together with the first skill. Until the five people were eliminated, they still hadn't reacted. Why was the skeleton mage's skill so powerful except for the sword fighter? All of them were killed in seconds. The outside of the arena exploded. Countless people jumped in disbelief after seeing this scene. Although they had thought that Lin Ma Xian would be strong, they hadn't expected it to be this strong. A team that didn't look weak, said seconds. I'll go, is this Lin Ma Xian's summon? What a powerful skeleton. One skill kills the whole team in seconds. I know why he didn't do it yesterday, if he did it, nothing would happen to the other players. The straight guy's opponents feel sad, he's the winner of the level 20 category. What's even more tragic is the guys in the single player tournament, who can fight with him. The limerick skeleton mage shocked the entire arena. It wasn't just the audience outside the arena that was talking about it, the trend had spread to the whole country and even the whole world. The profession of necromancer was also well known. Some scholars specializing in the study of various professions said that the profession of necromancer had never appeared in the history of the human race. It was a completely new and unknown profession. Moreover, this profession was directly defined as a legend-level profession. Of course, whether or not it was a legendary-level occupation depended on the subsequent performance. Some professions started out strong and began to weaken after the second turn it wasn't as if there were no such professions. Ningyi -e sighed, I propose that we start the next game by letting silent words do it directly. Duan Gao raised his hand in agreement, I think so. It was already the limit to win one game yesterday, after all, I'm only missing one person and my level is still so low. Miao Yu also spoke up, the team behind us is getting stronger, we shouldn't have a chance. How could Zhang Tao Tao not know this? Fortunately, they had won the first game and knew their strength. The teams behind them were indeed getting stronger and stronger. After this round, there were only 256 teams left by the afternoon. None of them were good enough to deal with. All right then, let school brother Lin do it, and we can take a break as well. Opinions passed unanimously, Ning Yi smiled cheekily and pulled Lin Mashue, it'll be hard on you then. Small matter. Lin Mou was indifferent. He was rushing towards the champion rewards anyway the sparkling beginner skill scroll, he was bound to get it. There was also a magical potion that could be given to Ning Yi. The winner of the single player tournament was also a magical potion, for himself. The rest of the gold coin rewards, everyone would share. This was something that had been agreed upon beforehand. Originally, Zhang Taodao's few were stating that they didn't want anything. After taking the championship, the academy would reward points and contribution points, that alone was enough. But then Lin Mou insisted that the gold coins had to be shared by everyone, so they agreed. Time quickly arrived in the afternoon. Once again, it was Lin Mou's squad's turn. When they ascended the ring, they saw some familiar people. These few people Lin Mou recognized, all of them were ordinary students of the Xiaojing Academy and all of them had let him lead a copy of, Tyrant Desert. The Xiaojing Academy was the highest academy in the Xinxia Empire even if they were just ordinary students in the academy, they were all first-class geniuses outside. They might be the top student in any city or province. Not being able to pass the, Tyrant Desert, copy sometimes had nothing to do with strength, but was also somewhat related to luck. The team they had formed was able to pass the auditions and make it to the third round, and Lin and Mou didn't feel strange at all. They also knew Lin Mashue, and one by one, their faces showed odd colors. Fighting against Lin Mashue? Might as well find a block of tofu and run over it. After the start of the match, both sides fell into a bizarre silence. They didn't add statuses or release skills. Lin Mou just watched them to see what they were going to do. After half a minute, these few people suddenly saluted towards Lin Mojing at the same time. Big brother Lin, goodbye. 
Big Brother Lin, cheers. Big Brother Lin, take the championship. Several people jumped down from the ring and directly admitted defeat Duan Gao was surprised, I'll go, why are they so dry? Lin Muyue said, because they know they can't beat me, so they might as well simply admit defeat. Ning Yi laughed, these people are quite sensible. The ones from the same academy all know Moyu, and knowing that they can't beat me, they naturally won't make a fool of themselves. Zhang Tao Tao whispered. Winning without a fight. At first others didn't know what was going on. Later, when someone said that they and Lin Moyu were both from the Shajing school, they understood. With the knowledge that they couldn't beat them, they might as well just admit defeat. At the end of the second day's competition, only one-eighth of the remaining teams were left. Of the 1024 teams in the level 20 category, only 128 remained. This was still the largest number, and there were even fewer teams in other categories. In the level 30 category, there were only 62 teams left. There were more or less teams in each group, and the arrangements for the matches were also different Lin Maya's level 20 group would have four matches tomorrow. After the matches, there would only be eight teams left. These eight teams would play the final match the day after tomorrow, directly determining the first and second place winners. As the number of people decreased, the process of the matches became faster the further back they went. With the presence of top-notch healers, there was no need to think about injuries at all. Even if you ran out of physical energy, you were given an instant replenishment. There was no problem with fairness. Lin Mo Yan also followed the progress of the higher circuit. Lin Mohan's squad was similarly riding high. Currently, it seemed all but unbeatable. On this day, the fame of the profession of necromancer spread all over the world. At the same time, as the tournament rounds progressed, the name of holy sword dancer Lin Molan also spread. A legend ranked profession was already very powerful, and he was able to complete his profession sublimation during his second transfer. Lin Mohan's future was unlimited. In the White God's small courtyard, Meng Anwen closed his eyes and whispered, Is it good for Lin Kid to be so high profile? Bai Yuan didn't think so, what's wrong with that? It's to let the world know that Laozi is not to be messed with. Meng Anwen didn't quite agree with Bai Yuan's opinion but being too high profile will also cause enemies, the Eagle Kingdom, the people of the Holy Dipper God's domain aren't honest. Bai Yuan sneered, I'm still afraid that they won't come out. A few times before, they made hidden moves and I wasn't able to find evidence. If they dare to make a move this time, I'll let them know what it means to feel pain. A murderous streak flickered in Meng Anwen's eyes, so you're planning to let Kid Lin be the bait, and you're the one who told him to be so high profile? Bai Yuan sneered, it wasn't me who let it happen, it was me and Lin Kid who discussed it those geniuses from some years ago, they couldn't die in vain, they were the geniuses of our divine summer empire. Lin Kid also agreed. Also, as far as I know, on the old man's side, he also intends to let Lin Mohan be the bait to hook the hidden viper out. Meng Anwen said in a deep voice, a necromancer who doesn't know the depths and a sacred sword dancer who has completed professional ascension are indeed qualified enough. I didn't realize that they were still two siblings, this pair of siblings talent is truly enviable. Bai Yuan said, the higher the talent, the more you can catch fish, this time, if you can't get it right, you'll have to go on a killing spree. Meng Anwen also sighed, it's been a long time since I've moved, it's almost time to get moving. Killing intent filled the white god's small courtyard and the temperature plummeted. The professional's competition was on its third day. This time, it was the last day of the group preliminaries. Starting tomorrow was the group finals. The group finals only lasted for one day, and the winners and runners-up would be sorted out in one day. After the team competition was over, there was the single player competition which was even more eye-catching. Compared to the team competition, the single competition is more worth looking forward to. The kind of matches where there was no coordination, no various statuses, and only relied on the professional's own abilities were more appealing. For today's first match, we are playing against a player from Team 114. The match results were already out there were already no weak teams that could make it this far. The average level of each remaining team would not be lower than level 28. Those like Zhang Tao Tao and Duan Gaomiao you were absolutely unique. Not to mention them, they couldn't even find any level 26 or 27. In the level 20 group, Lin Maoyu's group had the lowest average level, bar none. However, it was this team, with this level, that was considered to have the highest possibility of winning the championship in the level 20 category. Some people even thought that Lin Moyu was 100% likely to win the championship, there was no suspense. This time Zhang Tao Tao had stopped inquiring about his opponent's information. Lin Moyu had already made his move, there was no need to inquire anymore. Just leave the rest to him, what tactics, what skills, all meaningless before absolute strength. The five members of Team 114 ascended the ring. Zhang Tao Tao several people took several steps back to give Lin Moyuan space obviously this time, Lin Muyue was going to fight five. The five people on the other side, their gazes were tightly double focused on Lin Moyu, and it was clear that they had no intention of giving up. The configuration of the team of five was a bit strange. 
it wasn't the same as the usual configuration. An auxiliary, four archers. This auxiliary was not a prophet, but an auxiliary named War King. Lin Muyue didn't know much about the profession of War King, only that he was known as the best auxiliary for copies. He could add status as well as heal. He has the advantages of being both an aide and a nurse. Just this profession awakened rare, very difficult to find. The mainstream is still profit plus milkmaid. One auxiliary, for archers, their approach is bound to be raiding. Lin Maxian, we know you're strong. But, we're not to be messed with either. We have ways to deal with you, you're bound to lose. A few people stared at Lin Moiwe, their longbows clenched in their hands, clearly prepared although they were speaking easily, a few people were obviously a little nervous. The match officially began as a skeleton mage appeared beside Lin Maxian. The Battle King Auxiliary simultaneously cast his skills. With a roar, a circle of statuses appeared on the four archers at the same time. The War King Auxiliary added statuses, unlike the Prophet who needed to add them one by one, but the whole group added them together. This was somewhat similar to Legion Overlord. The skeleton mages were still casting their skills, and ice storms were falling one after another. The four archers were very fast and quickly avoided it. At the same time a sharp arrow shot towards the skeleton mage. Skill, impact arrow. With a bang, the skeleton mage froze in place and didn't move. The impact arrow came with a stun effect, knocking out the skeleton mage. Good idea. Control the skeleton mage and then deal with Limerick. The best way to deal with the summoner is to take care of the summoner himself. Now Lin Mashue is in trouble, unless the summoner reaches the legendary level, it's still a disadvantage to fight alone. It's hard to say, Lin Mashue definitely has a way to deal with it. Only those who understood Lin Mashue knew that controlling a skeleton mage wanted to deal with Lin Mashue. That's ridiculous. Chapter 177 Legendary Profession, Divine Swordsman, Lin Moyu is going to be finished. Seeing the skeleton mage being controlled, the four archers smiled. There were four of them, and they took turns using their skills to ensure that the skeleton mage couldn't move. The Battle King's aide flew to add skills, and in just two seconds, the full set of skills were added. With and without status, there was at least a threefold difference in the archer's battle power. They had completely spread out, each maintaining a large distance, not giving Lin Moshin a chance to kill the group. After controlling the skeleton mage, the bowman began to attack Lin Emoyu Lin Emoyu didn't care, with the skeleton armor in place, standing and letting them fight until nightfall couldn't even hurt himself. With a slight movement of his finger, another skeleton mage appeared. This time it was a fire skeleton mage. There's more. The four archers were startled at the same time, a hint of panic spreading across their faces. As soon as the skeleton mage appeared, he immediately threw out a skill. Skill, explosive flame. With a loud boom, a bowman screamed miserably as he was blown away. Luckily, he dodged quickly and only grazed the edge. The Battle King's aide immediately cast a healing skill. As well as adding status, the Battle King's auxiliary's healing skill was also available to all of them. The four archers had light coming out of their bodies at the same time, and the healing skills came into play. The bowmen who were injured by the blast recovered quickly from their injuries. The skeleton mage blocked in front of Lin Moshian and took the opponent's attacks hard although the skeleton mage's physique wasn't as good as the skeleton warriors, it was still much stronger than these little guys who were less than level 30. This level of attack was just scratching an itch for it. The field boiled over. Lin Moshian could now be said to be the center of attention in the entire arena. Many people had come to see him. Heavens, he has more than one skeleton 14 skeletons. The second skeleton is a fire type. Then will there be a wind type, electric type skeleton? It's hard, maybe there will be, in that case, it'll be hard to defeat Lin Moshien. Bang! Another impact arrow landed on the fire-type skeleton mage. The fire skeleton mage also fell into a stun state and was temporarily immobilized. Although two skeleton mages had appeared, they were still within control. Taking turns to control them, they could still spare a hand to deal with Lin Moshien. As long as... The thought had just risen when his pupils suddenly shrunk violently, almost spitting out a mouthful of old blood another skeleton mage appeared beside Lin Moyu. Wind type skeleton mage. Skill, tornado windstorm. The tornado whistled away, targeting none other than the Battle King Auxiliary. Dodge. The archers yelled. The Battle King Auxiliary also reacted quickly and quickly dodged, only being grazed by the tornado. Even so, he was still heavily injured. Hurrying to heal himself. Bang. The third impact arrow landed on the wind skeleton mage. At the same time, a fourth skeleton mage appeared. Electricity type skeleton mage. There's more. The four were near despair. How could there be so many skeletons? Skill, five thunderbolts. Electricity spells attacked extremely fast, and there was no way to dodge them. A bolt of lightning fell on his head and hit the war king. 
The War King was killed in seconds and appeared outside the ring. He looked at Lin Mashian with a palpitating heart, if he wasn't in the ring, he would have already died from that hit just now the last impact arrow also landed on the electric skeleton mage in response. Without the battle frenzy, the four archers were already in a desperate situation. Now that the skills were in cooldown, the only way was to defeat Lin Mashian before the effect of the impact arrows wore off. Attack Lin Mashiwe with all your might. At this time, two more electricity skeletons suddenly appeared in front of Lin Mashian. Why are there more? How many skeletons can he summon? How can he summon so many? It's not just more, it's also stronger. There were two booms. Two lightning bolts fell, instantly killing two archers. The remaining two archers' hearts were ashen. What's the point of fighting, it's impossible to fight. The two looked at each other and jumped off the ring at the same time. The battle was over. From start to finish, Lin Mashue was just standing and releasing the skeletons, not even moving a step this level of battle was too easy for him. Many people watched this battle. From it, they could see that Lin Mashue's profession was indeed very strong. Easily accomplishing 1 to 5. But the combination of one assisting four archers also caught people's eyes. Right now, the level of the bowman was still low, and there weren't many control skills, only one type of impact arrow. In the future, when the level is high, a large number of control skills appear, sleep arrows, silence arrows, group stun arrows. This combination held great promise. It was just that most people weren't aware that what Lin Mashue was showing today was just the tip of the iceberg. There were some students in the Xiaojing Academy who were clear about it, but they wouldn't go and say it to the public. There were too many teams in the level 20 category, and today there were going to be four rounds of elimination matches in order to compare the top eight two rounds in the morning and two in the afternoon. The interval of one hour was a rest time for the professionals. I wonder which team we'll meet in the next round. Duan Gao whispered. Zhang Tao Tao gently shook her head, I don't know, the empire said that it's all randomized and that it will take care of fairness. But this randomness also has a certain pattern, have you guys noticed that several strong teams haven't even touched each other until now? The strong teams in Jiang Tao Tao's words were Eagle Country's Team 18, Team 322 from the Holy Dual Divine Realm, Cherry Blossom Country's Team 399, Vatican Sanctuary's Team 733, and Team 924 from the Holy Viceroy Cult. These several teams had performed very strongly from the very beginning, and each time, they had won by crushing their opponents with an absolute advantage. But these several strong teams had never touched each other obviously this kind of randomness, there were also certain rules in it. This kind of thing, everyone knew it by heart, no one would say anything. The second round of matches quickly came out. Ning Yi -E couldn't help but laugh out loud when she saw her opponent, ran into an egomaniac. It was the team Tang Zifei had encountered during the auditions. At that time, Tang Zifei's appearance of being the boss of the world was unforgettable. One wondered what kind of experience could have cultivated such a character in him. So he's a divine swordsman, a legendary ranked profession, he does have the capital to be arrogant. Lin Maxian also saw the other party's occupation level. Tang Si Fei, level 29, divine swordsman. Legendary level occupation, very rare, very powerful. It was normal to be a bit arrogant. Since Lin Mashua's transition, he had encountered only a handful of legendary class professions, Sakura Country's Yin Yang Master Tojo Taro, Holy Light Knight Zhou Lishang, Holy Summoner Mo Yun, and his own sister the fifth one was Tang Si Fei. Divine swordsman, was Feng Xiao's advanced profession. Feng Xiao was a holy swordsman, and if he could professionally ascend, he could become a divine swordsman. This should be a very strong profession, and it would be even stronger if one could profession sublimation. Lin Mashian muttered to himself. Ning Yi smiled, career sublimation is too difficult, even if you prepare well, there's no guarantee that you'll achieve career sublimation 100% of the time. This kind of thing can be encountered but not sought. Lin Mo Yen understood that it was really rare for her sister to successfully complete career sublimation. Even Lin Mo Han had said that she had almost failed at sublimation herself. It was also luck in the end. The time for the match was up, and Lin Mou slowly walked up to the ring this time, Zhang Tao Tao several people simply didn't go up and watched from the stage. On the other side of the ring, Tang Si Fei also walked up with his team members. The five of them were wearing the same clothes, and even their temperaments were very similar. It seemed like they usually played Ben together a lot and cooperated with each other very well. In Tang Si Fei's team, he was the divine swordsman. There was also a mage, an archer, and two assistants. Again, there were no knights, and Tang Si Fei was the knight plus the main attacker. Tang Sifi frowned at Lin Mashue, you're the only one? Lin Mashue nodded, just me. Tang Sifi I whispered to his team members, you guys go down as well. A few people jumped directly off the ring without hesitation. This team match instantly turned into a duo duel between Lin Moyue and Tang Sifi. This scene made Lin Moyu impress Tang Sifi. Although this person was arrogant to no end, it had to be said that his heart was high high-minded. A legend ranked professional with his own pride. 
he didn't care for the many bullying the few. Tang Sitha slowly drew out his long sword, the tip of the sword hanging down to the ground, originally I wanted to go one on one with you in a solo match, but I didn't expect it to be brought forward. I watched your first two matches, and I have to say, your skeleton is strong. But. It's ineffective against me. When you run into me, you're bound to lose. Lin Mashu S smiled faintly, you're very good. This tone of Lin Mayu's speech had the appearance of an elder complimenting the late 663 generation. Tang Jianfei was furious for a moment, there's no need for you to judge me. Lin Mouyu shook her head, just being honest. Tang Sifei, a legend-ranked professional, bumped into Lin Mouyen, attracting countless gazes. Lin Mouyu was strong, but a legend-ranked professional wouldn't be weak either. What would be the result of the two colliding, there might be an exciting battle, everyone was curious it's the Northwest Tang family, they're a divine swordsman family, on par with the Fong family. The Tang family's bloodline is very strong, and almost every generation, a divine swordsman professional would appear. I've seen the information of divine swordsmen before, even amongst the legendary level professionals, divine swordsman belongs to the top few. Divine swordsman isn't scary, what's scary is a divine swordsman who has mastered all of his skills, that skill. Ha! The match began, and the skeleton mage instantly appeared beside Lin Mashian. Two halos also instantly appeared on Tang Sitha's long sword. The light revolved around the long sword, emitting a bright glow. Two star rings, he really has mastered the divine swordsman's skill. One star ring at level 10, two star rings at level 20, each star ring is a top level skill. It's said that a divine swordsman who can master up to nine star rings at level 90 is invincible. It's starting, it's starting, open our eyes wide and take a good look. Lin Mashian recruited the electricity skeleton mage. Skill, five thunderbolts. A bolt of lightning fell on his head. Tang Sifi didn't dodge or avoid it, and a star ring exploded on his sword. The lightning landed on Tang Sifi's body, and there was no movement like a clay ox entering the sea. Tang Sifi laughed out loud, my first skill, elemental sword body. For ten minutes, I'm immune to all elemental attacks. So your skeleton mage attack is ineffective against me, I hope you can survive these ten minutes. As the words fell, Tang Sifi had already rushed towards Lin Mashian. It was like the wind was born under his feet, and his speed was soaring. Legendary level professionals, all their attributes were above ordinary professionals. Even without status boosts, they were equally powerful. There were cries of surprise from outside the arena many people felt that Lin Mou was going to be finished. Chapter 178 Lin Mou is going to be finished again? Tang Sifi was immune to elemental attacks, and Lin Mou's skeleton mage was ruined. As Tang Sifi had said, Lin Mou wanted to win unless he could last more than 10 minutes. But it was impossible to last 10 minutes under his sword. Tang Jianfei thought that if Lin Mu Yue could last under his sword for 10 minutes, he would have to see a ghost. But he had indeed seen a ghost. He stepped on his sword like the wind and rushed in front of Lin Mu Yue, and was about to strike his sword. Suddenly, a creepy feeling arose. A sense of extreme danger descended. Tang Jianfei trusted his intuition and retreated quickly. The moment he withdrew, a blade light with a reddish aura brushed past him. With a loud boom, the large blade landed on the ring, and the entire ring trembled. It was evident how powerful this blade was. Tang Sifi drew in a breath of cool air, if this blade had landed on him, it was estimated that he would already be outside the ring while. Many people jumped up in shock once again. What is this? A skeleton carrying a sword, a skeleton with physical attack abilities. And it can also release skills that aren't small in power. A skeleton carrying a sword appeared beside Lin Mashian. The skeleton mage had been put back by Lin Mashian. Tang Sifi broke out in a cold sweat, then a fierce laugh rose, I really can't underestimate you, this is your bottom card, isn't it? A skeleton with a sword, I'd like to see how strong it is. Tang Sifa still maintained his condescension and charged over again. The skeleton warrior swung its twin swords to meet it. The skeleton warrior's attributes were too high, and its speed was ridiculously fast. In Tang Sifi's eyes, it was like a bolt of lightning that had appeared in front of him in a flash. The large sword slashed down. So fast. Tang Sifi exclaimed in shock light flashed on his long sword, skill, imperial sword. With the royal sword skill, Tang Sifi could accurately block all attacks and bounce the enemy off. No matter how fast the skeleton warrior's attacks were, they could be blocked. With a bang, Tang Sifi was sent flying by a huge force. The skeleton warrior also flew backwards at the same time and fell to the ground. The power is also strong. Tang Sifi was once again shocked into a cold sweat. The speed, the power was far superior to his own. The skeleton warrior quickly got up and charged again. Tang Sifei grunted coldly, and another star ring on his sword exploded. In an instant, strength, and all four dimensional attributes increased by ten times. Skill, Berserk Sword. Within five minutes, all attributes are increased by ten times. 
The effect is somewhat similar to a berserker's berserking, but stronger. And it doesn't affect sanity. There was a fundamental difference between legendary and rare professions, and the strength of the skills differed too much this kind of skill was simply impossible for rare professions to obtain. Skill, Flying Dragon Sword Tang Sitha's entire body shot out like a flying dragon, directly crashing into the skeleton warrior. The skeleton warrior was once again knocked away and fell to the ground, unable to get up. This skill had a control effect, causing the skeleton warrior to fall into a stalemate state for 30 seconds. After sending the skeleton warrior flying, Tang Si Fei's entire body charged towards Lin Mou Yu like an electric jet. Under the attribute enhancement 10x state, his speed was a whole lot faster than before. The skeleton warrior is under control, and the skeleton mage is useless, this is the end of Lin Mu Yue. Divine Swordsman is so strong, worthy of being a legendary great profession. Lin Mou Yu shouldn't have any more moves unless. At this time, two black shadows appeared in front of Lin Mou Yu, two more skeleton warriors appeared in front. At the same time, they swung their greatswords towards Tang Sifei. Tang Sifei came fast and retreated even faster. He looked at Lin Mojing as if he had seen a ghost, how do you still have, how many skeletons do you have? Lin Mojing laughed, you guess. Tang Sifei snorted coldly, his face full of defiance, guess my ass, don't think that two more skeleton warriors will be able to defeat me. I still have a lot of skills I'm not using, you'll see. Saying that he took up his stance again and held his breath. Light flashed above the tip of the sword, there was energy being condensed. Skills that required the gathering of qi, presumably the power wouldn't be small. Tang Sifei's appearance made Lin Mo Yen think of Xia Xue, while at the same time somewhat resembling Gao Yang's shadow. It was like a combination of these two. Both condescending and a bit of a tease. If two isn't enough, then a few more. Brushing, five more skeleton warriors appeared. In front of Lin Mo Yu, seven skeleton warriors lined up. The brightly shining greatswords just shook and shook. For a moment, the entire ring was filled with a gloomy forest, and the temperature dropped. Tang Sifi shivered, his qi condensation skill was interrupted, and his breath almost didn't come out smoothly. Cough cough cough. Tang Sifi coughed while shouting, you kid runs a skeleton store, right, what's the point of having so many skeletons? Lin Mou laughed, still continue to fight? Tang Sifi snorted coldly, beat the hell out of you. I'll fight you again when I'm level 40 in turn 2. Saying that, he directly ran to the edge of the ring and leapt down nakedly admitting defeat. One skeleton warrior was not easy to deal with, two was already the limit. Now seven at once. It's not worth fighting. If you continue to fight, you are afraid that you will be cut into pieces. Tang Jianfei was arrogant, but not an idiot Lin Mou won again. The people watching the game were speechless for a long time. It couldn't be said that Tang Sifei was weak, Tang Sifei's skills were definitely not weak. One could only say that Lin Mashan was too strong. No, I should say that his skeleton was too strong. But at the same time, there was a question that arose, how many skeletons did Lin Mo Yen have? The ones on display now were 8 skeleton warriors and 6 skeleton mages. Adding them together, there were already 14 of them. Some people guessed that there should be 20 skeletons, 10 each for the skeleton warrior and skeleton mage. Others guessed that there might be 8 each. No one knew exactly how many there were, except for Lin Ma Xian. Tang Sifa's team was eliminated. With his strength, if he ran into another team, he would definitely have no problem making it to the finals. Unfortunately, he ran into Lin Mashiwe and could only leave early. The morning's matches were finally over. At this time, the speculation about Lin Mayu's number of skeletons hadn't stopped even when the afternoon match started, there were still people guessing and inferring. In the afternoon's match, Lin Muyi was unable to encounter any similar opponents in two consecutive matches. It was back to where the skeleton mage was playing the whole game. An elder made a move to bind the skeleton mage, but the second, third skeleton mage appeared and directly sent them out of the ring. After the afternoon matches were over, the names of the eight teams that would participate in the finals were announced. The five teams that Zhang Tao Tao had mentioned were all there. The teams from the Eagle Kingdom, Holy Fighting God's Domain, Cherry Blossom Kingdom, Vatican Sanctuary, and Holy Governor Cult, plus Lin Mayu's team. There were also two other teams, from the Xiaojing Academy and the Aurora Academy. Of the eight teams that had made it to the finals, the Divine Summer Empire accounted for three of them alone. In each group, although there were more or less teams initially, after today there were only eight teams left to enter the finals the curtain of light that covered the sky once again shrouded the competition venue. It blocked everyone's view. Lin Mou and Ning Yi sat on the grass of the resident. The tournament had been going on for a few days, and 90% of the people in the resident had already left. The entire garrison had become very quiet. Ning Yi leaned on Lin Mojing's shoulder, the team finals will be over tomorrow, followed by the singles. According to the usual practice of previous years, there will also be a challenge match, will you participate? 
The challenge match is for low-level professionals to challenge high-level professionals. As long as they win, they will receive a generous reward. The higher the challenge level, the better the reward. The specific rewards hadn't been announced yet, but it was believed that it wouldn't be bad. Lin Mashua said, teacher told me to participate in the challenge, and the higher I fight, the better. A trace of worry surfaced on Ning Yi's face as she whispered. You've already attracted the attention of many people by performing so well. I heard people talking about you today, saying that you have a promising future and are the leader of the younger generation. There are also people who say that you might become a god-level powerhouse in the future, becoming a pillar of the Divine Summer Empire Prime. Lin Mashian had also heard quite a few of these words. Some people were obviously much more polite when they saw themselves, even with a hint of respect. But what Ning Yi had to say was clearly not this. How so? Today's you, doesn't look like you. Lin Mou felt that Ning Yi was a bit strange. Ning Yi bit her lip, I'm a little worried, a few days ago there were a few top geniuses in our Divine Summer Empire. Not as good as you, I guess, but they were also very powerful. But they were all later assassinated in the trial. I'm afraid. Lin Mayu smiled, I know about this, it was even on the news at the time. It's fine, I know it in my heart. Ning Yi sighed, anyway, you must be careful. After all, you're only level 27 now, not even a second turn. Well, I'll be careful. Lin Muyue promised with his mouth, looking up at the stars with a murderous intent in his eyes. He had killed quite a few people and even more demons, and at this point, he had accumulated quite a lot of killing intent. Once it erupted, the less courageous would definitely be frightened. Let's hope you guys can move. Otherwise, I'm too much of a failure as a bait. Lin Mou thought about what Bai Yuan had asked him to do. At that time, when he had said that he would be the bait, he had agreed without hesitation. His own situation was clear to himself if he wanted to kill himself, unless it was a top level 70 or above professional who did it. Otherwise, it wasn't that easy. Ning Yi's small head leaned against Lin Mou's arm and said no more the worry in her eyes was always there. The usual chirpy look was gone, and the words became much, much less. The two of them were just quietly enjoying the night sky, and this feeling seemed to be good. The warm sun rose, and the curtain of light that had shrouded the night disappeared. Everyone realized that the entire competition field had changed drastically. A ring from before disappeared. There were now three areas for the three groups, which turned into three giant rings. Each ring was over 200 meters in diameter, giving enough room to maneuver. For low-level professionals who were less than level 40, a ring of this size was more than enough. The ring for the higher profession finals was even bigger, with a diameter of 1,000 meters. Huge formations enveloped the top of the ring. Each ring had not only a referee, but also a top healer. They stood in the void, staring at the ring with solemn expressions. From the additions of the professionals' competition to the current final velvet none of the Divine Summer Empire's officials had stepped forward to say anything. There was even no host or anything. Because there was no need. People came to see the competition, not the host. Perhaps only when it was time for the award ceremony would the Divine Summer Empire's official come out to say a few words. Look guys, what's that? Suddenly, someone pointed into the air and said in a loud voice. 179 Shrine Witches, this time, Lin Muyue is really going to be in trouble. Three clusters of light appeared in the eyes of the world. Inside each light mass was a large, golden box. On the side of the box, there was also a bottle of lavender potion floating, as well as a golden skill scroll. Needless to say, the boxes were filled with gold coins. In the low-level arena, there were three groups, and the winner's reward for each group was the same. 50 million gold coins, a primary magical potion, and a glittering primary skill scroll in most people's eyes, 50 million gold coins was not a small amount. It was definitely not a small amount, especially for a level 40 or lower professional. As for the primary magical potion and the glittering primary skill scroll, they were even more priceless treasures. If these two items were taken out and sold, they would be at least hundreds of millions. This is the primary magical potion. It can be taken below level 40, and all attributes are permanently increased by 200. It's hard to buy this stuff outside, it won't be available in the exchange, and it rarely appears in auctions. There are also glittering skill scrolls, although they are only elementary, they are still priceless. Primary skills weren't necessarily useless. Many skills could grow. It was simply impossible for most professionals to master all of their own skills. Even with a massive amount of skill scrolls to pile up, it was possible to miss one or two skills. The rule of using skill scrolls was that the more comprehensive the skill mastery, the more probability of success. It was very possible that the last skill, with hundreds or thousands of skill scrolls smashed down, would not necessarily succeed. This was when the flashing skill scrolls could play a huge role. The three balls of light flew in midair, telling all the participants that the prizes were here, and it was up to you if you wanted to take them. 
The professionals below, each stared at the prizes, their eyes glittering, aiming to win. Lin Moyu took a look and stopped looking, if you want to see it, just wait until you get your hands on it. As the prizes appeared, today's competition officially kicked off. Lin Muyue's squad was the 663rd one to appear. He was the only one on the stage. Ning Yi's four were resting under the stage. Going up was just watching the show anyway, so they might as well watch from the stage Miyu whispered, this time, we drew the Cherry Blossom Country's team, and the other team seems to be quite powerful. Zhang Tao Tao Mnd, the person leading the team from Sakura Country this time is called Nanako, her occupation is Shrine Witch, a profession unique to Sakura Country. This occupation is very mysterious, not much information has been recorded, the rank is not legendary but it is said to be very bizarre. Every country, every power, always stored some special bloodlines. From this, many unique occupations were born. The Sakura country alone had two unique occupations. One was the widely known legendary profession, the Yin Yang Master. The other is more mysterious and is known as the Shrine Witch. The Shrine Witch was designated as a rare profession, rarely appearing in the outside world, with very little relevant information. It was an extremely mysterious type of profession. Sakura Nation's team walked onto the ring, the leader, Nana Nana, wore Sakura Nation's special clothing and wooden shoes they squeaked when they walked. Behind her stood a knight, two archers, and two mages respectively. Greetings, Mr. Lin Muyue of the Divine Summer Country. Nanako curtsied slightly towards Lin Mojing, appearing polite. This was also the impression that the Sakura Country gave to many people, being exceptionally polite. As for whether or not they were dirty inside, only they themselves knew. Lin Moyu was not a fan of the Sakura country, there was only conflict between them. Lin Mushue knew very well that the Inyang master named Tojo Taro hated to kill himself, and he would not let the other party go once he had the chance. Seeing that Lin Mojing did not have any reaction, Nanako took two more steps forward and further lowered her voice. Our Emperor's Majesty is very interested in Mr. Lin's profession, and His Majesty sincerely invites Mr. Lin Moyu to join our country. If Mr. Lin has any requests feel free to mention them, Nanako can agree to anything. The meaning in her eyes was something that any man would understand. It had to be said that Nanai was beautiful. Exuding amazing charisma all over. Based purely on looks, it was no worse than any woman Lin Mou had ever seen. However, in Lin Mayu's eyes, it was useless to be even more beautiful. Ning Yi heard Nanako's words and waved her fists, what a bitch. Niao Yu echoed, indeed, a bitch. Some disgust showed in Lin Mayu's eyes, get lost. Nanako didn't care, Mr. Lin can think about it. Saying that she retreated to the middle of the group, the knights in the group blocked Nanako's face. The knights were tall and covered Nanako completely, from the front, Nanako could not be seen at all. If one wanted to attack her, it was necessary to defeat the knight first. Formations flashed in the ring forming a large curtain of light that surrounded the entire ring. With a soft sound, the match began. Two skeleton mages instantly appeared beside Lin Muyue the skeleton mages instantly used their skills. In the Sakura country that country, an imaginary figure appeared in the air. A human figure with a snake body, non-human, and non-demon. Style god? Lin Moyu instinctively thought it was a style god, but upon closer inspection it wasn't. This silhouette opened its huge mouth and surprisingly swallowed all of the skeleton mage's attacks. A petulant laugh rang out as Nanako poked her head out from behind the night, Mr. Lin, this is our Sakura kingdom's human-faced snake god, which can swallow any elemental attack. So your attack is ineffective against us. Lin Mashian wasn't surprised. To make it to the finals, there must be two brushes. How could it be dealt with easily? Since elemental attacks were ineffective, let's try physical attacks. Five skeleton warriors appeared in front of him and ran over with a clicking sound. At this time, a shadow once again appeared above Sakura Nation's head. A monster covered in spikes with a head like a boar and a body like a brute appeared in the air skill, Divine Spirit Possession. At Nanako's petulant voice, the boar-like monster burrowed into the knight's body. A red light emerged from the knight's gaze, and his aura exploded like a gale blowing across the ring. At the same time, a roar like that of a wild beast emanated from his mouth. Skill, Group Provocation The five skeletons were enveloped by the skill at the same time, forcibly shifting their target and charging towards the knight. After being possessed, the knight did not retreat but advanced, launching his charging skill towards the skeletons. With a loud bang, the knight was knocked back. The skeleton warriors also collectively paused for a moment before continuing their forward charge. A look of shock appeared on Nanako's face, Mr. Lin's skeletons are really powerful, even the knight possessed by the giant power god was shaken back. As she spoke, light flashed on her middle finger skill, possession enhancement. The aura on the knight's body was once again enhanced, as if various statuses had been added. The knight was fully enhanced and roared with rage as he unleashed another brazen attack on the skeleton warriors. 
he surprisingly blocked five skeleton warriors by himself. The performance was a bit strenuous, constantly retreating, but he did manage to block them down. Such a skill was truly unheard of. The profession of the shrine witch of Sakura country was mysterious, and very few people had seen it. No one knew about Nanako's various skills either. Now that I took a look, I felt that this profession was even more mysterious and bizarre. The deities she summoned were bound to not be real deities. It was more like some sort of summoned beast, and the style god class billion of Yin Yang masters. Style gods could fight independently and possessed a wide variety of abilities. And what Nanako summoned, that is, it could exist independently, or it could be fused with the professional as one, greatly enhancing the professional strength this profession was special and powerful. There were quite a few top-level professions present, and they couldn't help but have a feeling of lightening up when they saw Nanako's profession skill. If such a skill was used on those top professions, wouldn't it make them even more powerful? Some of them were already considering going to Nanako afterwards to exchange ideas. The knight blocked the skeleton warrior, and with the provoke skill, the skeleton warrior frantically attacked the knight, ignoring Nanako. Nanako smiled petulantly, looks like Mr. Lin's summons aren't very obedient either. Lin silently smiled faintly. Not obedient? That was just him not commanding it. With a movement of his heart, the skeleton warriors that were surrounding the knight turned their targets towards Nanako. No matter how much the knight used his provocation skill, the skeleton warriors ignored him Nanako's face changed violently, she really regretted provoking Lin Moshian. She once again chirped, divine spirit possession. The first snake-bodied deity summoned quickly melted into the mage's body. The mage who had always kept her head lowered snapped her head up and red light emerged from her eyes. A ring of fire came out in response, bouncing all the skeleton warriors away. The ring of resisting fire, which was more powerful than the normal ring of resisting fire, had obviously been increased. Nanako used the skill again. A spider-like deity appeared above her head. Skill, divine spirit possession. With a chirping sound, this spider deity merged into another mage. This mage's eyes glowed red as he raised his staff high. A breeze blew and caressed out. Skill, shackle of wind. Shackles appeared on the skeleton warriors one after another, and they were controlled, unable to advance. Everything happened in a flash of lightning in the blink of an eye, five skeleton warriors had been controlled. Nanako breathed a sigh of relief and smiled delicately, Mr. Lin, the elemental attacks are ineffective, the skeleton warriors are under control, do you have any other tricks up your sleeve? If not, then you've lost. As she spoke, the knight had already rushed towards Lin Mojing. In everyone's opinion, Lin Moshian was just a summoner. If a knight with a strong battle power was allowed to rush in front of him, there would only be a way to die. Even though Lin Mou still had three skeleton warriors that he hadn't summoned. But what if they were summoned out, they would still be controlled and wouldn't be able to play a role at all. Many people felt that this time, Lin Moshian was really going to be finished. Nanako already had a victory smile on her face. Suddenly the ring was filled with red light. Nanako's smile froze on her face. Chapter 180, Ghostly Tricks, Can't Get on the Stage Lin Moshian's palm emanated a dazzling red aura skill, slow speed curse. Nanako or the knight, including the mage archer in front of her. A block of red shackles appeared above their heads. With a whole 40 times speed reduction, the knights instantly performed in slow motion. Limerick elegantly and naturally bypassed the knight and walked towards Nene. The knight struggled to turn his head, he tried to turn around, but his speed was too slow. By the time he finished turning around, Lin Mou had already walked out more than 10 meters. It was simply impossible to catch up. Nai Nai's smile froze on her face. It wasn't that she wanted to freeze, but she couldn't retract it. Her attributes weren't as strong as the boss. Originally, her agility was only a few hundred points. Now that she was cursed, she was even slower than a turtle. Her smile remained frozen, making it difficult to put it back. Facing Lin Mojing who was walking over, no matter how anxious her heart was, she could not do anything to react what happened. What happened to Nanako? Curse, it's a curse, they've been slowed down, many times. Lin Moshian's profession is a necromancer. Besides being able to summon, he's also a mage. A mage who can curse, a terrifying profession. The tip of the iceberg was lifted again for Lin Moshian's occupational skills. Skeleton warriors and skeleton mages were already powerful enough, if they were paired with curse skills. It was simply terrifying. Nanako's eyes were filled with anxiety, facing the approaching Lin Mashue, she wanted the mage to activate her skill and use resist fire ring to bounce Lin Mashue away. But her skill was very special and needed hand seals to match. The current speed was too slow, and after playing a set of hand seals, it was estimated that one minute would not be enough. She couldn't use her skills if she couldn't make hand seals, and she couldn't drive the mage the two mages possessed by the gods stood like puppets, motionless. Not only did the mages not move, the archer also kept his head down and eyes closed, and never moved from beginning to end. 
people also noticed this anomaly. So this is all Nanako's puppets. No wonder I felt something was wrong just now, these people don't look like normal people anyways. Not living people at all, but dead professionals that have used special methods to make puppets. Humph, a ghostly trick that can't make it to the stage. After all, Sakura country is only a small country, it can only make such unseemly things. There was no lack of discerning people in the audience, who instantly saw through the nature of Nanako's profession. It was actually using the so-called gods to control puppets. The essence was also a type of summoner, and there wasn't much mystery to it. Lin Mashien had already walked up to Nanako, revealing disdain in the face of the terrified Nanako with her eyes a skeleton warrior appeared in front of Nanako. Skill, Berserk Strike. Red light exploded and Nanako disappeared from the ring, appearing directly underneath it. She was eliminated from the game. The best way to deal with a summoner was to eliminate the summoner himself. This truth, Lin Mashian also knew. Then the skeleton warriors wasted no time, slashing through one by one. Without Nanako to command them, they were slowed down again. These puppets were defenseless. One by one, they were eliminated from the game. The archer puppet, from start to finish, didn't even have a chance to make a move. Nanako could only watch and do nothing. There was hatred and fear in the eyes that looked at Lin Mushin. But if she had brought a healer with her, it wouldn't have been so bad. A healer's purification skill could lift the curse. But who would have thought that Lin Muyue would use a curse skill? The necromancer had been lifted off the tip of the iceberg again summoning, curse, two major lineage skills. People were speculating whether Lin Muyue would still have any skills hidden. This match was once again won by Lin Muyue. The second match consisted of a professional team from the Eagle Kingdom, versus a team from the Aurora Academy of the Divine Summer Empire. Zhang Tao Tao looked at the ring and spoke about the information she had just gotten. This team from Eagle Country isn't too ordinary. In the Grand Tournament, there were quite a few teams from the folk of various countries, as well as the official teams from various countries. All of Eagle Country's civil teams had been eliminated clean in the rounds. The only one that could enter the finals was this official team from Eagle Country. The team of five was a Shadow Knight, Battle King Auxiliary, Eagle Eye Archer, Elemental Mage, and Shadow Assassin. All of them were rare professionals, and none of them were legendary professionals to say that a large country like the Eagle Kingdom couldn't take out a few legendary rank professionals, the Abyssal Demons wouldn't believe it. One could only say that they had another reason. Zhang Tao Tao said in a deep voice, the strength of these few professionals of theirs far exceeds that of the same level professionals. For example, the Knight, the same level 29 Shadow Knight cannot beat the Eagle Kingdom's Shadow Knight at all. And the difference isn't just a little bit, it's the kind where they're completely crushed. Ning Yi seemed to have thought of something, I remember, the Eagle Kingdom seemed to have been doing some kind of experiment some years ago, developing a brand new enhancement potion. It's said that by taking this potion, the various attributes of a professional can be boosted by several times. A rare class professional can be comparable to a legend class professional after taking this potion. Ning Yi had also overheard her grandfather talking about this. Zhang Tao said, not only is this the case in our division, but in all the other divisions, there are teams of Eagle Kingdom professionals of extraordinary strength. It seemed that the Eagle Kingdom had already succeeded in researching this new type of potion. Ning Yi said softly, you have to be careful. Lin Moshian smiled and said that he was fine. He felt that even if his full attributes increased by a few times, it would never be possible to surpass his own skeleton warrior again. Under his own talent, the skeleton warrior's attributes had been increased by a full 30 times. In the ring, the Eagle Country professional team and the Aurora Academy professional team had already exchanged blows. From the beginning of the match, the Eagle Country professionals were on a crushing trend. The Aurora Academy's pro team was firmly suppressed this Aurora Academy team that had made it to the final round was not organized by the cadets themselves, but was sent out by the Aurora Academy's pro division. Everyone was level 29, wearing the best platinum equipment, and had comprehensive skills. Most crucially, the captain of this team was a legendary level professional, the god's eye archer, Lucien Run. The Aurora Academy had sent out a team led by a legend-ranked professional, and was originally determined to win this category. Unexpectedly, it was now being suppressed in the opening round. The Eagle Kingdom's knights were very frantic in their attacks, shadow knights, covered in black aura. Every attack would bring up a flash of blood. While inflicting damage on the enemy, it restored its own life force, physical strength, and healed itself. If it wasn't for its relative weakness in the later stages, the shadow knight could have become a legendary level professional with this trait. The opponent's Hawkeye Archer's attacks were extremely powerful, each attack was like a small explosion the mage's spells were released recklessly, causing the Aurora Academy's team to be unable to move. Request Flowers The healers clenched their teeth and kept healing, which was barely maintained. But at this rate, defeat would come sooner or later. Give me time. In the Aurora Academy team, Divine Eye Archer Lucien Run said in a deep voice. The knight at the top did not hesitate to let out a roar. 
Skill, Group Provocation. Skill, Extreme Defense. Attracting all the firepower of the Eagle Kingdom team, while raising his own defense to the extreme. Hardly buying time for Lu Xianrun. Lu Xianrun was glowing all over, building up his strength. Legendary level professionals could be called legendary level professionals not only because their attributes were higher than their counterparts, but also because their skills were stronger. How could it be so simple for a god's eye archer to be named a legendary great professional the Eagle Kingdom team's attacks were so powerful that the light of ultimate defense was gradually weakening. The mages in the Aurora Academy's team were constantly releasing spells, but the attacks landed on the opposing team's knights and could only cause a small amount of damage. The opposing team's healer could heal with a random healing skill. The only hope now was Lu Xianran's strongest skill. Lin Maxian felt that something wasn't quite right. These Eagle Kingdom professionals seem to be very strong, why do I feel that their sanity has been affected? If it was me, I would definitely try to find a way to interrupt Lu Xianran's storing skill. Once Lin Maxiu said this, several people, Zhang Taodao, felt that it was right. These few people revealed an excited light in their eyes, looking as if they were wild beasts. A little more wild and a little less rational. Lin Moyu felt that there was definitely a problem with this potion there were two sides to everything, and as the potion could boost so tremendously, it was bound to have major drawbacks as well. Lu Xianren's skill finally finished storing up. Accompanied by a brilliant light, a sharp arrow trailing a long tail of light shot into the air and then exploded like a firework. Skill, Destruction Arrow Storm. In the next second, a sea of sharp arrows appeared in the fireworks. It whistled down like a storm. The range was so large that it almost covered half of the ring. Each sharp arrow carried a powerful attack, and they exploded one after another as they were shot at the ring. The roars were endless, and the entire ring shook. The storm formed by the sharp arrows lasted for quite a while, wave after wave, with no intention of stopping. There really is something wrong. Ning Yi let out a low cry. The Eagle Kingdom team was in the midst of the storm of sharp arrows, but they didn't even dodge or avoid them, directly carrying them hard even their healers were like that. Healing themselves when they were injured, they just didn't know to avoid it. No professional would be so stupid unless they really couldn't avoid it. Zhang Tao Tao compared the information she had gotten, their previous style of play was to strongly crush their opponents, so no one realized this. It seems like there's a big problem with this potion. The arrow storm skill lasted for a full 30 seconds, and the entire ring was blown up with potholes. Lu Xianran gasped for air, this skill had done its best and his body was almost emptied. The five professionals from the Eagle Kingdom team could no longer be seen in the ring. They hadn't lasted through the arrow storm skill. Lin Maxian shook his head, turning professionals into beasts that only know how to attack will only bring destruction in the end. Having dealt with abyssal demons, he was clear that professionals had to enter and retreat in an orderly manner a single-minded attack would only end in failure. If they could win, it was only because they hadn't encountered a powerful existence. Lin Maxiu said, if all the professional teams in Eagle Country were like this, in other groups, they would similarly lose. Geo. Chapter 181, You Sit Properly and Don't Ruin the Plan. Zhang Tao Tao ran to inquire again. Sure enough, it was similar to what Lin Moyu said. In each group, the Eagle Country national team, which had been soaring high, had collectively met their Waterloo. There are no tactics, only no offense, ultimately only failure. In the White God's small courtyard, by the small tea table, there is an extra Ning Tai Ran. Ning Tai Ran said, the guys from Eagle Country failed. Meng Anwen closed his eyes as a thread of tea flew out of his cup and landed in his mouth. I said a long time ago that you can't have both the fish and the bear's paw. A berserker's berserking has a price to pay. Using potions to break the limits at the cost of losing your sanity is nothing. He said it with great certainty. At the beginning of Eagle Kingdom's research on the potion, he had already made his judgment. The facts also proved his judgment. Bai Yuan and Meng Anwen wore the same pants, rather, that shrine which from Little Cherry Blossom is a bit interesting. Meng Anwen grunted, what's the point, it's not just a mutant occupation of a Yin Yang master. Bullshit shrine witch, it's actually a style god. What the hell is a style god, it's not like you don't know. Meng Anwen's character was calm and traditional, and this kind of profession didn't even enter his eyes. In his eyes, both the potions researched by the Eagle Kingdom and Nanako's profession were trash. It wasn't that he was arrogant, if he said second in terms of knowledge of professions, no one would dare to say first Bai Yuan and Ning Taran didn't refute. Bai Yuan changed the topic, if those guys are going to make a move, it's almost these days, old Meng, keep an eye on it. Meng Anwen hummed, don't worry, it's been prepared for a long time. The old man's side is definitely ready as well, just waiting for them to move. Ning Taran didn't understand for a moment, what are you guys talking about? Bai Yuan didn't hide it, and told him about Lin Muyue being the bait. Ning Taran jumped up at the top of his lungs, what did you say? You used Kid Lin as bait, my granddaughter is still there. Bai Yuan waved his hand, don't worry, we've already prepared for this. 
Besides, the bait isn't just Lin Mou, there's also Lin Mohan, the old man's side is also waiting. Meng Anwen said in a deep voice, you sit properly, don't ruin our plans. Ning Turun rolled his eyes, it wasn't like he didn't understand the reasoning fine, then I'll wait here. He wasn't going anywhere, just waiting here. Once something happened, he'd be the first to rush there, and he definitely wouldn't let anything happen to Ningyi. The finals were still going on. The teams from the Vatican Sanctuary and the Shaojing Academy collided. The ring glowed brightly, piercing people's eyes. The entire ring turned into a small sun. Within the light, the Vatican Sanctuary's professionals, one after another, appeared outside the ring. They were eliminated. They were all so bewildered after being eliminated that they didn't even know how they were eliminated. It was just a flash of light and it was over. John Tao Tao said in a deep voice, his name is Su Shang, holy light mage, legendary level professional. He's already been accepted into Genesis Academy, he was originally supposed to be at level 32 months ago, and purposely stuck his level for the sake of this professionist competition. He once said that his goal this time was to be the champion, but it was actually for the glittering beginner skill roles. Su Shang came up with a skill that directly eliminated the Vanity Sanctuary's team, extremely strong. Their team had been like this since the beginning of the competition. Other than Su Shang, no one else had pressed their hand. Su Shang just came up with a skill and won. The problem was that all the teams he eliminated didn't even know how they were eliminated. Su Shang stood on top of the ring, his body shining with white light, holy and lonely. His eyes scanned the entire arena, and when he saw Lin Mashua, a trace of disgust flashed in his eyes. The holy light mage was a holy attribute, while Lin Moyun was an immortal summoner. Just like the first time Mo Yun saw Lin Mashua, this was an instinctive aversion brought about by the attributes of the profession in the final match of the first round of the finals, the Holy Duel Divine Realm took on the Holy Dude Cult. The battle between the two sides was a sight to behold. The Holy Duel in God's domain had a special profession known as the Starfighter. The Starfighter's attributes were extremely high and balanced, and their skills were magnificent and powerful. Just like the Holy Duel Divine Realm, the Holy Dude Cult also had its own exclusive profession. The Holy Cult Army combined the advantages of knights and warriors, balancing attack and defense. Both sides were evenly matched, and the fight was exciting. The battle lasted for a full 10 minutes before the winner was finally decided. The Holy Duel Divine Realms team ended up winning by a slim margin, advancing to the next round of the competition. The Divine Summer Empire's top healers moved in to recover all the professionals the next round of matches would begin in an hour. There were now only four teams left in the level 20 category. They were Lin Muyue's squad, the official Shaojing Academy's Su Sheng squad, the official Aurora Academy's team, and the Holy Duel Divine Realm Starfighter squad. Lin Muyue was matched to the Holy Dueling God Realm. The Summer Capital School was then matched against the Aurora School. Zhang Tao Tao told Lin Mou the information she had inquired about. Strong skills and balanced attributes. Attacks came with both elemental and physical attacks. The person himself even possessed the Star Armor skill, which had an extremely high defense against elemental damage or physical damage. Overall, this profession has no obvious weaknesses. However, if the attributes are strong, can they be stronger than a skeleton warrior? As long as there were no control skills, it was almost impossible to get past a skeleton warrior head on Lin Muyue had observed the battle between the Starfighter and the Holy Church Army, and had not used any control skills. Both of them had already fought to their limits, and neither of them used control skills, which meant that there were none at all. Since there were no control skills, then the result was self-evident. Lin Mashian walked up to the ring, still alone. The five people from the Holy Do Divine Realm also followed him onto the stage. With the help of the top healers, they had fully recovered. Essence was at its peak. Four starfighters and one battle king assisted. The prophet was discarded in favor of the more comprehensive battle king aid. One war king aid top two, allowing for an extra position to increase attack power. The four starfighters looked at Lin Mashua with high fighting spirit. Lin Mashua, we know you're strong, but we're not weak either. With our star armor skill, which can significantly weaken damage, we can completely cross over the skeleton fighters and directly kill you. You're just a mage, you won't even last two seconds in front of our attacks. Although your curse skill is powerful, the thing we are most unafraid of is curses. Several people were full of confidence, as if they had already found Lin Mashian's weakness. And they even said it in a big way. They were so honest, causing Lin Mou to be a little embarrassed. Lin Mou faintly said, I wish you all success. Don't worry, we will definitely succeed. The few people were nonchalant, as if the end was already predetermined. As the prompt for the start of the match rang out, the Battle King aide quickly added up his status, while the four starfighters had already rushed towards Lin Mou like lightning. A layer of golden halo enveloped their entire body, this was their skill, star armor. 
greatly increase defense, at the same time reduce elemental physical double damage, the effect is very good Starfighter was a unique professional of the holy dual divine realm, and star armor was their signature skill. Facing the Starfighter that sprinted towards him, Lin Muyue's finger slightly clicked. The entire ring was instantly enveloped in red light. Red shackles appeared above the heads of the five people at the same time, and their speed of advancement instantly slowed down. Then the golden light of the four starfighters flourished, their star armor expanding rapidly, enveloping the red shackles in it. The red shackle quickly cracked under the impact of the golden light. Although it didn't break completely, the effect had been greatly diminished. Lin Mou understood, this was the curse that they said they weren't afraid of themselves. Although there were no elders to lift the curse, their star armor skill itself had the ability to inhibit the curse. What a good skill! The starfighter was already close by he was about to launch an attack on Lin Moshian when suddenly his eyes went black, followed by a large sword slashing towards him. Skeleton Fighter Starfighter had already prepared for this and quickly sidestepped the skeleton warrior and attacked Lin Moshian from the side. Just after circling around, another large knife slashed head-on. I avoided it again. Then it was still a big knife. I'll avoid it again. Still the big knife. Then light flashed before their eyes, and spells landed on them. With several thuds. The four starfighters were simultaneously struck by the spells after and sent flying in response. It was only then that the four saw what was happening. Ten skeleton fighters and ten skeleton mages had formed a circle, protecting Lin Moshian in the center. There were no gaps left at all, and if they wanted to attack Lin Mou they had to break the defense line formed by the skeleton warriors and skeleton mages. This situation exceeded their expectations. It was not expected that Lin Mou would use this trick. The skeleton mage's attack had already descended, and they hastily dodged. Electricity flashed and thunder roared, and the starfighter was immediately struck by electricity. Other spells could be dodged, but electric spells could not be dodged at all. The star armor offset most of the damage, and with the battle king's assisted healing, they were able to hold out for the time being. With a slight movement from Lin Moshien, the several skeleton mages stopped attacking them and turned towards the Battle King Auxiliary to launch an attack truth was only within spell range. The entire ring was within the range of the skeleton mages' attacks, and the Battle King Auxiliary couldn't dodge at all. The Battle King Auxiliary instantly became abnormally dangerous. Seeing this, the starfighters said in unison, fight from above. The four of them leapt up high, attempting to cross over the skeleton fighters and attack Lin Moshien from above. At the same time they leaped up, the skeleton warrior also leaped up high, intercepting them with incomparable accuracy. Both sides collided in mid-air. The skeleton warrior suddenly made an unexpected move. The skeleton warrior unexpectedly grabbed them tightly. With one hand grasping, the other swung its sword and slashed furiously. This action caused their souls to be scared, how could there still be such a way of fighting? The skeleton warrior even grabbed people and slashed them what the hell kind of summon is this? Grabbed by the skeleton warrior, they were unable to dodge. In the blink of an eye, they received several slashes. At this time, the War King's aid was struggling to protect itself, and it was impossible to heal them. The four of them struggled frantically as their star armor erupted with brilliant light, finally breaking free from the skeleton warrior's hands. Looking back again, their Battle King assist had already appeared outside the ring. The four people's faces were ashen. Just now, they had boastfully said that they would defeat Lin Mou, but in the end, they had lost so dryly. Chapter 182, Villains Often Die From Talking Too Much Lin Mou was victorious once again, and the result was expected by everyone. When he recruited 20 skeletons, no one was surprised either. Someone even said, I told you Lin Mashua had 10 skeleton warriors and 10 skeleton mages. How about that, I got it right. One is a team, how can others fight him? Those who guessed it were all excited as if they were so great. Lin Mashian had revealed a total of three skills so far. Summon Skeleton Warrior, Skeleton Mage, and Slow Curse. Many people were looking forward to whether or not Lin Muyue would have any other skills. The Xiaojing Academy team led by Su Shan walked onto the ring. The Aurora Academy's team also followed onto the stage. Holy Light Mage and God's Eye Archer, two legendary level professionals were about to collide. Su Shang's gaze was cold and proud, my Holy Light Mage can be ranked in the top five amongst the legendary level main battle class professions. Your God's Eye Archer, can't even rank in the top ten, what are you going to fight me with? Lu Xianren's gaze was grave, he knew that Su Shan was telling the truth. The same was a legendary level main battle class occupation, the difference in strength and weakness was not small. Lu Xianren said in a cold voice, the true strength or weakness, you have to fight to know. He he, is it still necessary to fight? Seeing as we are both legendary ranked professions, I'm only going to say a few more words to you. If it was someone else, I wouldn't even bother talking. Su Shang had condescending capital. Walking all the way, killing seconds all the way. There was no one who could hold up his first skill. 
in his eyes, only fellow legendary level professionals, and were qualified to talk to himself. As the formation fluctuated 14 and the sound rang out, the battle opened at once. Su Sheng slightly raised his hand, and in an instant, it shone brightly. It was the same attack again. Su Sheng had only used such a skill from the tournament so far. No one could block it. He didn't even know how he lost. Amidst the light, Aurora Academy's players appeared outside the ring one after another. In the end, even Lu Xianrun appeared outside the ring. From the start of the match to the end of the match, a total of less than 10 seconds Lu Xianrun, who was also a legend ranked professional, also lost. The loss was so dry and inexplicable. Even Lu Xianrun didn't know how he lost. Su Shang looked down from above, as I said, we have a big gap. Then he turned his head to look at Lin Moyu, it's your turn, I don't need to rest, I don't know if you need it? Hurry up and finish you off so I can go back to rest. If it wasn't for the glittering skill scrolls, I wouldn't bother coming to this kind of boring match. Su Sheng didn't put Lin Maxian in his eyes in the slightest. It should be said that he didn't put the other professionals in his eyes at all. Even the four teammates behind him were just sent over by the academy to make up the numbers. There was no need for them to do anything at all, and they watched the entire show. A referee flew over the ring and said to Lin Mashua, Su Shang has made an invitation to fight, Lin Mashua do you want to fight now or after rest? Lin Moiwe pressed on without any attrition, then let's compete now. Finish the match early and call it a day. It didn't matter if you couldn't understand Su Shang's skills. Skeleton armor wasn't just for show, no matter what skills you had, if you could break skeleton armor, then you could say so. Skeletal armor could even block the flame demon king's death ray, not to mention the skills of a level 29 professional. There was a limit to how strong a legendary level professional could be. Lin Maxian walked to the ring. Su Shang said a few words to the few players behind him. Several people quickly jumped down to the ring. I know that you're also from the Xiaojing Academy and I've heard about what you've done in the Xiaojing Academy. Bringing people through copies to earn points, such a disgraceful thing to do. Ordinary cadets are just ordinary cadets, it really makes people speechless. Su Shang's eyes carried the professional attribute of disgust as he spoke under his breath. Lin Mayu's face also gradually became gloomy. It's fine for you to be condescending, it's not my business. But want to come and teach me a lesson? Who do you count as an onion? Are you sick in the head? Lin Moyu suddenly opened her mouth. Su Sheng froze, what did you say? Lin Moyu said, if you have a sick brain, hurry up and go to a therapist to have a look, don't bark like a dog here. Su Sheng's face was angry and red. Zhang Tao Tao had a strange look on her face, ee, -e, why does that sound a bit familiar? Ning Yi smiled cheekily, a little embarrassed, learned it from my place. Zhang Tao Tao couldn't help the corners of her mouth twitching, a look of wanting to laugh but not being able to. Su Sheng coldly said, you dare to scold me, how dare you scold me? Idiot. Lin Moyu snorted coldly, not bothering to pay attention to him some people were too self-righteous and arrogant. Really thinking that he was the boss of the sky, he was the boss, but in fact, he was nothing at all. Su Sheng's voice was getting colder and colder, verbal arguments are meaningless, only the fist is the hard way. Lin Moyu was too lazy to pay attention to him. Maybe the legend level profession made him lose himself, it doesn't make sense to talk to this kind of person, the only way is to step on him hard. The battle began. Five skeleton warriors appeared in front of Lin Muyue. Su Sheng ignored the skeletal warriors, undead of the undead lineage, except the punishment of holy light. The ring lit up once again, turning into a clean white light mass where nothing could be seen. In the mass of light, Limerick's skeletal armor flickered, clearly under attack. The attack came from light, light in all directions, light that could not be dodged the attack of light was so pervasive that even the best knights couldn't block it all. The light contained a special aura, and Lin Moshin felt a sense of familiarity. After feeling it, he finally realized, so it's a spiritual attack. The aura was 8 or 9% similar to the aura of his soul flame. It turned out that Su Sheng's attack was a spiritual attack. And it was different from his own soul flame. It wasn't as fiery and directly caused a large amount of damage. It was more like boiling a frog in warm water, and the opponent was directly eliminated by death by the attack without even realizing it. It was so silent that even the opponent didn't know how he was eliminated. Unfortunately, the spiritual level attack was still within the skeletal armor's defensive range. Su Shan, with his condescension, maintained the light with one hand, while his other hand had been raised high. Lin Mashua seemed to be dazed and unmoving in his line of sight go to hell. Skill, Blade of Light A large blade made of light slashed down violently towards Lin Mashiang. The large blade contained the same power of light and was very fast. It landed on Lin Mashian almost instantly. A holy light mage, the reason why he could become a legendary rank profession and still be a very powerful existence amongst legendary rank professions. It was precisely because he could perform spiritual attacks and manipulate the power of light. 
The skeleton armor was incredibly sturdy, and the large sword fell on it and could not be shaken in the slightest. Su Shang frowned slightly, the sturdiness of the skeleton armor exceeded his imagination. His blade of light had always been invincible. Just now, Lu Xianrun, who was also a legendary profession, was also defeated by the attack of the blade of light. He didn't expect Lin Maxian to be able to block it. Click, click, click. The world of light was quiet, and the footsteps of the skeletons were especially obvious five skeleton warriors ran over in the holy white light. In the blink of an eye, they arrived in front of Su Shang, and their hands rose and fell. The holy light was only a spiritual attack, and it had no effect on the skeletons. Su Shang with disgust, holy light impact. A more dense light appeared in front of his body. With a strong holy aura, it exploded with a bang. The five skeletal warriors were instantly blown away. Lin Maxian could feel that the skeleton warriors didn't suffer much damage. The power of the holy light and the undead power of the skeletons were in a relationship of mutual restraint. Exactly who restrained whom still depended on the strength of the power attributes of both sides. The attributes of the skeleton warrior far exceeded Su Shang's, and his skill did not cause much damage to the skeleton warrior. It was only the effect of this skill forcing the skeleton warrior to fly, which was similar to a control skill, that blew the skeleton warrior out Su Shang still carried his condescension, in his eyes, holy light could restrain darkness. Undead monsters deserved to be purified and destroyed in holy light. But in the next second, the skeleton warrior quickly climbed back up after 680 falling to the ground, every bone in his body was intact, not injured at all. This is impossible. Su Shang didn't believe it, when he wanted to attack again. With a boom, two lightning bolts fell on his head. Su Shang's body trembled, and his skills were immediately interrupted. The white light enveloping the ring disappeared and people saw what was happening in the ring. Su Shang's body was covered in black smoke, and his hair was standing on end. Ha, huh, not eliminated yet. Lin Mojing was also slightly surprised. A legendary ranked professional was worthy of being a legendary ranked professional, their attributes were indeed a cut above the ordinary commoners even with the weak physique of the mage department, it was surprising that he could withstand two attacks from the skeleton mage without being eliminated. Su Shang's appearance was in a sorry state at this time, and his body was trembling. The attacks from the electricity spells were not easy to endure. He gritted his teeth and cast the skill again, and a clean white magic shield appeared on his body. Skill, Holy Light Shield. This was the first time he had used a defense skill. I admit to underestimating. Before the words were finished, the skeleton warrior had already run in front of him, and the great sword skill exploded in his hand. The power of the undead system and the power of holy light were mutually restraining. When the skeleton warrior erupted his skill, it easily tore through the holy light shield. The great sword was close, and in the nick of time, a clean white aura exploded in Su Sheng's hand. The skeleton warrior was once again sent flying. Skill, Ring of Holy Light. Also with a shock flying effect, similar to the effect of the mage profession's ring of fire resistance. I admit to underestimating. Boom. Boom. Two more lightning bolts landed on him. Su Shang still couldn't finish his sentence. Once again attacked by the skeleton mage, Su Shang didn't last this time and had appeared outside the ring. Having been eliminated all this time, the condescension in Su Shang's expression never disappeared. Only now there was more disbelief. He didn't believe that he would be eliminated at all. Lin Mou shook his head slightly as he thought of a phrase he had once heard. The villain dies from too many words. Chapter 183, Counselor Su Wei, Demon Worshipping Association Under the ring, Su Shang glared at Lin Mou. Why, why don't you even let him finish his words? 1. Lin Mou 1. That's a win? Su Shang's attack was ineffective against Lin Mou Wei? How did Lin Mou Wei break Su Shang's attack? What exactly is Su Shang's attack? The legendary profession, Holy Light Mage, still lost to Lin Mashue. People sighed and marveled at how powerful Lin Mashue was. At the same time, they didn't understand what Su Shang's skills were. The skill that had been unfavorable from the beginning of the match, why did it fail at Lin Mayu's place? Su Shang looked at Lin Mou for a while. In the end, he said in a deep voice, count yourself as a winner this time. We'll compete again in the future when we both become high professionists, and I'll let you know how strong I am then. After saying that, he left with his head turned back. Although he had lost, he was still arrogant. Lin Mou felt that there was indeed something wrong with this person's brain, he seemed to be immersed in his own world and couldn't get out of it. The match ended and the formation disappeared. Ning Yi jumped onto the ring and hugged Lin Mou Yen in a flash, happily shouting, We won. Lin Mojing hugged her and touched her head winning, it's something that has been set in stone for a long time. From the beginning of the competition, Lin Mou had said that the champion would definitely be his. He had this confidence. Even after winning the championship, Lin Mayu's mood only fluctuated slightly. His eyes fell on the prizes in the air. 
The sparkling beginner skill scrolls were useful to him. Far away in the Xiaojing Academy. Ning Tyran witnessed the scene and blew his beard and eyes out in anger, Brat, let go of Ee. Bai Yuan laughed, old man Ning, you can see clearly, this is your granddaughter hugging the family murmur first, to let go is also your granddaughter letting go. Ning Tyran grunted, Brat, if you dare to bully Ee, -E, sooner or later I'll make you look good. Bai Yuan patted his thighs, don't worry, my family's silent language won't bully anyone. Bai Yuan was now calling my family's silent language in one mouthful, Calling it affectionately Ning Tai Ran stopped talking, the baby that he had raised with great difficulty had ended up being snubbed like this. In the primary arena, all three groups quickly received their final results. The Xiaojing Academy was worthy of being the chief academy of the Divine Xia Empire. Even when placed in the world, it was likewise a first-class existence. Apart from the winner of the 10th to 19th level category, which was won by the Aurora Academy, the winners of the 20th and 30th level categories were both won by the Xijing Academy. The winner of the level 20 category was Lin Mu Yu's team. The champion of the level 30 category was won by the official team sent by the Xiaojing Academy. Overall, the Divine Summer Empire had bagged the champions of all three divisions below level 40 of the professionals competition. This also proved that the Divine Summer Empire was indeed one of the most powerful empires in the world though small countries and small forces were simply unable to compete with the Divine Summer Empire. Things like this happened from time to time in the previous professionals competitions. One time, the Divine Summer Empire had even swept all the categories, taking all the titles along with the individual competitions. So the world was not surprised by this. Next was the awarding of prizes. A powerful professional appeared in midair. A terrifying aura emanated from him, and just the natural emanation of his aura left people breathless. This person, he's at least level 80. What a terrifying aura, a top professional over level 80, it's usually rare to see one. That's awesome, if only I could reach that level. Don't think about it, you'd better become a second turn first. Professionals below level 40 were known as low level professionals. Between level 40 and 69, after completing the second turn, they were called high level professionals, or they could be called high level professionals. Professionals at this level were the mainstream of professionals. Lastly, there were the level 70 and above, and those who had completed the third turn. They were the top tier of professionals and were called top professionals. The number of level 70 plus top level professionals was scarce, and not even one out of a hundred professionals could reach this level. And because after level 70, with each level up, the attributes increased tremendously. So another distinction was made between them. Above level 70 and below level 79, they were called top level professionals. Above level 80 and below level 89, it was called a top professional. And once they reached level 90, they could be called god level professionals. The number of god level professionals was rare. As strong as the Divine Summer Empire, there weren't many. It was like a pyramid, the more top characters there were, the fewer there were such a character was a sharp knife that plunged into the heart of the abyssal demons, holding up the sky for the human race. For example, Bai Yi Yuan, Ning Tai Ran, and Meng Yanwen were all god-level professionals. They were the sea pins and pillars of the Divine Summer Empire and even the entire human race. This kind of character would not appear easily. Ordinary people could only see them in materials or textbooks. The top professional in front of him, who was over level 80, was already considered a big shot in the upper echelon. When Su Shang looked at him, he also had to put away his condescension. Even with his status as a legend-ranked professional, there was no guarantee that he would be able to exceed level 80. It was just too difficult to practice until the later stages. Many legendary great professionals were just struggling after the third turn. Every step forward was a huge price to pay. It was already a great honor for a professional who was over level 80 to come and give awards to various people his aura gradually collected, and his majestic and deep gaze swept over the three champion teams one by one. You guys, all good. The future is promising. Aside from Lin Mou and Ning Yi, the rest of them all looked flattered. How could one not be happy to be praised by such a great man? Lin Mou remained indifferent as usual, she had usually dealt with more god-level professionals like Bai Yuan and Meng Yanwen. Nowadays, the top professionals were just that. As for Ning Yi, her own grandfather was a god-level professional. There was even less feeling. My name is Su Wei, from the Empire. You guys can also call me Elder Su, in the future, if you have a need, you can come and find me, maybe I can help out a bit. Su Wei said softly, and with a wave of his big hand, the three sets of championship prizes floating in the air flew down. Lin Mou felt slightly strange. Going to him with a need, was this considered pulling the strings? Ning Yi whispered, that's a bit strange. She felt that it wasn't quite right, but she couldn't tell where it was wrong. Lin Mou also felt the same way, feeling a bit strange. Someone heard Su Wei's name and immediately guessed the other party's identity. 
Su Wei, one of the twelve counselors of the Divine Summer Empire, a true senior member of the Empire, a big shot who could influence the decisions of the Empire. No wonder I looked at him with some familiarity, so it's Counselor Su Wei Su. Counselor Su Wei is one of the twelve counselors of the Empire, a truly big shot. Could it be even more powerful than the White God? It's not the same, the White God is a God-ranked professional, a pillar of the Empire Prime. Su Wei was strong, powerful, and had a lot of authority. But compared to the White God, it was still a little bit worse. Even so, it was high enough. The three championship prizes automatically flew in front of the three championship teams Su Wei personally handed over the prizes to them. He handed over the chests containing gold coins, magical potions, and glittering skill scrolls to Lin Muyue, young man, if you have any difficulties, you can come to me. Without waiting for Lin Mou to reply, Su Wei added to Ning Yi. Greet Elder Ning for me, I'll come up and pay a visit when I'm free. Ning Yi nodded, good. Duan Gao asked in a low voice, Yi Yi, you know Counselor Su. Ning Yi shook her head, I don't. Then you? Ning Yi said, maybe he knows me. Duan Gao was about to ask, but Miao Yu pulled him a bit, signaling him not to ask. They all knew that Ning Yi came from an extraordinary background, and it wasn't impossible that the elders in her family were acquainted with Su Wei. After Su Wei awarded the generals, he announced in a loud voice. The team tournament under level 40 is officially over, the individual tournament will be held here tomorrow, so please prepare yourselves. I wish all the contestants good results. Su Wei flew away after he finished speaking. In the blink of an eye, he had already disappeared from sight. The Divine Summer Empire hadn't even held any grand ceremonies since the start of the professionals' competition. Even the awarding of prizes was so simple and casual. If behavior, it was very much in line with the straightforward approach of the professionals. No need to bend, just be straightforward. Only strength is real, everything else is weak. Lin Mou looked at the box and potion scroll in front of him and reached out for the box. The moment his fingers touched the box, it felt as if something was wrong. It was as if a breath had burrowed into his body. After feeling carefully, nothing was found. Thinking that he had made a mistake with his senses, he didn't think anything of it. Lin Mei Yu put the box away, 50 million gold coins, to be distributed to the crowd in a moment 10 million per person, not much for him, but for Zheng Tao Tao and the others it was a lot of money. Duan Gao was already drooling and straightening up to share the money. Lin Mo Yu took the White God Potion in his hands again, and the detection technique popped up in response. Elementary Magical Potion, all attributes permanently plus 200, only effective when taken for the first time. All attributes permanently added 200, although 200 attributes can only be considered a drop in the bucket for the later stages. But in the early stages, it was a very good addition, comparable to a piece of gold equipment. Primary Magical Potions are priced at a premium and cannot be bought with money. There was once someone who offered 100 million gold coins to buy it, but the result was that they couldn't even buy it. The only drawback was that it could only be used once. If one still wanted to continue to permanently increase their attributes, then they could only take Intermediate Magical Potion and Advanced Magical Potion Valley later Lin Mou threw the potion to Ningyi, eat it. At the same time, he put away the glittering skill scroll. In the White God's small courtyard. When Lin Mou touched the box, Meng Yuan spoke, the fish is hooked. Bai Yi Yuan raised his eyebrows, who is it? Meng Anwen said in a deep voice, Su Wei. Although I'm not sure yet, it's not far off. I'll take another look and I'll be sure soon. Ning Taran whispered, surprisingly, it's him. Look closer, don't make a mistake. If it's really him, then it's a big deal. I didn't think that someone from the demon worshipping society would have lurked to such an extent. Chapter 184, Sister is also a bait to lure out the demon worshipping society. As one of the twelve counselors of the Divine Summer Empire, Su Wei had a lofty position. It could be said to be second only to the White God and the others if he was infiltrated, it wouldn't just be a heavenly thing for the Divine Summer Empire, it would be a heavenly bad thing for the entire human race. Even the top echelons of the Divine Summer Empire had been infiltrated, so one could only imagine what would happen to the top echelons of other small countries and forces. Meng Anwen closed his eyes and didn't say anything, continuing to observe. This was not a small matter, even he had to carefully confirm it. The team competition ended, and Lin Mou and Ning Yi arrived at the high-level arena. The matches in the higher arena had also ended. Rewards were being awarded. The award presenter was still Counselor Su Wei. Lin Mohan's team had won the first place in the level 40 category. In the history of the professionals' competition, as long as there was a group in which the Creation God Academy competed, it would absolutely be the first place winner, without exception. There were three top academies in the Xiaojing Academy, namely Creation God, Creation World, and Yen Huang the God of Creation had always been in first place. In the high-level arena, the same three groups, the same three group championship prizes. 500 million gold coins, glittering intermediate skill scrolls, and intermediate magical potions. 
Intermediate Magical Potion, a permanent increase of 2000 in all attributes. This was a basic attribute, not a small amount for a 40-something leveled professional. Lin Mou felt very happy to see Lin Mohan winning the championship. 680 But when he saw the chest containing the gold coins, that feeling of something being wrong rose again. He felt as if something bad existed on the chest. Ee, -e, use your skill and observe the chest containing the gold coins. Ning Ee -e was very obedient and immediately launched the skill. Skill, Dark Vision World. The world in Ning Ee's eyes instantly changed. The colorful world turned black and white. Even things hidden in the deepest depths couldn't escape Ning Ee's eyes if she was willing, she could even see the gold coins in the chest. Under the dark video world, Ning Yi noticed that something was wrong. There's indeed something wrong, I can see a dark aura in the gold coin chest. It's kind of like the aura of an abyssal demon, but not quite. Ning Yi wasn't too sure. She had come into contact with abyssal demons and felt somewhat similar. Lin Mou was also able to feel a hint of something wrong because he had been in contact with an abyssal demon. Now that Ning Yi said it, he was completely sure. At this time, Lin Mohan touched the gold coin chest. Ning Yi whispered, that black chi reached Sister Han's wrist. Ning Yi's small face was a bit tense as she looked towards Lin Mohan and let out another low cry, Mohan, it's on your wrist too. He he, it's also on my hand. The black chi entered Lin Mohan through the box, then dispersed and burrowed into the hands of each champion team professional the black chi was lurking there, not moving at all, and could not be detected at all. Clearly, this black chi was extremely unusual. Ning Yi added, Sister Han has already discovered the black chi, but she didn't react to it, instead, she even smiled. Under the darkness realm, Lin Mo Han's tiniest reaction hadn't escaped Ning Yi's eyes. Another thought arose in Lin Mo Yan's mind, it's hard to believe that my sister is also one of the decoys. He thought of how Bai Yuan had said to him that he wasn't the only bait. Now that he thought about it, it was extremely possible. Otherwise, there was no way to explain Lin Mo Han's reaction. Lin Mo Yan carefully recalled what Bai Yuan had said to him at that time. Letting him be the bait, displaying his past talents, and finding out the enemies hidden amongst the humans. Among the human race, there was a group of rats hidden they were called the Demon Worshipping Society. Everyone in the guild worshipped the Abyssal Demon King and wanted to help him invade the human world. No one knew why they were like that, anyway they just did it. There were several tragic cases in human history that were triggered by them. Two years ago, several geniuses in the Divine Summer Empire were assassinated by them. At that time, Bai Yi Yuan had stepped in and killed a few of them, but unfortunately they were all small fry. This time, Bai Yuan was using Lin Mou as bait, trying to lure out the bigger fish. He needed Lin Mou to show his excessive strength, his amazing talent, but not to show all his power. This degree was somewhat difficult to grasp. Lin Mou then showed his strength a little bit at a time. A little more each time, but then hiding some of it. Just the part that was revealed was enough to attract the world's attention. Moreover, Bai Yuan had said that he wasn't the only bait, there were others right now, it seemed highly likely that Lin Mohan was one of the bait. Using herself as bait, Lin Mohan hadn't considered the danger in the slightest. However, using Lin Mohan as bait, Lin Mou began to worry about Lin Mohan's safety. Looking at Lin Mou's hesitant expression, Ning Yi said, Don't worry, Sister Han is so powerful, she'll be fine. Medium legendary profession, it's much stronger than guys like Su Shang, Zhou Lishang. It's not that easy to kill her. Only after hearing Ning Yi's words did Lin Mou relax a bit, and her top nerves gradually loosened up. Come to think of it, Bai Yuan would definitely take safety into consideration. It should be fine. The night was late and quiet. The entire South Rainbow City was still brightly lit. The professionals' competition contestants' quarters had fallen into silence. The professionals meditated and slept. Tomorrow was the single-player tournament, and many of those who had signed up were refreshing their energy and preparing for tomorrow's competition. The rules of the single-player tournament were currently unknown and would not be announced until tomorrow. The way the competition was conducted changed every year, and it was impossible to guess. Suddenly, the lights of the entire city paused for a second at the same time. The sound of the waves suddenly got louder. Immediately after that, the wind gusted and the waves were swept up hundreds of meters high. It was practically about to drown the entire city. For the professional competition, the Divine Summer Empire had moved mountains and reclaimed the sea, and the coastline had been expanded out by a distance of a thousand meters. The place where the competition venue was located was originally an ocean. At this moment, the competition venue was covered by a light curtain, and the interior was being remodeled in preparation for tomorrow's single-player competition under the impact of the waves, the light curtain shook violently. The high-level arena, the low-level arena, the two huge light curtains simultaneously erupted with brilliant light, illuminating half of Southern Rainbow City. The late-night Southern Rainbow City was like a giant that had been suddenly awakened, brightly lit. At that moment, dark clouds covered the air and a thousand thunderbolts fell with a bang. 
In an instant, the entire southern rainbow city was enveloped in thunder. These thunderbolts weren't aimless, every single one of them was aimed at the teleportation array. In a split second of effort, all of the teleportation formations in southern rainbow city were destroyed. Even the teleportation array hidden in the deepest part of the city did not escape. After the thunder, a huge boundary fell, like an inverted giant bowl, and buckled onto Southern Rainbow City half of Southern Rainbow City was shrouded in it, including the professionals conference stadium and quarters. The boundary spread out a full 10 kilometers from the coastline. It enveloped a large portion of the sea. The entire process took less than a second before and after. By the time the professionals reacted, the boundary had already been completely formed. At this point, half of South Rainbow City had become a turtle in a jar, with nowhere to escape. Chapter 185, Boundary Envelope, Demon Worshipping Society's Surprise Attack Lin Mou looked up at the boundary that had suddenly appeared, without the slightest ripple in his heart. No matter when the Demon Worshipping Society made their move, it was all within expectation. At that time, listening to what Bai Yuan said, he knew that the Demon Worshipping Society would either not make a move or would inevitably do so before the end of the professionals' competition otherwise, when the competition ended and the professionals left Southern Rainbow City, they would once again scatter across the heavens and the earth, and it would be difficult to find them again. Right now, they were in Southern Rainbow City. The legend-ranked professionals who hadn't grown up yet were in South Rainbow City. The champion team was in Southern Rainbow City. It was possible to kill them all in one fell swoop. Once something happened to them, it would be a serious blow to both the Divine Summer Empire and the entire human race. It could do much more damage than destroying a city. No matter how many ordinary professionals were killed, it would not be as bad as killing a single legend-ranked professional. And this time, if they succeeded, they would be able to kill at least several legend-ranked professionals it was optimal to strangle these people in the cradle before they grew up. The Demon King in the Abyss didn't want another strong person like the White God to appear in the human race. What's going on? What's happening? This is a boundary? Oh my god, such a giant boundary, could it be that some god-level professional has struck? What does this want? The originally quiet garrison was buzzing with activity. One by one, the occupiers sensed the unusual and walked out. Ning Yi ran out of the room to Lin Mojing's side, they made a move? Lin Mou nodded slightly, I didn't expect it to be so fast. As he spoke, he had already put skeleton armor on himself and Ning Yi. The door to the room opened, and Zhang Tao Tao, Duan Gao, and Miao Yu also flew up. Lin Mashue took the lead in putting the skeleton armor on the three of them, you guys be careful in a while. The three of them didn't understand what was happening seeing Lin Mayu's grave expression, what happened? Lin Mou said softly, the demon worshipping society. Zhang Tao Tao's face changed drastically, what, how dare they strike at this time? This is South Rainbow City, the professionals competition is being held, how dare these rat trash of theirs strike at this time? Duan Gao and Miao Yu's faces also changed drastically. They both knew of the existence of the demon worshipping society. This group of devil worshipping lunatics, who were clearly human themselves, were thinking of destroying the human race one after another. More professions ran out, and one by one, they looked at the giant boundary in the air, revealing disbelief. There were flashes of electricity in the boundary. Stabbing. Electricity flashed and thunder roared, the air brightened up, and South Rainbow City instantly entered daytime seas of electric snakes travel through the boundary and rush towards the professionals. The professionals let out strange cries and took up combat positions. A boundary of this size could only be set up by at least a top-notch boundary master. The power was bound to be amazing. The electric light attacked, and before it even landed, the earth in the compound had already cracked. The ground shook like the end of the world. How terrifying. Oh my god, dying. It's over, this can't be blocked at all one. What to do? Are we going to die? A cry of sorrow had risen in the hearts of many professionals. But such a powerful attack was simply not something they could resist. Even Lin Mashue looked grave at this moment, he wasn't sure if his skeleton armor could block it. Two huge shields suddenly rose up in the professionals' quarters, blocking all the lightning outside. At the same time, there were arrow lights shooting out from the quarters, heading straight for the boundary the arrow light exploded, and the boundary violently shook, all the lightning disappeared and annihilated in this instant. The boundary hummed, and large handfuls of black gas flew out. Ten black-robed men wearing masks appeared in the air. They stood in the void with a huge aura. The ten black-clothed men were all top-tier professionals over level 70 without exception. Then another person appeared, and his aura was even more majestic. Lin Mashian's pupils shrank. This person wasn't as good as the white god, but he was at least a top-level professional over level 80. It was on par with the counselor Su Wei that he had met in the afternoon. The men in black all wore masks, which were made from special props. Ning Yi shook her head, it's hard to see. Its dark vision realm couldn't see through the masks to see what the people behind them looked like. 
It's over, it's the demon worshipping society. How could it be, how could these guys come here? They're really bold and fat, daring to make a move in the divine summer empire, is it hard for the white god to exterminate them? That's only if the white god can find them, these guys are hiding too deep and too profound. Someone recognized the clothing of the men in black. These men in black had special symbols on their cuffs and collars. In the logo was the totem of the abyssal demon king. The symbols actually varied, as each member of the demon worshipping society worshipped a different demon king. However, without exception, all of them could be instantly recognized as the symbol of the demon worshipping society. One top professional over level 80, 10 top professionals over level 70. Request flowers. This combination was very powerful no matter where it was placed. It was even more than enough to destroy some small forces. The person at the head of the demon worshipping society snorted coldly, kill. One word was cold and merciless nine of his men immediately flew towards the bottom. Some took out bows and arrows, some took out staffs, and some took out sharp swords. There were status rays shining on them. They formed a team, aided by a war king over level 70 to provide status. Nine people swooped down on two residents, six went to the higher professions resident while three came to the lower professions resident. As the attacks fell, the shields in the resident professions residency shimmered and blocked their attacks. However, under their strong attacks, the shields had a shaky feeling, and obviously couldn't hold out for too long. Zero. Although the professionals in the resident were scared and fearful, none of them retreated. They were ready to fight. This was a true professional, never fearing life and death. Waves churned as a large number of abyssal demons rushed out from the ocean. The number was tens of thousands and endless these abyssal demons had long been hidden under the ocean and only made their move at this time. It was obvious that the devil-worshipping society had prepared for this. The abyssal demons were different from the ones Lin Moshian had seen on the Yuan battlefield. These demons were all originally monsters in the ocean that had been contaminated by the power of the abyss, and at this time, they had all transformed into abyssal demons. Kill. Sweet human flesh, this devil is here. After hiding for so many days, I can finally eat human flesh. A large number of abyssal demons accompanied by abyssal demons rushed out, and they roared with bloodthirsty excitement. An alarm was raised in South Rainbow City. A large number of combat class professionals assembled. A large number of professionals still existed in South Rainbow City, which was shrouded in a boundary. They each teamed up, added their statuses, and prepared for battle. Those abyssal demons that had washed ashore frantically rushed into Southern Rainbow City and battled with the professionals Lin Moshian suddenly saw his wrist glowing. It was the black aura left behind by the previous contact with the chest. At this moment, the black chi was glittering, and Lin Mou became incredibly conspicuous in the crowd. It wasn't just him, Ning Yi, Zheng Taodao, and a few others did the same. As long as they were members of the champion team, they were all like light cannons right now. Over here, kill them. It was as if the abyssal demon had found its target, commanding tens of thousands of abyssal demons to rush over Jiu. Chapter 186 God Shasta's main body in person, single player tournament begins. The champion team was the primary goal of the demons. Thousands of abyssal demons led a sea of abyssal demons to charge over. It was unknown how the demon worshippers had gotten so many abyssal demons here. But that point didn't matter. The resident shield was already shaky and could break at any time there were low-level demons as well as high-level demons among the shallow demons. They hissed and roared, their bodies filled with bloodlust. Prepare for battle. The shroud is about to break, prepare to strike. Killing one is not a loss, killing two earns one. At the last moment, the professionals put aside their fear and threw away their trepidation, even if their strength was inferior, they were not afraid to fight. Standing in the air was a member of the demon worshipping society, a top professional over level 80. His gaze fell towards the higher circuit's quarters, where the situation was almost the same. And there were even more abyssal demons flocking there. Plus there were seven top professions over level 70 doing it together, it was foolproof. A teasing look appeared in his eyes. Courage is good, but it's a pity that it's useless. Your results are already doomed. People who are too outstanding often don't live long. His self-talk was as if he was speaking to himself. I don't think so, at least I'm living quite well. A voice suddenly appeared, and the man turned around sharply to see Bai Yi Yuan. So it's Lord White God who's here. Bai Yi Yuan laughed, it seems like you expected my arrival, Counselor Su Wei. Su Wei shuddered and sighed lightly as he removed his mask to reveal his true face. It was indeed Su Wei without a doubt. I knew I couldn't hide it from Lord White God. Su Wei spoke softly. Facing Bai Yi Yuan, Su Wei wasn't the slightest bit afraid, clearly having prepared for this. Ha, who would dare to mess with Lord White God if they didn't have a backhand? A delicate laugh rang out. A female demon appeared beside Su Wei. This demon had pointed ears, a beautiful appearance, and an even more graceful body. 
A delicate, slender bar tail swung slowly behind her. Her entire body was filled with a strange allure after she appeared, Su Wei's eyes revealed a fervent color. In Su Wei's eyes, there was no longer Bai Yuan, only this girl demon. Bai Yuan pulled out his ears, so it's the charmed demon king who's here, I told you who could make a level 83 top professional fall to a demonic lackey, come to think of it, it's only you. The phantom demon king laughed daintily and twisted her body, unfortunately, this demon king can't tempt Lord White God yet. Bai Yuan slowly clenched his fists, even if you've come, then stay, anyone who dares to mess with my divine summer empire will have to pay the price. The phantom demon king smiled even more movingly, it seems like Lord Bai Shin is very confident, but unfortunately, this demon king has no intention of staying. This demon king is only here to kill people, so I'll leave once I've killed them. That's not up to you. Bai Yuan had already set his sights on the charmed demon king and had no intention of letting her goth phantom demon king laugh delicately, is Lord White God so sure he can keep this demon king? Adding me to the mix makes me completely certain. Another voice rang out, and Ning Taran appeared beside Bai Yuan. Boom! The flames exploded, and flames shot up into the sky, covering the sky. Old man Ning, I'll be your opponent. Explosive sounds rang out. A demon stepped out from the sea of flames, it was covered in flames, especially a pair of eyes, which had even more fiery light within them. Flame Demon King. Ning Taran gritted his teeth and said viciously. It was obvious that the two sides had an old grudge. The phantom demon laughed daintily, one on one, now that's fair. There was a loud bang. Kill. The shields of the low level arena quarters were the first to be broken. A sea of demons rushed in the professionals had long been prepared to fight to the death. Lu Xianren, the god's eye archer, had long since finished storing his qi. An arrow rushed into the sky and exploded. Skill, arrow storm. In an instant, a sea of sharp arrows fell. Explosions covered the sky, and a large number of low-level abyssal demons screamed in agony. Large swathes of them died in the blink of an eye. The sharp arrows fell on the abyssal demons, hitting them and causing them to cry out in pain. However, they were not able to kill or injure them. After all, Lu Xianren was only level 29. While the abyssal demons were at worst level 35, there was no lack of higher demons that were over level 40. A white holy light suddenly emerged from the compound. Holy light mage, Su Shang. Skill, holy light. The holy light enveloped a large area, illuminating half of the compound. Amidst the holy light, the abyssal demons died without a sound. It was as if the abyssal demons had run into their nemesis, and black smoke continued to emanate from their bodies the holy light that contained divine power was the most loathsome existence to them, a natural nemesis. The two struck out at once, and in the blink of an eye, hundreds of abyssal demons died at their hands. Because of the two's outstanding performance, the higher demons and the two top professions of the demon worshipping society had set their sights on them. They quickly pounced towards the duo. The chimera laughed daintily, pointless resistance. The struggle before death is the most adorable. The flesh and blood of geniuses is the most delicious ah, I really want to grab them back to the abyss and slowly savor them piece by piece day by day. Saying this, she stuck out her long tongue and slowly licked it. Bai Yi Yuan wasn't the least bit worried, that's not easy to say. Geniuses, there is always a reason for their existence. Suddenly, the heavens and earth roared. A tall tower violently appeared outside the boundary the tall tower pressed down, and the sturdy and incomparable boundary shattered like glass. The divine summer pagoda proper is here in person. It's Meng Anwen coming. Crap, we've been fooled. The chimera finally changed color. The divine summer pagoda instantly crushed the boundary, becoming infinitely huge in the blink of an eye and bursting with brilliant light. The divine summer tower turned into the sun, illuminating the entire southern rainbow city. In the light, the abyssal demons as well as abyssal demonic creatures in southern rainbow city collectively disappeared. Also disappearing were all of the professionals who had participated in the single player tournament. In an instant, South Rainbow City, which was about to be devastated, returned to normal. Just as the Divine Summer Tower absorbed and collected all the demons and professionals, Bai Yuan let out a fierce roar. Kill. A pair of gloves appeared on his palm. Bai Yuan fiercely blasted out a fist, and the space shook violently, sending out tons of ripples by Yuan's occupation, Divine Fist Overlord. Skill, shocking fist. The Phantom King let out a strange cry, not daring to take it hard and retreating. Ning Taiyan also made his move at the same time. Skill, Fire Dragon. Flames rushed out to transform into a giant dragon and pounced towards the Flame Demon King. The two great god-level powerhouses struck at the same time. As they made their moves, a large teleportation array underneath Southern Rainbow City flickered. Dozens of professionals with the symbol of the Xiaojing Academy appeared. None of them were top-level professions over level 70, and the few of them who were carrying them were all top-level professions over level 80. The aura was immense. 
The person in the lead drew his longsword and swung it, the sword energy instantly breaking through the earth as the group rushed out. They went straight at the demon worshipping society's crowd. The phantom demon kings looked on, and they knew they had been fooled the Divine Summer Empire had prepared for this. Otherwise how could the Divine Summer Tower be present in person? Otherwise how could the boundary be crushed so easily? This battle, they were going to lose. Go! The phantom demon king shouted. As soon as her words fell, a low roar came from the air, you can't leave. Hearing the voice, the phantom demon king's face became incredibly ugly. The flame demon king who was battling Ning Turun let out a strange cry, his eyes filled with fear. The divine summer tower was divided into two pieces of space. One slice belonged to high-level professionals and the other slice belonged to low-level professionals like Lin Moshian. Each piece of space was further divided into three separate areas. A group of ten levels, exactly the same pattern as before. Single-player tournament, starting now. Chapter 187, You're like this, do you still let people play? Meng Anwen's voice resounded throughout the Divine Summer Tower Lin Mou had guessed that Bai Yuan and the others would make a move, and it was unlikely that anything would happen. That's why he hadn't rushed to do anything just now. Bai Yuan and the others had long since set up and waited for the devil to enter the jar. It was slightly surprising that Meng Anwen had treated the coming of the Abyssal Demon as a single-player match. It made sense to think that no matter how strong or weak the profession was, ultimately, they still had to go into battle to kill demons. That was the meaning of the existence of the professionals. In front of the professionals were countless abyssal demons and tons of demons. It was as if they were locked in a cage, struggling madly and roaring, but to no avail. Meng Anwen's voice continued to resound. Level 10 professionals, facing level 22 abyssal demons, number 4320. The professionals who had passed the level 10 single-player tournament additions, totaling 432, would face abyssal devils 10 times their number, only devils, no demons. A large hand appeared in the air and probed into the group of abyssal demons, grabbing a bunch at random no more, no less, exactly 4,320 of them. These demons were tossed aside like garbage before their levels rapidly dropped. Originally infested by the power of the abyss, they were all above level 30. Now they were uniformly suppressed to level 20. 14 level 20 professionals, facing level 32 abyssal demons as well as level 35 abyssal demons, number 7520. Compared to level 10 professionals, with more abyssal demons. Level 30 professionals, facing level 42 abyssal demons as well as level 45 abyssal demons, number 4990. As it was, a portion of the abyssal demons were suppressed in level, while a portion were forced to level up. Meng Anwen's methods were extraordinary, and Lin Mou looked on in awe. It was as if everything was controlled by him at will, is this the strength of a god-level powerhouse? One day, I will also reach the god-level. Lin Moshian had a slight excitement in his heart and was full of anticipation for the god-level. Rules of the competition, 1 point for killing an abyssal demon, 100 points for an abyssal demon. 1. Stay alive. 2. The one with the most points is the champion. The rules are simple and rough. It's all about who kills more. Turn on legion mode, everyone join the legion. Form a legion, in this way, the skills will not cause any mishaps. Everyone could let go and kill to their heart's content. Su Shang had a provocative look in his gaze, Lin Mashua, I'm going to compete with you again to see who kills more. Su Shang found Lin Mojing, while Lu Xianren found Su Shang. Su Shang, your career ranking is higher than mine, but on the battlefield, I won't lose to you. Su Shang carried a condescension, underlings, you are equally underlings on the battlefield. Lu Xianren snorted coldly, you can say this yourself, you are likewise a defeated general under others. Su Shang's face changed and he stopped speaking with a low gulp. The holy light in his hand flashed and he was ready. The bow and arrows in Lu Xianren's hand also began to build up, preparing his skills. A minute later, Meng Anwen's voice sounded again. The match begins. In an instant, the passage between the professionals and the abyssal demons opened. A large number of abyssal demons madly rushed over. The demons also flew in the air and pounced towards the crowd. Demons could fly and were incredibly flexible, not good for low-level professionals to kill. Skill, Holy Light. Skill, Arrow Storm. Su Shang and Lu Xianren moved at the same time. Holy Light enveloped them and arrows rained down. Su Shang knew that he could eliminate at least hundreds of abyssal demons with this strike, and as long as there were a few more waves, no one could compete with him unlike Lu Xianren, who had to store up momentum for each skill, it was weak. Su Shang looked at Lin Moshian as he sent out his skill. Why isn't this guy summoning skeletons? Su Shang felt a little strange that Lin Moshian didn't even summon a skeleton. Was he planning to give up? Lu Xianren's arrow storm skill was not a small sound, each sharp arrow exploded with a boom. Miserable screams came out, there were already abyssal demons being killed. Boom! A huge and completely different explosion rang out, suppressing all the sounds of Arrow Storm. 
The earth shook violently. Skill, corpse explosion. What happened? Who did this? Su Shang couldn't believe it, and in the explosion, a large swath of abyssal demons died. The power was much stronger than his holy light. Turning his head, he saw Lin Mashian who was raising his hand. It's him. Su Shang's pupils violently shrunk to a point surprisingly, it was Lin Mashue. It wasn't just him, Lu Xianran, as well as some other professionals had discovered Lin Mashue. This explosion was clearly Lin Mashue's doing. In addition to being a summoner, Lin Moiwe was also a mage. In itself, he possessed attack power. The chirping sounds continued to ring out. The abyssal demons fell as if they were being mowed down. Each roaring explosion could take away hundreds of abyssal demons. At this moment, Lin Mashian flew out. The abyssal demons within the range of the skill had already been blown up, not a single one left. The remaining abyssal demons were still charging, and the distance between the two sides rapidly closed. Lin Mashian raised his hand and continued to use the skill, another big explosion. In just less than half a minute's work, all 7,000 plus abyssal demons had died out. Only some abyssal demons saw the opportunity to escape and flew, and were spared. There were a few unlucky ones that didn't dodge fast enough and were blown down from the air, and were then drowned by the sea of explosions at this time, skeleton warriors appeared beside Lin Moyu, and the skeleton warriors violently threw up a body of abyssal demons. Lin Mojing's palm glowed red. Skill, slow speed curse. The demons in the air tried to escape, but realized that they couldn't fly. The corpses were rapidly approaching. The strength of the skeleton warriors was so strong that the corpses were three times faster like a strong bow and arrow. Boom. 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 The corpses were detonated in mid-air one after another. Several more demons were blown up. The remaining demons carried curses and struggled to fly far away not daring to approach at all. But this wasn't outside, this was the inner space of the skeleton god Xia Tower. How could Meng Anwen let them escape? Soon 680, they ran into the edge and had no way to escape. On the ground, the skeleton warriors had already thrown corpses towards them in shock, the few remaining demons were also engulfed by the explosion. It was only three minutes before and after. A battle ended. 7,520 demons as well as devils, at least 7,500 of them were just for Lin Mashian to kill. Everyone looked at Lin Mashian in a daze. You killed all of them by yourself, what are the others killing? This was still letting people let people play. Is this really a solo match? It was completely Lin Mayu's solo performance show, okay? No one could imagine that Lin Mashu's group attack skills would be so powerful. Powerful enough to kill abyssal demons in seconds. The tip of the iceberg had been lifted even more. Summoning, cursing, and group attacks. The summon skeletons could be melee and long range. Such a profession was near perfect. Su Shang swallowed his saliva with difficulty, this time he couldn't be proud anymore. What the hell kind of occupation is this? After holding his tongue for half a day, he finally stifled a sentence Lucien Run laughed out loud, you also have today, now you know, people are the real big shots, the real bulls. Compared to Lin Mou, this career is nothing compared to you. Su Shang glared at Lu Xianrun and did not retort. Indeed compared to Lin Mou, he seemed to be really weak. The sergeant badge on Lin Mou's shoulder lit up, and a large amount of military merit was being injected into it. The third star appeared. Chapter 188, Three Star Ensign, Counter Utilizing the Demon Worshipping Society. Kill one abyssal demon, one point of military merit. More than 7,000 abyssal demons was more than 7,000 military merits. Plus dozens of abyssal demons. Another thousands of military merits. Even though it was legion mode, since all these abyssal demons were killed by Lin Mashue, Meng Anwen also directly allocated all the military merits to Lin Mashue. All of a sudden, Lin Moyan's military merit increased by 13,000. The overall military merit reached 36,000, and he thus became a three star lieutenant. It was a pity that in legion mode, the experience was directly divided off equally, so Lin Mou didn't get much experience. Right now, there was still a bit of a distance to level 28. Lin Mojing Sergeant's badge appeared in the crowd's line of sight. Silver color. Three star ensign. He's actually a three star lieutenant. Oh my god, how many demons and devils does he have to kill to reach three star lieutenant? At least 30,000 military honors, that's horrible. They seemed to have forgotten what had just happened. It was really the ensign rank sergeant badge that was too dazzling. Su Shang was once again shocked at this moment. He silently removed his badge. He himself was only a private, a one star private. Compared to Lin Mayu's three star second lieutenant, it wasn't even as good as shit. Lu Xianran saw this scene and laughed You're surprisingly only a one star private. Shut up. Su Shang drank coldly. Lu Xianran showed off his sergeant badge Old me is a three star private, two stars more than you. 
Su Sheng didn't have the good sense to say, Scram, I'll catch up with you sooner or later. Being able to catch up is also later, even if you can catch up with me, but if you want to catch up with Lin Mou, I guess it's impossible for the rest of your life. Su Sheng lowered his voice, what do you know, Laozi is a holy light mage, the later it gets, the stronger it gets. Maybe Lin Mou is even stronger in the later stages. Shut the hell up if you can't talk. Are you weak-minded? Lu Xianran continued to hit Su Sheng with Lin Mou. He was happy to see Su Sheng get defeated. The two fought all the way. At this time, their battle had already ended, and the rest of the groups were still fighting. Lin Mou had some worry in her eyes, she didn't know how the outside world was doing. I don't know how Lin Mohan is doing. I believe that the white god must have set it up properly, but I'm just afraid of what might happen there were people in every group who had been fatally injured by the abyssal demons. As in the case of competing in the ring, receiving fatal injuries wouldn't really kill you. The worst outcome was just elimination. In the Divine Summer Tower, there was no problem with safety. Meng Anwen hadn't reminded them of this, which gave everyone a sense of urgency. The experience between life and death was the only way to train a true warrior. Time passed minute by minute, a full half hour later. Everyone only felt a blur before their eyes, and they had returned to the outside of the compound. The Divine Summer Tower had long since disappeared. The lights were still on in the garrison, and South Rainbow City had returned to calmness, as if what had just happened hadn't happened. No, there are corpses there. It seems to be the corpse of the demon worshipping society. There's more than one. Look, there are people in the sky. There was a group of people standing in the skyline MOU instantly recognized that these people had the symbol of the Xiaojing Academy on their clothes. Every single one of them was powerful. Obviously, the people from the demon worshipping society had been killed by them. On top of that, Bai Yuan was also standing in the air. Everyone, I am Bai Yuan. Bai Yuan's voice slowly sounded. Bai Yuan's reputation was something that anyone who was a professional had heard of. To the professionals of the Divine Summer Empire, this was the White God. To the professionals of other countries, this was the God of Divine Summer Killing. Everyone looked at Bai Yuan with respect, showing their admiration one after another. Bai Yuan continued, this time, the demon worshipping society came to attack, we had expected it and prepared for it. I'm glad that no one backed down, that's what qualified professionals do. We also made use of the demon worshipping society in passing, and completed the single player tournament in a practical manner. Now, the demons have been defeated and the traitors have been put to death. The winner of the single player tournament will be announced next. The low level arena plus the high level arena, six divisions with a total of six single player tournament champions. In addition to Lin Mashue, the champions of the level 40 category and the level 60 category were also from the Xiaojing school. The Xiaojing school had three of them, which could be considered a great harvest. The winner of the level 50 category came from the Aurora Academy. In total, four people from the Divine Summer Empire won the single player championship. Only two championship seats went to other countries. With a wave of Bai Yi Yuan's hand, corresponding prizes appeared in the hands of each champion. The three champions above level 40 each received intermediate magical potions. Those below level 40, on the other hand, received primary magical potions by Yuan continued, tomorrow, a challenge match will be held. Those who are interested can come and try. I can reveal in advance that the prizes for the challenge match are very generous. After saying that, Bai Yuan turned around and left with the crowd. The matter was finally over, and everyone let out a long breath. The crowd began to murmur, I really didn't expect that there would be an early arrangement to counter-utilize the demon-worshipping society. If you ask me, those guys from the demon-worshipping society are really stupid as well. It's fine to bully some small forces, the Divine Summer Empire dares to mess with them, what's that if it's not a death wish? That's right, what kind of person is the white god, that's the god of Divine Summer's killing god, he dares to mess with that. Lin Mou listened to the crowd's remarks, he did know some insider information. A few days ago, there were several geniuses in the Divine Summer Empire that had been killed that was why this scene today was brought out. He was one of the decoys, and so was Lin Mohan. It was just that he didn't expect the Demon Worshipping Society to have a big appetite and want to kill all the geniuses in one go. As a result, it backfired and was utilized. The Imeru. With a delicate cry, Ning Yi dashed from the quarters and jumped into Lin Mohan's embrace. Lin Mou pulled her, is everything all right? Ningyi shook her head, it's fine, just now, you and the abyssal demons all disappeared, and then the white god and the others broke out into a huge battle with the abyssal demon king. Let's walk and talk. Lin Mou pulled Ningyi towards the other side. That was the higher circuit's quarters, and he was going to find Lin Mohan. Ningyi held onto Lin Mou's arm tightly, the abyss side started out with the phantom demon king and the flame demon king, the white god fought the phantom demon king, and my grandfather fought the flame demon king. 
In the Shaojing Academy, the Academy Guards were deployed, led by several Academy Deans, to deal with the people from the Demon Worshipping Society. Hearing about the Flame Demon King, Lin Imoyu couldn't help but ask, that's the Flame Demon King we ran into? Ning Yi nodded, that's it. They're very strong, but they're still firmly suppressed by the White God and my grandfather. Lin Imoyu asked, what happened afterward, did you kill them all valley? Ning Yi shook her head, then a very powerful person came, it felt like he was even more powerful than the White God, the two demon kings were scared to flee when they saw him. But they couldn't escape at all. The phantom demon king didn't know what skill he used and summoned a ball of black gas from the abyss. A giant hand burning with black flames stretched out from that mass of black chi, and the last one to come attacked each other a few times. In the end, neither one could help the other, and that giant hand took both the phantom demon king and the flame demon king in its wake as it retreated. Even that counselor Su Wei was saved by it. Demon kings really weren't that easy to kill. Lin Mashian said softly in his heart. I really didn't expect that Counselor Su Wei would be someone from the Demon Worshipping Society. Chapter 189 It's hard to believe that you guys have. In the White God's small courtyard, a pot of tea had just been made. With a movement of Meng Anwen's mind, the hot tea was automatically poured into the cup. The tea had just been poured when footsteps sounded. Bai Yi Yuan and Ning Tai Ran walked in with large strides. Meng Anwen said softly, solved it? Bai Yuan gave a hum and didn't care if the tea was hot or not, he directly poured it into his mouth. Damn. I didn't expect Blackfire to step in and fail to leave the two guys, Phantom Demon and Flame, behind. Ning Tai Ran wasn't in a good mood at this time, if it wasn't for Black Flame, that Flame guy wouldn't have been able to run away. Meng Anwen wondered, the old man didn't do anything? Bai Yuan said in a deep voice, moved early. When the old man moved, he scared the phantom demon into sacrificing his life to open the connection channel of the abyssal human race, summoning one of Black Flame's hands. Meng Anwen understood, it's a pity. By a Yuan side, it is indeed a pity, if it wasn't in Southern Rainbow City, Lao Zi would definitely make him pay the price in blood. In Southern Rainbow City, it was impossible for a god-level professional like them to fight at full strength. If they went all out, they might not be able to lose the entire city. There was even more than one city. That was why Bai Yuan was restrained, and so was Ning Taran. Meng Anwen said, just flee, they can't get through easily anyway when we have the chance later, we'll kill them together. Bai Yuan said in a deep voice, this time is also 680 considered a gain, at least that guy Su Wei was sort of exposed. Ning Taran said, even Su Wei has become one of them, we have to be careful if there will be other people being controlled. That phantom demon guy's ability is indeed a bit scary. Su Wei was already over level 80 and was even one of the counselors of the Divine Summer Empire. He belonged to the true top echelon. If even he was controlled, it would be even harder to guarantee the rest of the people. Meng Anwen said, regarding this matter, I will investigate thoroughly. There's going to be a sorting out within the empire. The three of them were discussing something that was enough to affect the entire empire in the tiny courtyard. Lin Mashian arrived at the entrance of the higher circuit resident. The compound was as bright as day, and many high-level professionals were talking inside what they were discussing under their breath was the previous battle. From afar, Lin Mou saw Lin Mohan standing at the entrance. Lin Mohan also saw him and waved her hand towards him. Sister, why are you waiting for me here? Lin Mou wondered. Lin Mohan smiled cheekily, I guess that you would come over. He he, this little sister is so pretty, is she a younger sibling? Unexpectedly, Lin Mohan was so direct, Ning Yi's pretty face instantly turned red, so shy that she couldn't speak. Lin Mohan smiled delicately, it seems to have hit the nail on the head, there's no need to be afraid of younger siblings, there's nothing wrong with this younger brother of mine except that he doesn't like to talk. Ning Yi nodded, well, I know. You know? It's hard not to believe that you guys have. Brush, Ning Yi hated to find a hole in the ground, she didn't mean that. How could she have known that the non-verbal Lin Mohan, her sister would be like this she also thought that Lin Mohan was also a non-talkative person. This was completely two extremes ah. Sis. Lin Mou desperately gave her a wink, telling her to stop talking. Lin Mo Han also responded with a wink, knowing. Sis, are you participating in the challenge tomorrow? Lin Mo Yen changed the topic. Lin Mo Han shook her head, not participating, I was about to talk to you about it, sis is leaving. Lin Mou froze slightly and immediately understood the meaning of Lin Mo Han's words, there's a new mission? It's not really a new quest, anyway, it's just brushing up and practicing. Lin Mo Han said indifferently. From the meaning of her words, it could be seen that her teacher had high requirements for leveling. It seemed like she had been telling Lin Mohan to step up her leveling practice. Although Bai Yuan also let himself practice leveling, he didn't push so hard. Lin Mohan asked, Sister, how many levels do you have now? 
Lin Imo Han smiled cheekily and said, almost 45, little brother, you have to cheer up too, don't let sis pull away more and more, that would be too embarrassing. At least you're a national top student, hey, it's still a three-star ensign. No matter how strong the profession itself is, the rank is the most important thing. This is something you'll understand when you reach the third turn. Anyway, believe what sis said, make sure to hurry up and practice leveling, don't be lazy. Of course, talking about your girlfriend is also important. This little sister, what's your name? This younger brother of mine is a bit stupid, he can't even introduce people. Ning Yi was still blushing to this day, sister, my name is Ning Yi. Ning Yi Yi, very good name. In the future, if this guy dares to bully you, just tell me and I'll help you teach him a lesson. Don't worry, this guy has been beaten by me since he was a child, he wouldn't dare to fight back. On the coast, the waves sounded. The light curtain had disappeared. This time, the lower and higher arenas were opened up, and the two were merged into one. Today was the day of the challenge match. The challenge match was also the last event of every professional competition. It wasn't a formal competition event, yet it was even more attractive than the first two competitions. Especially since this year's professionals competition was somewhat special. Influenced by the demon worshipping society, the single player match was conducted in a different way. The audience didn't get to enjoy the solo matches, and naturally focused more on the challenge events. The challenge match was different from the previous matches. It belonged to on-the-spot enrollment and on-the-spot competition. There was no need for an audition, all professionals had a chance. Lin Mou looked at the specific rules of the challenge match and thought of what Bai Yuan had said he had to participate in the challenge match himself, and the higher the score, the better. Now that he had read the rules, he finally understood why Bai Yuan had requested this. The prizes were too good. Professionals below level 40, successful in the first round of challenges, rewarded with a glittering primary skill scroll. Successful second round challenge, rewarded with a sparkling intermediate skill scroll. Successful third round challenge, rewarded with a bottle of intermediate magical potion. Successful challenge in the fourth round rewards two sparkling intermediate skill scrolls. Fifth round. The rewards were very, very good, far exceeding the team and single player matches. Of course, the difficulty was also very, very high. In the first round alone, one needed to challenge an opponent who was five levels higher than them. For example, if Lin Muyue was currently level 27, then his opponent in the first round would be a level 32 professionalist for the opponent's profession, he would be randomly selected between the three professions of knight, mage, and archer. The second round would be 10 levels above himself, and the third round would be level 15. If Lin Muyue challenged to the third round, he would have to face a level 42 opponent. It was a high profession that had completed the second turn. Historically, there had been very few that could complete the second round of challenges. Those who could complete the third round of challenges had only appeared a handful of times. As for those who had completed the fourth round of challenges, they had never appeared. Three rounds of challenges was the limit, and it had never been broken in hundreds of years. Some professionals who were extremely confident in themselves were already eager to try. There was a knight who was the first to sign up and walk onto the ring. This was a professional from the Eagle Kingdom his information appeared on the light screen in the ring. Hellos, Sword and Shield Knight, Rank, 34. In the next second, the ringkeeper he was dealing with also appeared in the ring. It was also a Sword and Shield Knight, a level 39 Sword and Shield Knight. Lin Mashian felt the other party's aura and muttered, Soldier. Chapter 190, Divine Summer Soldier, Worlds Number 1. Hello's aura was different from ordinary professionals. It was stern and sharp. It was a temperament that could only be cultivated after experiencing many life and death battles. It couldn't be honed just by playing duplicates, only in the Yuan battlefield, facing abyssal demons and even abyssal demons for a long time, could one develop such a temperament. Moreover, he was only 34 ranked, not a high rank. Obviously he had been living in the military, a true military man. This kind of person's rank and battle power were often not proportional. If he were an ordinary person, he should have a chance of succeeding in the challenge at level 40 or below, there was still a chance to make up for the 5 level gap. The crowd also speculated on whether Hellos would succeed. But when Lin Mashian saw his opponent, he instinctively realized that Hellos had no chance. The ringkeeper was a level 39 sword and shield knight, wearing a piece of equipment that no one else had ever seen before. It was the military's unique gold equipment, also known as battlefield equipment. Battlefield equipment came from the military, and compared to gold equipment of the same level, it might not be as good for playing copies, but it was very suitable for fighting. Attribute bonuses were not necessarily high, but some special bonuses were abundant. Moreover, the battlefield equipment could be adjusted and customized according to each profession's own situation. This should battlefield was also from the military, from the Divine Summer Empire Yuan battlefield. Hellos was originally still full of confidence, he believed that with his own ability, crossing the level 5 challenge would not be a problem at least he would be able to get past one round. 
However, when he saw his opponent again, his confidence collapsed in an instant. The soldiers of the Divine Summer Empire had solemn gazes and emitted an even more powerful killing intent. The killing intent was like a tidal wave, completely suppressing Hellos. Fine beads of sweat appeared on Halo's forehead, before the fight even started, he felt that he had already lost. The opponent's aura was getting stronger and stronger, Karos finally couldn't help but make his move. Skill, charge. Hellos raised his shield high and charged out like lightning. The ring guard also raised his shield at the same time and similarly launched his charging skill. The moment both sides made contact, a brilliant light suddenly emitted from the ringkeeper's shield. Skill, shield strike. He took the initiative to interrupt his charge skill and changed it to shield strike the moment the collision occurred with a bang, Hellos was instantly knocked away. The power of shield strike far exceeded that of charge. In midair, Hellos' head was dizzy. Shield strike possessed a stun effect, and Hellos was already under stun control. It's over. Lin Mashian looked on. The level was originally inferior, and then he lost his head start and was controlled. As long as the ringkeeper wasn't a rookie, Hellos wouldn't stand a chance. Sure enough, the ringkeeper once again charged forward. Although he didn't activate his charge skill, his speed wasn't slow at all. Before Hellos even landed, his opponent had already arrived underneath him. Skill, flash slash. A bright light shot up from the knight's long sword. Hellos was chopped away with a miserable grunt. The ringkeeper leapt high into the air and launched his shield strike for the second time in midair, continuing to strengthen his control from this moment on, Hellos never had a chance to land again. A mere 10 seconds later, after taking a series of blows Hellos appears under the ring. Hellos, who had been healed and recovered, had a look of horror on his face. This was no longer something as simple as a gap between levels. From the very beginning of the fight, he had lost all his chances. The entire time, he hadn't even been able to open his limit defense, and was directly controlled to death. Soldiers of the Divine Summer Empire, so terrifying. Hellos planted a fear of the Divine Summer Empire's soldiers in his heart. Although the entire battle lasted less than 10 seconds, the entire process was breathtaking. Everyone held their breath, shocked and breathless by the dazzling skills. I'll go, it's too wonderful. This is our Divine Summer Soldier, the world's number one strongest army. If my Divine Summer Soldiers are called second, how dare the world call them first? The Eagle Kingdom soldiers are also considered strong, but compared to my Shinsha army, TSK Tisk. The facts were in front of us, and the gap between the two could no longer be bridged by just five levels. Hellos failed the challenge. The second challenger took the stage. This was a level 46 elemental mage. She had a beautiful appearance and stepped onto the ring with elegant steps. Wearing a platinum outfit, her vestments were open to the waist, revealing her slender white legs. It immediately attracted a large amount of attention. A level 51 elf archer was randomly drawn. The elf archer was also from the Divine Summer Empire's military, wearing a battlefield outfit with a very strong aura of solemnity. The female mage's eyebrows were furrowed, and a mage had an inherent disadvantage against an archer. As the battle began, the female mage put a magic shield on herself at the first opportunity. The magic shield had just been formed, and a sharp arrow had already crashed into the shield bang. The sharp arrow exploded, and with a loud noise, the magic shield shook violently. Skill, explosive arrow. The female mage was visibly startled, the speed of the archer's attack was just too fast. Before the explosive flames had time to dissipate, there was another bang. The front of the magic shield exploded again. Request flowers. Completely blocking her line of sight, she couldn't find her opponent at all. Then a rain of arrows fell. The magic shield was instantly hit violently. After holding on for a few seconds, the magic shield was crushed. The moment the magic shield collapsed, another sharp arrow flew over and exploded around the female mage. Skill, silence arrow. The female mage let out a cry of surprise as all her skills were blocked. Defeated. The defeat was incomparably complete and crisp. There was no power to fight back. The Divine Summer Soldier proved his might once again, not giving his opponent any chance to fight back amidst the crowd's gasps of amazement, battle after battle followed. Without exception, no one succeeded in their challenge. Couldn't even get past the first round. Difficult, too difficult. Lin Mashua had also signed up, and it wasn't his turn yet. Zero. Su Shan walked up to the ring. After two consecutive failures yesterday, today's him was no longer as arrogant as before. The condescension in his bones was still there, much more restrained. Level 29 Su Shang, legendary level professional, holy light mage. His opponent was a level 34 sword and shield knight, also from the Divine Summer Military. As the battle began, the ring was enveloped in holy white light. Skill, holy light. Pervasive spiritual attacks continued to deal damage to the sword and shield knight. Suddenly, a blue light lit up in the middle of the white light. 
As soon as the blue light appeared, it charged at Su Shang like lightning skill, ultimate defense. Skill, charge. The sword and shield knight opened his defense and killed in front of Su Shang. Su Shang's expression remained unchanged and he did not take half a step back. When fighting against knights, one would never be right to retreat. Skill, ring of holy light. The halo exploded with a forced knockback effect. The knight used shield strike at the same time. The two skills clashed together with a loud bang. The ring of holy light shattered, and the knight merely took half a step back, swinging his sword down again. Skill, flash chop. Facing the knight's attack, Su Sheng continued to cast the skill, holy light shield. Using the magic shield to block the knight's attack, he then exploded holy light impact to knock the knight back. The knight only retreated a few steps, and then once again, he bullied his way up. The two entered a stalemate, and the competition was all about endurance. If the knight couldn't finish off Su Sheng before the end of his extreme defense, then the one who would lose would be himself the same was true on Su Sheng's side, he didn't know how long the holy light shield could last. He could only strengthen his holy light skill with all his might and continue attacking the knight. As soon as possible, he knocked out the knight's limit defense for a long time. Chapter 191 Battlefield Skills, Round 1, Victory When the white holy light disappeared. There was no longer a sword and shield knight on the field, leaving only Su Sheng still standing. Su Sheng's face carried a sense of celebration. Just now, his shield had been broken, and he was just a little bit short of losing. Fortunately, the sword and shield knight didn't make it through. Just two more seconds and he would have lost. With condescension in his eyes, Su Sheng proved to the world that he was powerful. Battling over five levels, and the opponent was also a powerful professional from the military. Su Sheng proved himself he decisively gave up the challenge and left with the prize. The next round of challenges was a level 39 professional, he could barely even beat a level 34, and he was still fighting a level 39. Su Sheng loved face, and would definitely not do something to die for. Before going off the stage, Su Sheng glanced at Lin Muyue. A silent challenge. Professionals generally didn't submit to losing, and this guy was even more so. Challenge after challenge. After Su Sheng, it was all failed challenges. Lu Xianran also went up, and he met a level 34 mage. It was reasonable to say that an archer had an advantage against a mage. Lu Xianran was also confident and felt that he had a chance, after all, he was also a legendary level professional. But the military mage. Lu Xianran lost miserably, before and after less than 5 seconds, he was blasted off the stage. In the piece of combat skills, the military's professionals had already stood at a very high position. The outside professionals really couldn't compare to them other than Su Shang who won the round with a slight advantage, surprisingly, no one else won. No way, the Divine Summer Empire's soldiers are too strong. It's been hundreds of fights, right, and surprisingly only one of them has won a single round. And did you notice that the higher the rank, the worse the loss? Yes, 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 this shows that the higher the rank, the stronger the Divine Summer soldiers are in battle, and the gap is getting wider and wider. It's really hard, harder than any previous session. The Divine Summer Empire had used practical actions to tell the world how strong their Divine Summer Army was. It was finally Lin Mashue's turn. His appearance on stage immediately drew the attention of most people. From the beginning of the auditions, Lin Mashue's reputation was very big. Professions that had never appeared before, skills that no one knew about. He was like a mystery that was being unraveled little by little whenever people thought they knew Lin Mashue's skills, he always revealed a few more new things. Especially last night, when Lin Mashue once again won the single player tournament. The score of the level 20 category was basically contracted by Lin Mashue alone. It was only then that people realized that he also had such powerful group offensive skills. In everyone's eyes, every skill of Lin Muyue's was powerful and there were no weaklings. Now that he was on the stage, people began to speculate whether or not Lin Mashue would be able to succeed in his challenge. Challenging for a round definitely won't be a problem. That's right, even Su Shan was able to successfully challenge for a round, let alone Lin Mou. I wonder if Lin Mouyan can complete the second round of the challenge. I don't think it's a problem either, I want to know if he can break the record. Impossible, no challenge has been successful in hundreds of years. Even three rounds of challenges are few and far between. For rounds of challenges, opponents that exceeded one's own level by 20, how could this be beaten? Not to mention that this year's Divine Summer Army was ridiculously strong. Lin Muyue ascended the ring, and soon his opponent appeared in the ring as well. Level 32, Mage. His opponent was wearing a battlefield suit, and his eyes flickered slightly when he saw Lin Mou. He then gave a military salute towards Lin Mou. This was the military salute of a lesser subordinate meeting his superior. Lin Mou similarly added a military salute back. This action immediately caused an uproar. What's going on? Can it be that Lin Mou is also a member of the military? No, it's because his rank is higher. 
Heavens, he's actually a three-star second lieutenant. He's only level 27, how did he do it? No wonder the combat power is so strong, this guy is just hardwired to kill. Saluting was saluting, but in a battle, it was impossible for the military personnel to let go amidst the crowds marveling, the battle began. In an instant several fireballs flew towards Lin MOU. Ten skeleton warriors as well as ten skeleton mages also appeared in front of Lin MOU. The skeleton warriors took the initiative to meet the fireballs, and with a swing of the large sword in their hands, they split the fireballs in the air. The fireball exploded, and the skeleton warriors had already rushed forward. The skeleton mage also released his skills. Electricity flashed and a ray of lightning fell. The magic shield on the mage's body continuously inspired a dazzling blue light, blocking the skeleton mage's attacks. Only after enduring five consecutive lightning attacks did the magic shield declare itself broken. But the mage reacted extremely fast, and after the magic shield shattered, I had already quickly disengaged. He retreated quickly, without the slightest bit of the clumsiness of other mage professions it was as if the wind had been borne under his feet, extremely flexible. As soon as the skeleton warriors got close, they were bounced off by his ring of fire resistance. Waiting for the magic shield to finish cooling down, he immediately replenished himself with another one. However, even so, he was still being chased around by the skeleton warriors. There was no way to separate himself, let alone attack Lin MOU. Instead, the skills of the skeleton mages were constantly landing on his magic shield, putting tremendous pressure on him. Finally, the space left for him was getting smaller and smaller. He was about to be surrounded. Suddenly the staff in his hand stuttered heavily on the ground. Boom! Flames shot up into the sky. Skill, Flame Cage. The skeleton warriors were trapped in the sea of flames, as if they had been cast in a fixation spell and were unable to escape. The flames were blazing, constantly scorching the skeleton warriors each skeleton warrior turned into a fire skeleton and was consumed by the flames. Lin Mojing looked at it in his eyes, an attack skill with ranged control. This skill Lin Mojing had never seen before. The mage had just left a footprint on the ground as he was retreating. It wasn't left randomly, they all had a specific orientation. These footprints formed a pattern similar to a pentagram. Eventually forming a skill. This skill was not only something Lin Moshian had never seen before, most of the professionals had never seen it either. How could a level 32 mage have such a powerful, group attack skill with control? Someone exclaimed out in shock, this is a battlefield skill, he actually mastered a battlefield skill. What are battlefield skills? Battlefield skills are skills exclusive to soldiers, to be used in conjunction with a battlefield set. Different ranks and different professions all have their own exclusive battlefield skills. It's just that battlefield skills are extremely difficult to master, and not every soldier can use them. And some battlefield skills require multiple people and multiple professions to use. It was only then that many professionals realized that there were actually battlefield skills in the world. This was knowledge that could not be learned in the academy, and one would never know until they entered the battlefield. It was indeed very powerful. To be able to control 10 skeleton warriors at once, although the damage was average, it was already very powerful. However, it was useless to be even more powerful. After trapping the skeleton warriors, he still had the skeleton mages. The skeleton mages' attacks continued moment by moment. The magic shield was shattered once again. A bolt of lightning fell in response and blasted on him. Lin Moshian saw a shimmering light flash through the battlefield suit on his body, cancelling out some of the damage however, it still caused him to tremble, and there was an interruption in his skills. Then the skeleton mages' skills smashed onto him one after another. After all, he was only level 32, and being able to trap the skeleton warrior was already his limit. Under the skeleton mage's attacks, he didn't last more than a few hits before he was already blown out of the ring. Round 1, Lin Mui wins. Chapter 192 Third Round Challenge, This Bastard Even Has Defense Skills. 1. It was a very easy win. Lin Mou himself hadn't even moved his hands. Just recruited some skeleton warriors and mages to settle the battle. The opponent was being chased around the ring by skeleton warriors. Although he finally cast a stunning battlefield skill to control the skeleton warriors, he ended up losing to the skeleton mages. In everyone's eyes, Lin Mou's skeletons were very powerful, far surpassing professionals of the same level now, it seemed that it was more than far beyond the same level. Even professionals who were more than five levels above Lin Mou could not compare to a skeleton warrior. Compared to Su Shang, who had a hard time winning, Lin Mou won too easily. Su Shang knew that he had lost again, very thoroughly. He had lost to Lin Mojing in every aspect, and the gap between the two sides was too great. He won the first round and received a sparkling beginner's skill scroll. Lin Mojing decisively chose to continue the challenge. In the second round, he would face a level 37 professional. A sword and shield knight appeared in the ring. The level 37 sword shield knight had a powerful and compelling aura. 
having experienced battle after battle, his eyes were taxing and terrifying. For the fourteen skeleton warrior, he clearly didn't give it a second thought. His eyes stared at Lin Mashian without blinking. The best way to deal with a summoner was to deal with the summoner himself as long as the summoner was dealt with, these summons would naturally disappear. Needless to say, he would inevitably make such a choice. Combat opened up, and he shouted angrily to unleash his skill to charge towards Lin Mashiang. Skill, charge. Melee professions, one must approach the opponent first. The skeleton warrior blocked in front of Lin Mashiang and met the battle. The knight crashed into the skeleton warriors with two thuds, knocking the two skeleton warriors back several steps while he himself was shaken away. What a strong power. The knight was appalled in his heart. The charge skill could drastically increase the force of impact, but as a result, he could only knock back the skeleton warriors a few steps. Instead, he himself was shaken even further away. Obviously, the skeleton warrior's attributes completely surpassed his own. Can't fight hard. The knight had realized in his heart that it was absolutely not possible to fight hard with the skeleton warrior it was still necessary to resolve Lin Mashian as initially envisioned. However, the skeleton warrior and the skeleton mage firmly protected Lin Mou. Wanting to get close, it wasn't easy. The light in front of his eyes was bright as the skeleton mage's attack arrived. He held up his shield and quickly blocked and dodged. The further he retreated, the the skeleton warriors chased after him, gradually moving away from Lin Mashiang. After pulling the skeleton warriors farther away, the knight suddenly turned around and launched his charge skill again, which lightning-like rushed towards Lin Mojing. The shield was raised high against the skeletal mage's attack. He leapt high, ready to leap over the skeleton mage and directly attack Lin Mashian. It's useless. Lin Mou understood his thoughts and shook his head slightly. The shield was raised in front of him, fending off the attacks of the skeletal mages through the gap, he saw the raised smile at the corner of Lin Mojing's mouth. A sense of danger instantly rose to the back of his head, and a coldness came over his entire body. The skeleton warriors that were in the distance suddenly disappeared, and then ten skeleton warriors reappeared around Lin Mojing. So he can recall skeleton warriors remotely. He trembled in his heart, knowing that he had been fooled. He had to break out and find another way. But Lin Moshian wouldn't give him another chance. The red light flashed, and the night felt like the entire entire world had gone faster. The skeleton warrior's blade became faster than lightning, while his own movements became extremely slow. It was the curse. He realized that he had been hit by a curse. But it was already too late. Before he landed, the skeleton warrior's knife had already landed on his body. One knife. Two knives. Three. In an instant, he had nearly ten knives on his body then the attacks from the skeleton mages had also arrived. He wanted to use ultimate defense, but just as the thought rose, he had already appeared outside the ring. A healing spell fell, his body recovered, and the curse was lifted. Lost. The loss was very dry, a complete defeat in the blink of an eye. He made a military salute towards Lin Mou. Lin Mou similarly returned the salute. Not only because Lin Mou was a three-star lieutenant, but also because Lin Mou was powerful. Level 27 beating him at level 37 was like playing. It had to be said that it was really strong. The second round of challenges was easily won. A glittering intermediate skill scroll arrived. Lin Muyue chose to continue the challenge. If he still won in the third round, he would receive a bottle of intermediate mystic potion. Compared to the glittering intermediate skill scroll, the intermediate mystery potion was worth more. Adding 2000 to all attributes was a great boost for any professional how many attributes were only added for a level up, a bottle of potion went down and the full attributes increased by 2000, totaling 8000. The increase was really obvious. And if Lin Mashian could succeed in the third round of the challenge, it would be tying the record. A level 27 low level professional challenging a level 42 high level professional, it was unbelievable to think about. A level 42 archer appeared in the ring. Wearing a platinum level battlefield suit, his aura was incredibly powerful. There was a clear chasm between high level professionals and low level professionals. After the second turn, their attributes increased dramatically, their various skills became stronger through and through, and they were also able to master powerful higher skills. What's more, from level 40 onwards, one could use platinum grade equipment. Platinum grade battlefield sets were even more powerful than ordinary platinum equipment. Higher professions above level 40 were enough to form a crushing force against lower professions in everyone's eyes, it wouldn't be easy for Lin Mashian to win this one. You guys, if the third round of challenges is successful, will Lin Mashian continue to challenge the fourth round? It's hard to say, the reason why no one succeeded in the fourth round of challenges isn't that simple. How is it not simple? I just heard that anyway, the fourth round challenge is unusual and different from the first three rounds. Otherwise it wouldn't have been so many years without anyone ever succeeding. 
Those present knew what the fourth round of challenges were like, only that it was very, very difficult. Lin Maxian didn't know either, he was sure that he would see it soon. He was also curious as to why no one had successfully challenged past the 680th fourth round. What exactly was so difficult about the fourth round? A level 42 archer, from the military, with the same rank of second lieutenant. Like Lin Mashue, it was a three-star second lieutenant the archer was silent, his gaze as sharp as electricity, as if he had already locked onto Lin Mou. Combat opened up, and in an instant, several arrows of light shot straight up into the sky. Skill, tracking arrow. The arrows turned a corner in the air and fell towards Lin Mou's head. As the arrow light fell, the skeleton mage's spell reached the archer. The archer quickly retreated, and during his retreat, his body turned into three, avoiding in different directions. Skill, bow step split. The skeleton mage immediately lost his target. Lin Mo mistakenly moved in his mind, allowing the skeleton mage to attack at will. At this moment, the tracking arrows fell. Several thumps landed on Lin Mo error. Each strike was like a boulder smashing down, making ear-shattering sounds. It was like smashing in people's hearts, depressing and unbearable. Lin Mou was going to be finished. Most people thought so. A level 27 character, no matter how strong their skills were, would inevitably be killed in seconds if they took a level 42 high professions attack head on Lin Mayu's skeletal armor shown and blocked the attack. This is Defense skill. A defense skill similar to a mage's magic shield. To attack with attack, to defend with defense, this profession is invincible. This armor is so cool. The crowd let out exclamations. The archer obviously froze for a moment as well, not realizing that Lin Moshian even had defensive skills, and they were strong. Chapter 193, the fourth round that no one has ever beaten before. The archer and assassin were the two professions with the highest agility. At this moment, he transformed into three in one and darted around the ring. Each of them was so fast that they almost transformed into static shadows, making it difficult to distinguish the real from the fake. The skeleton warrior was in hot pursuit behind him. The archers were too nimble to catch up for a while most of the skeleton mage's skills were also avoided by them, with only the electricity skill being able to deal some damage. However, there was a huge difference in level, and the platinum equipment on the archers emitted a shimmering light that cancelled out most of the damage. Moreover, Lin Moshian realized that every time an attack landed on them, their bodies would undergo a weird distortion. This twisting again circumvented most of the damage. In this way, the mages were able to inflict very few attacks on him. The archers also continued to launch attacks at Lin Moshue as they ran. Lin Mojing's agility was far inferior to theirs, so knowing that he couldn't dodge, he simply stood there and didn't move. Relying on the skeleton armor, he ate the opponent's attacks hard. Buzz. Red light splashed across the ring. Skill, slow speed curse. The speed of the archer's main body along with the doppelganger slowed down immediately. The skeleton mage also took the opportunity to launch a round of attacks both doppelgangers exploded into pieces at the same time. The bowman's body twisted strangely to eat the round of attacks hard. At the same time, he raised his bow and arrow high, which flashed as a pillar of light shot up into the sky. The slow curse was broken in response. Skill, purification. Lin Muyue froze, this wasn't a healer's skill. An archer's skill came from the platinum level weapon in their hands. A lot of platinum level equipment would come with skills, most of which were weapon based. There were all sorts of strange skills. Unexpectedly, the skill attached to the archer's weapon was purification. The attached purification skill naturally could not be compared to a healer's own purification. Some powerful curses could not be broken. However, it was more than enough to lift the slow curse. Lin Moshian used slow curse again, the purification effect was still lasting, slow curse didn't work. The archer was weaving in and out between the skeletons, not engaging the skeletons, his target was only Lin Mojing skill, explosive arrow. Skill, impact arrow. Skill, silence arrow. Time and time again, the skills exploded, constantly attacking Lin Moshian. The skeleton armor blocked all the attacks. No matter if it was stun or silence, it didn't affect Lin Moshue. Some people saw the signs and realized that the skeleton armor was frighteningly strong. After taking so many attacks in a row, it was still intact. This was an attack from a level 42 high profession, if it was any other level 27 profession, it would have been killed with a single arrow. What a strong defense skill. Can someone tell me where the weakness of this profession is? At the moment, there seems to be no weakness, it's near perfect. But looking over now, it seems like both sides are in a stalemate, neither one can do anything about it. Yeah, I wonder how Lin Moshian will break the game. The archer didn't say a word, constantly attacking Lin Moshian while dodging attacks he believed that he could always break Lin Moshian's turtle shell. How about putting more skeletons out? Still. Lin Moshian pondered for half a second and came to a decision. Targeting the archer, fire flashed in his hand. 
Skill, Soul Flame. The archer who was running suddenly let out a terrifying scream. The entire person stumbled two unsteady steps and fell to the ground. The skeleton warrior chased after him, and the skeleton mage's attack followed. He frantically struggled to leap up. Presently, he cast the split skill once, turning one into three and shifting his target. The way he looked at Lin Mojing changed, becoming terrified. Lin Ma Xian sighed, this was what he was worried about. After all, this skill. It was too painful. It really hurt, and other than Su Yen, he hadn't seen anyone who could withstand it. The field boiled over. What happened? I don't know. I saw that Lin Moshin seemed to have used a skill. I saw it too, a single attack skill, and it's a lock-on type skill. The iceberg lifted another corner. Accidents always came out of nowhere. Lin Mou sighed lightly, since he had already used it, he wouldn't put it away anymore. The palm of his hand slowly lifted, and fire burned in the center of his palm. Bang! Bang! With two consecutive sounds, the two doppelgangers exploded one after the other. Tough luck, didn't pick the main body. Lin Mashian once again aimed at the archer's true body, and he was immediately enveloped by a creepy feeling. A sense of fear was born. The flames flickered. A miserable scream broke through the sky. The entire man fell to the ground once again, shrinking. The skeleton warrior rushed on, simultaneously exploding his skills. Coupled with the attacks of the skeleton mages. After one round, he had disappeared into the ring. Under the ring, the healer treated him. The injuries healed quickly, but the painful memories wouldn't just disappear when he was looking at Lin Mou, there was a melting fear in his eyes. The kind of eyes that sent chills down to the bottom of one's heart. It wasn't just him, his miserable screams also infected the spectators watching the match. Each and every one of them had hair on their hearts, and paired with the skeletons around them, Lin Mashue was even more terrifying. The third round of the challenge was successful, and the intermediate mystic potion was in his hands. He had now tied the record of the challenge match. Lin Mashue did not hesitate to choose to continue the challenge. In the fourth round, from the time the professional's competition had been held until now, no one had ever succeeded in a challenge. Even the challenge rules were forgotten. Under the anticipation of the crowd, a knight appeared in the ring. Wearing the military's battlefield suit. Sword and Shield Knight, rank 45. A mere three levels higher than the previous round, that's it? That's the difficulty of the fourth round? How can no one pass this? It's not true. Amidst everyone's doubts, the second professional appeared in the ring. Level 45 Battle King Auxiliary. Then level 45 Bowman, level 45 Mage, and level 45 Assassin. Three professionals in a row appeared one after another. A standard team of five was formed. That was when people realized that no one could succeed in the challenge in the fourth round. Not only did one person have to fight a team, but the level of each professional exceeded the challenger by a full 18 levels. How could this be fought? Even the immortals couldn't win if they came. No one thought that Lin Mashue could win. Even if he was a strong professional, he was only level 27, and he was only one person. No status, no healing. No matter how strong he was, he couldn't possibly compete with a high profession battle team that was as high as level 45. The Child, you're pretty good. To make it to the fourth round, you're proud enough. The knight at the head of the group gave Lin Mashi an affirmation although he was only three levels higher than the archer from earlier, his aura was very different again. This knight gave Lin Mou a feeling of a leader. Looking at the sergeant's badge on his shoulder, a silver-white badge with nine stars shining brightly. Nine stars for a second lieutenant, just a step away from a colonel. This was a true warrior who had rolled around on the battlefield for many years. This kind of person was extremely powerful. These teammates behind him, each and every one of them were not weak valleys either. The worst was a five-star second lieutenant. They also cast appreciative glances at Lin Mashue. For no other reason than Lin Mashue's three-star second lieutenant rank. All those who killed demons were their comrades in arms. Thank you. It was rare for Lin Mashue to open his mouth, he had barely spoken since he entered the arena. Still, I'm going to win today. The match began, and the Battle King's aide began adding status as Lin Mou slowly raised his hand, and in an instant, a cloudy wind whistled and swept across the entire arena. Chapter 194 Amazing Stature, I, Continue Challenging Everyone in the audience outside the arena stood up in shock. One by one, their eyes were wide and their mouths were open, revealing an expression of disbelief. Someone's voice trembled, this. This is. What? How could there be so many? Isn't this an illusion? On the ring, 100 skeleton warriors and 50 skeleton mages stood neatly as if they were an army. In front of the skeletons, the knight swallowed hard. The palms of the hands holding the sword were sweating. 
The skills of the War King's aide were all interrupted as a result. So many, how to fight. The attributes of these skeletons weren't low, each one wasn't much worse than them. Even if there were a dozen or twenty of them, they would still be able to fight. But in front of them were one hundred skeleton warriors, and each one of them was raging weight, there are still fifty skeleton mages behind them. How can this be fought? Before, they were fighting many against few, now they were fighting many with few. Clang. The weapons in the hands of all the professionals on the stage fell to the ground. Su Shang muttered, this guy. Hidden so deep. Lu Xianran was also speechless, this is still a F asterisk king fight. With Lin Maxian's order, the skeleton warriors charged towards them. With 100 skeleton warriors occupying half of the ring, they had nowhere to dodge. The skeleton mage's skill was the first to descend, a massive amount of elemental attacks like giant waves rippled out, instantly drowning them. Skill, group protection. The knights fiercely opened their skills, and a huge shield protected the crowd. The battle king auxiliary once again began to enchant the skill. The archers in FA begin prepared skill group attack skills. The assassin had disappeared without a trace although they were surprised, facing abyssal demons for years had long ago 680 allowed them to maintain their combat instincts. Quickly putting themselves into a fighting state, even if they were undefeated, they would not easily admit defeat. What's more, who knows if they haven't fought. A pentagram formation was forming under the mage's feet. The arrows of the archers were glowing. The knights were topping off their group protection skills, taking on the sea of attacks from the skeleton mages. The skeleton warriors had also rushed in, and bursts of skills were falling. The shield twisted and shook up, ready to break at any moment. The knight gritted his teeth, his spirit already strained to the limit. It's not going to hold up, hurry. He called out towards the mages and archers. A few seconds later, the skill exploded. Skill, meteoric fire extinction. A large rain of fire fell and smashed onto the skeleton warrior. At the same time, the archer's skill was ready skill, arrow storm. The exact same skill as Lu Xianrun, but with a greater range and greater power. The rain of arrows enveloped the entire ring, along with the skeleton mage and Lin Maxian. Sharp arrows exploded one after another, and the entire ring was caught in an explosion. The arrow storms were so powerful that the skeletal warriors were fine, and the skeletal mages were injured one after another. It was just that this kind of injury was not obvious to outsiders, as long as Lin Moyu, the master, could sense it clearly. Fortunately, it was still bearable. The explosion raised smoke and dust, and the line of sight was completely obscured. The corner of Lin Moyu's mouth arced. Arrow storm, another use. Bang! A dagger suddenly appeared behind Lin Mojing. It stabbed over with a powerful attack. The skeleton armor instantly became extremely bright, blocking the opponent's attack. It was the disappearing assassin that had launched a surprise attack on Lin Moshin. Unfortunately, the returning bone armor was unexpectedly powerful and completely blocked the attack. Lin Moshian was waiting as the assassin disappeared. The red aura fell and the assassin was instantly cursed while revealing his form. Then several skeleton warriors appeared around him. The skeleton warriors didn't attack, but instead directly hugged him. Several other skeleton warriors had grabbed his arms and legs to prevent him from escaping. The ten electricity skeleton mages simultaneously reversed their direction and a bolt of lightning fell. The assassin immediately let out a miserable scream. The entire person suddenly vaporized, and the skeleton warriors could no longer hold him. Skill, Voiding Sneak. A high level skill after level 40, it had the same effect as the Battlefield Ghost King's skill. Only Voiding Sneak couldn't swallow the curse, it could only help him get out of the trap. A flash of fire in Lin Mayu's palm there was another scream, and it was even more tragic than before. The assassin who had just completed his voiding revealed himself once again, his entire body curled up and shivering. It hurt too much, this kind of pain that penetrated deep into the soul was simply not something a normal person could endure. The skeleton warrior raised his sword to slash down, and suddenly an energy chain descended from the sky. It instantly pulled the assassin away, and the skeleton warriors slashed in droves. The knights unleashed their skills and brought their teammates back. The assassin who went back was still curled up, trembling non-stop. The battle king assisted in healing, and although the injury could be cured, the pain could not be eliminated. What's going on? The knight asked urgently. Pain, his skill. It hurts. The assassin was somewhat incoherent. Soul flame was indeed too painful, and on the playing field, it was better to not use it if you could. The shield was finally breached, the mage raised his staff high, and a huge ring of fire lashed out with a loud boom, the skeleton warriors were blown away. Skill, resist ring of fire. Cast by a level 40 or above professional, the power effect was incomparable. This time, at least 30 to 40 skeleton warriors were blown away and the area in front of them was suddenly empty. An arrow shot out and exploded in front of the skeletons. A large number of chains immediately appeared on the ground, 
trapping the dozen or so skeletons at the front in an instant. Skill, Arrow of Chains. The mage archers were using their best efforts to exert control over the skeletons. It was as if the battle had truly begun at this moment. They knew that it was unrealistic to try to kill all the skeletons, and the only way was to finish off Lin Moshien. A few looked at each other and already had an idea. Red light fell on their heads. Skill, slow speed curse. Lin Moshian cast the curse again. The previous time didn't affect them because of the presence of the knight skill this time, there was no shield and red shackles appeared above everyone's head, except for the assassins. The moment the curse took effect, the skeleton mage's attacks pressed in like a mountain. The knight roared, quickly lift the curse. Mage, shield. At his roar, the mage stepped forward. A shield lit up and the knight raised his shield high to protect the three behind him. The knight's shield was only enough to protect the three, and the mage topped his magic shield and became a human shield. The mace in the warlord's auxiliary hand lit up with light. Pillars of light rushed up all over several people, crashing through the curse. Skill, group purification. Another platinum weapon skill. Lin Moshian frowned. Battle King Auxiliary could add statuses and heal, and the difference between him and the Elder was the lack of control skills and the purification skill that lifted the curse. I didn't realize that the weapon he was on came with a group purification skill aside from not being able to control, War King Assist was already quite perfect. But was it useful? With a round of fire from the skeleton mages, the mage guard watch had faltered. The knight had also taken huge damage, and the hand holding the shield was trembling uncontrollably. After lifting the curse, the War King's aide continued to cast group healing skills to heal the knight's injuries. At this moment, the skeleton warriors that were shaken away rushed up again, and it looked like the encirclement was about to form again. We can't wait any longer, make a path, let's charge through. The mage nodded his head, the light of the staff in his hand shone brightly, a large amount of wind elements converged and rushed out instantly. In an instant, a fierce wind turned into a large cyan-colored net and rushed straight ahead. All the skeleton warriors along the road were sent flying out. Skill, Pillar of Gale. The skill came with a shock fly effect, clearing out a passageway charge. The knights followed behind the Pillar of Gale and unleashed the charge skill. The archers, the assassins who had just slowed down, and the mages followed the knight. Only the Battle King Auxiliary stayed at the end and didn't move. The Pillar of the Gale opened the way at the very front, crashing through the skeletons, they were going to hit Lin Moshian straight on. Solving the skeletons was impossible, only Lin Moshian could be solved. It's useless. Lin Mojing said indifferently. With a flash of fire in his palm, the knight who charged at the front instantly let out a miserable scream. The charging skill was instantly interrupted, and the knight stumbled and fell to the ground. The charge was interrupted and the archer reacted the fastest, immediately falling over the knight. Boom! Several bolts of lightning fell on his head, and the archer was knocked out of the air. The knights were trembling, knowing it was over they rushed right in the middle of the skeleton group, and the skeleton warriors had already surrounded them on all sides. Limit defense. The knight roared, trying to make a final struggle. Cries of pain came from his ears, and red light was all before his eyes. The skeleton warriors had exploded their skills. Skill, Berserk Strike. The archers, assassins, and mages were all brittle. After a round of skills, only the knight was left. The skeleton mage set fire, the skeleton warrior surrounded, and the knight completely relaxed his resistance. The five received treatment under the ring. There was admiration in their eyes. Winning, Lin Moshian became the first professional ever to complete four rounds of challenges. His name would forever hang high in the history of the professionals' competition. There could even be written into textbooks. The fourth round reward, two glittering intermediate skill scrolls. Counting what he knew before, now Lin Muyue already had two sparkling beginner skill scrolls, for sparkling intermediate skill scrolls, and one bottle each of beginner and intermediate magical potions the richness of his fortune had already surpassed the vast majority of professionals. I, continue the challenge. Lin Maya's words caused the entire room to shut up and become pin drop audible. Chapter 195, finally in. The fourth round of challenges were all completed for the first time. The fifth round. No one had ever tried it, and the officials hadn't even thought of setting this difficulty. The rewards for the fifth round of challenges hadn't been announced to the public at all. But now, Lin Moshian had made a request. And he continued to challenge. Because Bai Yuan had told him that the higher the challenge, the better. Since Bai Yuan would say that, there must be a reason. After Lin Mou finished speaking, the race, course was quiet. After waiting for two minutes, the official party finally responded a person suddenly appeared in midair. He wore an exquisite vestment and held an exquisite staff. A majestic voice came out aloud, fifth round of challenges, starting in three minutes, please get ready. Fifth round rewards, one bottle of advanced magical potion, one sparkling advanced skill scroll. His eyes were filled with appreciation as he looked at Lin Mou. 
Hearing the rewards, Lin Ma Yu's eyes also blowed. Advanced Magical Potion can be taken after completing the third turn at level 70. The full attributes increased by 20 million, a strangely high value. So was the glittering advanced skill scroll. The probability of obtaining advanced skills was greatly reduced, and it was difficult for anyone to learn all the skills. One could imagine how high the value of the glittering advanced skill scroll was. Lin Mashian clenched his fists, this time the rewards must be obtained. In everyone's anticipation, the fifth round of challenges officially opened the formation flashed. A group of people appeared in the ring. Level 50, Rare Profession, Paladin. Level 50, Rare Occupation, Elder Sillen. Level 50, Rare Occupation, Elemental Mage. Level 50, Rare Occupation, Shadow Mage. Level 50, Rare Profession, Flame Warlock. Level 50, Rare Profession, Elf Summoner. Six professions appeared, all level 50, all rare professions, forming the mage team. I'll be damned, the mage team has appeared. A level 50 mage team, the mage team that isn't afraid of group attacks the most. Now Lin Mou is in trouble, these mages all have group attack skills off, even more skeletons are useless. Don't forget that Shadow Mage has another title, Master of Field Control. Right, right, so many group control skills. This time, the team sent by the Divine Summer Empire completely targeted Lin Mashian's skeleton group. The Elemental Mages and Flame Warlocks had overwhelming group attack abilities, and the Shadow Mages could perform group control again Elder Sillen could enhance a mage's attack power in the extreme, and for a mage, he was even more useful than a prophet. As for the Elf Summoner. Just the ability to reset a skill was enough to establish his position in the team. Seeing this team, Lin Mashian knew that this battle was difficult. This team was completely targeting itself. In his mind, he thought about how to deal with this team. The only way that could be thought of was fire suppression. He wasn't afraid of the opponent's group attack skills. The most troublesome thing was the opponent's control skills. The Shadow Mage's group control would be his own biggest enemy. Thinking about countermeasures, Lin Mou gradually formed a thought in his mind, and it was the only thought that had a chance of winning. The six people on the other side looked at Lin Mashian and were already poised to attack. They had been called over to become ring guards, not realizing that they would have to deal with such a small guy who was only level 27 however, thinking about the attitude of the upper echelons, they didn't take it lightly. Each and every one of them stood at attention. When the battle began, Lin Mashian pressed his backhand and skeleton armor appeared on his body, while a dense 100 skeleton mage mages appeared in the ring. The mages set fire. A wide variety of spell skills rushed out in a flash. This scene startled the six people. The knight raised his shield and yelled, Defense! Skill, group protection. The shield rose to protect the six. Spells slapped down like waves, knocking the shields into distortions. The knight breathed a sigh of relief and continued to roar, up status, mage group attack. Elder Sillen began to add statuses. Skill, magic reinforcement. Skill, magic excitation. Skill, elemental enhancement. Skill, extreme speed spell casting. With each status added, the mage's attack power skyrocketed elemental mages and flame arts both unleashed their skills in droves. There was no need to prepare as would be the case for a level 40 mage, it was released almost instantly. Skill, meteoric fire extinction. Skill, Firefall Fire Rain. The Shadow Mage stared at the Skeleton Mage in the distance, and the staff in his hand lit up. Skill, Cloud of Sleep. A cloud came out in response. Lin Mashian looked in his eyes and violently ran towards his opponent, while the Skeleton Mage instantly disappeared. Lin Mashua ran so fast that the sound of spells landing resounded behind him. Lin Mashua's behavior was puzzling. What is he doing? Isn't he a mage? What's he doing rushing up by himself? The other side has knights and summoners, is Lin Mashua rushing up there to die? Did you guys notice, there were even more skeleton mages out just now than in the last round, at least 100 of them. Yeah, last round, he even had a hide. The crowd was in an uproar, they didn't realize that last round, it still wasn't Lin Mashian's full strength. No one knew how much strength this guy still had hidden. Lin Mashian instantly rushed up the skeleton mage, causing his opponent's attacks and controls to all fall short. A white summoned beast appeared beside the elf summoner. It was shaped like a warhorse and had a very small horn. It was much inferior to M.O. Yun's sacred unicorn. The moment he saw the summoned beast, Lin M.O. Yun's eyes lit up with a countermeasure. Lin Mashian charged forward, the skeleton mage reappeared, and another round of fire set in. In the previous round, the knight's marking shield only shook slightly this round, ripples swirled on the knight's shield. It rippled like water waves. Anyone with eyes could tell that the shield would not last much longer. The shadow mage raised his staff high and pointed towards Lin Mashian. Skill, silence. A ray of light hit Lin Mashian. Skeleton armor flashed and the control was ineffective. The shadow mage quickly released a second single control skill. 
skill, hypnotize. Still ineffective, skeleton armor was immune to all control effects. Shadow Mage's face changed, ineffective. The knight called out, don't bother with the skeletons, attack the summoner himself. The elemental mage and flame warlock instantly aimed at Lin Mashian, throwing out one skill after another desperately. The skeleton armor blocked the attacks, but its light was rapidly weakening. Although the skeleton armor was powerful, the other party was after all a level 50 professional. Combined with a full set of platinum equipment, the skill was very powerful the skeleton mage made another set of fire, and the shield broke in response. The elf summoner's summoned beast suddenly hissed. A light lit up on each of them. Summoning beast skill, reset. All skills were reset. The knight's group protection skill could be used again. The skills of the elemental mage, flame warlock, and shadow mage were all reset as well. Request flowers. Group protection. The knight let out a loud shout and the shield reappeared. Someone exclaimed out in shock, this is the reset ability of the elven summoning beasts. Other than a few special skills, most of the skills can be infinitely reset, no longer needing to worry about cooldowns. With it in place, the team's safety can be increased by several times. Lin Mashian's expression was grave, in this way, he couldn't attack the other party, while the other party could keep attacking him. He himself completely fell into a passive wounded state the skeleton warriors couldn't be summoned for the time being, in case they were controlled, he couldn't even put them back if he wanted to. It would be a living target. Another large group attack spell appeared. A rain of fire roared down, enveloping the area where the skeleton mage was. Lin Mashian instantly put away the skeleton mage, and the rain of fire once again fell short. A level 50 spell was already enough to deal serious damage to the skeleton mage. Lin Mo you didn't want the skeleton mage to suffer losses. Without the skeleton mage, the flame warlock immediately switched targets and continued to attack Lin Mashian. The skeleton armor creaked, its light was fading, and it was about to break. There was only one way left. Lin Mo you topped the spell attack, ran to the other side, and summoned the skeleton mage once again. The moment the skeleton mage appeared, he began to focus his attacks on the shield. At the same time, Lin Mashiwe had already arrived at the edge of the shroud he met the gazes of several people, and Lin Mashian revealed a hint of a smile. With a slight pressure of his backhand, a layer of skeleton armor once again appeared on his body. The skeleton armor that originally looked like it was about to rupture once again erupted with a brilliant light. I'm going! The knight exclaimed in shock, he thought that Lin Mashian's defense skill could also be reset. Where did he know that skeleton armor had no cooldown at all? It could be cast to replenish at any time. If you wanted to beat Lin Mashian, you either had to be able to instantly destroy his skeleton armor and form a sure kill. Either that or grind until Lin Mou had no spiritual power. Lin Mashian reached out and pressed his hand on the defense shield. What is he going to do? Doubt arose in the hearts of several people. In an instant, skeleton warriors appeared densely. As soon as they appeared, they used the Berserk Strike skill. After the skill was used, it was put away by Lin Mashian there was no more than a second before and after. There was no time for the shadow mage to react. The shield became shaky again. At this moment the knight seemed to figure out what Lin Mashian was trying to do. He's charging in, quickly stop him. The summoned beast hissed again, and instantly all skills reset. The flame warlock erupted with resist firing, and the skeleton armor flashed, immune to the shock fly function. Shadow mage's staff swung. Skill, swamp. A large swamp immediately appeared under Lin Mashian's feet, and half of Lin Mashian's feet had already fallen into it. At this moment, a skeleton warrior appeared beside Lin Mashiwe and violently carried Lin Mashiwe out. Skill, Pillar of Gale. Gale force winds grew from the elemental mage's staff, and the shaped face wind pillar crashed into Lin Mashian's body. It still didn't crash through the skeletal armor. Under the continuous attacks, the skeleton armor once again became dim. But in the next second, Lin Mashian got a new addition, this is a monster. How could there be such a perverse skill? The paladin roared. The shield ruptured with a loud bang. The paladin recast the shroud as fast as he could. A new shroud arose, but there was one more person inside the shroud. Lin Mashian's mouth was tinged with a smile, he had finally come in. Geo. Chapter 196, That Splendid and Dazzling Explosion. Lin Mou forced her way into the shroud. A few wide-eyed stares. You're a mage, you're not a melee. What are you doing barging in? Is it hard to believe that you want to swing your sword and slash? It's hard to believe that you still know warrior skills. The shield was flickering with light, and the skeleton mage was still attacking. The paladin was still maintaining the shroud and was unable to act. The summoned beasts were the first to rush towards Lin Mashian. Like a warhorse, the unicorn that was comparable to a man's height slammed into Lin Mashian. 
With a thud, the skeleton armor shone, and the blow was not small in power the elemental mage and flame warlock simultaneously attacked towards Lin Mojing. Lin Moshiwe withstood the attacks with a flash of red light. Skill, slow speed curse. With a buzz, the movements of the six people plus a beast collectively slowed down. It's a curse. Bad thoughts flashed through the paladin's mind, and a brilliant light erupted from his body. Paladins had skills to break curses. At the same time, Elder Selene was already casting skills to lift the curse. At that moment, densely packed skeleton warriors appeared around the crowd. The moment they appeared they surrounded them. The skeleton warriors were densely packed, all around and above their heads. As soon as the skeleton warriors appeared, they wielded their skills. Resisting the ring of fire explosion, in an instant, a large number of skeleton warriors had their skills interrupted and were blown away. But in less than half a second, more skeleton warriors were released by Lin Mo Yen Lin Mo Yu didn't release all the skeleton warriors at once, the defense was skills like resist fire ring. A black cloud appeared and a large number of skeleton warriors stopped and fell into a deep sleep. Skill, Cloud of Sleep. The Shadow Mage's group control skill finally exerted its power. The summoned beast let out a hiss and raised its hooves, and a roiling column of water rushed out from the ground, sending a large number of skeleton warriors rushing into the sky. While it was attacking, there were already skeleton warriors' skills falling on it. As soon as there was a gap in the skeleton warriors, Lin Moshian would release a batch to fill it in. As soon as they were released, the skeleton warriors instantly used their skills, regardless of whether they could hit or not, they made it. The paladin looked on, but he couldn't act. He had to maintain the group protection skill, and the skeleton mages outside were still attacking continuously, this guy is going to come hard, never seen a mage like this before. What kind of fighting style is this? While the skeleton warrior was attacking, fire flashed in Lin Mashian's palm. Skill, Soul Flame. The summoned beast immediately let out a miserable scream. This skill, people couldn't stand it, monsters couldn't stand it, summoning was equally unbearable. Immediately after that, the skull warrior's skills landed on it in droves. The level 50 summoning beast's vitality was extremely strong, being surrounded by a dozen skeletons and releasing a flurry of skills didn't kill it. Lin Mayu's eyes showed joy, the stronger the vitality, the better. The summoned beast wanted to heal his own summoned beast. But right now, he couldn't protect himself. If it wasn't for Elder Selene who was doing the healing, he would have pretty much been eliminated by now. Lin Moshian had hardened the duel between the mages into a close combat the shadow mage cast control skills over and over again, controlling a large number of skeleton warriors. These skeleton warriors had all become stakes, unable to move. In the blink of an eye, half of the skeleton warriors had already been controlled. The situation seemed to have stabilized. The paladin, however, sensed that something was wrong, and he realized that, in fact, the object that Lin Moshian was really attacking was the summoned beasts. Watch out for the summoned beasts. He didn't know why Lin Moshian was doing this, but there must be a reason why he was doing this. Just like why he rushed in, there must be a reason. When he shouted out, it was already too late. As the soul flame burned again, the summoned beast collapsed with a miserable scream. Boom! A loud bang resounded through the entire arena. For the first time, a body explosion appeared in the arena. The explosion had no light, yet it felt brilliant and dazzling. The knight was blown away and the shield disappeared in an instant. When the knight fell heavily to the ground and came back to his senses, he realized that his teammates had all appeared under the ring. He was now the only one left still in the ring. 170 skeleton warriors and 100 skeleton mages were looking at him intently the knight let out a miserable laugh. What's the point of fighting, it's all a losing battle anyway. It wasn't like it was a fight to the death, it was just a match. You're so strong. The knight gave a thumbs up towards Lin Moshian and then jumped out of the ring. A team of level 50 mages was surprisingly defeated by a single person. Deafening applause rang out. Everyone in the audience stood up and applauded. Lin Moshian had made them appreciate a breathtaking battle. A level 27 professional, single-handedly defeating a level 56 man mage team. Such an exciting battle was enough to go down in history. The mage who had been standing in the void had a growing appreciation for Lin Moshue in his eyes. Young man is really good, this is your prize. With a wave of his big hand, a bottle of purple gold potion as well as a glittering purple scroll flew into Lin Mayu's hands. Advanced magical potion, glittering advanced skill scroll two priceless treasures. Lin Mayu looked up at the sky, thank you. He hesitated to continue the challenge. The communicator in his hand suddenly vibrated. By E. Yuan unexpectedly sent a message at this time. For words, see what you can do. Lin Mou put away his potions and scrolls, saluted towards the mage in the air, and then jumped down from the ring. Lin Mashue didn't continue the challenge. Everyone didn't feel pity. It really was already enough. Winning five rounds of challenges was already a feat that had never been done before. 
Lin Imoyue's name had already spread throughout the entire human world. Ning Yi bounced over, Ma Yu, you're really good. She was happier than anyone when Lin Imoyue won. Lin Imoyue stroked her little head, you're awesome too. Ning Yi raised her little head, that's for sure, this young lady has the best eye for people, otherwise how would she have gotten a glimpse of you? Lin Imoyue laughed. The two of them left the arena, never bothering to pay attention to the next match for Lin Mou. the professional competition had already ended. In fact, if it wasn't for Bai Yuan's request, he wouldn't even necessarily come to the competition. He would definitely come, but not to compete, but to find Lin Mohan. Now, it seemed that this trip to the professional competition was still not a small harvest. Not only had he found Lin Mohan, but he had also harvested a large number of high-level items. And it also allowed him to harvest a lot of practical combat experience. Whether it was used to fight copies or deal with demons in the future, it was a good accumulation. All in all, it was a worthwhile trip. Someone flew from the air and landed in front of Lin Moshian. It was the mage who had just come to host the competition. His aura was restrained, but Lin Mou could feel that he should be a top professional over level 80, but not yet at the level of Bai Yuan. Lin Mou saluted towards the other party, Senior, what is it that you are looking for me for? He laughed, appreciation in his gaze, hello Lin Mou, my name is Jean Pang. Jean Pang, one of the twelve counselors of the Divine Summer Empire a big shot on the same level as Su Wei. Ning Yi was not at all impressed by Jean Peng's identity, she had seen many people at this level, it was nothing at all. Lin Mashiwe said, Lord Jean Peng, may I ask what's up? Jean Peng laughed, you're a student of the Xiaojing Academy, right? This year's national top student, that's right. Lin Mou nodded, with the other party's status and position, it wasn't difficult to find out information about him. Jean Peng said, it just so happens that I also serve as a visiting professor at the Xiaojing Academy, I would like to take you on as a student, I don't know if you're willing. The student he spoke of was not an ordinary teacher-student relationship. Rather, it was a master and disciple relationship, just like the kind of relationship between Lin Mou and Bai Yuan Lin Mou wasn't surprised, but respectfully said, thank you Lord Jean Peng for your kindness, I already have a teacher. Jean Peng revealed a surprised look, oh, who is it? At this time, Lin Mayu's communicator rang, Lin Mou smiled faintly, it's my teacher calling. Quickly connect it, let me see which guy is so lucky to be your teacher. In his eyes, Lin Mou was a rare top genius. It was even stronger than those at the top of the Xiaojing Zifu. He was curious as to who could become Lin Mayu's teacher. The communicator connected and Bai Yuan's voice came from inside, Pang, you're going to poach me? Jean Peng was taken aback and revealed a crying expression, Lord White God, so it's you. Bai Yuan grunted, Kid Lin is my student, don't hit on him in the future. How could Jean Peng dare to snatch someone from Bai Yuan? He immediately said, if I had known that he was Lord White God's student, I would have never dared to come. You go back and talk to those guys as well, keep Kid Lin's information confidential, just don't let anyone unrelated see it. Please don't worry, Lord White God, I've already done my best to keep it a secret. In fact, as long as it was a genius that was worth paying attention to, the Divine Summer Empire side would keep the information confidential. After all, there had been incidents of geniuses being assassinated in the past, and the Divine Summer Empire had since done its best in this regard. Those important information could only be viewed by the higher-ups. It was just that he hadn't expected that Counselor Su Wei would be someone from the demon-worshipping society. These secrecy efforts had completely become a showpiece. Bai Yuan continued, you go ahead and get busy, when the competition is over, you all come over here, old Meng and I have something to find you. Jin Peng's expression immediately became grave. He naturally knew that Bai Yuan was looking for them, and it definitely wouldn't be a small matter. Okay, I'll come over with them to find you after the competition. When Jin Peng left, Bai Yuan continued, Lin Kid, you've gotten enough publicity these past few days, come back first, there's a new task for you. Okay, teacher. Chapter 197 It's as if a new god-level powerhouse is being born. When Lin Mashue returned to the Xiaojing Academy, he attracted the attention of countless students. His reputation had been too great in recent days. It wasn't nationally known anymore, I should say it was worldwide. Everyone knew about Lin Mashue and his gains. There were champions of the professionals competition every year, and the Xiaojing Academy never lacked champions. However, there were not many like Lin Mou who had won it all and those who broke the challenge record and created a brand new challenge record had never done so before. As Lin Mou walked on the road of the academy, almost every student would look at him. Wherever he passed, he would attract countless gazes. And often, cadets would come over to greet Lin Mashue of their own accord. Whether it was an ordinary cadet or a cadet from the independent academy department, when they saw Lin Mashue, they would all take the initiative to greet Lin Mashue. A big fist was the hard truth, a character like Lin Mashue, as long as he didn't die, he would inevitably become a famous big shot in the future. Even turning into an existence like the White God. This kind of person had to be respected. 
Lin Mou was very uncomfortable and was a bit uneasy all over. Ning Yi seemed to have anticipated this and flew away with a silver gin-like laughter. Stinky girl, escaping really fast. Looking at the Nita's new dormitory, Lin Mou realized that she had lived in it for just a handful of nights after enrolling in school there were no traces of her own life in the dormitory. Sitting at the head of bed 14, he took out the primary magical potion and drank it. Immediately, he felt a warm current flowing through his body. The warm current melted away and dispersed into the limbs and bones, and the attributes of the entire body were improving. As a law profession, other than spiritual strength, the other basic attributes weren't that high. At level 27, his strength, agility, and physique attributes were only 510. Only the mental strength attribute was as high as 2700, which was higher than the other three combined. Now that he had taken the primary magical potion, the full attribute was increased by 200. For him, it was a considerable boost. If my attributes could be the same as the skeletons, it would be strong. Unfortunately, the talent of total increase is only effective on skills and has no effect on myself. As his thoughts rose, the skeleton warrior and skeleton mage appeared in the dormitory at the same time. The warmth dropped rapidly as the cloudy wind blew. The summons of the undead system always carried a gloomy aura that was frightening. Level 27 Skeleton Warrior, full attribute 22,500, in fact, the base attribute is only 750. Skeleton Mage, spiritual attribute 1500, all other three attributes are only 340. Lin Moshian spoke in a low voice. If there was no comprehensive increase in divine grade talent, skeletons really weren't too strong. With such a small amount of attributes, it wasn't as powerful as an ordinary professional. The only advantage was that there were enough of them to pile up monsters. However, Lin Moshian felt that as a uniqueness-hidden profession, necromancers were definitely more than that. Some professions are weak in the early stages and get stronger the later they get. Maybe, with a higher level and new skills, it will change. Even without talent, it's still the strongest profession. Lin Moshian had plenty of confidence in his profession. The image that he saw when he changed professions, the densely counted skeletons, appeared in the eyes of the world as if it was a disaster. Even if they were as strong as dragons, they would be killed by skeleton warriors. One day, he would be able to reach that level as well. The images at that time showed him the direction of his profession, allowing him to see the future of this profession. This night, Lin Moshian combed through his skills and realized his gains and losses. In his mind, he recalled bits and pieces from a battle, corroborating them with his own thoughts. Now that he thought about it, he actually would have won more easily if he hadn't retracted his hand and used the soul flame directly. It was just that this skill was just too painful, as could be seen from the performance of several professionals so when he wasn't facing a life and death battle, he wasn't very eager to utilize this skill. In the White God's small courtyard, Lin Meiyu sat at the tea table, respectfully making tea for Bai Yuan and Meng Anwen. Bai Yuan was enjoying his student's serving and had a smile on his face. This student, how to look at him, how to like him. You did well this time. Meng Anwen said lightly, it can't be bad, five rounds of challenges, no one has ever done it before. Much better than your teacher back then. The smile on Bai Yuan's face swished away, can we still have a good chat? Just being honest, back then you only passed three rounds, as a man, you wouldn't dare to admit it. Meng Anwen still spoke lightly, as if an old friend was talking. Bai Yuan hated his teeth, this old friend of his, really didn't give him face. Coughing lightly twice, Bai Yuan changed the topic, kid, next you need to upgrade to level 30 as soon as possible, then I'll take you to a place. Lin Mou nodded, good. In these few days, you'll stay in the academy, and if you want to go leveling, you'll go to the duplicate hall. You should also notice that the wind is too big this time, no matter where you go there are people staring at you. Indeed, everywhere he went now, people would notice him. Just like the stars in his previous life, he would be surrounded and uncomfortable wherever he went. Bai Yuan said, it's not important to be noticed, the key is, you don't know which people in there are malicious. In recent years, there have been geniuses assassinated one after another within the empire, so you must be careful. At least in the academy, there will be no danger. Bai Yuan admonished a few times, and between the lines, one could hear that Bai Yuan cared about Lin Mou. Lin Mou also felt warmth. After Lin Mou left, Meng Yuan opened her eyes and looked at Bai Yuan, you're planning to take him there? Bai Yuan looked like he was taking it for granted, that's of course, how can you be considered a qualified professional if you don't go there? Meng Yuan said in a deep voice, you're not afraid that he'll run into danger? You went there after your second turn back then. Bai Yuan shook his head, I've already gone late, the sooner I go to that place, the greater the benefits. Suit yourself, it's your student anyway. Meng Anwen didn't say anything more. Bai Yuan didn't appear worried in the slightest, don't worry, this kid doesn't talk much, but he's actually refined, it's not easy to get him killed. What's more, there's still the Hall of Soul seal in place, so he can be resurrected even if he dies. The duplicate hall was still bustling. 
The moment Lin Mashue stepped out of the teleportation array, the entire space fell silent. It's Lin Mashue. He's back. I knew he was powerful before, I didn't expect him to be this powerful. It's as if I've seen a new god-level powerhouse being born. I actually fought a copy with this kind of character, it's exciting just thinking about it. Come on, you're just paying out points to let someone take you through the book, what does that count as having played through the book together? The crowd whispered, all looking at Lin Mashian with reverence. Here, no one dared to belittle him. Even those higher professionals who had finished 680 into their second turn, the same was true. Even the level 50 mage team that came out of the military could defeat them, what were they? Even if there were any level 50 professionals, they would be no match for Lin Muyue in a single fight. Strength was honored, and a big fist was the hard truth. Lin Mou walked into the replica hall amidst the attention of the crowd. Lin Mou, you're back. Shu Han appeared in front of Lin Muyue with a smile. What a coincidence. I didn't expect to run into an old acquaintance just after returning Shu Han's smile always carried a hint of lethargy, and the whole person was tranquil. One could feel a hint of calmness from her. Although Shu Han didn't have any signs of an independent academy, she looked like an ordinary cadet. However, her temperament was completely different from that of an ordinary cadet. Lin Mouyu felt that Shu Han's family background shouldn't be bad. Only, without understanding why, she had been doing some insignificant tasks. It was also only earning some small amount of points. What use could such a small amount of points be? Lin Mouyu asked softly, Are you here to do quests again? Shu Han spread a smile, Yes, and you? Lin Mayu softly said, brushing books and practicing. Do you need me to recommend a copy for you ah, uh, charge for it oh, 100 points won't do? Lin Mou traded 100 points to Shu Han. That's great, earned another 100 points. Come with me, Lin Mojing student. Shu Han revealed a bright smile and turned towards a replica the vortex at the entrance of the replica was slowly rotating, and from time to time, fiery light emerged. Level 32 Replica, Fire God's Palace Chapter 198, One of the Elemental Copies, Palace of the Fire God Shu Han recommended the Fire God's Palace, copy to Lin Mashian. A level 32 replica, the level that could be entered was between level 27 and 37. It looked like a copy that couldn't be more normal, and there were only two difficulties to choose from, normal and nightmare. For level 30 and above, the entry fee was 500 points and the reset fee was 2,500 points. The cooldown time amounted to 120 hours, a full 5 days. Shu Han spoke of the reasons for recommending this copy. Having collected points, she was doing her duty. What about this copy looks no different from a normal copy, but it's actually not quite the same. As you can see, there are candidates for many of the copies here, but only for this copy of the Fire God's Palace, there are very few people who chose it. And if you look at its time, and compare it with other copies of about the same level, you can see that it's not the same. Lin Mou looked at the clearance record for Fire God's Palace. 8 hours, 32 minutes, and 15 seconds. The record was set five years ago. It came from a team from Subterranean Dragon Academy. It was clearly abnormal for a nightmare level copy to take over eight hours. Other nightmare level copies rarely took more than six hours. And the record was too long, untouched for five whole years. Shu Han wore a slightly lethargic smile, found out, this copy is actually one of the five elemental copies. What we usually know are the four elements of wind, water, fire and electricity, there is actually a light element. Each element has a corresponding kind of elemental copy, and if one is lucky, one can obtain the corresponding elemental fragment. Legend has it that if one can gather all five elemental fragments, one can obtain unexpected benefits oh. Shu Han knew a lot, and also spoke to Lin Mou about why this copy was difficult. Inside was the world of the fire element, and once you entered it, you would be continuously damaged by the fire element. That would be a lot of pressure on the healers. That's why in Nightmare Difficulty 6-man teams, one output position would often be sacrificed and paired with two healers. In this way, the output is reduced, and the fight is naturally slow. The intensity of the copy is not low, and when the output is reduced, the danger is greatly increased. Even with two healers, getting it wrong will fail. There had been trainees who couldn't exit in time and died in the copy. Similarly, high difficulty also brought high experience. Shu Han felt that with Lin Muyue's ability, it shouldn't be difficult for him that was why he recommended this copy with the highest experience in the same level. After Lin Mou heard this, she had a bottom in her heart. Feeling that the 100 points had been well spent. So are the remaining few elemental copies here? Lin Mayu's eyes swept through the hall of replicas, there were hundreds of replicas of all sizes, so it was difficult to tell them apart for a while. Shu Han pointed in one direction, or a replica vortex would from time to time appear with dots of watery light, transmitting an astonishing coldness. There is the water elemental copy, but the water elemental copy is a level 37 copy, you can't enter it now. 
Saying that, she pointed to another location, where the sound of wind was coming from the entrance of the copy. There is the wind elemental copy, the wind elemental copy is at level 42, you can't enter until after level 37. But usually other people only go in after completing the second transfer and becoming a high profession. The final fire elemental copy and light elemental copy, are not here. As for exactly where it is, I'll have to ask student brother Lin to find it himself. Shu Han had a wry smile in her eyes and a hint of anticipation, expecting Lin Mou to set a new record. Thank you senior sister. I'm going to brush up on my books first. Lin Moiwe chose nightmare mode to enter the copy. Ning Yi Yi had sent a message over when she got home yesterday, roughly meaning that she had something going on at home and had to leave for a while. She would come back to him when she got back. It looked like it was quite urgent, so it was probably because Ning Yi had been assigned some kind of task again. A top professionist family like Ning Yi's had a well-developed way of cultivating their descendants. Although Ning Yi was titled in the academy, she wouldn't exactly follow the academy's path. Lin Mou felt that she was similar now she hadn't attended a single class in the academy. In the academy, the place where he stayed the most was the duplicate hall. Completely not following the normal method of learning and upgrading. A lot of the knowledge seemed imperfect. Bai Yuan also wanted him to acquire this knowledge in real combat. Fire God's Palace, Level 32 Replica, Nightmare Difficulty. Hot flames scorched the entire heaven and earth. It was a cave with rock walls burning with blazing flames. There was only a flaming bridge leading to the opposite bank, and underneath it was flowing magma. From time to time, the flowing magma would break out into pillars of fire and explode in the air, like brilliant fireworks. Lin Mashua felt that even if he had skeleton armor, he probably wouldn't last long. The Fire God's Palace, copy was slightly similar to the Elemental Mysteries, but it was more pure than the Elemental Mysteries. Just by standing here, the Fire Elementals had already begun to attack him as an outsider the skeleton armor flashed with light, fending off the Fire Elementals. As long as one was in the copy, one would have to endure the attacks of the Fire Elementals all the time, with no end in sight. Healers were especially under pressure here. Even if they weren't fighting monsters, they had to heal their teammates every so often. There were no skeleton warriors or skeleton mages summoned. Now that they hadn't even encountered any monsters, invoking them out and taking attacks for nothing. Walking the bridge made of flames, the entire bridge was burning, and Lin Moshian stepped into the flames with every step. It was truly a sea of fire and daggers. If he were an ordinary professional, he would have to be healed several times just by walking across this bridge. The bridge wasn't long, and it would soon come to an end. Finally, two monsters were seen on the shore. Two monsters composed of fire elementals and lava the monsters were as tall as three meters, holding a giant stick of flame in their hands as they wandered back and forth near the bridge. At the same time that Lin Mojing discovered them, they also discovered Lin Mojing. With a wave of the giant stick, they threw two balls of flame towards Lin Mojing. It looked like a mage's fireball spell. Lin Mou didn't dodge or avoid it, receiving it hard with his skeleton armor. At the same time, the detection spell had blown over like a breeze. Flame Elf, Reinforced Elite Monster, comma. Level, 32. Strength, 10,000. Agility, 3,000. Spirit, 4,000. Physique, 10,000. Skill, Flame Attack. Characteristics, Immune to Fire Elemental Damage, Physical Damage Halved. Slightly stronger in strength and constitution, with a total attribute of 27,000, in line with the attributes of a level 32 reinforced elite monster. The body is composed of fire elementals and is immune to fire elemental damage. Another attribute of elemental monsters was that physical damage was had Lin Moshian had already dealt with elemental monsters more than once and was not surprised to see this attribute. But, it seems like you can't use corpse burst again. Whispering softly, not being able to use corpse burst, that efficiency was going to be quite a bit lower. Shuhan probably didn't know this before she recommended this copy to herself. Looking back, I can ask her what copy has more monsters. It's fine to have less single experience, as long as there are enough monsters. The key is to have a corpse. For now, I'll take what I can get. The 500 point entrance fee has been spent, so it would be uneconomical to retreat. The flame elf's flames had already landed on the skeleton armor. The flames exploded, creating beautiful fireworks. The skeleton armor emitted a silver white light, completely blocking the attack. The power is still okay. Lin Moshian had an estimate valley of the flame elf's attack power. Skeleton warriors appeared, one darting across the bridge, swinging their greatswords to slash at the flame elves as the skeleton warriors ran, flames quickly ignited on their bodies. Soon they became fire skeletons, their bodies covered in flames. Lin Moshian possessed the elemental resistance passive skill, which increased elemental damage resistance by 300%, and all elemental damage was reduced by three times. The skeleton warrior's attributes were originally high, so it was only scary to look at, the damage wasn't high. 
A dozen or so skeleton warriors surrounded the two flame elves and hacked away. Killed level 32 flame elf, experience plus 640,000. Obtained flame crystal core. As expected, the flame elves directly dissipated into fire elements after their deaths, leaving no corpses behind. Chapter 199, Subbook Upgrade, Activate Hell Difficulty. After resolving the two flame elves, Lin Moshian wanted to put away the skeleton warrior. In the absence of a battle, there was no need for them to be out there taking damage for nothing suddenly, he frowned slightly and couldn't put them back. The skeleton warriors were enveloped by the blazing flames, constantly taking damage. The skeleton warriors were always in a fighting state and could not be retrieved from the summoning space. Luckily, the damage was not high, and the impact on the skeleton warrior was not great. Trying to rely solely on the fire element to burn the skeleton warrior to death, it was estimated that it would take a very long time, 10 hours wouldn't necessarily be enough. So he just didn't collect it and directly let the skeleton warriors charge forward to clear the way for himself. The 16 skeleton warriors ran forward in a fan formation. The skeleton warriors quickly ran into the monsters in the copy. Lin Moshian gave them the order to attack whenever they ran into a monster. The level 32 copy monsters, as long as they didn't have control skills, they couldn't beat the skeleton warriors even in single combat not to mention being surrounded, it wouldn't take more than a few hits to settle the fight. The skeleton warrior enveloped in flames explored the map while fighting the monsters. Soon, the general situation in the copy was detected. Lin Moshian realized that he was located in a cave. The surroundings, the top, and the ground were surrounded by flames. Around the cave, there were four entrances. In front of each entrance, there were two flame elves guarding it. The entrances looked exactly the same, making it impossible to tell which was the correct path. For other 680 people, this was a very troublesome problem that needed to be tried one by one. But to Lin Moshien, it was too simple. The 16 skeletons were divided into four, and ran into different entrances in groups of four. The situation in the cave was quickly grasped. There were tons of monsters inside, no longer just flame elves, kill level 33 lava monolith, experience plus 660,000. Obtained flame crystal core. Kill level 33 flame wing serpent, experience plus 660,000. Kill level 34 flame lizard, experience plus 680,000. Obtained flame crystal core. A message came through, and Lin Moshian quickly followed it. After taking the primary magical potion, his full attributes had increased by 200, and his speed was a bit faster than before. Entering the cave, he quickly saw a monster corpse. Joy appeared in Lin Moyu's eyes. This place wasn't entirely monsters made up of fire elementals. There were also monsters that possessed entities. Although a large portion of their life force would disappear after they died, there were still corpses present. Since there were corpses, it was a good thing. At Lin Moshian's command, the skeleton warriors no longer killed the monsters, but started dragging them once again. The skeleton warriors darted around the lava cave, hooking one monster after another they then began to run with the monsters towards where Lin Moshian was. Through the map in his mind, Lin Moshian could see that at least hundreds of monsters had been lured this time. Each monster could provide a considerable amount of experience, and the experience could rise another notch. Right now, he wasn't far from level 28, so as long as a few waves came like this, he would almost be able to upgrade. With a clicking sound coming from his ears, the skeleton warriors ran back in droves. Red light flashed in Lin Moshian's hand. Skill, slow speed curse. Cursed red trumped the red of the flames. The monsters that were pulled over suddenly turned into slow motion. At this moment, the skeleton warriors turned around and exploded their skills. Skill, berserk strike. The skills fell, and the monsters running at the front fell to the ground with mournful cries. Killed level 33 flame wing serpent, experience plus 660,000. In the next second, Lin Moshian raised his palm skill, corpse burst. Violent explosions instantly rushed in all directions. A large number of monsters were blown up. The entire replica shook as magma sprayed and landed on the ground. The flames on the ground burned even more vigorously. The replica kept shaking as if Lin Moshian's actions had triggered some sort of mechanism. The monsters that were chasing over the rest of them let out screams and the aura on their bodies rose dramatically. Lin Moyu couldn't care less at this point. Skills were unleashed one after another. In the blink of an eye, a large number of corpses were detonated. The roaring sound was like a musical score constantly playing. The monsters died in pieces. However, Lin Moyu felt something was wrong. How the intensity of the monsters was rising. Although the monsters here had far less vitality after death than when they were alive due to the dissipation of the fire element but the skill burst increased by 600%, which was still enough to blow up monsters of the same level. This was true at first. But now, how could it not be killed in one blast, it needed to be blasted twice. Strange as it was, it didn't stop. The corpse bursting continued. 
Later on, it needed to be blown up three times, four times to kill monsters of the same level. It was as if their defense against corpse burst was increasing dramatically. The vibrations of the copies became more and more violent, just like an earthquake. Magma continued to spray, and the fire element was getting denser. Outside the replica, the vortex at the entrance suddenly ejected flames, startling the professionals who were beside the replica. What's happening? Why is it spewing fire for a good reason? Huh, this isn't a copy of the Fire God's Palace. The Fire God's Palace, replica is one of the five elemental replicas, and it's said that you can get elemental fragments if you're lucky the five elemental fragments combined into one are able to obtain unexpected benefits. Don't be ridiculous, it's only a legend, no one has ever obtained one. Heavens, come see, you guys, how did the Fire God's Palace, replica get an extra hell difficulty? This time, the entire replica hall was sensationalized. The Vulcan Palace, replica had existed here for an unknown number of years. There had always only been two types of difficulty, normal and nightmare. Now a third difficulty had suddenly appeared. Hell difficulty. Shu Han had a bright smile in his eyes, I knew you would be able to do it. As the controller of the replica hall, Ning Tarun had supreme authority here. He knew everything about the information in the replica hall like the back of his hand. He was the first to learn of the abnormal changes in the Fire God's Palace, replica. Checking underneath, he found that Lin Moshian was in the replica, I didn't expect that it was really done by him. Could it really be that elemental fragments would drop? Is the legend true? Ning Terran naturally knew about the legends about elemental fragments, it was just that he knew more than the others. In order to obtain the elemental fragment, one first had to activate the replica's hell mode. Elemental fragments would only drop in hell mode, and it depended on luck. And to activate the replica's hell mode, one needed to clear out a large number of monsters in the replica in a short period of time to have a fundamental impact on the replica. Only then could the ground difficulty be activated. All sorts of conditions, of course Ning Taran knew all of them. In this world, if it came to knowledge of all kinds of replicas, if he said second, no one would dare to say first. Bai Yuan couldn't even do it. It wasn't just the Fire God's Palace, replica, many replicas were made this way. Ning Taran had tried and failed to do so when he was young later, he organized his most elite squad to try, and still failed to do it. The Fire God's Palace, replica was lacking in output because it required dual assistance, and the team's attack power was greatly reduced. Hell mode couldn't be activated, and naturally, it was impossible to get elemental fragments. Unexpectedly, Lin Moshian had activated hell mode by mistake after a few waves of blowing up monsters. The difficulty of the nightmare copy he was in was also instantly raised to hell difficulty. The fire element was boiling, the monsters were getting stronger, and the continuous burning of the flames was rapidly increasing. The flames on the skeleton warrior's body blazed and grew more and more intense. The skeleton warrior had turned into a walking flame. The corresponding damage received was getting stronger and stronger. Originally, it would take at least 10 hours to burn the skeleton warrior to death, but now it would take at most 3 hours for the skeleton warrior to be burned to death Lin Ma Xian didn't realize that the copy he was in had turned into hell difficulty. He only knew that the damage had increased and the monsters had gotten harder. If he didn't hurry, the skeleton warrior would really be burned to death. Go! With a heartbeat, he quickly ran towards the depths of the copy. Chapter 200 Skeleton Warrior Damaged for the Second Time in the White God's small courtyard, Ning Taiyan walked in with large strides. Bai Yuan let out a sigh, Old Man Ning, why are you free to come over today? Isn't your precious granddaughter back, and you're not keeping her company? Ning Taiyan walked over and sat down, nonchalantly pouring the tea from Bai Yuan's teacup into his mouth, your good student, activated the hell difficulty of the Fire God's Palace, copy. Bai Yuan seemed to have expected this, is that strange? With his abilities, activating the hell difficulty isn't a normal thing to do. Ming Terran said, when hell difficulty is activated, the elemental fragments will may fall out. At that time, the five elemental fragments will merge into one. Bai Yuan interrupted, do you still want to rob my student? This look, like an old bull protecting a calf cub. That's not what I meant. When did I say I wanted to rob? Bai Yuan, don't talk too much. Ming Tyrant's old face was red with anger. Meng Anwen said indifferently, old Bai is joking with you, what's the excitement? Bai Yuan wore a smile and passed a cup of tea into Ning Taran's hands, that's right, what are you excited about? I know, if we can get the elemental fragments together, it's this kid's good fortune, if we can't, it's destined to happen. After all, none of us know where the two copies of the Lightning Palace and Holy Light Palace are. The copies of the fire, water, and wind elements in the copy palace electricity and light were never found. These two copies were somewhat special and could not be found just by trying to find them. Ning Taran said, Lightning Palace, I saw it on Battlefield 8 over a decade ago. It's just that I was fighting the Abyssal Demon King at the time and couldn't spare a hand. By the time the fight was over, it was already gone. 
As for the sacred light palace, it's true that it's never been found. Bai Yuan spread his hands, that's why the minions said that if they could find it then it would be considered Lin Kid's luck. Ning Tyran said, I came over just to talk to you, so that your kid can bring my family Ee to fight the Vulcan Palace. Even if you can't combine the elemental fragments into one, the individual elemental fragments will be of great use. Bai Yuan let out a snort, there's no need for me to talk about this, you have Ee talked to Lin Kid herself. If Ee opens her mouth, Lin Kid definitely won't refuse. Ning Taran thought about it for a moment, and it seemed to be true. There was no need to sell this old face himself. It was just that he hadn't been recognizing that Lin Mou and Ning Ee were in love with each other, which was why he hadn't thought of this layer in a moment of negligence. But if he let Ning Ee say it herself, wouldn't this be a disguised way for him to recognize the relationship between the two? Thinking that his family's good cabbage would be given away, Ning Tai Ran's face was full of tangles. By a Yuan patted his shoulder, old man Ning, sooner or later, this flower of your family will have to be plucked by someone. Instead of letting some trash pick it away, it's better to go cheap on Kid Lin. At least no one in his age group can be better than Kid Lin, can they? And we'll also be able to kiss up to each other, the best of both worlds. Ning Tarun continued his entanglement. In the Vulcan Palace, Lin Moshian accelerated his advancement the skeletal warriors had already found the exits. There were four cave entrances, and the internal structure was similar to an ant cave, interconnected. There was only one final exit. And this exit was very disgusting, don't want to walk to the exit without walking through the entire cave. No matter which entrance one went in through, the result would be the same. The corner of Lin Mayu's mouth couldn't help but twitch twice when she saw the entire topographical map of the cave. Since they had to walk all over, why did they need to set up four entrances? This is not taking off your pants to fart. How did this copy form, without ten years of cerebral thrombosis, it definitely couldn't make such a cave. Lin Mou ran out of the cave as fast as he could. A giant palace came into view. The palace was surrounded by blazing flames, and every pillar was made up of flames. Above the palace, a giant eye of flame floated. The appearance was somewhat similar to the flame demon king intruder. The flame giant eye spotted Lin Moshian and immediately sounded an alarm. The earth was still shaking and magma shot out, turning into flames and smashing into Lin Moshue. I'll go. Lin Moshue let out a dark grunt and ran forward as fast as he could. At the same time, he added skeleton armor to his body once more. The flames landed on the ground and exploded, bursting into a ball of fire on the ground. A huge impact swept in, the skeleton armor was shining, blocking all the impact for Lin Moshian. Skeleton warriors had been injured from the impact, but the flames on their bodies were even more intense. The time the skeleton warriors could hold on was further shortened. Magma continued to spray and flames fell like rain as Lin Moshian ran forward frantically with the 16 skeleton warriors. The injuries of the skeleton warriors were getting heavier and heavier, and the time they could hold on was getting shorter and shorter. Unexpectedly, playing a level 32 nightmare difficulty copy, the skeleton warriors were in danger Lin Moshin didn't even realize that he was currently raiding hell difficulty. Finally, he rushed to the entrance of the palace. The palace gates were open, and there were two guards standing outside the gates. The guards wore a flaming armor and held flaming lances, and their appearance looked somewhat like the dragons of the Yuan battlefield. At the same time, they also somewhat resembled lizard-like monsters. The guards had already spotted Lin Moshian and charged towards him. The skeleton warrior immediately rushed forward. Even though he was heavily injured, it wasn't like he couldn't fight. Vulcan Palace Guard, Hell Grade Elite Monster. Level, 35. Strength, 16,000. Agility, 10,000. Spirit, 10,000. Physique, 16,000. Skill, Flame Sweep. Characteristics, Immunity to Fire Elemental Attacks. Lin Moshian was slightly shocked. How did it turn into a hell grade elite monster? Just now he had clearly felt that the monster's strength was increasing, and at that time he was busy blowing up monsters, so he didn't care too much now that he took a look, it had turned into a hell ranked elite monster. He was clearly playing nightmare difficulty, how could there be hell grade elite monsters? Thinking of the previous copy shock. It's hard to believe. One had triggered some special mechanism? To determine if it was hell difficulty was actually quite simple, directly checking one's storage space. At a glance, the storage space was no longer usable. The copy had indeed turned into hell difficulty. No wonder the power of the flames on the skeleton warrior had become so great. Looking at the fire god palace guard in front of him, whose level had reached 35 and whose total attributes were as high as 52,000, Lin Moshian quickly accepted this fact. Hell difficulty was quite good. It wasn't like he hadn't fought it before. At least the experience was high and the drops were better. Whatever the difficulty, just fight. The skeleton warriors had already collided with the Vulcan palace guards the greatswords in their hands were bursting with skills. Request flowers. 
red light flashed and landed on the Vulcan Palace Guard. The guards were instantly seriously injured, and they let out a roar. Flames rose to the sky on the lances, and both lances swept at the same time. Skill, Flame Sweep. A group attack skill with a good range. With several thuds, every skeleton warrior froze on the spot and entered a stunned state. Another skill with control ability. Lin Ma Xian hated this the most. Once a monster had a control ability, it was sometimes even more terrifying than a professional. Especially monsters on hell difficulty, once they seized up, their control power was nearly infinite. The Vulcan palace guards kept attacking the skeleton warriors with their lances, each time attacking in groups. The attack range was very large, just like the skill, covering all 16 skeleton warriors Lin Ma Xian was helpless and summoned 20 skeleton mages. There wasn't a single fire-type skeleton mage. The fire element was immune, and the fire skeleton mages were useless. Skeleton warriors cannot continue to recruit, less useless to rush up, after being controlled as a target. If you have more than one, all of them will have to bear the constant flame damage in the copy. Zero. Became a kind of dilemma. Even the skeleton mage, who only released 20 of them, couldn't release more. The skeleton mage instantly unleashed his skill, launching an elemental strike on the two Vulcan palace guards. And at the same time, a blazing flame had ignited on them. The skeleton mage's physique was far inferior to that of a skeleton warrior, and could only last up to one hour on hell difficulty. Which meant that if they couldn't beat the copy within one hour, then these skeleton mages would die. Lin Merlin grasped every second without the slightest delay a red light flashed in his palm. Skill, slow speed curse. The Vulcan palace guard's attack speed suddenly slowed down. However, their agility attribute was not low, and even in the curse, they still had a considerable attack speed. Soul flames burned on his palm. A flame landed on top of the Vulcan palace guard's head. A miserable scream rang out, and this Vulcan palace guard immediately let out a cry of pain. But monsters were different from professionals, and despite the cries of pain, the flame lance in its hand continued to attack. Seeing that the skeleton warrior's injuries were getting heavier and heavier, it had already reached the brink of death. Lin Mo Yen sighed, these skeleton warriors were finished. The heart was more than enough, so they couldn't even be saved if they wanted to. Finally, the first skeleton warrior collapsed, and the skeleton warriors suffered another loss. The skeleton mage's second round of fire set arrived, killing one of them point blank Lin Ma Xian also used soul flame for a point blank kill. Amidst the screams, a Vulcan palace guard finally fell. Killed level 34 fire god palace guard, experience plus 136,000. Obtained flame crystal core asterisk 3. There were corpses. Lin Ma Xian's eyes lit up, it was good to have corpses. Skill, corpse explosion. With an explosion, the other Vulcan palace guard was also killed. Soon, the stun time passed. Each of the remaining 15 skeleton warriors was already covered in scars. The flames were still continuously burning, and even if there were no monster attacks, they wouldn't last long. Finish the last mission. Lin Mashian sighed softly as these skeleton warriors rushed into the palace in unison. The moment the skeleton warriors stepped into the palace, the fiery giant eye above the palace vibrated violently, frantically sounding an alarm. The entire palace also vibrated with it, as if it had been alive for as long. Chapter 201, Strange Flower, Vulcan's Key The entire palace seemed to be awakened, and a large number of Vulcan palace guards surged out from inside they had a unified goal and came straight at the skeleton warriors. Lin Mashian was still standing at the entrance of the palace at this moment. Seeing the scene immediately ordered the skeletal warriors to return. Now, they would definitely be controlled, and then they would be surrounded and killed. Not having the ability to counter control was really one of his major weaknesses. Another skeleton warrior appeared beside him and picked up the remaining corpse of the palace guard. In a copy, after a monster died, the corpse existed for a short time. And as time passed, the life force on the corpse was disappearing at a rapid pace. It was only about a minute from when he had just resolved the two guards who were watching the door. Lin Mou could feel that most of the life force on this corpse had already disappeared. In another minute, even this corpse would completely disappear the skeletal warriors ran back, with a large number of pursuers following behind them. Throw! With a thought, the skeleton warriors around them immediately threw the guards' corpses. Skill, corpse burst. The corpse crossed over the skull warrior's head and exploded in the air. The explosion swept through the interior of the palace, and the entire palace trembled. Lin Mashian's pupils shrunk, surprisingly, not a single palace guard was killed by the explosion. The corpses had existed for too long, and their raw physical strength had weakened drastically. Even if it was increased by the skill after detonation, it still couldn't kill the palace guards, it could only blow them up. The palace guards were attacked, and their target collectively shifted to Lin Mashian. One by one, they wailed and rushed towards Lin Mojing. Red light flashed. 
Red shackles appeared above the heads of all the palace guards, and their running speed slowed down immediately locking onto the palace guards running at the front, soul flames burned in their palms, and the skeleton mages focused their attacks at the same time. Electricity flashed and thundered, the wind howled, and ice arrows covered the sky. The soul flames were even directly causing intense damage. Amidst the screams, the palace guard fell to the ground while maintaining his forward posture. Boom! Explosions resounded through the palace once again. The freshly dead palace guards, fresh corpses, complete with life force. The explosion instantly cleared the pursuers. A large string of information jumped out. Each palace guard provided one. 36 million experience. With this wave, the experience went up by a large margin. The experience had now reached 97%, 3% short of upgrading. Lin Mashian was still standing outside the palace, and the interior of the palace became empty. The alarms continued, but there were no more new guards rushing over the skeleton warriors ran against the flames towards the interior of the palace, continuing to play their last role. As it ran, one of the skeletal warriors fell. It completed its mission and came to an end. After it fell, the white bones on its body quickly turned into powder and disappeared without a trace along with a hot wind. Lin Mashian sighed softly in his heart, the skeleton warrior was the most loyal and perfect warrior. Unafraid of pain, needlessly dying, never backing down. Any order would be faithfully carried out and completed. Through the first hall of the palace was a garden. Inside, there was a rockery, flowing water, and a side pool. It was different from any garden Lin Muyue had ever seen. The wigwam here was a flaming mountain, flowing with scorching magma. The entire garden exuded a scorching aura, much hotter than in the palace. Heat waves poured in, carrying the rich element of fire and activating the skeletal armor. These heat waves were aggressive and terrifying. What is this? The firelight was blinding, and Lin Moshian instinctively squinted his eyes. In the gap in his vision, Lin Moshian saw a flower. An exquisite little flower with a body as crystalline as a jewel, blooming brilliantly in the flames. It bloomed and swayed in the center of the magma, beautiful to the core. For such a divine flower to appear in this situation, it must be unusual. Two more skeleton warriors fell and turned into smoke. Of the sixteen skeleton warriors that were initially summoned, four had died so far. The remaining twelve couldn't last long. Lin Moshian had them try to pick the flowers. However, when the skeleton warriors got close to the magma, the magma violently churned and the temperature instantly increased several times. Skeleton warriors fell one after another. The last few barely touched the magma, and in an instant, a large flaming hand stretched out from the magma and heavily slapped the skeleton warrior's body. The skeleton warriors were already on the verge of death, their bones covered in cracks. Now that they were slapped by the giant flaming hand, the remaining skeletons all fell apart and died. The giant hand that rose out of the magma, after slapping the skeleton warrior's hand apart, slapped down towards Lin Mou. Lin Mou quickly retreated and dodged. The skeleton mage launched an attack when Lin Mou stepped back to dodge. Ice Storm Tornado Storm Five Thunder Blasts Three types of elemental spells landed on the giant hand. Zira White smoke rose from the giant hand. The giant hand felt the pain and retracted with a whoosh. Lin Mou froze. Escaped? It was the first time I had seen a monster that could escape. In the next second, the magma tumbled up violently and rose to the sky. Bang bang bang. Lin Mojing heard the sound of a heartbeat. A heart made of flames appeared above that flower the heart was thumping and making a low sound. The lava that rose up into the sky turned into a lava giant that was ten meters tall. And the flower, which was inside it, was clearly visible. The flower was planted on its heart, rising and falling with its heartbeat. The giant let out a roar, and the lava churned even more violently. A pillar of fire rose to the sky, and fire rained down on the entire garden. Most of the magma merged into the giant's body, making the giant even stronger. Vulcan's Palace Florist, Inferno Class Head. Level, 36. Strength, 20,000. Agility, 10,000. Spirit, 10,000. Physique, 20,000. Skills, none. Characteristics, immunity to fire elemental attacks. Strength and constitution both reached 20,000, no longer much worse than a skeleton warrior. All the attributes added together had reached as high as 60,000 points. Although there were no skills, just the normal attacks were already enough to give people a headache. If it was in the outside world, Lin Mo Yen naturally didn't have to be afraid he could just push through with his skeleton warrior. But he couldn't do that here, otherwise he would have to endure the elemental attacks of the copy for no reason. However, if he didn't summon a large number of skeletons, if he wanted to eliminate the head monster in front of him, it would probably take quite a bit of time. The skeleton mage was taking constant flame damage and couldn't last long. With a movement in his heart, Lin Moshian summoned nine skeleton warriors. Together with the one that threw the corpse just now, 
there were exactly ten of them. The ten skeleton warriors quickly ran back to the palace and dragged out the bodies of the palace guards that had just died. The palace florist had already launched an attack towards Lin Ma Xian. The giant palm slammed down. Without dodging or avoiding it, Lin Mou cast the slow curse to slow down its movements. At the same time, her hands were burning soul flames, dealing damage to the florist soul flame damage wasn't low, not much worse than a skeleton mage's skill. Especially the pain was etched in its bones. All of its attention was focused on Lin Ma Xian, constantly attacking him. The skeleton armor shone brightly, blocking all the attacks. After all, it was the head of the hell copy, with an astonishingly high life. It would take quite a bit of time for just 20 skeleton mages plus Lin Ma Xian to kill it. Not a moment later, the skeletons ran back dragging their corpses. Each skeleton was dragging two corpses, a whole twenty. Although these guard corpses had been dead for a while and their life force had been drastically reduced, it was better than nothing. The twenty corpses were thrown towards the palace florist. Skill, corpse burst. The corpses were detonated in mid-air. Magma splattered, revealing a gaping hole. The florist had obviously taken a huge amount of damage. Explosions came one after another, one after another Lin Mashian didn't skimp on his spiritual energy at all, continuously casting skills. As long as a necromancer had enough spiritual energy, there was no cooldown time for skills at all. At least so far, Lin Mashua hadn't found any skills that needed a cooldown. The explosions continued, and the skeleton warrior didn't stop even after throwing the bodies away, charging in front of the florist like lightning. Facing the 10 meter tall palace florist, the skeleton warrior looked so small. The skeleton warrior swung his greatsword and red light appeared, a color that was even brighter than flames. Skill, Berserk Strike. The palace florist immediately screamed. Corpse burst, soul flame, the skeleton mage's spell attack, plus the skeleton warrior's skill. A combination that dealt a fatal blow to it. From the start of the battle to the end, it was only 5 minutes. Kill Vulcan Palace Florist, experience plus 2160000. Obtained Vulcan Key. Obtained Vulcan Flower. Vulcan Key, the key to unlock the true Vulcan Palace. Vulcan's Flower, using the Vulcan's Flower, you can awaken the God of Fire. Boom. After the florist died, the magma boiled once again hot magma gushed from all directions, as if it was going to engulf the garden. Chapter 202 The Prequest for the True Fire God's Temple Lin Mashian quickly walked through the garden and entered the deepest part of the replica. The temperature was getting hotter and hotter. Not bad for hell difficulty. Nightmare difficulty requires dual assistance, hell difficulty requires at least 4 to 5 assistance. Ordinary teams don't even want to fight. A level 32 copy, the hell difficulty could allow up to a level 37 team of 12 people to come in. If there was no special equipment, for assistance wouldn't even be enough. The difficulty of this copy was too high, harder than any copy Lin Mashian had ever fought. The flame scorching attack that was going on all the time would cause all the professions an immense headache finally, he came to the deepest part of the copy. At this point, more than three hours had passed since he entered the copy. The batch of skeleton mages were about to reach their limits. Resolve the battle in ten minutes. Counting the time, if he didn't want these skeleton mages to die violently here as well, he had to settle the battle within ten minutes. In the deepest part of the copy, a magnificent lava waterfall flowed there. Lin Mashian raised his head and saw an eye at the very top of the replica. It was that flame giant eye that had been seen outside the palace. At this moment, the flame giant eye flew in from outside the palace and landed on top of the waterfall. The entire magma waterfall roared. Boulders tumbled down, the waterfall broke off, and the high mountain deformed. Fourteen in front of Lin Mashian, the high mountain turned into a giant, and the flame giant eye turned into its eye. Cyclopes' his body was made up of boulders, over 20 meters in height, and lava flowed freely from its body. Lava Giant, Inferno Level Leader. Elemental Archmage, Hell Copy Leader. Level, 38. Strength, 25,000. Agility, 10,000. Spirit, 10,000. Physique, 25,000. Skills, Deathfire, Lava Jet, Volcano Eruption. Characteristics, Immunity to Fire Elemental Attacks, Fire Elemental Enhancement. A level 38 Inferno level leader with a total attribute of up to 70,000, comparable to the level 39 Elemental Archmage in the Battlefield 3, copy. The two attributes of strength and physique had surpassed the Skeleton Warrior. Inferno Chieftain Lin Emo spoke with a slight difference. He had thought that the final ringleader of the Vulcan's palace should be a monster named Vulcan. He didn't expect it to be a lava giant. Moreover, the Vulcan key that he had just obtained as well as the Vulcan flower didn't seem to be of any use. Lin Mashian felt that things weren't that simple. But this copy had already gone so far that he was pretty sure that there was no longer any path behind it he keenly captured the information of the Vulcan Key. Vulcan Key, the key to unlock the true Vulcan Palace. 
In other words, the Vulcan Palace and the Vulcan Temple were not the same copy. It could be said that the Vulcan Palace was merely a precursor copy of the Vulcan Temple. Some copies would have predecessor quests, and only after completing the predecessor quests would one be qualified to enter the copy. It seemed that the real Fire God's Palace was also like this. The copy in front of him called the Fire God's Palace was merely a precursor copy of the real Fire God's Palace. In the twinkling of an eye, Lin Moshian had figured it out. The lava giant let out a roar, and a line of fire suddenly shot out from its huge one eye. Skill, line of fire of death. The speed of the line of fire was strangely fast and incomparable, Lin Moyu couldn't even react in time to be hit already. With a bang, the skeleton armor shone, followed by a cracking sound Lin Moyu hurriedly replenished himself with a layer of skeleton armor. After entering the replica, the skeleton armor had always endured the flames, and its strength had been drastically reduced. Coupled with the fact that the power of the lava giant's deathfire skill was really not weak, the skeleton armor reached its limit. Very good. Since he had already reached the final stage of the copy, there was no need to hide it. He wanted to resolve the battle within 10 minutes, and now that 3 minutes had passed, there were still 7 minutes left. With a slight movement of his mind, all the remaining skeletons were released in an instant. A whole 154 skeleton warriors and 72 skeleton mages, a completely powerful army. 16 skeleton warriors were lost, and 28 fire skeleton mages couldn't play a role, slightly affecting the total battle power. Lin Muyue had already adjusted his mindset at this point. As the level of the copy became higher and higher, the difficulty became greater and greater, it was inevitable that the skeletons would suffer a loss what's more, he had always crossed the level to brush the copy solo, so this kind of thing would be even harder to avoid. Taking a deep breath, the battle began. The skeleton warriors turned into a ball of flames and rushed to the feet of the lava giant, and one by one, they climbed up fearlessly despite it being covered in flowing lava. Skills erupted one after another. The skeleton mage's spell attacks also pressed over like a landslide in tsunami. Lin Moshian was likewise not idle. He started with slow curse. Then soul flame was used non-stop. He used all the skills he could use, there was no way, he was in a hurry. The lava giant was cursed and its speed obviously slowed down. However, it didn't attack with its big hands like the previous florist giant. The line of deathfire in its one eye never stopped. The line of deathfire was powerful enough to hit the skeleton warrior, enough to cause considerable damage at the same time, it opened its mouth again and lava tumbled inside its mouth. Skill, Lava Jet. Rolling lava jetted out from the huge mouth, the sky was fiery red, there was an illusion that lava was about to flood the copy. The ejected lava stormed down. The earth roared with a great sound, triggering a violent explosion. The skill had a shock fly effect, and a large number of skeleton warriors were sent flying. Only the skeleton warriors that climbed on top of it, clutched onto its body and kept attacking it against the burning lava. Lin Moshian didn't know how strong the lava giant's life force was, all he could do now was to speed up and keep attacking. His will was also transmitted to the skeletons. The skeletons sped up without fail. Those skeleton warriors that were blown away quickly rushed back without fear of life and death. With one experience, they all learned to be smart. One by one, they leapt up and jumped directly onto the lava giants in the blink of an eye, the lava giant's body was already crawling with skeleton warriors. The skeleton warriors beat the lava giant and wailed. Lin Moshian's soul flame similarly caused it pain. The line of death fire stopped, and the lava spray also disappeared. Lin Moshian realized that something was wrong. In the next second, the earth shook violently, like a magnitude 10 earthquake. Lin Moyu didn't stand still for a moment and almost fell. The lava giant's entire body was glowing with light, and the speed of the lava flow was several times faster than before. Boom! The magma shot up into the sky and exploded in the air, turning into a rain of fire falling from the sky. Skill, Volcano Eruption. Countless volcanoes appeared underground, connecting and erupting. The earth was instantly filled with flames. The place where Lin Moshian was standing was already covered in lava. The skeleton armor protected him from harm. The skeleton mage was similarly standing in the rock 697 magma, taking a steady stream of damage Lin Moshian's heart became even more anxious, so much so that the first 20 skeleton mages to come out would not be able to hold out. The volcano is still erupting, the fire rain is getting denser and denser, as if it is going to engulf the entire copy. A large amount of fire rain fell on the lava giants, and the violent shockwaves shook the skeleton warriors down one after another. Although the slow curse worked, the lava giant didn't even use normal attacks. It always attacked with skills, and the slow curse couldn't stop its skills. The skeleton warriors continued to take a lot of damage while attacking it like crazy. The more Lin Mojing was in a hurry, the more desperate the skeletons became. The soul flame in Lin Mojing's hand was also used without stopping for a moment. Both sides were once again in a state of hard fighting. Time passed minute by minute. 
It looked like the skeleton mages wouldn't be able to hold out any longer the first 20 skeleton mages that were summoned were covered in cracks and on the verge of destruction. They would die at any time. However, the lava giant seemed to be reaching its limit as well. It began to grow weak. Even the flames on its one eye disappeared. The lava flowing from its body became nothing, revealing a black rocky body. The skeleton warrior's sword fell on it, splitting the rock to pieces. The soul flames brought it even more unbearable pain. Finally, its body began to crumble. Pieces of rock fell down. Die. Lin Moshian let out a low voice. With a loud boom, the lava giant and finally collapsed. Killed lava giant, experience. After the lava giant died, the passageway to leave the copy appeared at the same time. Lin Muyue chose to leave the copy at the first opportunity, not even bothering to look at the hints. Chapter 203, it's hard to believe that the twelve of us are still no match for him. A familiar sound came from his ears, the sound brought up by the vortex at the entrance of the replica Lin Moshian quickly checked his summoning space. As it left the replica, the skeleton warriors and skeleton mages were returned to the summoning space. 154 skeleton warriors, 100 skeleton mages, all of them stayed quietly in the summoning space. Fortunately, Lin Moshian let out a long sigh of relief. Fortunately, all of them were still there. Although each and every one of them had suffered not so serious injuries, and there were even some that were on the verge of death. As long as they could return to the summoning space alive, even the heaviest injuries could be recovered in a short period of time. It was too dangerous. At that time, it was possible that if they dragged on for another second or two, the twenty skeleton mages would be finished. It wasn't until then that Lin Moshian had the presence of mind to check the harvest, killed lava giant, experience plus 3,800,000. Obtained lava staff. Obtained flame crystal fragment. Lava staff, gold level weapon, full attributes plus 500, mage class skills increased by 45%, fire skills increased by an additional 20%. Lava Staff, Gold Level Weapon, Full Attributes plus 500, Mage Class Skills Increased by 45%, Fire Skills Increased by an additional 20%. Flame Crystal Fragment, Three Flame Crystal Fragments can be fused to form a Flame Crystal. The Lava Staff is the strongest Gold Level Weapon for Fire Mages, bar none. The increase in Fire Mage Skills was over 65%, even some low-level Platinum Weapons couldn't compare. For this weapon, Lin Moshian didn't have the slightest interest. Instead, it was the flame crystal fragments that caught Lin Mou's interest. Three flame crystal fragments could be fused into one flame crystal. But what was the use of this flame crystal? Lin Mou didn't know. Perhaps Xu Han will know. Lin Mou's gaze swept around the sweeping replica hall and didn't find Xu Han's figure. She wasn't here and didn't know where she had gone. At this time the bell rang abruptly. It rang three times in a row. Countless people rushed into the duplicate hall at the sound of the bell. Lin Moshian was slightly dazed, not knowing what had happened. He was completely unaware that as long as someone set a new record for the replica, the bell in the replica hall would ring. Previously, when he set a new record and the bell rang, he was still in the replica, so he wasn't aware of it. This time, he came out early in the morning so he was able to hear it. Many people searched for the source of the new record and quickly locked onto the copy of the Fire God's Palace, where Lin Moshiwe was. When they saw Lin Mou, their faces revealed a look of determination. Lin Mo Yen had set new records three or four times, and they were all a bit surprised. I wondered what kind of new record he had set this time at the top of the Fire God's Palace, copy, the light screen had begun to display Lin Mo Yan's results. The previous group's results were erased and disappeared. Someone was surprised, strange, even if Lin Mu Yue set a new record. Half of the skeleton warriors had already been controlled. The situation seemed to have stabilized. The paladin, however, sensed that something was wrong, and he realized that, in fact, the object that Lin Moshian was really attacking was the summoned beasts. Watch out for the summoned beasts. He didn't know why Lin Moshian was doing this, but there must be a reason why he was doing this. Just like why he rushed in, there must be a reason. When he shouted out, it was already too late. As the soul flame burned again, the summoned beast collapsed with a miserable scream. Boom! A loud bang resounded through the entire arena. For the first time, a body explosion appeared in the arena. The explosion had no light, yet it felt brilliant and dazzling. The knight was blown away and the shield disappeared in an instant. When the knight fell heavily to the ground and came back to his senses, he realized that his teammates had all appeared under the ring. He was now the only one left still in the ring. 170 skeleton warriors and 100 skeleton mages were looking at him intently the knight let out a miserable laugh. What's the point of fighting, it's all a losing battle anyway. It wasn't like it was a fight to the death, it was just a match. You're so strong. The knight gave a thumbs up towards Lin Moshian and then jumped out of the ring. 
a team of level 50 mages was surprisingly defeated by a single person. Deafening applause rang out. Everyone in the audience stood up and applauded. Lin Mashian had made them appreciate a breathtaking battle. A level 27 professional, single-handedly defeating a level 56 man mage team. Such an exciting battle was enough to go down in history. The mage who had been standing in the void had a growing appreciation for Lin Mashue in his eyes. Young man is really good, this is your prize. With a wave of his big hand, a bottle of purple gold potion as well as a glittering purple scroll flew into Lin Mayu's hands. Advanced magical potion, glittering advanced skill scroll to priceless treasures. Lin Moyu looked up at the sky, thank you. He hesitated to continue the challenge. The communicator in his hand suddenly vibrated. By E. Yuan unexpectedly sent a message at this time. For words, see what you can do. Lin Moyu put away his potions and scrolls, saluted towards the mage in the air, and then jumped down from the ring. Lin Mashue didn't continue the challenge. Everyone didn't feel pity. It really was already enough. Winning five rounds of challenges was already a feat that had never been done before. Lin Moyu's name had already spread throughout the entire human world. Ningyi -e bounced over, Mayu, you're really good. She was happier than anyone when Lin Moyu won. Lin Moyu stroked her little head, you're awesome too. Ningyi -e raised her little head, that's for sure, this young lady has the best eye for people, otherwise how would she have gotten a glimpse of you? Lin Moyu laughed. The two of them left the arena, never bothering to pay attention to the next match for Lin Moyu, the professional competition had already ended. In fact, if it wasn't for Bai Yuan's request, he wouldn't even necessarily come to the competition. He would definitely come, but not to compete, but to find Lin Mohan. Now, it seemed that this trip to the professional competition was still not a small harvest. Not only had he found Lin Mohan, but he had also harvested a large number of high-level items. And it also allowed him to harvest a lot of practical combat experience. Whether it was used to fight copies or deal with demons in the future, it was a good accumulation. All in all, it was a worthwhile trip. Someone flew from the air and landed in front of Lin Mashian. It was the mage who had just come to host the competition. His aura was restrained, but Lin Moyu could feel that he should be a top professional over level 80, but not yet at the level of Bai Yuan. Lin Moyu saluted towards the other party, Senior, what is it that you are looking for me for? He laughed, appreciation in his gaze, hello Lin Moyu, my name is Jean Pang. Jean Pang, one of the 12 counselors of the Divine Summer Empire a big shot on the same level as Su Wei. Ning Yi was not at all impressed by Jean Peng's identity, she had seen many people at this level, it was nothing at all. Lin Mashiwe said, Lord Jean Peng, may I ask what's up? Jean Peng laughed, you're a student of the Xiaojing Academy, right? This year's national top student, that's right. Lin Moyu nodded, with the other party's status and position, it wasn't difficult to find out information about him. Jean Peng said, it just so happens that I also serve as a visiting professor at the Xiaojing Academy, I would like to take you on as a student, I don't know if you're willing. The student he spoke of was not an ordinary teacher-student relationship. Rather, it was a master and disciple relationship, just like the kind of relationship between Lin Moyu and Bai Yuan Lin Moyu wasn't surprised, but respectfully said, thank you Lord Jean Peng for your kindness, I already have a teacher. Jean Peng revealed a surprised look, oh, who is it? At this time, Lin Moyu's communicator rang, Lin Moyu smiled faintly, it's my teacher calling. Quickly connect it, let me see which guy is so lucky to be your teacher. In his eyes, Lin Moyu was a rare top genius. It was even stronger than those at the top of the Xiaojing Zifu. He was curious as to who could become Lin Moyu's teacher. The communicator connected in by Yi Yuan's voice came from inside, Pang, you're going to poach me? Jean Peng was taken aback and revealed a crying expression, Lord White God, so it's you. Bai Yi Yuan grunted, Kid Lin is my student, don't hit on him in the future. How could Jean Peng dare to snatch someone from Bai Yi Yuan? He immediately said, if I had known that he was Lord White God's student, I would have never dared to come. You go back and talk to those guys as well, keep Kid Lin's information confidential, just don't let anyone unrelated see it. Please don't worry, Lord White God, I've already done my best to keep it a secret. In fact, as long as it was a genius that was worth paying attention to, the Divine Summer Empire side would keep the information confidential. After all, there had been incidents of geniuses being assassinated in the past, and the Divine Summer Empire had since done its best in this regard. Those important information could only be viewed by the higher-ups. It was just that he hadn't expected that Counselor Su Wei would be someone from the demon-worshipping society. These secrecy efforts had completely become a showpiece. Bai Yuan continued, you go ahead and get busy, when the competition is over, you all come over here, old Meng and I have something to find you. Jean Peng's expression immediately became grave. He naturally knew that Bai Yuan was looking for them, and it definitely wouldn't be a small matter. Okay, I'll come over with them to find you after the competition. 
When Jean Peng left, Bai Yuan continued, Lin Kid, you've gotten enough publicity these past few days, come back first, there's a new task for you. Okay, teacher. Chapter 197, It's as if a new god-level powerhouse is being born. When Lin Mashue returned to the Xiaojing Academy, he attracted the attention of countless students. His reputation had been too great in recent days. It wasn't nationally known anymore, I should say it was worldwide. Everyone knew about Lin Mashue and his gains. There were champions of the professionals' competition every year, and the Xiaojing Academy never lacked champions. However, there were not many like Lin Mou who had won it all and those who broke the challenge record and created a brand new challenge record had never done so before. As Lin Mou walked on the road of the academy, almost every student would look at him. Wherever he passed, he would attract countless gazes. And often, cadets would come over to greet Lin Mashue of their own accord. Whether it was an ordinary cadet or a cadet from the independent academy department, when they saw Lin Mashue, they would all take the initiative to greet Lin Mashue. A big fist was the hard truth, a character like Lin Mashue, as long as he didn't die, he would inevitably become a famous big shot in the future. Even turning into an existence like the White God. This kind of person had to be respected. Lin Mou was very uncomfortable and was a bit uneasy all over. Ning Yi seemed to have anticipated this and flew away with a silver gin-like laughter. Stinky girl, escaping really fast. Looking at the Nita's new dormitory, Lin Mou realized that she had lived in it for just a handful of nights after enrolling in school there were no traces of her own life in the dormitory. Sitting at the head of bed 14, he took out the primary magical potion and drank it. Immediately, he felt a warm current flowing through his body. The warm current melted away and dispersed into the limbs and bones, and the attributes of the entire body were improving. As a law profession, other than spiritual strength, the other basic attributes weren't that high. At level 27, his strength, agility, and physique attributes were only 510. Only the mental strength attribute was as high as 2700, which was higher than the other three combined. Now that he had taken the primary magical potion, the full attribute was increased by 200. For him, it was a considerable boost. If my attributes could be the same as the skeletons, it would be strong. Unfortunately, the talent of total increase is only effective on skills and has no effect on myself. As his thoughts rose, the skeleton warrior and skeleton mage appeared in the dormitory at the same time. The warmth dropped rapidly as the cloudy wind blew. The summons of the undead system always carried a gloomy aura that was frightening. Level 27 Skeleton Warrior, full attribute 22,500, in fact, the base attribute is only 750. Skeleton Mage, spiritual attribute 1500, all other three attributes are only 340. Lin Moshian spoke in a low voice. If there was no comprehensive increase in divine grade talent, skeletons really weren't too strong. With such a small amount of attributes, it wasn't as powerful as an ordinary professional. The only advantage was that there were enough of them to pile up monsters. However, Lin Moshian felt that as a uniqueness hidden profession, necromancers were definitely more than that. Some professions are weak in the early stages and get stronger the later they get. Maybe, with a higher level and new skills, it will change. Even without talent, it's still the strongest profession. Lin Mashian had plenty of confidence in his profession. The image that he saw when he changed professions, the densely counted skeletons, appeared in the eyes of the world as if it was a disaster. Even if they were as strong as dragons, they would be killed by skeleton warriors. One day, he would be able to reach that level as well. The images at that time showed him the direction of his profession, allowing him to see the future of this profession. This night, Lin Mashian combed through his skills and realized his gains and losses. In his mind, he recalled bits and pieces from a battle, corroborating them with his own thoughts. Now that he thought about it, he actually would have won more easily if he hadn't retracted his hand and used the soul flame directly. It was just that this skill was just too painful, as could be seen from the performance of several professionals so when he wasn't facing a life and death battle, he wasn't very eager to utilize this skill. In the White God's small courtyard, Lin Meiyu sat at the tea table, respectfully making tea for Bai Yuan and Meng Anwen. Bai Yuan was enjoying his student's serving and had a smile on his face. This student, how to look at him, how to like him. You did well this time. Meng Anwen said lightly, it can't be bad, five rounds of challenges, no one has ever done it before. Much better than your teacher back then. The smile on Bai Yuan's face swished away, can we still have a good chat? Just being honest, back then you only passed three rounds, as a man, you wouldn't dare to admit it. Meng Anwen still spoke lightly, as if an old friend was talking. Bai Yuan hated his teeth, this old friend of his, really didn't give him face. Coughing lightly twice, Bai Yuan changed the topic, kid, next you need to upgrade to level 30 as soon as possible, then I'll take you to a place. Lin Mou nodded, good. In these few days, you'll stay in the academy, and if you want to go leveling, you'll go to the duplicate hall. You should also notice that the wind is too big this time, no matter where you go there are people staring at you. Indeed, everywhere he went now, 
people would notice him. Just like the stars in his previous life, he would be surrounded and uncomfortable wherever he went. Bai Yuan said, it's not important to be noticed, the key is, you don't know which people in there are malicious. In recent years, there have been geniuses assassinated one after another within the empire, so you must be careful. At least in the academy, there will be no danger. Bai Yuan admonished a few times, and between the lines, one could hear that Bai Yuan cared about Lin Mou. Lin Mou also felt warmth. After Lin Mou left, Meng Yuan opened her eyes and looked at Bai Yuan, you're planning to take him there? Bai Yuan looked like he was taking it for granted, that's of course, how can you be considered a qualified professional if you don't go there? Meng Anwen said in a deep voice, you're not afraid that he'll run into danger? You went there after your second turn back then. Bai Yuan shook his head, I've already gone late, the sooner I go to that place, the greater the benefits. Suit yourself, it's your student anyway. Meng Anwen didn't say anything more. Bai Yuan didn't appear worried in the slightest, don't worry, this kid doesn't talk much, but he's actually refined, it's not easy to get him killed. What's more, there's still the Hall of Soul seal in place, so he can be resurrected even if he dies. The duplicate hall was still bustling. The moment Lin Mashue stepped out of the teleportation array, the entire space fell silent. It's Lin Mashue. He's back. I knew he was powerful before, I didn't expect him to be this powerful. It's as if I've seen a new god-level powerhouse being born. I actually fought a copy with this kind of character, it's exciting just thinking about it. Come on, you're just paying out points to let someone take you through the book. What does that count as having played through the book together? The crowd whispered, all looking at Lin Mashian with reverence. Here, no one dared to belittle him. Even those higher professionals who had finished 680 into their second turn, the same was true. Even the level 50 mage team that came out of the military could defeat them, what were they? Even if there were any level 50 professionals, they would be no match for Lin Muyue in a single fight. Strength was honored, and a big fist was the hard truth. Lin Mou walked into the replica hall amidst the attention of the crowd. Lin Mou, you're back. Shu Han appeared in front of Lin Moiwe with a smile. What a coincidence. I didn't expect to run into an old acquaintance just after returning Shu Han's smile always carried a hint of lethargy, and the whole person was tranquil. One could feel a hint of calmness from her. Although Shu Han didn't have any signs of an independent academy, she looked like an ordinary cadet. However, her temperament was completely different from that of an ordinary cadet. Lin Mou felt that Shu Han's family background shouldn't be bad. Only, without understanding why, she had been doing some insignificant tasks. It was also only earning some small amount of points. What use could such a small amount of points be? Lin Mou asked softly, are you here to do quests again? Shu Han spread a smile, yes, and you? Lin Mou softly said, brushing books and practicing. Do you need me to recommend a copy for you ah, uh, charge for it oh, 100 points won't do? Lin Mou traded 100 points to Shu Han. That's great, earned another 100 points. Come with me, Lin Mojing student. Shu Han revealed a bright smile and turned towards a replica the vortex at the entrance of the replica was slowly rotating, and from time to time, fiery light emerged. Level 32 Replica, Fire God's Palace Chapter 198, One of the Elemental Copies, Palace of the Fire God Shu Han recommended the Fire God's Palace, copy to Lin Moxian. A level 32 replica, the level that could be entered was between level 27 and 37. It looked like a copy that couldn't be more normal, and there were only two difficulties to choose from, normal and nightmare. For level 30 and above, the entry fee was 500 points and the reset fee was 2,500 points. The cooldown time amounted to 120 hours, a full five days. Shu Han spoke of the reasons for recommending this copy. Having collected points, she was doing her duty. What about this copy looks no different from a normal copy, but it's actually not quite the same. As you can see, there are candidates for many of the copies here, but only for this copy of the Fire God's Palace, there are very few people who chose it. And if you look at its time, and compare it with other copies of about the same level, you can see that it's not the same. Lin Mou looked at the clearance record for Fire God's Palace. 8 hours, 32 minutes, and 15 seconds. The record was set 5 years ago. It came from a team from Subterranean Dragon Academy. It was clearly abnormal for a nightmare level copy to take over 8 hours. Other nightmare level copies rarely took more than 6 hours. And the record was too long, untouched for 5 whole years. Shu Han wore a slightly lethargic smile, found out, this copy is actually one of the 5 elemental copies. What we usually know are the 4 elements of wind, water, fire and electricity, there is actually a light element. Each element has a corresponding kind of elemental copy, and if one is lucky, one can obtain the corresponding elemental fragment. Legend has it that if one can gather all 5 elemental fragments, one can obtain unexpected benefits oh. Shu Han knew a lot, and also spoke to Lin Mou about why this copy was difficult. 
Inside was the world of the fire element, and once you entered it, you would be continuously damaged by the fire element. That would be a lot of pressure on the healers. That's why in Nightmare Difficulty 6-man teams, one output position would often be sacrificed and paired with two healers. In this way, the output is reduced, and the fight is naturally slow. The intensity of the copy is not low, and when the output is reduced, the danger is greatly increased. Even with two healers, getting it wrong will fail. There had been trainees who couldn't exit in time and died in the copy. Similarly, high difficulty also brought high experience. Shuhan felt that with Lin Muyu's ability, it shouldn't be difficult for him that was why he recommended this copy with the highest experience in the same level. After Lin Mou heard this, she had a bottom in her heart. Feeling that the 100 points had been well spent. So are the remaining few elemental copies here? Lin Mayu's eyes swept through the hall of replicas, there were hundreds of replicas of all sizes, so it was difficult to tell them apart for a while. Shuhan pointed in one direction, or a replica vortex would from time to time appear with dots of watery light, transmitting an astonishing coldness. There is the water elemental copy, but the water elemental copy is a level 37 copy, you can't enter it now. Saying that, she pointed to another location, where the sound of wind was coming from the entrance of the copy. There is the wind elemental copy, the wind elemental copy is at level 42, you can't enter until after level 37. But usually other people only go in after completing the second transfer and becoming a high profession. The final fire elemental copy and light elemental copy are not here. As for exactly where it is, I'll have to ask student brother Lin to find it himself. Shu Han had a wry smile in her eyes and a hint of anticipation, expecting Lin Mou to set a new record. Thank you senior sister. I'm going to brush up on my books first. Lin Moiwe chose nightmare mode to enter the copy. Ning Yi had sent a message over when she got home yesterday, roughly meaning that she had something going on at home and had to leave for a while. She would come back to him when she got back. It looked like it was quite urgent, so it was probably because Ning Yi had been assigned some kind of task again. A top professionist family like Ning Yi's had a well-developed way of cultivating their descendants. Although Ning Yi was titled in the academy, she wouldn't exactly follow the academy's path. Lin Mou felt that she was similar now she hadn't attended a single class in the academy. In the academy, the place where he stayed the most was the duplicate hall. Completely not following the normal method of learning and upgrading. A lot of the knowledge seemed imperfect. Bai Yi Yuan also wanted him to acquire this knowledge in real combat. Fire God's Palace, Level 32 Replica, Nightmare Difficulty. Hot flames scorched the entire heaven and earth. It was a cave with rock walls burning with blazing flames. There was only a flaming bridge leading to the opposite bank, and underneath it was flowing magma. From time to time, the flowing magma would break out into pillars of fire and explode in the air, like brilliant fireworks. Lin Mashua felt that even if he had skeleton armor, he probably wouldn't last long. The Fire God's Palace, copy was slightly similar to the Elemental Mysteries, but it was more pure than the Elemental Mysteries. Just by standing here, the Fire Elementals had already begun to attack him as an outsider the skeleton armor flashed with light, fending off the Fire Elementals. As long as one was in the copy, one would have to endure the attacks of the fire elementals all the time, with no end in sight. Healers were especially under pressure here. Even if they weren't fighting monsters, they had to heal their teammates every so often. There were no skeleton warriors or skeleton mages summoned. Now that they hadn't even encountered any monsters, invoking them out and taking attacks for nothing. Walking the bridge made of flames, the entire bridge was burning, and Lin Moshian stepped into the flames with every step. It was truly a sea of fire and daggers. If he were an ordinary professional, he would have to be healed several times just by walking across this bridge. The bridge wasn't long, and it would soon come to an end. Finally, two monsters were seen on the shore. Two monsters composed of fire elementals and lava the monsters were as tall as three meters, holding a giant stick of flame in their hands as they wandered back and forth near the bridge. At the same time that Lin Mojing discovered them, they also discovered Lin Mojing. With a wave of the giant stick, they threw two balls of flame towards Lin Mojing. It looked like a mage's fireball spell. Lin Mou didn't dodge or avoid it, receiving it hard with his skeleton armor. At the same time, the detection spell had blown over like a breeze. Flame Elf, Reinforced Elite Monster, comma. Level, 32. Strength, 10,000. Agility, 3,000. Spirit, 4,000. Physique, 10,000. Skill, Flame Attack. Characteristics, Immune to Fire Elemental Damage, Physical Damage Halved. Slightly stronger in strength and constitution, with a total attribute of 27,000, in line with the attributes of a level 32 reinforced elite monster. The body is composed of fire elementals and is immune to fire elemental damage. Another attribute of elemental monsters was that physical damage was had Lin Moshian had already dealt with elemental monsters more than once and was not surprised to see this attribute. That, it seems like you can't use corpse burst again. 
whispering softly, not being able to use corpse burst, that efficiency was going to be quite a bit lower. Shuhan probably didn't know this before she recommended this copy to herself. Looking back, I can ask her what copy has more monsters. It's fine to have less single experience, as long as there are enough monsters. The key is to have a corpse. For now, I'll take what I can get. The 500 point entrance fee has been spent, so it would be uneconomical to retreat. The flame elf's flames had already landed on the skeleton armor. The flames exploded, creating beautiful fireworks. The skeleton armor emitted a silver white light, completely blocking the attack. The power is still okay. Lin Mashian had an estimate valley of the flame elf's attack power. Skeleton warriors appeared, one darting across the bridge, swinging their greatswords to slash at the flame elves as the skeleton warriors ran, flames quickly ignited on their bodies. Soon they became fire skeletons, their bodies covered in flames. Lin Mashian possessed the elemental resistance passive skill, which increased elemental damage resistance by 300%, and all elemental damage was reduced by three times. The skeleton warrior's attributes were originally high, so it was only scary to look at, the damage wasn't high. A dozen or so skeleton warriors surrounded the two flame elves and hacked away. Killed level 32 flame elf, experience plus 640,000. Obtained flame crystal core. As expected, the flame elves directly dissipated into fire elements after their deaths, leaving no corpses behind. Chapter 199, Subbook Upgrade, Activate Hell Difficulty. After resolving the two flame elves, Lin Mashian wanted to put away the skeleton warrior. In the absence of a battle, there was no need for them to be out there taking damage for nothing suddenly, he frowned slightly and couldn't put them back. The skeleton warriors were enveloped by the blazing flames, constantly taking damage. The skeleton warriors were always in a fighting state and could not be retrieved from the summoning space. Luckily, the damage was not high, and the impact on the skeleton warrior was not great. Trying to rely solely on the fire element to burn the skeleton warrior to death, it was estimated that it would take a very long time, 10 hours wouldn't necessarily be enough. So he just didn't collect it and directly let the skeleton warriors charge forward to clear the way for himself. The 16 skeleton warriors ran forward in a fan formation. The skeleton warriors quickly ran into the monsters in the copy. Lin Mashian gave them the order to attack whenever they ran into a monster. The level 32 copy monsters, as long as they didn't have control skills, they couldn't beat the skeleton warriors even in single combat not to mention being surrounded, it wouldn't take more than a few hits to settle the fight. The skeleton warrior enveloped in flames explored the map while fighting the monsters. Soon, the general situation in the copy was detected. Lin Mashian realized that he was located in a cave. The surroundings, the top, and the ground were surrounded by flames. Around the cave, there were four entrances. In front of each entrance, there were two flame elves guarding it. The entrances looked exactly the same, making it impossible to tell which was the correct path. For other 680 people, this was a very troublesome problem that needed to be tried one by one. But to Lin Mashian, it was too simple. The 16 skeletons were divided into four, and ran into different entrances in groups of four. The situation in the cave was quickly grasped. There were tons of monsters inside, no longer just flame elves, kill level 33 lava monolith, experience plus 660,000. Obtained flame crystal core. Kill level 33 flame wing serpent, experience plus 660,000. Kill level 34 flame lizard, experience plus 680,000. Obtained flame crystal core. A message came through, and Lin Mashian quickly followed it. After taking the primary magical potion, his full attributes had increased by 200, and his speed was a bit faster than before. Entering the cave, he quickly saw a monster corpse. Joy appeared in Lin Mayu's eyes. This place wasn't entirely monsters made up of fire elementals. There were also monsters that possessed entities. Although a large portion of their life force would disappear after they died, there were still corpses present. Since there were corpses, it was a good thing. At Lin Mashian's command, the skeleton warriors no longer killed the monsters, but started dragging them once again. The skeleton warriors darted around the lava cave, hooking one monster after another they then began to run with the monsters towards where Lin Mashian was. Through the map in his mind, Lin Mashian could see that at least hundreds of monsters had been lured this time. Each monster could provide a considerable amount of experience, and the experience could rise another notch. Right now, he wasn't far from level 28, so as long as a few waves came like this, he would almost be able to upgrade. With a clicking sound coming from his ears, the skeleton warriors ran back in droves. Red light flashed in Lin Mashian's hand. Skill, slow speed curse. Cursed red trumped the red of the flames. The monsters that were pulled over suddenly turned into slow motion. At this moment, the skeleton warriors turned around and exploded their skills. Skill, Berserk Strike. The skills fell, and the monsters running at the front fell to the ground with mournful cries. Killed level 33 Flame Wing Serpent, experience plus 660,000. 
In the next second, Lin Mashian raised his palm skill, corpse burst. Violent explosions instantly rushed in all directions. A large number of monsters were blown up. The entire replica shook as magma sprayed and landed on the ground. The flames on the ground burned even more vigorously. The replica kept shaking as if Lin Mashian's actions had triggered some sort of mechanism. The monsters that were chasing over the rest of them let out screams and the aura on their bodies rose dramatically. Lin Mou couldn't care less at this point. Skills were unleashed one after another. In the blink of an eye, a large number of corpses were detonated. The roaring sound was like a musical score constantly playing. The monsters died in pieces. However, Lin Mou felt something was wrong. How the intensity of the monsters was rising. Although the monsters here had far less vitality after death than when they were alive due to the dissipation of the fire element but the skill burst increased by 600%, which was still enough to blow up monsters of the same level. This was true at first. But now, how could it not be killed in one blast, it needed to be blasted twice. Strange as it was, it didn't stop. The corpse bursting continued. Later on, it needed to be blown up three times, four times to kill monsters of the same level. It was as if their defense against corpse burst was increasing dramatically. The vibrations of the copies became more and more violent, just like an earthquake. Magma continued to spray, and the fire element was getting denser. Outside the replica, the vortex at the entrance suddenly ejected flames, startling the professionals who were beside the replica. What's happening? Why is it spewing fire for a good reason? Huh, this isn't a copy of the Fire God's Palace. The Fire God's Palace replica is one of the five elemental replicas, and it's said that you can get elemental fragments if you're lucky the five elemental fragments combined into one are able to obtain unexpected benefits. Don't be ridiculous, it's only a legend, no one has ever obtained one. Heavens, come see, you guys, how did the Fire God's Palace replica get an extra hell difficulty? This time, the entire replica hall was sensationalized. The Vulcan Palace replica had existed here for an unknown number of years. There had always only been two types of difficulty, normal and nightmare. Now a third difficulty had suddenly appeared. Hell difficulty. Shu Han had a bright smile in his eyes, I knew you would be able to do it. As the controller of the replica hall, Ning Tarun had supreme authority here. He knew everything about the information in the replica hall like the back of his hand. He was the first to learn of the abnormal changes in the Fire God's Palace, replica. Checking underneath, he found that Lin Mashian was in the replica, I didn't expect that it was really done by him. Could it really be that elemental fragments would drop? Is the legend true? Ning Terran naturally knew about the legends about elemental fragments, it was just that he knew more than the others. In order to obtain the elemental fragment, one first had to activate the replica's hell mode. Elemental fragments would only drop in hell mode, and it depended on luck. And to activate the replica's hell mode, one needed to clear out a large number of monsters in the replica in a short period of time to have a fundamental impact on the replica. Only then could the ground difficulty be activated. All sorts of conditions, of course Ning Taran knew all of them. In this world, if it came to knowledge of all kinds of replicas, if he said second, no one would dare to say first. Bai Yuan couldn't even do it. It wasn't just the Fire God's Palace, replica, many replicas were made this way. Ning Taran had tried and failed to do so when he was young later, he organized his most elite squad to try, and still failed to do it. The Fire God's Palace, replica was lacking in output because it required dual assistance, and the team's attack power was greatly reduced. Hell mode couldn't be activated, and naturally, it was impossible to get elemental fragments. Unexpectedly, Lin Mashian had activated hell mode by mistake after a few waves of blowing up monsters. The difficulty of the nightmare copy he was in was also instantly raised to hell difficulty. The fire element was boiling, the monsters were getting stronger, and the continuous burning of the flames was rapidly increasing. The flames on the skeleton warrior's body blazed and grew more and more intense. The skeleton warrior had turned into a walking flame. The corresponding damage received was getting stronger and stronger. Originally, it would take at least 10 hours to burn the skeleton warrior to death, but now it would take at most 3 hours for the skeleton warrior to be burned to death. Lin Mashian didn't realize that the copy he was in had turned into hell difficulty. He only knew that the damage had increased and the monsters had gotten harder. If he didn't hurry, the skeleton warrior would really be burned to death. Go! With a heartbeat, he quickly ran towards the depths of the copy. Chapter 200 Skeleton Warrior Damaged for the Second Time in the White God's small courtyard, Ning Taiyan walked in with large strides. Bai Yuan let out a sigh, Old Man Ning, why are you free to come over today? Isn't your precious granddaughter back, and you're not keeping her company? Ning Taiyan walked over and sat down, nonchalantly pouring the tea from Bai Yuan's teacup into his mouth, your good student, activated the hell difficulty of the Fire God's Palace, copy. Bai Yuan seemed to have expected this, is that strange? With his abilities, activating the hell difficulty isn't a normal thing to do. 
Ming Terran said, when hell difficulty is activated, the elemental fragments will may fall out. At that time, the five elemental fragments will merge into one. By a Yuan interrupted, do you still want to rob my student? This look, like an old bull protecting a calf cub. That's not what I meant. When did I say I wanted to rob? By a Yuan, don't talk too much. Ming Tai Rant's old face was red with anger. Meng Anwen said indifferently, old Bai is joking with you, what's the excitement? Bai Yuan wore a smile and passed a cup of tea into Ning Taran's hands, that's right, what are you excited about? I know, if we can get the elemental fragments together, it's this kid's good fortune, if we can't, it's destined to happen. After all, none of us know where the two copies of the Lightning Palace and Holy Light Palace are. The copies of the fire, water, and wind elements in the copy palace electricity and light were never found. These two copies were somewhat special and could not be found just by trying to find them. Ning Taran said, Lightning Palace, I saw it on Battlefield 8 over a decade ago. It's just that I was fighting the Abyssal Demon King at the time and couldn't spare a hand. By the time the fight was over, it was already gone. As for the Sacred Light Palace, it's true that it's never been found. By a Yuan spread his hands, that's why the minions said that if they could find it then it would be considered Lin Kid's luck. Ning Tyran said, I came over just to talk to you, so that your kid can bring my family EE to fight the Vulcan Palace. Even if you can't combine the elemental fragments into one, the individual elemental fragments will be of great use. By a Yuan let out a snort, there's no need for me to talk about this, you have EE talked to Lin Kid herself. If EE opens her mouth, Lin Kid definitely won't refuse. Ning Taran thought about it for a moment, and it seemed to be true. There was no need to sell this old face himself. It was just that he hadn't been recognizing that Lin Mou and Ning Ee were in love with each other, which was why he hadn't thought of this layer in a moment of negligence. But if he let Ning Ee say it herself, wouldn't this be a disguised way for him to recognize the relationship between the two? Thinking that his family's good cabbage would be given away, Ning Tai Ran's face was full of tangles. By a Yuan patted his shoulder, old man Ning, sooner or later, this flower of your family will have to be plucked by someone. Instead of letting some trash pick it away, it's better to go cheap on Kid Lin. At least no one in his age group can be better than Kid Lin, can they? And we'll also be able to kiss up to each other, the best of both worlds. Ning Tarun continued his entanglement. In the Vulcan Palace, Lin Moshian accelerated his advancement the skeletal warriors had already found the exits. There were four cave entrances, and the internal structure was similar to an ant cave, interconnected. There was only one final exit. And this exit was very disgusting, don't want to walk to the exit without walking through the entire cave. No matter which entrance one went in through, the result would be the same. The corner of Lin Mayu's mouth couldn't help but twitch twice when she saw the entire topographical map of the cave. Since they had to walk all over, why did they need to set up four entrances? This is not taking off your pants to fart. How did this copy form, without ten years of cerebral thrombosis, it definitely couldn't make such a cave. Lin Mou ran out of the cave as fast as he could. A giant palace came into view. The palace was surrounded by blazing flames, and every pillar was made up of flames. Above the palace, a giant eye of flame floated. The appearance was somewhat similar to the flame demon king intruder. The flame giant eye spotted Lin Moshian and immediately sounded an alarm. The earth was still shaking and magma shot out, turning into flames and smashing into Lin Moshue. I'll go. Lin Moshue let out a dark grunt and ran forward as fast as he could. At the same time, he added skeleton armor to his body once more. The flames landed on the ground and exploded, bursting into a ball of fire on the ground. A huge impact swept in, the skeleton armor was shining, blocking all the impact for Lin Moshian. Skeleton warriors had been injured from the impact, but the flames on their bodies were even more intense. The time the skeleton warriors could hold on was further shortened. Magma continued to spray and flames fell like rain as Lin Moshian ran forward frantically with the 16 skeleton warriors. The injuries of the skeleton warriors were getting heavier and heavier, and the time they could hold on was getting shorter and shorter. Unexpectedly, playing a level 32 nightmare difficulty copy, the skeleton warriors were in danger Lin Moshian didn't even realize that he was currently raiding hell difficulty. Finally, he rushed to the entrance of the palace. The palace gates were open, and there were two guards standing outside the gates. The guards wore a flaming armor and held flaming lances, and their appearance looked somewhat like the dragons of the Yuan battlefield. At the same time, they also somewhat resembled lizard-like monsters. The guards had already spotted Lin Moshian and charged towards him. The skeleton warrior immediately rushed forward. Even though he was heavily injured, it wasn't like he couldn't fight. Vulcan Palace Guard, Hellgrade Elite Monster. Level, 35. Strength, 16,000. Agility, 10,000. Spirit, 10,000. Physique, 16,000. Skill, Flame Sweep. Characteristics, Immunity to Fire Elemental Attacks. 
Lin Moshian was slightly shocked. How did it turn into a hell grade elite monster? Just now he had clearly felt that the monster's strength was increasing, and at that time he was busy blowing up monsters, so he didn't care too much now that he took a look, it had turned into a hell ranked elite monster. He was clearly playing nightmare difficulty, how could there be hell grade elite monsters? Thinking of the previous copy shock. It's hard to believe. One had triggered some special mechanism? To determine if it was hell difficulty was actually quite simple, directly checking one's storage space. At a glance, the storage space was no longer usable. The copy had indeed turned into hell difficulty. No wonder the power of the flames on the skeleton warrior had become so great. Looking at the fire god palace guard in front of him, whose level had reached 35 and whose total attributes were as high as 52,000, Lin Moshian quickly accepted this fact. Hell difficulty was quite good. It wasn't like he hadn't fought it before. At least the experience was high and the drops were better. Whatever the difficulty, just fight. The skeleton warriors had already collided with the Vulcan palace guards the greatswords in their hands were bursting with skills. Request flowers. Red light flashed and landed on the Vulcan palace guard. The guards were instantly seriously injured, and they let out a roar. Flames rose to the sky on the lances, and both lances swept at the same time. Skill, flame sweep. A group attack skill with a good range. With several thuds, every skeleton warrior froze on the spot and entered a stun state. Another skill with control ability. Lin Moshien hated this the most. Once a monster had a control ability, it was sometimes even more terrifying than a professional. Especially monsters on hell difficulty, once they seized up, their control power was nearly infinite. The Vulcan palace guards kept attacking the skeleton warriors with their lances, each time attacking in groups. The attack range was very large, just like the skill, covering all 16 skeleton warriors Lin Moshian was helpless and summoned 20 skeleton mages. There wasn't a single fire-type skeleton mage. The fire element was immune, and the fire skeleton mages were useless. Skeleton warriors cannot continue to recruit, less useless to rush up, after being controlled as a target. If you have more than one, all of them will have to bear the constant flame damage in the copy. Zero. Became a kind of dilemma. Even the skeleton mage, who only released 20 of them, couldn't release more. The skeleton mage instantly unleashed his skill, launching an elemental strike on the two Vulcan palace guards. And at the same time, a blazing flame had ignited on them. The skeleton mage's physique was far inferior to that of a skeleton warrior, and could only last up to one hour on hell difficulty. Which meant that if they couldn't beat the copy within one hour, then these skeleton mages would die. Lin Merlin grasped every second without the slightest delay a red light flashed in his palm. Skill, slow speed curse. The Vulcan palace guard's attack speed suddenly slowed down. However, their agility attribute was not low, and even in the curse, they still had a considerable attack speed. Soul flames burned on his palm. A flame landed on top of the Vulcan palace guard's head. A miserable scream rang out, and this Vulcan palace guard immediately let out a cry of pain. But monsters were different from professionals, and despite the cries of pain, the flame lance in its hand continued to attack. Seeing that the skeleton warrior's injuries were getting heavier and heavier, it had already reached the brink of death. Lin Mo Yen sighed, these skeleton warriors were finished. The heart was more than enough, so they couldn't even be saved if they wanted to. Finally, the first skeleton warrior collapsed, and the skeleton warriors suffered another loss. The skeleton mage's second round of fire set arrived, killing one of them point blank. Lin Moshian also used soul flame for a point blank kill. Amidst the screams, a Vulcan palace guard finally fell. Killed level 34 fire god palace guard, experience plus 136,000. Obtained flame crystal core asterisk 3. There were corpses. Lin Moshian's eyes lit up, it was good to have corpses. Skill, corpse explosion. With an explosion, the other Vulcan palace guard was also killed. Soon, the stun time passed. Each of the remaining 15 skeleton warriors was already covered in scars. The flames were still continuously burning, and even if there were no monster attacks, they wouldn't last long. Finish the last mission. Lin Moshian sighed softly as these skeleton warriors rushed into the palace in unison. The moment the skeleton warriors stepped into the palace, the fiery giant eye above the palace vibrated violently, frantically sounding an alarm. The entire palace also vibrated with it, as if it had been alive for as long. Chapter 201, Strange Flower, Vulcan's Key The entire palace seemed to be awakened, and a large number of Vulcan palace guards surged out from inside they had a unified goal and came straight at the skeleton warriors. Lin Moshian was still standing at the entrance of the palace at this moment. Seeing the scene immediately ordered the skeletal warriors to return. Now, they would definitely be controlled, and then they would be surrounded and killed. Not having the ability to counter control was really one of his major weaknesses. Another skeleton warrior appeared beside him and picked up the remaining corpse of the palace guard. 
In a copy, after a monster died, the corpse existed for a short time. And as time passed, the life force on the corpse was disappearing at a rapid pace. It was only about a minute from when he had just resolved the two guards who were watching the door. Lin Mou could feel that most of the life force on this corpse had already disappeared. In another minute, even this corpse would completely disappear the skeletal warriors ran back, with a large number of pursuers following behind them. Throw! With a thought, the skeleton warriors around them immediately threw the guards' corpses. Skill, corpse burst. The corpse crossed over the skull warrior's head and exploded in the air. The explosion swept through the interior of the palace, and the entire palace trembled. Lin Mashian's pupils shrunk, surprisingly, not a single palace guard was killed by the explosion. The corpses had existed for too long, and their raw physical strength had weakened drastically. Even if it was increased by the skill after detonation, it still couldn't kill the palace guards, it could only blow them up. The palace guards were attacked, and their target collectively shifted to Lin Mashian. One by one, they wailed and rushed towards Lin Mojing. Red light flashed. Red shackles appeared above the heads of all the palace guards, and their running speed slowed down immediately locking onto the palace guards running at the front, soul flames burned in their palms, and the skeleton mages focused their attacks at the same time. Electricity flashed and thundered, the wind howled, and ice arrows covered the sky. The soul flames were even directly causing intense damage. Amidst the screams, the palace guard fell to the ground while maintaining his forward posture. Boom! Explosions resounded through the palace once again. The freshly dead palace guards, fresh corpses, complete with life force. The explosion instantly cleared the pursuers. A large string of information jumped out. Each palace guard provided one. 36 million experience. With this wave, the experience went up by a large margin. The experience had now reached 97%, 3% short of upgrading. Lin Mashian was still standing outside the palace, and the interior of the palace became empty. The alarms continued, but there were no more new guards rushing over the skeleton warriors ran against the flames towards the interior of the palace, continuing to play their last role. As it ran, one of the skeletal warriors fell. It completed its mission and came to an end. After it fell, the white bones on its body quickly turned into powder and disappeared without a trace along with a hot wind. Lin Mashian sighed softly in his heart, the skeleton warrior was the most loyal and perfect warrior. Unafraid of pain, needlessly dying, never backing down. Any order would be faithfully carried out and completed. Through the first hall of the palace was a garden. Inside, there was a rockery, flowing water, and a side pool. It was different from any garden Lin Muyue had ever seen. The wigwong here was a flaming mountain, flowing with scorching magma. The entire garden exuded a scorching aura, much hotter than in the palace. Heat waves poured in, carrying the rich element of fire and activating the skeletal armor. These heat waves were aggressive and terrifying. What is this? The firelight was blinding, and Lin Mashian instinctively squinted his eyes. In the gap in his vision, Lin Mashian saw a flower. An exquisite little flower with a body as crystalline as a jewel, blooming brilliantly in the flames. It bloomed and swayed in the center of the magma, beautiful to the core. For such a divine flower to appear in this situation, it must be unusual. Two more skeleton warriors fell and turned into smoke. Of the sixteen skeleton warriors that were initially summoned, four had died so far. The remaining twelve couldn't last long. Lin Mashian had them try to pick the flowers. However, when the skeleton warriors got close to the magma, the magma violently churned and the temperature instantly increased several times. Skeleton warriors fell one after another. The last few barely touched the magma, and in an instant, a large flaming hand stretched out from the magma and heavily slapped the skeleton warrior's body. The skeleton warriors were already on the verge of death, their bones covered in cracks. Now that they were slapped by the giant flaming hand, the remaining skeletons all fell apart and died. The giant hand that rose out of the magma, after slapping the skeleton warrior's hand apart, slapped down towards Lin Mou. Lin Mou quickly retreated and dodged. The skeleton mage launched an attack when Lin Mou stepped back to dodge. Ice Storm Tornado Storm Five Thunder Blasts Three types of elemental spells landed on the giant hand. Zira White smoke rose from the giant hand. The giant hand felt the pain and retracted with a whoosh. Lin Mou froze. Escaped? It was the first time I had seen a monster that could escape. In the next second, the magma tumbled up violently and rose to the sky. Bang bang bang. Lin Mojing heard the sound of a heartbeat. A heart made of flames appeared above that flower the heart was thumping and making a low sound. The lava that rose up into the sky turned into a lava giant that was 10 meters tall. And the flower, which was inside it, was clearly visible. The flower was planted on its heart, rising and falling with its heartbeat. The giant let out a roar, and the lava churned even more violently. A pillar of fire rose to the sky, and fire rained down on the entire garden. 
Most of the magma merged into the giant's body, making the giant even stronger. Vulcan's Palace Florist, Inferno Class Head. Level, 36. Strength, 20,000. Agility, 10,000. Spirit, 10,000. Physique, 20,000. Skills, none. Characteristics, immunity to fire elemental attacks. Strength and constitution both reach 20,000, no longer much worse than a skeleton warrior. All the attributes added together had reached as high as 60,000 points. Although there were no skills, just the normal attacks were already enough to give people a headache. If it was in the outside world, Lin Mo Yen naturally didn't have to be afraid he could just push through with his skeleton warrior. But he couldn't do that here, otherwise he would have to endure the elemental attacks of the copy for no reason. However, if he didn't summon a large number of skeletons, if he wanted to eliminate the head monster in front of him, it would probably take quite a bit of time. The skeleton mage was taking constant flame damage and couldn't last long. With a movement in his heart, Lin Moshian summoned nine skeleton warriors. Together with the one that threw the corpse just now, there were exactly ten of them. The ten skeleton warriors quickly ran back to the palace and dragged out the bodies of the palace guards that had just died. The palace florist had already launched an attack towards Lin Moshian. The giant palm slammed down. Without dodging or avoiding it, Lin Mou cast the slow curse to slow down its movements. At the same time, her hands were burning soul flames, dealing damage to the florist's soul flame damage was a low, not much worse than a skeleton mage's skill. Especially the pain was etched in its bones. All of its attention was focused on Lin Moshian, constantly attacking him. The skeleton armor shone brightly, blocking all the attacks. After all, it was the head of the hell copy, with an astonishingly high life. It would take quite a bit of time for just 20 skeleton mages plus Lin Moshian to kill it. Not a moment later, the skeletons ran back dragging their corpses. Each skeleton was dragging two corpses, a whole 20. Although these guard corpses had been dead for a while and their life force had been drastically reduced, it was better than nothing. The 20 corpses were thrown towards the palace florist. Skill, corpse burst. The corpses were detonated in midair. Magma splattered, revealing a gaping hole. The florist had obviously taken a huge amount of damage. Explosions came one after another, one after another Lin Moshian didn't skimp on his spiritual energy at all, continuously casting skills. As long as a necromancer had enough spiritual energy, there was no cooldown time for skills at all. At least so far, Lin Moshua hadn't found any skills that needed a cooldown. The explosions continued, and the skeleton warrior didn't stop even after throwing the bodies away, charging in front of the florist like lightning. Facing the 10-meter-tall palace florist, the skeleton warrior looked so small. The skeleton warrior swung his greatsword and red light appeared, a color that was even brighter than flames. Skill, Berserk Strike. The palace florist immediately screamed. Corpse burst, soul flame, the skeleton mage's spell attack, plus the skeleton warrior's skill. A combination that dealt a fatal blow to it. From the start of the battle to the end, it was only 5 minutes. Kill Vulcan Palace Florist, experience plus 2160000. Obtained Vulcan Key. Obtained Vulcan Flower. Vulcan Key, the key to unlock the true Vulcan Palace. Vulcan's Flower, using the Vulcan's Flower, you can awaken the God of Fire. Boom. After the florist died, the magma boiled once again hot magma gushed from all directions, as if it was going to engulf the garden. Chapter 202 The Prequest for the True Fire God's Temple Lin Moshian quickly walked through the garden and entered the deepest part of the replica. The temperature was getting hotter and hotter. Not bad for hell difficulty. Nightmare difficulty requires dual assistance, hell difficulty requires at least 4 to 5 assistance. Ordinary teams don't even want to fight. A level 32 copy, the hell difficulty could allow up to a level 37 team of 12 people to come in. If there was no special equipment, for assistance wouldn't even be enough. The difficulty of this copy was too high, harder than any copy Lin Moshian had ever fought. The flame-scorching attack that was going on all the time would cause all the professions an immense headache finally, he came to the deepest part of the copy. At this point, more than three hours had passed since he entered the copy. The batch of skeleton mages were about to reach their limits. Resolve the battle in ten minutes. Counting the time, if he didn't want these skeleton mages to die violently here as well, he had to settle the battle within ten minutes. In the deepest part of the copy, a magnificent lava waterfall flowed there. Lin Moshian raised his head and saw an eye at the very top of the replica. It was that flame giant eye that had been seen outside the palace. At this moment, the flame giant eye flew in from outside the palace and landed on top of the waterfall. The entire magma waterfall roared. Boulders tumbled down, the waterfall broke off, and the high mountain deformed. 14 in front of Lin Moshian, the high mountain turned into a giant, and the flame giant eye turned into its eye. Cyclopes' his body was made up of boulders, over 20 meters in height, and lava flowed freely from its body. 
Lava Giant, Inferno Level Leader. Elemental Archmage, Hell Copy Leader. Level, 38. Strength, 25,000. Agility, 10,000. Spirit, 10,000. Physique, 25,000. Skills, Deathfire, Lava Jet, Volcano Eruption. Characteristics, Immunity to Fire Elemental Attacks, Fire Elemental Enhancement. A level 38 Inferno level leader with a total attribute of up to 70,000, comparable to the level 39 Elemental Archmage in the Battlefield 3, copy. The two attributes of strength and physique had surpassed the Skeleton Warrior. Inferno Chieftain. Lin Emo spoke with a slight difference. He had thought that the final ringleader of the Vulcan's Palace should be a monster named Vulcan. He didn't expect it to be a lava giant. Moreover, the Vulcan key that he had just obtained as well as the Vulcan flower didn't seem to be of any use. Lin Mashian felt that things weren't that simple. But this copy had already gone so far that he was pretty sure that there was no longer any path behind it he keenly captured the information of the Vulcan key. Vulcan key, the key to unlock the true Vulcan palace. In other words, the Vulcan palace and the Vulcan temple were not the same copy. It could be said that the Vulcan palace was merely a precursor copy of the Vulcan temple. Some copies would have predecessor quests, and only after completing the predecessor quests would one be qualified to enter the copy. It seemed that the real Fire God's Palace was also like this. The copy in front of him called the Fire God's Palace was merely a precursor copy of the real Fire God's Palace. In the twinkling of an eye, Lin Moshian had figured it out. The lava giant let out a roar, and a line of fire suddenly shot out from its huge one eye. Skill, Line of Fire of Death. The speed of the line of fire was strangely fast and incomparable, Lin Moyu couldn't even react in time to be hit already. With a bang, the skeleton armor shone, followed by a cracking sound Lin Moyu hurriedly replenished himself with a layer of skeleton armor. After entering the replica, the skeleton armor had always endured the flames, and its strength had been drastically reduced. Coupled with the fact that the power of the lava giant's deathfire skill was really not weak, the skeleton armor reached its limit. Very good. Since he had already reached the final stage of the copy, there was no need to hide it. He wanted to resolve the battle within 10 minutes, and now that 3 minutes had passed, there were still 7 minutes left. With a slight movement of his mind, all the remaining skeletons were released in an instant. A whole 154 skeleton warriors and 72 skeleton mages, a completely powerful army. 16 skeleton warriors were lost, and 28 fire skeleton mages couldn't play a role, slightly affecting the total battle power. Lin Muyue had already adjusted his mindset at this point. As the level of the copy became higher and higher, the difficulty became greater and greater, it was inevitable that the skeletons would suffer a loss what's more, he had always crossed the level to brush the copy solo, so this kind of thing would be even harder to avoid. Taking a deep breath, the battle began. The skeleton warriors turned into a ball of flames and rushed to the feet of the lava giant, and one by one, they climbed up fearlessly despite it being covered in flowing lava. Skills erupted one after another. The skeleton mage's spell attacks also pressed over like a landslide in tsunami. Lin Moshian was likewise not idle. He started with slow curse. Then soul flame was used non-stop. He used all the skills he could use, there was no way, he was in a hurry. The lava giant was cursed and its speed obviously slowed down. However, it didn't attack with its big hands like the previous florist giant. The line of death fire in its one eye never stopped. The line of death fire was powerful enough to hit the skeleton warrior, enough to cause considerable damage at the same time, it opened its mouth again and lava tumbled inside its mouth. Skill, Lava Jet. Rolling lava jetted out from the huge mouth, the sky was fiery red, there was an illusion that lava was about to flood the copy. The ejected lava stormed down. The earth roared with a great sound, triggering a violent explosion. The skill had a shock fly effect, and a large number of skeleton warriors were sent flying. Only the skeleton warriors that climbed on top of it, clutched onto its body and kept attacking it against the burning lava. Lin Moshian didn't know how strong the lava giant's life force was, all he could do now was to speed up and keep attacking. His will was also transmitted to the skeletons. The skeletons sped up without fail. Those skeleton warriors that were blown away quickly rushed back without fear of life and death. With one experience, they all learned to be smart. One by one, they leapt up and jumped directly onto the lava giants in the blink of an eye, the lava giant's body was already crawling with skeleton warriors. The skeleton warriors beat the lava giant and wailed. Lin Moshian's soul flame similarly caused it pain. The line of death fire stopped, and the lava spray also disappeared. Lin Moshian realized that something was wrong. In the next second, the earth shook violently, like a magnitude 10 earthquake. Lin Moyu didn't stand still for a moment and almost fell. The lava giant's entire body was glowing with light, and the speed of the lava flow was several times faster than before. Boom! The magma shot up into the sky and exploded in the air, turning into a rain of fire falling from the sky. Skill, Volcano Eruption. 
Countless volcanoes appeared underground, connecting and erupting. The earth was instantly filled with flames. The place where Lin Mashian was standing was already covered in lava. The skeleton armor protected him from harm. The skeleton mage was similarly standing in the rock 697 magma, taking a steady stream of damage Lin Mashian's heart became even more anxious, so much so that the first 20 skeleton mages to come out would not be able to hold out. The volcano is still erupting, the fire rain is getting denser and denser, as if it is going to engulf the entire copy. A large amount of fire rain fell on the lava giants, and the violent shockwaves shook the skeleton warriors down one after another. Although the slow curse worked, the lava giant didn't even use normal attacks. It always attacked with skills, and the slow curse couldn't stop its skills. The skeleton warriors continued to take a lot of damage while attacking it like crazy. The more Lin Mojing was in a hurry, the more desperate the skeletons became. The soul flame in Lin Mojing's hand was also used without stopping for a moment. Both sides were once again in a state of hard fighting. Time passed minute by minute. It looked like the skeleton mages wouldn't be able to hold out any longer the first 20 skeleton mages that were summoned were covered in cracks and on the verge of destruction. They would die at any time. However, the lava giant seemed to be reaching its limit as well. It began to grow weak. Even the flames on its one eye disappeared. The lava flowing from its body became nothing, revealing a black rocky body. The skeleton warrior's sword fell on it, splitting the rock to pieces. The soul flames brought it even more unbearable pain. Finally, its body began to crumble. Pieces of rock fell down. Die. Lin Moshian let out a low voice. With a loud boom, the lava giant and finally collapsed. Killed Lava Giant, experience. After the Lava Giant died, the passageway to leave the copy appeared at the same time. Lin Muyue chose to leave the copy at the first opportunity, not even bothering to look at the hints. Chapter 203, it's hard to believe that the twelve of us are still no match for him. A familiar sound came from his ears, the sound brought up by the vortex at the entrance of the replica Lin Mashian quickly checked his summoning space. As it left the replica, the skeleton warriors and skeleton mages were returned to the summoning space. 154 skeleton warriors, 100 skeleton mages, all of them stayed quietly in the summoning space. Fortunately, Lin Mashian let out a long sigh of relief. Fortunately, all of them were still there. Although each and every one of them had suffered not so serious injuries, and there were even some that were on the verge of death. As long as they could return to the summoning space alive, even the heaviest injuries could be recovered in a short period of time. It was too dangerous. At that time, it was possible that if they dragged on for another second or two, the twenty skeleton mages would be finished. It wasn't until then that Lin Mashian had the presence of mind to check the harvest, killed lava giant, experience plus 3,800,000. Obtained lava staff. Obtained flame crystal fragment. Lava staff, gold level weapon, full attributes plus 500, mage class skills increased by 45%, fire skills increased by an additional 20%. Lava Staff, Gold Level Weapon, Full Attributes plus 500, Mage Class Skills Increased by 45%, Fire Skills Increased by an additional 20%. Flame Crystal Fragment, Three Flame Crystal Fragments can be fused to form a Flame Crystal. The Lava Staff is the strongest Gold Level Weapon for Fire Mages, bar none. The increase in Fire Mage Skills was over 65%, even some low-level Platinum Weapons couldn't compare. For this weapon, Lin Mashian didn't have the slightest interest. Instead, it was the flame crystal fragments that caught Lin Mou's interest. Three flame crystal fragments could be fused into one flame crystal. But what was the use of this flame crystal? Lin Mou didn't know. Perhaps Xu Han will know. Lin Mou's gaze swept around the sweeping replica hall and didn't find Xu Han's figure. She wasn't here and didn't know where she had gone. At this time the bell rang abruptly. It rang three times in a row. Countless people rushed into the duplicate hall at the sound of the bell. Lin Mashian was slightly dazed, not knowing what had happened. He was completely unaware that as long as someone set a new record for the replica, the bell in the replica hall would ring. Previously, when he set a new record and the bell rang, he was still in the replica, so he wasn't aware of it. This time, he came out early in the morning so he was able to hear it. Many people searched for the source of the new record and quickly locked onto the copy of the Fire God's Palace, where Lin Mashiwe was. When they saw Lin Mou, their faces revealed a look of determination. Lin Mo Yan had set new records three or four times, and they were all a bit surprised. I wondered what kind of new record he had set this time at the top of the Fire God's Palace, copy, the light screen had begun to display Lin Mo Yan's results. The previous group's results were erased and disappeared. Someone was surprised, strange, even if Lin Mu Yue set a new record.